Habitat for Humanity Australia has built homes, communities and hope for the past 30 years. Together, we have made home a reality for families in Australia and overseas. In countries like Vietnam, Cambodia, Nepal, Fiji and many more where we support families through housing, access to clean water, sanitation and hygiene training, as well as disaster response and recovery. But none of this can be done without the generous support of volunteers, donors and partners. Together, we can give families the opportunity to be healthier, happier and build stronger communities that can grow and sustain themselves. Through Shelter, we empower. What is up, everyone? Thank you so much for joining the live stream where we are going to be solving, not this guy, but that bad boy over there, a 21 by 21 to raise money for Habitat for Humanity. We've got a kicker of a program up ahead of us. Look at, look at what's ahead of us. It's insane. It is actually crazy. The list of people here who I have so much respect for, who I have looked up to for so many years, and they're going to be here with us in the next... I don't know, seven, eight, nine hours, how long this is going to take chatting to us and just, you know, keeping me company. It's going to be amazing. I'm so glad that you've joined us. Uh, please, please make sure that we are checking this website out because that's what this is all about. Uh, it's about having fun with the community. It's about solving a cube, but it's about making a difference. It's about um, making cubing be a force for good. Cubing has done so much good in the world for so many people, you know, individually and personally, we've all benefited from it. Um, but if we can use it to make a difference in the lives of people who really need it, like how, how great is that? So yeah, please, please check that out. We'll be looking at this, you know, throughout the stream to see how we're going with our fundraising and hopefully we can reach that 10 and a half thousand mark, which will be able to help us build three homes for Habitat for Humanity, which is insane. You might've noticed that it's a little bit quiet here and it's because unfortunately I don't have company this year. It's just, this is going to be me uh, hosting. Okay, that's not true. We actually do have um, a panda Cuba who will be coming a bit later and legit, I'm not making this up. She's not here because she's having a hair appointment. But hey, she's going to look amazing when she comes. She already does look amazing, just for the record. But she's going to look even more amazing once her hair is done. She joins us a bit later. So yeah, she'll be help helping co-host with me. Um, you'll also notice the lack, the absence of um, TNL cubing, which is the greatest thing. I mean, yeah, he, like he did make a difference last year. But not having him this year will, I think, just provide a lot of peace and a lot of... One year ago, thousands of you watched me solve a 19 by 19 Rubik's Cube live for charity and together we raised over $8,000. Along the way, we were He's doing another one? biggest names in cubing like Felix Zemdegs, Jack Kai, Derpy Cuba and... I don't get it. Why wouldn't he invite me back? I did such a good job last time. I mean, I basically carried the stream. Ting Man needs me. Yeah. Ting Man needs me. Ting Man needs me. What? What was that? Sorry, sorry, chat. What's what's happening? Yo, he's in the stream. Wait, wait. wait what? He's. In, how did he get in the picture? How did he get into my picture? Hey, Ming. Look, you gotta hear me out. After the stream last year, I, I've been locked in here. Please, give me another chance. Please. Not again, no! Why? Uh, we did such a good job last time. We're a team. You need me. You did, you did help us raise a lot of money last year. You did make a big difference. And look, I, 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 don't, I don't want to break the illusion or anything, but a lot of you guys on the internet think <clears throat> that TNI, TNL and I are enemies. But uh, that was, that's all I was going to say, uh, actually. Look, look, 
it's the one day a year. It's the one day a year that we can maybe let our enmity slide and maybe, maybe. Don't <laughs> <laughs> joke like that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, guys, I'm not sure if I'm actually happy to say this, but can you please welcome to the stream uh, Tina? Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're wearing the same shirt as me as well. You could have told me. I, I, I mean, mean, what do you want? This is all I have left. This, this is. I've been living in this for this months. Is absolutely terrible. Uh, it's, we just on that side. Yeah. Okay. Great. Oh, uh, yo, this is this is not good. What are you doing? <laughs> what is this? All right. Uh, hey, Tom. Do you wanna you wanna give us an update on how the fundraising is is going of course um so far the streams only just started and i can't get this thing up so this one it's not showing the screen here we go um so as you can see on the habitat for humanity site we've already raised five thousand six hundred and forty dollars that's like a so bit over halfway that's amazing it's just over halfway we, we we still have our work cut out for us though like we've still got quite a fair, fair bit to go but that is actually pretty amazing thank you everyone for the donation so far that's that's really amazing so good and um we have as some of you and hopefully all of you have seen we have like an absolutely jam-packed schedule today with heaps of amazing guests so get excited um and yeah, it's going to be busy, but it's going to be good. We're going to raise some money for a good cause. It's going to be amazing. Some people are saying like that we are in reality actually friends. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <gasps> yeah, I mean. <gasps> yeah. <clears throat> Should I get started? I think it might be time to guys finally whip it out guys, here it is Morgan's 21 by 21 i was wondering if i should do another charity live stream this year and i was like oh there's no big new big cube that's been released and then this guy comes out and it's like well i guess i am guess we are i guess we're doing this again why not, why not? that is so heavy wow it's actually crazy hey that's insane i know all right so just so everyone can see it's legit scrambled you might also notice that I've put like a few little dots and markers on it, which I did last year as well with the 19. That's sort of to help with counting. I know if this was a WCA, WCA event, I would be disqualified, but it's not a WCA event. We're just doing this so that we can solve this cube in less than like 50 gazillion hours. How long do you think I'll take? Oh, I'm, my guess is about <coughs> eight, eight and a half. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be so long. It's actually gonna be gonna be crazy. But yeah, we'll we'll start. Oh hey Chad, do you wanna tell us what color I, I should start with? What what color center should I should I start with? Let us know in the chat and, and yeah, we'll we'll just get started with that. All right, we've got white, which is I mean I, I do solid white, so I suppose. Ten, yep. Ten, the tenth side. Ten is a really good suggestion for a color. I, I think that I should start. Uh, blue, red, white, green. No, there's just there's no agreement at all in chat. I am seeing a lot of white. I'm seeing a lot of white though. Yeah. So I suppose, I mean, any any color is is fine. But a hyper three hundred and sixty. Did you so, just say blue, blue? blue, blue That's a, so, like double I points. Mean, it, it is a double blue. We're both wearing blue shirts. Do you think? Yeah. So blue. blue. Maybe. Maybe we should go with blue. Yeah, it's yeah. the theme. Uh, we've got purple by uh, Nathan, and I mean, I mean, <laughs> that means you have to do half of red and half of blue. Yes, that's right. <laughs> um, yeah. Can everyone hear us well? By the way, is the audio good? Can we get some feedback on that. Should be good. <coughs> got a lot of greens uh, in in chat as well, actually. Tom, do you want to choose? I think. I think we have to go with blue sure. for the shirts. Let's do it. Blue it is. All right. Now, while I do that, um, we actually got a massive donation by um, the company Dian Sheng, which is, which is the very, very first time that's ever happened. Like a, a cube company has yeah. actually, you know, gone out of their way 
to support us like that, giving us $900, which is insane. Uh, and so as part of that, we're going to be, um, you know, they've had the opportunity, therefore, to, you know, have a few um, promotions. And we're going to start, actually. Um, Tom's going to kick things off by going through the um, solar. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tell me that. Cool. That's great. Um, so this is Dian Shang's um, solar S3M. Now, this is, like, pretty much their first entry to the good cube market and um well as you can see it it looks very nice it has 48 internal magnets i've heard and um anti-stick internal textures and like i'm not gonna lie to you in my honest opinion sponsor aside this does feel really great for its price he tried it before and he legit said that yeah that like before knowing that we were gonna like be um you know promoting this it's legit really nice it is actually quite nice given some of you definitely seen ting man's video on it recently um, some other things i wanted us to tell you about is it has oversized internal pieces to improve durability and drop proofing it has adjustable wheelbase and elasticity in the center cap here which you guys can hopefully see and replaceable center caps which come in the box we have some extra oh, center and he's broken it and yeah it's broken forever um and Jianshang wants us to tell you that at the end of this live stream, one luck donor, uh, anyone who can who donates to the uh, fundraiser today, has a chance to win one of these signed by Yushang Du, the world record holder. So that's a, another great incentive to uh, donate some money, and you'll have a chance to win one of these, which will be announced <coughs> later in the day. So, yeah, thank you, Jianshang, for your donation, and let's see how Tingman's going. I'm nearly done with my first um, center. Which center? <laughs> I'm that fast. <laughs> Your first center. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm speed running it. <laughs> this stream's going to end in like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm nearly done with my first um, my first bar. <clears throat> well, I say that now. <laughs> like, looking for the pieces. Gil is... says he wants he wants a solo 3M. Well, you, you have a chance, man. Yeah, you know what to do, buddy. Uh, big shout out to Gil, by the way, for giving us a massive donation as well. Um, so we're actually going to be hearing a little bit from um, him and Stuart later, which is really cool. Um, yeah, let's see how we're going. Wow, actually another, let's just, it's, it hasn't been that long, but I just checked again and we've actually raised another 130 Woo! already kicking off this stream. So thank you. So good. People for are amazing. Donations. Yeah, um, thank you guys. Let's keep them going, and yeah, for sure. In just a little while, actually, we are going to have our um, first guest, Patrick Ponce, coming on in a couple of minutes. Do you mean like current NAR holder Patrick Ponce, like that yeah. Patrick Ponce, one-handed world record two Patrick Ooh. Ponce? The guy's a legend. Oh, I, you might know the answer to this already, but where in the world is Patrick? Do, do you actually? Like, so he's current, he holds the North American record, right? Yeah. But he's actually not in North America. No, I've, I've, uh, at, at the moment, I, I did see his results at the Finnish championship uh, on the weekend. Where in the world? Where? I wonder. Where, where could that be? Where could that be? Indeed. Yeah. Guys, we're done with our very first bar right there. Hey. Woo! Nice. You can probably calculate based on that, like the speed at which I'm going, right? <laughs> and how, how long it's going to take. Centers by far take the longest, so um, yeah, you know. But yes, I'm sorry, what? we are one minute away from having Patrick join us, which is very cool. Why? What's happening? What, this what? is a new one. Somebody says that I look like Glenn Miller. Oh, as in the American trombonist Glenn Miller. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't see the hair a bit, but I really, I really do not see any resemblance. He's a, a handsome guy. I'll take that. As he a is a handsome guy. And for that alone, that's why he does not look like you. All right. So um, thank you, Ting Man, for joining us on my stream today. Uh, you're out of here. Thanks. Um, after that absolutely uncalled for comment. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that's right. There should be more friendship in the world. <coughs> Cork in Cuba says, I need to get a haircut. Uh, which, which one? <laughs> oh, so funny. Oh. 
it is getting a, a bit a bit long yeah but we'll see how we go hey tom can do what he wants all right and one of those things should be get a haircut <laughs> even if even if it looks terrible <laughs> all right um so i think it's about time to bring in our first guest patrick Woo! so guys can we have some hype in patrick yeah Paul patrick in the chat before we bring him in who's excited for sure I'm i can see him so smiling excited. in the waiting area let's bring him in <laughs> is it working hey, hey patrick how's it going is. hey it's patrick pons hey, hi <laughs> Wait, before we start, can we get a can we get a big uh like a big uh mouth smile for the for the Instagram? Click oh, right? yeah, yeah, totally. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> Live click okay. right, let's go. How are you doing, man? Good, good. How are you guys? Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. The day has just started, so it's gonna be know, a long one. Yeah. It's still smiles now. I'm not sure. <laughs> now we're getting along. Be the same <laughs> Four or five hours. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty much getting ready for bed. So. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, actually, so can, can you answer the question? Where in the world is Patrick Pons? That's that's something that I think I think we need to know. <clears throat> um. So right now I'm in Oxford, Oxford, England. So cool, like Oxford, yeah. Oxford, so so great. The Oxford, yeah, yeah, yep. And you're studying there, hey? Yep. So I'm I'm a first year philosophy student. Yeah. I'm doing my undergraduate degree here in the that's UK. So great. So, yeah. yeah, that's where I live it? now. Yep. You um, that all right? It's my first time living outside of the US yeah so Damn. it's a bit it's yeah. a bit different but i think i've gotten used to it we're hitting around two months yeah. um awesome. yeah i mean it's it's cool i like i like uh I like where i live it's a small university town well relatively small uh it's very yeah. uh, you know multi-ethnic and i really enjoy that kind of reminds me of going to a cubing competition and seeing all different types of people but yeah every day, so that's really nice Yes. Yeah, speaking of cubing competitions, are there some coming back there in the UK and around Europe? I saw that you were at. Uh, the um. Yeah. So there aren't any competitions in the UK at the moment. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. Sorry. The I've, I have really terrible uh, internet. So yeah, I'm like okay, we got a bad on. connection. Apologies, guys, but um, we'll That's try and fine. push through that. It could be that everyone just looked really blurry in, in Oxford, so it's actually that's actually a really good question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, I did go to the Finnish Championship. Um, I'm going to a competition later this month in Ireland, and yeah, so cool. I'm gonna try to go to as many competitions as possible, and hopefully yeah. organize yeah. some as well here here in Oxford. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, congrats to on the, on the um, partnership with Rubik's. That's so cool. Yeah. So great. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah proud to represent. Yeah. I, I I'm also sponsored by the, the cubicle, thing, right? but fortunately I don't have any, any, any jackets or hoodies. Uh, <laughs> that's all right. Logos on yeah. This, yeah. No, that's cool. Yes, the and, and <laughs> yeah. I, I, I really think yeah. like whatever you know, endorsement it is, it's like a win for everyone. You know, it's just more representation for you yeah. like around the world. It's more, yeah. And, and ultimately, I mean, this is my personal belief, like, you know, all the different companies and stuff, there's competition, but it's like, it's it's good. It's healthy for everyone. Yeah. Healthy, it's exactly. just, you know, it just promotes, it promotes cubing in, in general, which is so good. Gil asks, did Patrick catch the British accent? Oh, <laughs> do you feel like you're going to develop yeah. one? No, I, I wouldn't think so. Um, Ooh, no. Give, give us give us your best um, British um, line or yeah we need to see an impression though <laughs> yeah give us an impression <laughs> no no impression no impression <laughs> are you sure but uh, I think the fans want to see it but a phrase <laughs> a phrase a phrase a phrase that I've been picking up in my uh, common I'd say vernacular is happy days I've been saying that a lot and it's like happy days happy, happy days. <laughs> Happy days. I think that's kind of an Australian thing as well. Hey, we do I know a lot too. of people who say and, it. Yeah, so. 
happy days. So good. And I'm, I'm so I'm so scared that that uh my 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 amazing northeastern American accent will will leave me. But yeah, I, I don't think I think I'll be okay. Yeah. Maybe some words I'll know. switch, but yeah, You're not leaving too much. <laughs> It's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's great. Uh, can I actually play um, just really quickly one of one of I think the all time best Patrick Punk's moments, uh, and it would like to me hands down be be this. Dana Yee, eighteen. Yes. Wow. Oh. oh. So good. So good. <laughs> happy days. Happy days, right? Yeah. Happy days. Do you, do you still remember that happy moment? Uh, actually, I was, I was, um, uh, I was, uh, so at the competition, we were talking about, you know, those, those nice moments of mine <laughs> that I, that I'm fortunate yeah. to have. And I vividly remember inspecting the salt. I don't actually yeah. have that good of a memory of solving the timer or reacting or anything, but I do remember <laughs> holding the cube and being like, hmm, I'm going to do blue. And then like, yeah, you know, yeah. the rest is in the video. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. A, a cheeky little um, cameo by a Danny, Danny Yee as well in the background. That's always good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really miss those competitions. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Especially in the Northeast, we had these huge 200 person. Well, I think that one was a championship, yeah. Northeast championship. But yeah, in that venue, uh -huh. which is uh, University of Maryland, we, we they yeah. usually have two 300 person com single day competitions. And, yeah, uh, wow. I really miss those. Um, we have for you, Patrick, we prepared some like questions to do a little, um, little pop quiz on how well do you know yourself, your own achieving achievements it's so. time to play how well does patrick, patrick. know patrick <laughs> <laughs> and if, if right. you get one wrong you get kicked off the stream i'm sorry yeah, that's right and we're just gonna like malign you from the <laughs> and tell everyone how much how terrible you are <laughs> are you ready do you want to hear the first all one? right let's do it yeah i'm good yeah sure the first question is what is the title of your Patrick Ponce's very first YouTube video that's visible on your channel? Sorry, can I can you repeat that? <laughs> your I, I can type it as well for you. The first video that's public on your channel, do you know what the title is? Um yeah, type it out. <laughs> All good. I only got like half the question. Oh, the title. So it's either the video itself is either from like the back shoulder angle or it's from a webcam. And I can't remember which comes first. <laughs> <laughs> but it's either one of those. And you're it's on, like you're on the right late, track, yeah. late 2014 or like early 2015. You gonna, are you going to give him the point, Tom? Oh, I wonder, oh. I, I wonder if, if anyone in the chat knows this. Everyone's just going to chat. Like without cheating. I, <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's just test, right? Yes. <laughs> yes it is. Wow. It, you got it. You nailed it. It's called test. test. In, in lowercase, just test. <laughs> it's, it's one of the YouTube greats. And it's just it's 40, literally just test. You can three seconds. Yeah. Oh, it's actually, it's actually, oh, wait. Can we do this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to do the description. Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what, I want to show the description. Like that's why <laughs> no, hey, that's my account. <laughs> well, I think the test was successful. That, that, that worked. It worked. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. <laughs> Quality is mint as well. Wow, that's, that, that's, a, that's a Gen 2 timer as well. Those are essentially yeah. extinct. Oh, man. Times have changed. Uh, yeah, I have got, a got this time. one. Times have changed. Let's see what you did there. You meant to do that, right? Okay. What's <laughs> wow, one that was point? ages you're, ago. You're it. Yeah, that kind of surprised in. me. Yeah. You've got one point, Patrick. The the second question, uh, I will type it out to you as well. But for the viewers, um, Patrick Ponce's very first competition was back in 2012. 
Um, but what was the very first official three by three soul? Your time. Oh, your time no. for your first soul in a comp ever. Gotta uh, remember this. I don't know. Moment. Moment of magic. <laughs> I think the average was like 26 seconds, but the actual time of the first soul, man, I have no idea. 25.8, something like that. Oh, damn. Pretty much 25.08. I'll I'll give that to you. That's like, you you got the eight. You remember the important digit. There's an eight in there. Yeah, damn. That is, that is, that's a good o- o- like first average ever. Yeah, yeah. twenty five point eight seven average yeah. and twenty five point zero singles. Pretty consistent as well. Yeah, nice, very nice. All right, two for two, Patrick Ponce, <laughs> our first guest, and you already you already like amazing, showing us up. We he thought kn- we were he, he knows getting himself. some of this trivia. He knows himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the um third question, Patrick. <laughs> Um, I will type it out to him. How many official completed solves does Patrick Ponce have on his WCA? <laughs> That's a rough in one. official competitions. How many? To, if if you get it within like no. um, you know within like the fifty or a hundred, maybe I'll give it to him. Yeah. I I was literally looking at this the other day though. <sighs> but do you remember? I was, it? I don't know if I remember correctly because I was looking at that specific stat for various people. Yeah. Right. Is it like 3,800? Yeah. Can you guess <laughs> the, <laughs> to the 10th? Temp, the 10s column. 3,800 and... Oh, oh. Um, 3,810. I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, it was seven, pretty much. Oh, Three solves. That's good. Oh, okay, that's good. easy. That's just a couple. Yeah, of no, I was. That's yeah. so. That's yeah, so. Fair. That's so. Like that's such a cheat. I literally looked at it. Nah, nah, nah. It's not a cheat. <laughs> it means it's, it's you know yourself. Yeah, you, you got to brush up on your own solve sometimes. When yeah, you've done right. that many. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> question, question four. Now this one, I, I, I thought this one would be pretty hard for you. But the way you're going so far, maybe you know this as well. Maybe you've checked back on the YouTube video. But the fourth question is, in your 4.69 3 by 3 world record single back in 2017, what was the third digit on the stack mat timer that is not recorded by the WCA? I know this one. I know this one. Oh, come on. (laughs) Damn it. Okay. It's three, right? Three? Three, yeah. It's 4.693. Nice, that's good. (laughs) <laughs> oh, come on hey those those three milliseconds yeah. count you know it, they make all the difference i should have asked you like what was the exact what was the time the exact time <laughs> yeah. of day when you set the world record <laughs> what was the temperature at the time <laughs> yeah. what was the what was the air temperature that i don't know that i don't know <laughs> yeah what, what was the forecast for the weekend <laughs> the weather <laughs> forecast in that competition oh god, oh, god. okay <laughs> Four out of four. I don't even. I, I don't even remember the name of the town that it was in. To be honest, <laughs> oh, my third digit. Fair enough. Okay. Um, <laughs> and the fifth question: If you set this, we've done some trivia before, but I don't think anyone's ever gotten them all right. So if you set the fifth one, it's basically Ting Man right. history. It is. It's, it is. Yeah. It's in the history it's books. All right. Um, all right. Let's do this. So question five. Please. On just on the weekend, actually. At your latest competition, you set a new four by four average PR, correct? Yep. Tw- Twenty four point eight one. But can you tell us where you rank in the world with that average? Ooh, I'll talk. Um, uh, as well. How well does Patrick know Patrick? This is it's an insane. Uh, I, I, I have it between two. It's, it's either one or the other. I think is it tenth? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been beat, <laughs> guys. Can we get a, just a round yeah. of applause yeah. for Patrick? Patrick. That's so Come good. on, this is not fair. He's <laughs> too good. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's made Ting Man uh, live stream history. We we won't tell him Yay. that he's the only one so far. 
But you I mean, are, yeah, you no, it's it's kind of typical. Well, like, all our guests get them all right. It's you're not even not you're not even special. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you're, 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 leader, you're, you're number one in the leaderboard, out of one so out, far. Out of one, but yeah. you know, you're still first place. That's amazing. That's that's actually really impressive. Well, you know what, guys? Just just because Patrick did that, let's all go and subscribe to his channel. I, I have I'll put the link in chat. Let's get Patrick some more subscribers for Ooh. that. He deserves it. That was a thank good you, a good. You performance I, if you're not already subscribed to patrick it's like what are you doing here you know you clearly <laughs> not, you clearly don't appreciate cubing like, you clearly you clearly don't care about cubing trivia yeah, like if, care, if you know about, about any of the cubing trivia champions then you know there's just some standards yeah. you know it's like yeah it's you also uh you also internet. check out my most my most uh recent video it's oh, yeah. of a very 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 standard normal by the textbook Five by five solve that I did uh, at finished championship. I that hope, might. I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna go viral though. It's gonna go viral. That's probably one of the best videos I've seen. As you, wait, let, let, let's bring up the channel here. Yeah, as as we can see. Oh, wait. Can I share this? Uh, yeah, you should be able to if you open that one up and just drag it across. I'm really struggling. One moment. For like one last piece. I just cannot find this one piece. It's taking me so long. Why? Oh, is it that one? Yes. This, this does not like me. This is bar number this five. <laughs> There's just like 19, 19 little pieces to find for each bar. It's yeah, like sorry. So yeah. annoying. <laughs> As you guys can see. Yeah, there it is. This there is. There it is. It's groundbreaking stuff, really. It is actually amazing. Like it's the way just, the way just... Patrick warms up with the Mega Minx. Like, has anyone ever thought to do that before? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's no wonder we don't start with draw him. Finish champion. It's just it's just it's just the most. It's just the it's just the most it's it's the most amazing solve. <laughs> I mean, you're playing it down, but it's actually insane. And I'm sure everyone watching is like, how do you turn a five by five that fast? Look, you've got people sitting down behind you. Just, they want to yeah, spectate. They want to win. <laughs> Wait, this is actually, this is actually an amazing video. I need to learn. <laughs> I'm two meters away from them. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't actually... <laughs> How much are you paying him realistically? Like, what do I have to do to get my own yeah. personal hype man who sits behind me and everything like this? I need someone like that just to, to give me positive energy. Well, wow. that's actually amazing. <laughs> Yeah, that that's my that's my friend Chandler. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's actually here at Oxford as well. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, we um, went to that competition together. Do we have um uh, guys in the chat, if you have any questions for Patrick, we'll start taking uh, oh, yeah. some questions um yep. from everyone. Brody, Brody the Cube is in the chat. Yo Hi Brody. Brody. We're gonna be chatting to him in a little bit, which would be cool. Someone says, um, yep, Chandler. That's all that's all you really <laughs> yeah, need to know. Yep, Chandler. That's, that's, all you that's need. classic Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> that guy someone says that guy has a great future in commentating competitions. <laughs> Just with his face. Just, nope. he, he, yeah. No words required. He can just have his own like little GoPro body cam. That like comes out and just shows his face, and he can just walk around the comp, just hyping everyone up. I, I got to tell him about about this. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be so confused. Someone says, uh, "Are you prouder of your four point two four or four point six nine? Hey, that's a good question. Um. 
four point six nine. I mean, come on, like yeah. personal record. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. But yeah, has a, yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trade that one for the world. Yeah, should have played that one before. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> we have that. Um, yeah, that's so cool. Someone asked. Now, this is actually a good one. Will Patrick ever get a profile picture? Because <laughs> you, you were still rocking the orange P on the YouTube. <laughs> Actually, uh, I did change my profile picture. I just changed it to like a more enhanced version of the orange. <laughs> Wait, yeah, actually, now that I'm looking at this, it's, did you up the saturation a little bit? Um, I had someone do it for me, but I think that's what they did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah calm down, guys. He's already uh, updated it. He's already updated it. That's, that's like a graphic designer's dream yeah. to take someone's pee and just boost the saturation. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> to take someone's like pee thanks <laughs> yeah pay up um that's great oh god <laughs> so Brody has a good anecdote one time my stream mods put patrick in timeout because we thought he was yeah. a faker with no profile picture <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's real <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, for some before on YouTube, YouTube live streams, you used to be able to uh, click on the person in the chat and go to their channel, yeah. but now you can't do that. So people thought it was fake. <laughs> yeah, actually, we have some people like JJ saying the orange P is iconic. So maybe maybe the fans don't want you to change it. Yeah, nah. it's like part of the brand. Nah, don't, hey. don't change it. Nah, I'm not changing it. <laughs> Gil says that what's the worst pronunciation of Ponce? You've received um i don't know i think bonche bonche i don't know i don't i don't i don't think there's a worse one they're all pretty they're pretty oh, really most people get it yeah yeah well well it's actually ponce. Ponce. ponce yeah yeah uh so i guess kind of everyone is getting it wrong all the we time, are all getting it wrong slightly. yeah <laughs> i guess it's very yeah. embarrassing so sorry you yeah, i don't really care though ponce from now yeah, yeah, I've got a, I got a Spanish last name because I'm I'm from Argentina. So yeah, hey, but uh, right. yeah, living living in uh, the U.S. and kind of everyone just using English English pronunciation for names. It's been yeah. pons for you know since I started cubing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Ariel asks Patrick, what color do you usually start with? Now you're color neutral you, now. Yeah. Huh? Yep, I'm color neutral. Um, yeah. for the first. Five years, I solved only on blue and green, but now yeah. I'm color neutral. So, yeah. Cool. And actually, next year I'll be hitting five years since I became color neutral. So now I'll be cubing like I'll I've been, spent more yeah. time being color neutral than not. So that's majority, cool. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's great. That's cool. That's yeah. Cool. Ten years next year. So very exciting. Awesome. Some and someone asked on that note. Are you color neutral on big cubes? Yep. Yes, I am. Uh, I do color neutral Yao on oh, yeah. 4x4. Uh, I don't do Yao on cubes bigger than 4x4, but if I were, I would I would be color neutral as well. What is your best 3x3 solve ever? So we know your official is 4.2. Um, my best. You have a fast on official, I'm guessing. Yep. So um, my PV is a two ninety nine from from like four years ago from twenty seventeen. Wow! That I I got I probably I less than a month after four point six nine single. Wow! Uh, and at the time, it was the first sub three ever. So it's like oh, it's like one. Of, it's that's like one of my favorite awesome. it, like uh, yeah accomplishments. That's awesome. Yeah. Besides, yeah, like, official official world record is a lot cool, but unofficial world record is definitely cooler. <laughs> yeah, well, at the time, it's like the very fast. So that's insane. Yeah. Yeah. It's so fast. Yeah, I've never been. I've yeah. never been able to to uh, to beat it. Unfortunately, yeah. I've never gotten another two. I have gotten a lot of threes. I usually I usually get a three every other day, but I haven't yeah. been able to get a two. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's just not. <laughs> Damn, it's way okay. too hard. I, I get I get a lot of threes. Too. Yeah, same. I'm, 
probably on, on, probably on, on, on the two by two once in like an that. average of a hundred easily. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's which cube you're doing. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about two by two, aren't yeah, we? Talking, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he's talking about the two by yeah. two. <laughs> Brody asks, um, "What did you dress up as for Halloween?" That is, that's an important question to ask. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't celebrate. Hol- uh, so I didn't. I didn't. I went finish championship was on Halloween this year, so I didn't. I didn't yeah, celebrate that time. Yeah, that's. that's but if it, if I cool. were, I probably would have hopped on some trends like uh, some Squid Game or something some like that. Game. Fair enough. Did yeah. you dress up? Yeah. Um, I had a terrible Halloween. I I had I had this really bad nightmare. <laughs> that that you were in actually yeah, yeah that's course. funny i had a similar similar dream I, I would i prefer not to talk about it actually the trauma is still there <laughs> shout out to vintage weekends from saudi arabia Ooh. um oh cool saudi arabia that's where drew brinsky is right now oh really awesome <laughs> He's this guy that uh, he's a travel vlogger, and his go- longtime goal was to travel to every country in the world. Yeah. And oh, yeah. he just finished by visit by visiting Saudi Arabia. Ah. He he's been he's now, he's now been to every country in the world. Every single, whoa, that's every insane. single country, even even North Korea. Like he's been there. <laughs> oh, that's like the bucket list of all bucket lists. Damn. Awesome. I think it's on, on my bucket list to visit North Korea. True. Maybe True. if it opens up. Oh. Cube rhythm saying that 2021. How's the solve going? Yeah. It I I don't understand why someone would subject themselves to this. It's for it's it's for a good cause. That's that's all I can say. Wait, what was I doing? He's taking his time. I thought I was in the middle of making a bar and the bar just vanished. Speaking of big cubes, Patrick, what's the like highest order puzzle you've ever solved? Uh, <laughs> it's going to sound pretty bad, but uh, seven by seven. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So I good. think me too, probably. Yeah, I don't think. Do, do yeah. you, you compete in seven by seven as well, right? Um, yeah, I do. Um, I don't know how, I don't, I don't think I'm not particularly good, but I do yeah. compete in it. Unfortunately, I don't, I didn't have one going in to this year. So I don't have a seven by seven with me or a six by six for that matter. So I, what? I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do because I have a competition this month on the 27th, oh. I believe, and it has seven by seven and six by six. So I mean, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you are sponsored by like two companies. So, yeah, yeah. You, I, I, and you are Patrick Ponce, like yeah. the guy, the guy who got five out of five on Ting Man's trivia. Yeah. Like anyone's gonna be like, please <laughs> you, use my seven by seven, take it. <laughs> it's like hey, you're the guy who oh, world record? No, no, five <laughs> by five on Ting Man's trivia. Yeah, you got all all five questions right. <laughs> it's like here, you can just keep my seven by seven, please. Give it a kiss and keep it. <laughs> Give me a kiss and keep it. After, after sanitizing it, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Clearly, yeah. Um, here's a bit, it's a bit of a generic question for you, Patrick, but I think it's, a, it's, it's an important one. What, what are you hoping for 2022? Or what, are you, what, what are you hoping next year is going to be like um, for you and also like for, for the world in, in, in general? Um, so for 2022, I'll be finished my first year of university. So... Hopefully, yeah. you know, that goes well. I finished. Uh, this is actually uh, essay writing week. So right now is a great kind of break from just spending the entire day writing stuff and reading yeah. and compiling. Yeah. But um, so yeah, that's like in terms of academics, um, I obviously want to be cubing. I hope that cubing stabilizes more. Um, competitions yeah. are on the rise, thankfully. You know, trying to get yeah, back yeah. to the numbers that they were at before the pandemic. Um, but yeah, just, you know, hopefully just going through this, hopefully more people are getting vaccinated, higher rates of vaccination yeah. across the world, border, borders opening up, that whole thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. 
Let's make it happen, guys. Yep. <laughs> Please do the right thing and get vaccinated for Patrick Pons. Phoenix, Patrick, do you think pineapple belongs on pizza? Oh man, that's kind of the ultimate question. It is, it is the ultimate. <laughs> um, yes, it does belong on pizza. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are we all in agreement? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The pineapple boys. That is right. It's Hope, it's very. You haven't lost so many fans from that. <laughs> now. Just lost a hundred subscribers <laughs> just by saying that. It's it's very divisive. It's 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 very controversial. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah. It's like that extra little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like it. Nothing. I like it a lot. It's so good. It's, it's very unique. Yeah. It's like it's happy it's days. Cool. It's happy days. <laughs> it's happy days. <laughs> 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 happy days. When you've got pineapples, happy days forever. Happy days, boys. Where are those pieces? What? Who is Patrick's favorite son and why is it Derpy Cuba? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question. I, mean, I don't know how you answer. You that, don't have but... to answer this question. But... We can just look at it for a bit. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> he's pretty dirty. He's you know? pretty. Makes he's make, a dirty makes him. He is. He makes him favorable. It does. Of all the Cubas, he's one of them. I, I'm thinking. <laughs> that's right. In my opinion, my humble opinion. <laughs> Actually, I had well, the. Uh, oh, sorry. What's up? Sorry, I had you the great over. opportunity to see him because we were both registered for this competition in Colorado for yeah. the second <clears throat> week of August, and then it got yep. cancelled. Oh, oh no! Uh, it, we, it was, it was, it was me, him, and a couple of other guys. Well, a couple of other guys. It was J.R. Cuber, you know, Just a couple, and, uh, couple Andreas Gonzalez and Stephen Griggs. Yep. We Sweet. we were gonna go, um, so we had already had accommodation and flights booked and all that. So we decided to go anyway. So we just we just chilled instead of going to do competition. So I I was able to see him before I left. Thankfully, that's so good. Sweet. Yeah, he's he's killing it with like his his jazz at the moment. He's oh yeah, he's he's, he's a phenomenal pianist, and it's it's yeah. actually phenomenal. I'm really looking forward to just like being able to listen to him. Like all, all his albums on, yeah. you know, Spotify or whatever. Like, he's gonna make it so big. That's also amazing. Absolutely, feeling it. Someone says Saudi. There's <clears throat> never been any competitions in Saudi Arabia. Maybe one day that can happen. That will change, surely. 2022, maybe, or maybe 2023. Do you know how many yeah. countries have had competitions? I wonder. It's definitely it be yeah, it'll definitely be one of those like. Um, you know statistics that you can mm. find that um, we'll have that one for patrick next year yeah. yeah we'll ask him how many countries have had competitions <laughs> before that will stump you no you can't look at it until <laughs> that's then. that's something that would like be really interesting to figure out it's probably yeah. really easy to figure out with like algorithms and stuff but i would rather just yeah. like camp them yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> actually let's take a quick look at um the habitat for Humanity Australia website where we're already at nearly six and a half grand. Woo! I think that's actually basically another thousand since we started. So thank you everyone for the donation. Nice. Thanks so much, everyone. That's amazing. We'll be shouting out some of the donors um in a little bit. That's but, actually so good. Yeah. This photo is a bit creepy. Is it just me? Uh <laughs> no, it actually is creepy. <laughs> um. <laughs> I I can't look away though. But yeah, that's why it's so good. Only four thousand to go to get to the goal. So Ooh. thank you, everyone. Keep donating. Um, if you're just joining the stream and you missed the um, intro earlier, we're raising money for Habitat for Humanity Australia. Who, um, as you can see in the vision here, they want to give everyone in the world a safe and decent place to live, and they build houses from um, in impoverished countries. And uh, yeah. We'd try and do our best to raise money for them and help some families out. So, thank you everyone for the donations and, um, yeah, so it's good, going good so far. Yeah. What 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 time is it there where you are now, Patrick? Um, it is eleven twenty oh. in the evening. <laughs> yeah. PM. Yeah. I'm guessing you have a lot of late nights up. 
writing essays and studying their hair. Yeah, yeah. Just living the life, you know. The grind. <laughs> the grind. The grind. It's it's happy days. Hey, being at a it's I mean being days. at Oxford is like incredible. Like so many people want to do that. So what a great what a great opportunity that you have. It's bloody great. Let me it's, it's, add some more slang for you. It's great, isn't it? In it. In Proper it. group. <laughs> No, we are not, we are not getting it right. Sorry, all the British people <laughs> yeah. in chat. Yeah, so sorry. <laughs> Please don't hate us. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Patrick. I don't think I want to um, keep you up any 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 longer. Yeah, you've let you given go. us a lot yeah, of time. No worries. Thank you so much. Really for coming it. on. Congrats thank on you. the, the hope win. You got, I hope you have a very successful fundraiser. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I really, I really am looking forward to you know the up, upcoming comps that you have, and yeah, like you said, fingers crossed, more competitions, more like op opportunities for us to get together, and for more records to be broken with with your name. Absolutely, your name on it. Yeah, exciting times. So, guys, just another reminder: if you haven't already, <laughs> there's a link in the chat. Go check out Patrick's channel. Yeah, give him a sub. Go and sure. watch Chandler hype him on in the most recent video. <laughs> yeah, you actually won't regret it. <laughs> you will not regret um, it. Yeah. And yeah, thanks so much, Patrick. Do you have any final message for the audience or for the world? For the world, <laughs> your fans. Um, no. <laughs> uh, stay keeping. <laughs> Enjoy watching yeah. Sigma and solve this twenty-one by twenty-one, and and donate and <laughs> get vaccinated and go to competitions. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> Bye. Perfect. Happy days. <laughs> Thank you. Happy days. <laughs> yep. Happy See days. You. Thank you, Patrick. See ya. See ya. He's a good man. I don't. Awesome. I can't actually remember if I've met him in person, but yeah, he's such 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 a great guy. Was he at Worlds? Um, yeah, he was at Worlds, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. We ask these questions now that he's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, if only we had Patrick. If, if only we could ask him. If only we could ask him these questions, but it's just unreachable. Yeah. Anyway, this is the current progress, guys. Just for a little update. This is where we currently stand. What's that? Like seven bars? Eight bars? Uh, nine, actually. Nine. Wow. If you're wondering why that one's missing, I, I just that just that bar just looks nicer to make. So I just, <laughs> I just got went to that one first. Because you do what the cube says, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you follow what the cube wants. It's yeah. like you follow what the cube wants. It's like the customer is always right. The twenty-one by twenty-one is always right. Well, yeah. I mean. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, one of the coolest things, actually, is that like I, I, I'm really wanting this um, live stream today to be a celebration of the Cuban community, uh, and so I actually collected a bunch of videos from people, uh, sort of uh, from around the world, around the, the Cuban community as well, to encourage uh, you guys to get into uh, the charity. Uh, and yeah, we're going to hear from uh, the very first person now, who is Michael. <laughs> it's, it's, you're in for a treat. You, you, want, <laughs> you, you want to watch this. <laughs> Hey there everyone, my name is Michael Chipotle and I'm the current OCR holder for MultiBlind and Team Names brought me onto his charity stream today to ask you guys, the audience, one simple question. Every donation from this stream is going to go to Habitat for Humanity Australia, allowing them to build more homes for people in need. And if enough people watching this stream right now donate, then we're going to smash the goal of $10,500 or three homes built. To you, Tingman, thanks so much for using your platform as a force for good, aiding those in need. It's genuinely an amazing thing to see. Best of luck with the solve, and remember that Tink is behind you all the way. Take care, guys. Hey, Michael Tripodi. <laughs> That man, that yeah. guy, those moves. That was, I actually, when I first saw that video this morning, <laughs> I kind of died. That was amazing, Michael. But he's right, because have you donated? That is have the you? question. That is the question. Have, have you donated? <laughs> I've actually just refreshed it again. And we've actually, since we're looking at it with Patrick, another $200. So we're getting closer yes, and closer. Thank you. We should have some shout outs. We should. Yeah. 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 And I'm thinking at 7,000, what do you guys want to see happen when we get to 7,000? I will. I'm. I'm your guinea pig, guys. I'm here to give you some incentives. I'm not going to shave my head on stream. At seven thousand, I will do something. TNL has to wear wear this hat. I. <laughs> come on, like. Uh... Yes. 
It's like my dream coming true, actually. It's, it's, I'm not an know. elf, actually. Or are you? I'm. Imagine if you were taller than me. And I was just. I'm on like th three seats right now. Maybe I am taller than you, and you just never realized it. <laughs> um, let's go and have a look at some donations. So, refresh here. Um, Michael has given Team Tingman and Team Olor. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Team Olor got way more love though. I'm sorry, Tingman. Look, for, for the charity, that is amazing. Thank you Thank so you. much, Michael. That's amazing. Steven with $52. Jamison, wishing you the best and reaching your goal. Maximilian, thank you. Yes. Anonymous, anonymous. So anonymous. Agnes, Elias. Hey, Ting Men, great oh, to see you, you raising funds for a good cause. Thank you for showing that change in the world is possible. Good luck. It's beautiful. That Simon, is such a good message. You. Yeah. Liam, thank you. Jamie, hi, Ting Men. Good luck for the stream. I won't be able to watch it live because I'm in Ireland. Oh, yeah. All good. Thank you, everyone, for the donations. Lauren, Panda Cuba, who have we announced? Yes, Panda, Panda is Cuba be is going to be joining us Ooh. as um, a co-host with myself. She's just getting her hair done because yeah. she takes these live streams very seriously. She, she wants to yeah. have the best first impression with you. Yeah, I mean, who, who doesn't? Right. I, I actually got my I, I head on this morning. Not sure if you can tell. <laughs> Not really, actually. I woke up back there. Do you, do you actually... I mean, you've got a hair, hair care... Is now important. No, it's not. More, not. Not no like Pantene Pro V. Well, I'm not going to share with you guys how much I wash my hair because it's, it's not, not enough. Like two hours a day. It's not it's enough. Just like no, it's honestly out of the shower. A little yeah. bit of um, like give, give give us one of these, one of these like hair things. Ugh. And then it's just push it back and just see what happens. It's a bit different every day. Yeah, well, we saw get happened. some get some of these thingos. <laughs> it's terrible, honestly. I kind of want to cut it. Um, where were we? <laughs> I don't Donations. Know where, where we are. Um, wait, should I do one of Whoops. Zoom in a bit here so you guys can see them a bit oh, better. Oh, technology. Yeah. I'm not sure if you, Ting Man probably didn't know you could do that. He's oh, no. A bit I'm... of an old soul. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lauren Panicuba, who will be joining us later, donated 100. Thank you for supporting this wonderful cause. Enjoy solving your 21. Well, that's a big ask. It's going to be painful, but you look like you're enjoying it. So far. I actually am sort of enjoying it. It so seems far. like therapeutic. Yeah, it's actually pretty fun. Um, Anna Marie, a great example of the things we can accomplish together. Yeah. There's her Instagram if you want to go check her out. She um, is. Thank you, Jordan. She's on Team Daily Puzzles as well. Ooh. Oh, really awesome. Um, David and Chantel, thank you. Rebecca, Madeline, Arisandra. I'm guessing Ari there. It's Ari. Who's currently sleeping? Oh, really? Because Ari is sleeping. That's his, that's oh. his Instagram. Uh, I thought you were serious. Handle. I don't know. He might be asleep. He could be. Yeah. Stephen, thank you. Gil, and this way we want to give a massive thank you. Oh man, five hundred dollars to Gil donating five hundred dollars. He is an absolutely amazing figure in the community who we all look up to, and he is really like so selfless and doing so much for us. Also, yeah. Um, he's actually him and some other uh, amazing cubers who are like doing software and um, creating a lot of great tools are going to have a little promo later in the day yeah. where you can check out some of like the cool cool websites and resources that's available to cubers. Who, so which, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll be hearing more from that in just a little bit. So we're going to have uh, Brody on in just, in just a few minutes actually, which is super exciting. Uh, before we do, I actually just really want, if you could just go jump to the very bottom of the, um, the, the donations. Yeah. Uh, because our first donation came from Daily Puzzles, aka Billy, which is super, super generous. With the one thousand um, hymns. Yeah, thank you so much thank for donating you. that. Uh, and he's actually said that on top of that, he would really love to um, help, like promote donations by giving a ten dollar, a ten percent cash back on on every donation that's made, which is yeah, pretty well, amazing. So everyone who has donated so far. If you email uh, Daily Puzzles and like let them know you know your name and how much you donated, if you donate it like you know hundred dollars, you get ten dollars into like I think it's like a Daily Puzzles Lo loyalty, loyalty program yeah. or something. Yeah, so you can take that off your order, obviously. Yeah, yeah. but like the people who donated like five hundred dollars, that's fifty bucks. It's like fifty dollars like, that that they're gonna give you that you can just like spend a on free like thing, new flagship, cube. which that's is awesome. which is really really generous of them. So yeah, we are very grateful 
uh, for doing that. And Billy, Billy can get um, himself a hundred dollar cube for free. Billy actually, <laughs> he can cash in his own loyalty program he if he if he needs a new cube. And so, if he wants, he can also get a hundred dollar cube. Yeah, which which will be great. So thank you very much for that. We might be hearing a little bit more uh, from Daily Puzzles later, but uh, are, are you excited about having Brody here? I'm very excited. I am, I am actually so yeah. keen. Um, I, I, I said at the start of the chat that these are people who I've respected for a long time because I still see myself as being like relatively new on the cubing scene. Like I, I think I started four years ago now, three years, three years, three, three years ago. Yeah, yeah 2018 great. was when I first got in and I learned my, I, I actually learned so many, I think Brody's like how to be sub 20. I w I've seen at least five or six times in its entirety, <laughs> just like studying it and being like, yeah, okay. And actually systematically working on stuff. And it's one thing I've always appreciated about his videos. He's just systematic yeah. about it. It's not random. It, it obviously didn't work for you. Like you probably need to have a few that's, more run throughs right. of those videos. That's, that's very harsh. <laughs> It's true. It's hard. No, that's, that's, that's but not most true. of you, I am sub 20 now. Most <laughs> people who are, you know, have a bit going on in their head can watch his videos and they will definitely help you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm no, sorry no, too, I'm, man. I'm not really sorry though. No, you're not sorry. I'm just sorry that, no, not at all actually. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, even... say it. don't say it. Yeah. Um, but I think it is time. I think it is time to bring him in. Yeah. Let's bring in. Brody hey. the Cuba. Hey, it's Brody. Woo. What's up? What's up? How's it going, man? It's going fantastic. How are you two? We're it's good. So yeah. good. Um, so what what time is it for you? Like we're it um, is 7:32. It is 7:32 p.m. in the uh -huh. Eastern time zone in the US. Okay, so it's not like this terrible ungodly time. No, this actually worked out really well. Yeah. If only, yeah, like, yeah, I, I was worried that like I was gonna get stuck with the the last time slot and it was gonna be really rough, but it worked out great. <laughs> yeah, no, we are so happy to have you. Oh, yeah. thank you. I'm Sorry super happy to be here. I I yeah. heard that that brutal diss just before I came <laughs> on here. That was rough. Do you Dude. think there's a chance you could maybe give Ting Man some one on one coaching because he really <laughs> oh. needs it? Like he's struggling. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> Look, I'd I've, be happy to anytime. Dude, I've, I've done that much. That's that's not struggling. Like that's that is fun. that is very impressive for how long yeah, you've been working at this, and you haven't been able to put your full focus to it. You've been chatting this whole time as well. I've been exactly. sitting next to this guy. That's that's the hardest. <laughs> thing. I'm a good distraction. That's yeah, the biggest <laughs> distraction that could exist. And down the hardest <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so our third host, who's going to be joining us later, Lauren, is actually so bummed that she isn't here because she said she literally learned her G terms from you. Yeah. You know, oh like, wow. And I can I can trace a lot of my yeah a lot of like the key things in like my cubing I guess development from you as well. So I guess I actually personally just want to thank you. You know, thank you for all the time that you've spent over the years just making those videos, which. Um, yeah, like it's just a very, very kind thing that you've done for the Cuban community. And also I mean, yeah, that, it means so much to hear that. Like, as I'm sure, I'm sure both of you have experienced this. It's easy to undermine the things that you personally have done. Yeah. And I do that to myself plenty. I, a lot of the time, think of like the things I do, the videos I make as replaceable, as if anyone could have done that. And yeah. then hearing, hearing this sort of feedback really sort of makes it hit home that i've done something special and it means the world to me to hear that kind of stuff yeah, yeah definitely awesome. definitely yeah i remember i haven't i haven't seen too many of your tutorials but i remember watching your videos with the rubik's brand you yes them up, so that's what yes. the first videos i saw of yours and they were uh i really enjoyed them i was keeping along to them like that must be like a couple years ago now yeah, yeah, so that crazy was challenges. Yes, uh, Ting Man, you have the like the most popular comment on the one where I had. I think it was thirty nine millimeter three by three. Really? Oh, yeah. really? But also with with the Rubik's brand one, that's that was like one of the most fun videos to make. And yeah, little little background story from that that like people in the comments have noticed. So the first time, the first segment of that video is me driving with my brother to Walmart to buy a Rubik's Brand cube. <laughs> yeah. And we we did that segment and actually bought a cube, got back to my house and discovered that the microphone wasn't turned on. Oh, what? So then the next day, the we 
we faked it. We drove to Walmart to the parking lot and then pretended like we went in and came back. But so many people in the comments noticed I was wearing a completely different shirt. And (laughs) that's great. But that was that was a lot of fun. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) At least Uh, you have the excuse that it was a technical difficulty. It's not like you you faked going to Walmart and you already had like a Rubik's brand at home. You were just like totally (laughs) yeah. Oh wow. Although who knows with the internet these days, like this this may not even be Brody. This could be an Android who's talking to you us right know. now. Is there I anything? Could have you... <laughs> Sorry, what? Can you prove that you are Brody? Is there anything that you that you would say right now that only you would say? Uh, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> you're lying. That's that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's I, I hear the tone in there. That's definitely. <laughs> Do I need, I need to? to... <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> oh, that's nostalgic. That is actually amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we, we have a few questions for you, Brody. And the first oh, one, I am really excited to ask. We, we've seen like, I'm sure a lot of people have seen them as well. Um, was it a year or maybe a, two years ago nearly? Um, you and QB and Coda did your pull-ups, like one yes. soul, uh, one turn, one pull-up challenges. Uh-huh. Have, you, have you kept up your training and how many pull-ups can you do now? So, um, at my, I, I still work out, uh, three times a week with some friends of mine. I'm so in that respect, I've been keeping up my training with pull-ups specifically, uh, a few months after that. So last August I did my best ever. Uh, I did 12 pull-ups in a row, which, which I was super happy with. Um, and that, that was about, uh, that was about 20 pounds ago. So now now i could probably do six or seven um but i'm still not afraid to take on cubing encoded in fact i've offered to take him on multiple times and he has not responded to oh he's getting it now i've 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 placed this bet multiple times on instagram maybe even other places that i'll take (laughs) him on again and the winner gets to gets to post a trailer for their channel on the loser's channel (laughs) Actually, we've just got a, one from Cube Rhythms, who I'm sure you've seen, and I, I think you have the top comment on it. His muscle up challenge. Are yeah, that one. Take- I um, it would take some serious training to be able to do a single muscle up. Oh so my gosh! Give me, I can't even imagine. Give me a few years, and I'll I'll maybe be there. That, but that's yeah. seriously that's a lifetime goal of mine is to be able to do a yeah. muscle up. I saw because Blue did a lot of them. In that he video, did, it I was like something correctly. like 80, 80, 80 something. over 80, maybe a hundred even. Eight, eight, zero. Yes. Yes. What? No. And it's all on film. They, it's all they there. Were, they were the, the kipping ones where you get the momentum from your legs, yeah. but still, that's It was over a long period of time, but still, there is no still. way. And Blue can confirm this for us. I think he's in the chat. Well, obviously, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Simon Cheese here as well, who's another guest coming on later. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yes. 111 uh, what no that's that's literally like two entire solves of moves that's crazy <laughs> yeah because I, I believe he messed up halfway through he did nothing happened yeah that's insane that dude. is insane that's not human that, i don't think anyone's fake. game to take him on nope nope definitely not that is a Been big muscle nope. ups. The other, the other thing is, I know Rami got like two and a half minutes with the one turn one pull up, which is kind of oh. ridiculous. He was, he's had some speed on him. Yeah, that was crazy. He's, That's he's, amazing. he's more efficient than I am, and he's more buff than I am. So I don't know if I can compete with that. Yeah, but that that, that was definitely a great era when everyone was yeah. getting in on that with the pull ups. That was fun. That was see. that was so much fun. It, it's great it when so like good. challenges yeah. like that involve like heaps of people in the community and everyone comes together and yeah like, yeah has a go but of course like... the best person to compete with is yourself yeah yeah that's what yeah. Cool about. Just, so, just so everyone knows <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah for sure I, I i was gonna say the one thing i really appreciate about a lot of your videos is how thoughtful they are yeah um, i actually really love the ones that you've had like your dad in um yes like, that was so so great to just hear like just a different perspective that the sorts of videos that i really enjoy watching um just i don't know just more different insight 
Uh, yeah. and is it is it your dad who's a like psychologist or yes or if my dad's in the chat right now huge shout out to him he is he's the closest thing i have to a coach he yeah keeps my mindset in check he makes sure like when i compete i'm eating and drinking and i'm staying alert yeah. and like without that i would not be able to compete half as well as i do not to mention that he he drives me he gets hotels i have wow. infinite admiration infinite gratitude for all he's done to help me compete over the over the six years i've been competing shout out to brody's dad that's so amazing <laughs> yeah and, and to, to don't my mom as well she hasn't come to quite yeah. as many but she's been equally supportive throughout the entire yeah. thing yeah that's so good yeah they're just like when you have people like that it, they sort of they inspire you to want to be better and want to be like like them as well you know like to yes. when, when, you know, when, when you have kids like you you want to be that kind mm -hmm. of man as well yeah of course yeah. yeah so good oh there's my there's my dad in the chat jason b lastner in the chat oh he's in the chat yeah. oh yes. he says let me get it he says we love you brady oh <laughs> yeah so good oh yeah uh shout out to my mom yesterday she got her hip replaced and she's currently hopefully recovering in bed yeah wow that's huge yeah that's Switches, a big procedure. Yeah. yeah wow. Uh, yeah. 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 No. Definitely. Thoughts and prayers with her too. For, um, with her too. Mm -hmm. All right. We've got some. We've got a. We've got a Brody quiz, don't we? Yeah. Oh, we do. Ooh. I, I, prom I promise. I did not like. I watched the Patrick Ponce one, and I did not yeah, look okay. up any of those. Good. Good. I, I, I was. I was wondering. But it's time to play. How well does Brody know Brody? Dun, 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 <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure about <laughs> where, where, where that came from. Hi. Ooh. I'm your host, Tom, or TNL Cubing. And this week on How Well Does Brody Know Brody, Brody's going to see how well Brody knows Brody. Woo! And we're joined by Brody. Yay, Brody! Hey. We love you, Brody! <laughs> Woo, we love you! Okay. <laughs> you, you can hear us clearly, right? Probably of sponsored course. by Gong Cha. Hmm. Are you taking a break already, Ting Man? Oh. I'm thirsty. I've been oh, working man. hard. Let me just. There we go. Set you back a bit. The first question for Brody. Question one. Yes. In Cubing USA Nationals 2018, you oh, made the no. final 16 and participated <laughs> in the 3x3 finals. Okay, so 2018 US Nats. Yes. In the three by three finals, what place did you end up coming? And I've been, oh. can you name the top three solvers? <laughs> okay, so I finished in sixteenth place with a ten twenty eight average. <laughs> yep. That's... First, uh, first place was Felix. Uh, second place was Bill Wang, and I think third was Max Park. So close. Ah. Second place was Philip Vier. Otherwise, oh. oh, I think we give that to you. You got your yeah, exact yeah, time you have and that. two out of three. That that has haunted nice. me for for a long time. That if it's not still uh, Phil Lewicki's most popular video, it it was for a long time. And the first thing everyone saw was me still with my long hair getting a plus two. Oh, I think no, I was wrong. Remember that video? Yeah, you That's can painful. you can thank um, Lauren or Panda Cuba for that. <laughs> ridiculous question but you actually <laughs> pretty much got it yeah that's a <sighs> pretty like, insane question you, you helped her with g perms yeah. you <laughs> rid her of that stress in her life and she's given you this first question so <laughs> thanks lauren i hope she's thank watching you for that head, yeah <laughs> and is at least a bit disappointed that you actually got it in the end anyway. <laughs> that's one from one nice <laughs> question two your youtube video Tiny Rubik's Cube solved in under eight seconds. I I'm guessing there was some good clickbait as well. Oh, of course. I, I would love to read yeah, it. It's all about the clickbait. Was released in July 2020. Yes. What cube were you solving and how long was the video? <laughs> it was a Yushin keychain cube, I think, with just the keychain bit taken off. And yep. I want to say it was 33 or 34 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Actually, pretty much in the middle, 33 minutes and 43 seconds. So wow. So nearly 34 minutes. Damn. I, that's good. That's good. How do you remember that? I'm curious. Um, 
because that's like the longest video that I've ever edited, and yeah, no. I'm. I literally sat there with my parents watching the the video before it went live, getting their yeah. views on it, and I was thinking this is a this is a big risk. This is a really long video, but I'm so happy with every single joke in there that I didn't want to <laughs> cut any of it. Yeah, good. Good thing you didn't. Yeah, Brody. So too, oh, you got the, you got the bottom scroll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah bottom scroll. <laughs> I just no expense maneuvered expense. that. Yeah, this is a top quality production here yes. on the main channel. Two out of two. <laughs> Wait, actually, let me just. Bear with me for a second. That's what I've been doing this entire time. Mm -hmm. How's how are you coming on the blue center? All Let's right. See. Hey. I'm just worried for time. I'm. I think I'm going at a good pace, but I mm -hmm. actually need to finish this in the next like six hours. <laughs> so. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna keep going. Fan to Cuber, I do appreciate these questions, but it it does reveal. Yeah. How how self obsessed I am to know all of these things about myself. No, I don't think so. It's just <sighs> I mean, good good self awareness. Let's go with to, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is probably the most intense thing I've ever done. Here we go. What, what are you about? I'm to, I'm, you about cr I'm creating banners on the go. Boom. Oh, yes. Wow. yes. Thank you. It's I don't know how to space them, so it's like really messy, <laughs> and there's like a massive gap in the middle. <laughs> you just see nothing for a while. But just imagine, imagine that it looked good, and yeah, you can do the rest. It looked good. Okay, well, two out of two though. Question nice. three. What is the title of your very first YouTube video that's visible on the channel? Oh, the. Okay, it's called This is Brody the Cuber, posted on April 24th, 2015. And if Wait. I don't know if I don't know if comments are still allowed on there, but if the comments are, I know there's a comment from Dan Brown, the the original tutorial guy Dan on Brown. there. Wow. Wow. That's, well, you you went above cool. and beyond we should need the date, but you've given it, so Bonus point? I don't yeah, know. Bonus point. <laughs> you get a bonus point that's that. that's pretty impressive. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. Is is it is it a pretty significant memory? You know, is it a uh well I mean good moment for you? It was getting Dan Brown to comment on there was significant. Because I like right. I in like towards the end of 2015, I sent him an email talking about I learned how to solve from your tutorial and like when I was like eight years old. Yeah. This is this is how far I've come. Yeah. And and he commented on it. And yeah, wow. I, it's so like getting these moments where the people that originally inspired me, like them acknowledging me now is still in, like incredible. Yeah. A couple of months ago, um, I can't pronounce the guy's name, but the Eric, his last name starts with an A, the guy who got the 708 world record. Yep. So yep. Um, watching that world record video is what like motivated me to get my first Rubik's cube. Yeah, and a, wow. few, a few months ago, he commented when I shared one of my, it was like a low seven average of 25 on Facebook. He complimented that average. And like, that's, Damn. that's like going full circle. And it was incredible. Exactly, yeah. That's so great. Wasn't he, isn't he one of the founders of the WCA or something as well? Possibly. I, yeah. I've seen he had like some of the very first world records Yeah, back in the day. Um, that's so great. Wow. So four out of three. <laughs> Never Dang. been done before. <laughs> I needed to beat Patrick somehow. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. You have yeah, if you, you just have to get one of these right to tie with him, and you can beat him if you get both. Yes. Oh, it's Patrick. like you can't beat five out of five, but actually you can. <laughs> I Imagine found a way. Five out of five. Maybe we need harder questions, but <laughs> They're hard questions. They are hard questions. Yeah. How can you remember your first like anything? Question four. Your very first competition was in 2015. But what was the time of your first three by three average at that competition? Um 21.89. <sighs> is that is that actually? Yeah, that's spot on. 
I, I was worried that you were going to ask me the first time because I wasn't as sure time. about that one. Uh, but yeah, I know yeah. the first average. Damn, that's good. Five, five out of four. <laughs> <sighs> Literally, I do a I do a trivia team thing with some friends of mine every Thursday night, and I wish yeah. I was this. I wish I was this good <laughs> at that trivia. If, if all the trivia was just about you. <laughs> Oh my! Liter- I have a story actually. There was yeah. one one day of trivia a few weeks ago where, go like after all the main questions, there were two teams tied for first place, and my team was not one of them. And so there was a tiebreaker question that my team did not get to participate in. And the tiebreaker question was, I kid you not, what is the world record for the most layers on a Rubik's cube? What? And I I knew it you like immediately so. I go 30 33 and n- oh, none of the other teams knew it and we're all just going oh if we had gotten a few more of the questions right in the main competition could have won yeah yeah oh, that sucks wow so 5 out of 4 you've already tied Patrick yes <laughs> Now is your chance to crush him. Poor Patrick. He's Listen, like the only on. the he's only time set... I'll beat Patrick at anything. <laughs> he's come on, he's set the record and he's gone he's gone to bed or back to study, <laughs> feeling good right. about himself. He's like, Yeah, I really, I really set Team Van history. And now Brody comes on our second guest and he's ready to crush Patrick's dream. Listen, maybe my mom was right. Maybe I am a good boy. <laughs> it just destroyed him. Okay, I, I believe, in my opinion, the fifth question is the very hardest, though. So, Excellent. I can't wait. We'll see if you if you can get it. You're you're pretty fast at one handed, and yes. um, your best average is eleven point nine one, right? Yes. Do you know where you currently rank in the world for that average? Uh, um, let me. This is going to be approx. Um, yeah, approximately. It's between 60th and 70th in the world. Yes, I'll give you the point. Can you tell me if it's over? Is it between 60 and 65 or 65 and 70? We, you you have, we have to make him work for, for this last point. My guess was actually going to be 65, but um, I'm going to go between 60 and 65. It's 67th. I'm sorry. No. Oh, no. Ah. Damn. 65 would have been just too off. It might have, yeah, you might have gone down a little bit recently. I know. Uh, when I set that, it was 56th. And oh, so it's. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, and that was like right before everything shut down. So yeah, I've been I've been kept artificially high for the past year and a half. Yeah. <laughs> well. Still, Brody, um, what five out of five out of five? That's all right. You I tied. Mean, I mean, that is one hundred percent. That so. is one hundred percent on the <laughs> test. Technically, if you the bonus point and the they cancel each other out. Mm-hmm. If I get if I get that on the the quiz, I'm waiting on grades for right now. I'd be ecstatic. You'd be happy. You'd be happy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think most people would be happy with one hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, there's some crazy people like Brody who will get bonus points and like want to get 100 and oh, 120% on the test. Point. I wish I could have gotten the unbreakable six out of five. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh, someone says 5.5. Uh, we're getting a lot uh, of people saying that you should have gotten that point. 5.5 in the chat. Shall we give him 5.5? Yeah. Yeah. 5. You 5. said 5. between 60 and 70. That's like a pretty good guess. It was very All close. Right. It was very close. Yeah. So. Brody, you have actually, we, we've totally just gone back on ourselves, but you have set the record for the Team Man channel. Yes. 5 out of 5. And I think curious, <laughs> Nick says it best. Turns out Brody knows Brody pretty well. Yeah. Hey. The scary thing is I guarantee you there's somebody in the chat who would have known all of that and like the exact number. And so it's scary. Like Brody, you don't even know you don't even know yourself. I get people you sometimes like they they will time. mention like intentionally obscure things that I've done on my channel, and I think it's an attempt to 
get me to acknowledge what a big fan they are. And it's at the same it's time, what... it's it's like an honor that people like are this devoted. It's also a little bit scary because like it's how what, close are they to figuring out my address? Point. How close are they to, <laughs> are they to figuring out everything? It's why we have a legal system. Yeah, it's it's why <laughs> it's why restraining orders exist. Yes. Yeah. So it's all good. <laughs> so we have a great question for you, actually, Brody. Wait. <laughs> 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 Patrick, excuse me, Patrick the Cube. How long is that? <laughs> no, we need you to answer. This should have been the fifth question. We just ask it about someone else. This it's the been. curveball. You think it's a quiz about yourself, but actually, how long has Patrick been cubing? And what's your favorite cube? Patrick said he's been cubing about 10 years, right? Did I hear yeah. that correctly? You did your study on the stream earlier. Yeah. I did. I think I think you were Some saying last minute cramming. All right, so yeah, five point five. That's pretty great. Um, do we have any questions in the chat for Brody? He's he's already nailed the trivia. He did. Do you? I, I want to ask. Do you have like a favorite video of your own? Any that you like find yourself going back to and like feeling proud of? Because I know sometimes like I'm proud of the video, and then sometimes after a certain period, like you think, oh, was it that good? But are there any that have like held strong for you and you you were really proud of i think my the video i'm proudest of to this day is the how to actually solve a rubik's cube in five seconds i think yeah, yeah. that's something I, that i love that video that was so good ha, like i think has never been done before i actually had a sub five to like show for the video yeah it like took the took the the thing of people making fake videos on that and like made it real yeah it's like yeah that, I, I i love and that and not to mention like that i really felt like the the attention that video got what like was what it deserved for how well yep. it turned out yeah definitely it's so it's one of those that's like yeah you know clickbait title and you're like now nah, this is gonna be Oh wait, wait! This it's is actually good. This is great. This is really good. It, it draws you in, but you get a reward, like you actually. Yeah. Uh, so, and, and therefore, it's not clickbait. No, clickbait's when you go in. It's and, just and a good thumbnail. Nothing. It's just the, the, yeah, pro it's really the one problem is reward. when the one problem is when non-cubers click on that and see step one is learn or like not step one step two is learn how to solve a rubik's cube <laughs> like yeah. and then oh they're like oh come on what am i supposed <laughs> to do i've seen at here? least five of these videos already the other one said it's just two moves like what is this guy on about <laughs> come on you to actually learn <laughs> come on <laughs> this guy actually expects something of me can't have it yeah we have some really good questions actually what's the most embarrassing cubing moment you've experienced oh man you have um, minutes to share with the world so <laughs> you don't have to na national national finals 2018 is definitely up there oh that right. was that was idea. embarrassing um i mean honestly that took it took a while to like be able to watch that video or yeah like my last nationals was nationals 2019 and i couldn't i physically couldn't stay in the room during three by three finals that year yeah it yeah I, so like, until I somehow make it back and like get the chance to redeem myself, that's always going to be like something I have to deal with. Other than that, um, what comes to, that's the big one that comes to mind, honestly. If yeah, you, I if I like... had some more time to think about it, I could come up with another probably. Yeah. I think everyone's, most Cubists who have been to competitions, like have an, ex have some like degree of that experience where like. Your, your hopes are too high or there's like pressure you're not used to and like you mess up and it's like it feels really bad for everyone if you like get an average that's way worse than your average but when it's like in a national finals and it's like documented yeah. as well i feel i feel you man that must have been hard but yeah for sure i mean there's your channel's going amazing and i'm sure you'll have a chance to redeem yourself in the next i i my channel, I got to start picking up the pace again. I, I've been so busy with school. I haven't made a video in like two months now. Yeah. But I, I found YouTube to be fairly forgiving with that. Like one thing I appreciate about Cube is, uh, with the Cuban community is that there are so many channels. And so yeah. when people take breaks, I don't know, it sort of just ebbs and flows. One channel mm -hmm. just makes a bit more con content. Another one makes more content in another season. Yeah. And so I actually think it's fine to take breaks. You know, I, I, I think mm -hmm. it's healthy for, yeah, for channel 
uh, content creators to take breaks. It's kind of like the thing on YouTube, at least outside of cubing, how everyone like makes a massive deal about if you like stop that yeah. you're just dead forever. Yeah, and YouTube's and never going to recommend you. That's not true. I feel like it's a bit different than that. Yeah. Like I've taken some breaks and I mean, it's a slow start back, but yeah. like, I'm scared that like my first video back is going to only get like 5,000 views and like, and that's going to be like a slippery slope and I've, I'm going to be forgotten a year from now, but like, and that pressure makes it harder to upload as well. Hey, it, it does. I'm, it doesn't help like that. I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. And if I'm not satisfied with like a video idea, or how I think it's going to turn out or like how people are going to respond to it. I will quit yeah. even if I'm like almost completely done with it. Yeah. That's what, that's what your coaches are for. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it will be great, Brady. I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there to watch it. Don't worry. Thank you. I've got to, I need to come up with some, actually, I've got like those two new GAM three by threes. I still need to un make an unboxing and review. I just sure. haven't like, had yeah. two hours where I know I would have my dorm room to myself. Yeah. So I need to record that thing. at some point. Yeah. Yep. Um, Any more questions in chat? Yeah, we have heaps. They've all just flown by, but I saw some good ones back up here somewhere. Um, Brody, what is your number one tip for F12? Number one, one concise thing. Um, Watch, watch my videos. Is that it? <laughs> I, I'm not that conceited. Um, let's, um, but like, I want to say be efficient, but then again, like half the community would also say I'm not very efficient. So I think it would be learn, learn, and learn F2L, like from a, from an intuitive standpoint. So like you're not doing algorithms, you're doing different techniques to the pieces that affect them in certain ways and if you have that knowledge applied in that way as opposed to just an algorithm you can use variations you can apply it to work with the exact situation you have yeah. which will let you do really efficient interesting things like i will find myself doing things during my f2l and i will be able to know for certain i've never done that before i've never transition from one f2l pair cancel it into the next one like that before but because like i know my f2l through these techniques and through these little like through these strategies of how to move pieces around i can come up with them on the fly and just do them whenever i need to it's a good tip that's a good tip that's a good tip I, I but think, of um, course that that does mean Intuitive does not mean do whatever you want. It means yeah, like learn exactly. learn the efficient learn the efficient stuff, but learn what it's doing to the pieces. Yeah, that's good. And living the cube life says, "What's the videos that took you the longest to make? Is it that thirty three minute video? It might be. Uh, actually, actually, the how to be sub twenty. I finished writing the script in. January or February of 2019 and didn't post the video until October of 2020. <laughs> oh, um, wow. Let me see. Um, that's probably the longest. And like, that was actually like in production the whole time. I've had scripts oh, wow. that I like left in like a completed script, but not a completed video for longer than that. But like, that yeah. was actually in progress the whole time. Wow. But that's intense. another one that like is getting up there is going back to the Rubik's brand thing. I mentioned that people might not like that. It's like a modern Rubik's brand. So I actually have an original. Well, not an original. This is from about 2009. Yeah. But like uh, Rubik's I brand. Like one of those. That yeah. I, I recorded the first session of solves on that in July. And I'm not going to spoil like what the best time I got was, but I wasn't satisfied with that time, but I just could not force myself to keep recording that day. And I still want to get back and get my, my goal time on that. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so people can look forward to that. That's going to come sometime. Eventually. I, I'm yeah, not so even good. going to give you an estimate on the timeline there. <laughs> yeah. But at least before 2023. Yeah. No, Let's go with that. Yeah. We, we within that time period. Fingers hopefully. crossed. 
Awesome. Well, I think we've run out of time. Sorry, Brody, but thank yeah. you so much for coming on. You did amazing in the trivia. It was great to have you. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you so much for doing this for such a great cause. Yeah, no, the pleasure is all, all ours. We're so grateful that, that you could join us. Yeah. Thank you again for the impact that you've had on us and the entire community. And um, I mean, the, the fear is always there for sure. And like, you know, with you know, you coming back and making new videos, but I have no doubt mm. it, it'll be embraced. Yeah. And yeah, you'll def you'll get at least two views from us. Yeah. yeah. Thank so you. If that, if that means as, anything. Yeah. As like a message for anyone like that I'm sure that watches like all three of us. You there's I know I have this impression of people I watch and admire that you want to like picture them as being perfect people. But we all are humans who have our own flaws and insecurities. Yep. And yeah. it's something we deal with every time. And if we can deal with it to thousands, even hundreds of thousands of people, you, all of you at home can absolutely achieve your own goals and dreams and do accomplish way more than you could imagine. Well yeah. said. What a great message. Yeah. Thank you, Brody. Really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Make sure. You, oh, um, thank you. Uh huh. Oh yes, figure this out. Um, <laughs> I've I've posted. I'll post it again. Brody's channel in the chat. Make sure you guys thank you check him out and All put right. on the notification so that you you're there when when he comes back. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, that's gonna be good. You'll return with a bang. Um, thank All you right. so much, Brody, for coming yep. on. Thank you, Brody. Thank you, Woo, thank you so it. much for having me. This has been so much yeah, fun. No worries. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Definitely buddy. have to do it again sometime. And, yeah, um, for sure. Have a great night. Yeah. All right. You you two have yeah. a great day. <laughs> See you, See you, man. Oh, I love that guy. Wholesome, wholesome note to end it on, guys. I feel inspired. Like, yeah, I, I feel inspired to. I mean, I'm gonna have to sit here with my enemy for the rest of the day, which is gonna be like, it's pretty hard work. So I feel like with that positive message, I can maybe get through it he's, for another seven hours. He's very, he's very inspirational. It really is one of my favorite things. It's, it's just he's real. You know, yeah. it's not. There's no pretense there. No. yeah and i love the fact too just like the, that he can see the impact that his parents have has had um and it's yeah so good yeah. um we're gonna take a short break and show you guys a another fun community video if you guys remember michael's we have another one which i believe is from you'll see you'll see. yeah you guys will see i'm not sure <laughs> hey ting man thanks for having me for you know the next couple of seconds and thank you so much for doing this and bringing the cuban community together to do good for this world and you know i really hope we can reach our goal also looks like you've got some pretty good progress on that 21 by 21 you can do this man don't give up also thanks to everyone who's already donated for making a difference in the lives of the less fortunate Hey team man, hey everyone, Tom from Noble Cubes here. Just wanted to say, congrats on making it this far, man. I know it's only like two more magnitudes bigger than last time, but it's probably gonna take a little bit longer. You know, a little fun fact, if you turned that cube once every year since you were born, well, you'd be my age. Yeah, not that interesting, I guess. If you guys are still thinking about donating, please do. I know it's a really good cause and it's gonna help out a lot of people. He's done something like this before and I'm sure he can do it again. Keep it up, man, cheers. So good. Thank you, M Cubers and yeah, Noble Cubes. Thanks so much. Oh. So you heard, you heard what they said right, right there. You heard what they said. Yeah. Let's, let's give it a refresh. Actually, we were at six thousand eight hundred. I believe this is refreshed from like, mm -hmm. or, or is that already up to? Holy moly, seven thousand four hundred. That's amazing. Oh god. Well. It's so small. <laughs> it's so small. Why Merry Christmas, say? guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Gil actually said, uh, Shane, the other day, and he said his favorite video that you made is your Christmas song. And I'm like, I believe the first the first line of that song is Ting Man Sucks. Yeah. Like, it's like, he was like, can you, can you perform it? I was like, you want that performance? Ting Man right. Sucks. It's like exactly like that. <laughs> I was in the booth, like, hyping myself up with the mic. Like getting all my pent up frustration and rage out. Take that song. It's so unnecessarily aggressive. It's it like was... this Christmas song and the first line is Take That Song. I just can't, I honestly can't make like any video without like thinking like, hmm, how can I diss Ting Man a little bit in this? Yeah. 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 We're all about that up that awesome. <laughs> we are. Yeah, it's all just wholesome, wholesome vibes on, on this channel. Um. So yeah, in 
I think about in, in five minutes, we're going to have our next guest, um, Cube Rhythms, on. Woo! So get excited for that. And before that, um, yeah, let's read through some of those donations. Uh, like we just saw before, we're up to 7,000. That's like 7,500. Another um, donation from Brody, $78. Thank you, Brody, so much. It was great to have you. Um, Vihan had given 160 thank you so much team ting boy same shout out to noble jeff ed thank you very much for the massive donation marlon um brody the cuba I, I believe that must be his parents simon thank you ben the duke sixton michael mitchell oh yeah and that brings us back to where we were before so Thank you. We're at 7,500. That's only 3,000 away. I didn't have to do the math. I was just looking at Tingman. But 0.75 as well. We're, we're getting there already. I, I think we can definitely do this. I, I, I want to pass it. Surely, yeah. right? Surely we can get past 10,500. Yeah, that's so good. Thank you so much, guys. That's amazing. And maybe if you guys are lucky at 8,000... I might put it on another piece of costuming, which we have on the floor next to us. <laughs> oh man, we've got we've got a lot of weird stuff. And, yeah. and I've actually we've got a lot of weird things. I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Oh no! I told me this earlier, but um, as we were talking about my Christmas song earlier, which hopefully some of you guys haven't seen, it's it's a little bit embarrassing when I rewatch it, but people seem to like it. Um, I've actually prepared an acoustic version of that with some guitars we have here. Um, so maybe when we get to, what do you think? 9,000, 8,000, 9,000? Uh, At some point, if you guys want it, <laughs> if we get some hype in the chat for It's Christmas, I will, I will think about doing an acoustic version for you guys with Team Man's backup vocals. <laughs> I don't know whether I want to endorse such action, but it is for a good cause. We'll we'll, we'll think about it, but um, I'm looking at the chat. <laughs> We're getting some lyrics in all, there. All, all of the, the no's in the chat, yeah. So a few of the marks are just rubbing off and I'm just sort of replacing them. If you've just joined, I've just put a couple of marks on the cube to help with counting which I know makes it not WCA legal, but this was never WCA legal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wait, why would, why would a 21 be WCA legal? We are, we are one bar away from finishing the Blue Center, guys. In, and it's been about an hour and a half. I know, I'm actually getting so worried. It's like, is that how long the first center was meant but to take? It's fine, we've been a bit distracted. We have been you quite distracted. To focus a bit. Yeah. Um, I think we should be okay. It's pretty exponential how it goes. I'm pretty sure, like, the majority of the solvers is just the centers. Yeah. Edges, and then, you know, obviously, a three by three stage is just like super It fast. will speed up. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, it doesn't take too much longer. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, Tom, who do we have coming next? I should, let's get some excitement. Noble Cubes just said use it as a, in a comp. I should, a three by I should three. actually. I mean, it's like well, 21, they... right? So it's layers of seven. If it just turns seven layers at a time. True. Or yes. just the outer layers. I want to see that. Just, just the, the three yeah. by three cells. Yeah. We'll time you. Um, yeah. Yep. Coming up right now, we're going to welcome our next guest, who you guys have definitely all seen. Cube Rhythms. Oh, my he, gosh. This guy. Does it get a any more exciting than <laughs> Cube not. Rhythms? Like, classic videos. If you guys haven't watched every single one of his animations, then you're missing out. It goes back to the red and blue days. And like we were talking about before, he's also... He's shown pretty much everyone up with his 111 muscle-ups, was it? <laughs> it's insane. And if, if you guys haven't seen his most recent video, you might be a little bit surprised at his new style he's gone for. So let's let's bring in Cube Rhythms. Hey! Well, hey. Hello. Hello! I Eric. am bald now. Um, I thought you said we were bringing on Cube Rhythms. Yeah, who who's, is this guy? Who's this guy? I'm I uh, I um I have the real cube rhythms. There's nothing suspicious happening here. I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> we need to do a test. Bold blur. Dude, Someone's say good. say something that only you like. Yeah, only um, cube rhythms would yeah. say. Oh, man, see, I I want to say you're lying to yourself, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's, you, you passed the okay. test. I'm suspicious yeah. enough, I guess. He, yeah. he would say something like that. He probably yeah, would. Yeah. He would steal someone else's lines. He, <laughs> he got bold rhythm. Balder rhythms. That's like the best one. I've gotten like so many comments <laughs> on the Q and A video saying Balder rhythms, and um, I think it's so funny. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming on. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, I think everyone should know you, and I just want to say I'm a massive fan as well. I. When I started mm. keeping, I was watching all your animations. They're classic. They're good, classic. good. Um, I'm so happy to be on. It's so good to um, finally talk to you guys um, yeah, in I, real form, not just over messages yeah, or in the comments or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I good. This is, this is the first time for me too. So talking to you in person, which is yeah, a real, 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 real honor as well. It's yeah. just crazy that we haven't talked because we've known about each other and we've communicated for yeah. a long time you know it's been it's been yeah. really years that we've been yeah. that we've been doing yeah. stuff oh, so cool. uh yeah. good to, good to be here yep uh, so question for you what what yeah. has 2021 been like for you what's what's the year been like for you yeah 2021 for me um has been a really good year for sort of re um figuring out a lot of cube rhythms related stuff uh earlier yep. you guys were talking about taking breaks and I am a big advocate for taking breaks. I think that's a yep. great thing. And in 2020, um, not entirely on purpose, I took kind of a break for that whole year. I posted a few videos, but I was just kind of like um, taking it, taking it a little bit slower, focusing on um, other life stuff. Yep. Uh, but in in 2021, I've been able to kind of hit back, especially in these past couple weeks, yeah, uh, with a lot more content, a lot of stuff that I've wanted to make. Um, I think I was thinking about this when Brody a while ago was talking about, um, you know, coming back, being worried about his first video coming back. And yeah. I went through exactly the same thing. And that actually yeah. stopped me for a long time um, or just made it harder uh, to get back into it. But it's it's been so good to be posting regularly again. And yeah, yeah. the view count is a little lower um, than it used to be, but it's it's okay because it's fun uh i yeah. have fun with it i have fun making videos um mm -hmm. so. so great congratulations yep. as well on 300k yeah yeah that just happened like two days ago so i'm feeling really that. good about that blue size hey. sun how we unbelievable did. is that it's We're amazing it's a, it's a it's a it's a christmas miracle it is it's blue for blue <laughs> blue for blue what perfect yeah. timing um perfect timing uh which means you get to pick my next center just not green, obviously. Oh, obviously, I was gonna say green, but uh, okay. <laughs> oh wait, it is green. Yeah, I was gonna say it should be that? green. That's your first center, or I it's your second center. Is, okay, can you pick the next one, but make sure it's green. But make okay, sure uh, let me think about this for a second. Green. Um, I say you should go with green. That's just my professional opinion, though, which I wouldn't put too much <laughs> too much care into. So like pick, pick a center anyway. Well, center. I was I was just yeah. confused because I was like, are you using some method that I've never heard of? That's like Yeah, it's it's a it's called an incorrect method. I'm sorry. I yeah, okay. Um yeah, go with green. Okay, I will, thank you. <laughs> go with green. Yeah, so it's great to see you uh back uploading again. Yeah, it must, no, it must be a good feeling, hey. It does feel good. It feels good to get a little bit reconnected back with the Cuban community too. Um, and it's good. Yeah. Um, so a question for you, your, your animations have really evolved with time. Um, and it's so cool to see that happening. Yeah. I, I enjoy, although I must say, I still enjoy like your early stuff as much as I do your animations now, but with, I guess like new techniques and with new things that you're trying out, has the length of time that you you know, has the amount of time that you've taken to get these videos made changed? Uh, over yeah. The yep. Which so um, recently, really in the past couple of months, I've been trying to figure out a way that I can make animations longer, look better, and make them more quickly. Yep. Yeah. Um, because a lot of my early life story videos would take absurdly long to make. Like we're talking about like months of time 
yeah. drawing everything. And a lot of it was that I procrastinate a lot and I could, I like, I could have optimized it a lot better, but that's really what I'm trying to do now. Um, so yeah, with my current animation method, I use a software called blender, which uh -huh. is not totally meant for 2d animation primarily, but the, the tools that they have for 2d animation are awesome. And yeah. I've been loving using them. It's taken me a long time to figure out how to use the software because it's kind of clunky. Uh, but yeah. it's also, it's also been very rewarding. Um, you know, anytime I have an idea of something I want to have in a video, I'm able to, to make it, uh, with blender. That's but, awesome. uh, one thing that I just think is so funny is over the years, I've used all sorts of different softwares, tried different, different methods and stuff. And what I found out is it really does not matter very much like how good the video looks or how good the animation looks artistic wise. The most popular video on my channel is called cubing in public. i animated it in PowerPoint. <laughs> oh uh, wait, really? I used PowerPoint to make that oh video. I, did um, not that. I made that video in like two days. Didn't put <laughs> like hardly any work into it. And it's, it's really, it's so much more important yeah. about just the content of the video. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so my my, my yeah. kids love your videos. I think Good. it's just it's so accessible. It's just it appeals to such a wide range of you know ages and demographics, and, and yeah. I think that's part of the genius and, and beauty of it. It's just it's just fun, so visual, you know. Yeah, but my kids, yeah, they're pretty. Every now and then they go on a Cuba rhythms binge, <laughs> and just, like it's just back to back, like. Well, good. Hour, just like your videos which is yeah, that's so good i'm i've yeah. always tried to make my videos as accessible to non-cubers and like yeah you know just just anybody who wants to watch them and so yeah, i always yeah. i always like to hear that uh that people like it so do you have um a particular video or animation that you are most proud of whether it's the story or the yeah. animation itself yeah so that's a really good question and there's a I think that there's a lot that I'm proud of for different reasons. Um, I think recently, so one of my most, my most recent life story, the dating stories video. Um, oh, yeah. I'm really happy with that one. Cause it's the longest video I ever made. Um, it's over 10 minutes or longest animation I've ever made. I made it pretty quickly. Um, and another thing that happened in 2021 is I got married. Um, so that's a big deal yeah. too. Um, I don't think if I, think I don't you, think I knew that. Did you not know that? that? You didn't watch my dating stories video until the end. Oh wow! I, I I'm not gonna have. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, all good, all good. Um, that's super cool. Show us yeah. the ring. Show us the ring, or it didn't happen. It's the ring. Hey. Look, it's on my finger. Show us yep. your ring, Tom. With your, <laughs> he's still single. Single. Um, which is totally good totally totally good um of course <laughs> yeah, just, oh, yeah. gonna, people think you look like the rock <laughs> wow okay um thank you i they say they say less jacked but i would like to see the rock do 111 I muscle will, serious I would love to see him do muscle no There's way no, i think no you have a it. leg up on him there no way you could do it uh i don't think he could do it either i i think um I may be less jacked. Uh, I, I skipped leg day my whole life. So my legs weigh about <laughs> five pounds. So that's why it's so easy for me to do muscle ups. But yeah, uh, yeah. that's the secret. That's the secret. That's, that's the secret. secret. And now, now everyone knows. He's only um, skipped leg, um, leg day once, but it was his entire life. <laughs> I also saw, I saw a lot of Seth Everman comments. Seth Everman, that's so well. good. Um, I can, I see it. Uh, I, uh, I have the top comment on a few Seth Everman videos. Oh, actually, really? Ever since I got verified, my comment game has just gone way up. Yeah. Uh, I, I can say like... pretty much whatever I want, and it'll get likes. So <laughs> there, I, I, there are a few people like um, that you just see on every video. Uh, and yeah. Pure Rhythms is one of them. True. Yeah. But I actually really appreciate that. Because that just is like, it adds to the community vibe. Oh, it's yeah. like when I comment sometimes on someone else's video and people are just like, what are you doing here? It's like, why wouldn't I be here? Why, why, yeah. Why wouldn't I, no, I, 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 I get that a lot too. And I think commenting is, as a creator, one of the most rewarding parts of 
doing this, doing being, yeah. being a YouTuber, reading the comments. Um, and it's fun to participate in that. And I try to leave comments anytime I have a thought about a video that I watch, yeah, yeah. Uh, just to let them know. And cause I mean, sometimes I do it for myself too. Like I want to get likes. It feels good. You know, uh, like a Seth Everman video where it's like, it's just funny and it's just fun to yeah. comment something funny. Yeah, there's no shame yep. in that. I, I like, like I like nine. to do that too. So so you should. Yes. So uh, did you catch our um, trivia with Brody? Um, I think I caught a few questions. Um, I like I like stepped out for a second, uh, and then came yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. I think I caught the end of it. Do you think? Are you prepared? Oh, I'm always prepared. I'm so prepared. Let yeah. me get, uh, I'm, I, I might regret saying that, but... Uh, <laughs> it's time to play. How well does Cube Rhythms, Blue, no, Cube Rhythms? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all so, right, all right, all right. For those of you unfamiliar with the format, we have five questions prepared for this beautiful man. And... Uh, he's a beautiful man you, you're, you're kind of in in a hard situation here our first two guests got five out of five and okay. then 5.5 5 out of five so oh my well i I'm may be sure. in trouble here but i'm well. not sure how you beat that but there is a chance of you getting a bonus point if you get a full bonus point somewhere okay. along the way you could get six maybe okay we'll oh. see we'll see how it goes okay this first one though You've made over 250 videos, I think like 275 or something. Mm -hmm. um, and in just two of them, the Yushin Panda and the Yushin Panda Mini appear in the thumbnails. <laughs> Do you know what other titles or which videos those two are that have the Yushin Panda in the thumbnail? <laughs> oh my goodness. So Yushin Quality Panda question. in the thumbnail. There's a cube collection video, I think. See, this is where I'm so confused uh, because I have never owned a mini panda. I don't what? think I have had a mini panda in a in a oh, thumbnail. Maybe it's just the Yushin panda. It, it might just be that the might, Yushin panda. Yeah. Um, or it's possible I just forgot because I'm He's calling us I'm, out on our quality. <laughs> I should get Even an extra day. credit point if I get this wrong. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, you're right. You, you I do. think I think there's um. Cube Collection 2020? I, oh my goodness, I don't think I'm going to win. Because <sighs> there's Yushin Panda versus the Cat Cube. <sighs> Is it in the thumbnail, though? Ooh. Well, I'm pretty darn sure that at least the Yushin pandas in the thumbnail of the panda versus cat cube video. <laughs> and I am almost positive that the Yushin panda. Well, see, now I'm forgetting the year. It's a cube collection video and it's of a year, either 2019 or 2020. Um, yeah, I've. <sighs> <laughs> Am I am I remotely close? I I want to say that's my final answer. Um, but wait, give me one. Actually, speaking of pandas, <laughs> this, we've actually segue. just had someone join our stream. Panda Cuba herself. It's Panda Cuba. Hello, Panda Cuba. Hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, going wait, good. Where's your hair? Oh, nice, nice, nice. We that just is, started talking about hair. Mad respect. Um, that is that is definitely nicer looking than this guy. Yeah, I was actually at the hairdresser watching you guys, and at the point where Tom's like talking about his hair, I was like, shave it, do it on stream. Oh, oh Solidarity. My God. Maybe next year. Yeah. yeah and apologies, right. Cuba Rhythms. Hi. Well, hi. <laughs> no, no apology necessary. It's nice. To no, I wrote the questions, and I made oh, them. Very oh, 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 oh. <laughs> So that's why well, she's apologizing. You know what? <laughs> I think you should apologize because I think you've made a mistake. I, I think there's three videos Whoa, where it is. Oh, sorry. You know how I feel okay. about pandas, obviously. Like, I take yeah, my pandas. That's, that's great. Yeah, I take. I think the Panda Cube is one of the best ever. And I've, yeah. I've put it in several thumbnails, apparently. At least three. <laughs> apparently. Um, apparently. 
I so more answers really. Like you got more options. Like I'm there's gonna, a bigger I'm, ballpark. I'm gonna say you're correct with the cat versus panda. Okay. And I'll tell you the second one is reviews in exactly ten words. Oh, remember that video? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's kind of hard to remember okay. because, like, mm. the the tile's not related, but the the panda cube is in it. Okay. Um, and the third one, you nearly guessed earlier. Okay. So can you guess the third one? It's. So when you say near, cube. it's not the only cube in the thumbnail, but the panda is in it. Okay, mm. it's so it is a cube collection video. I'm gonna say that it's the 2019 one. No, it's the 2021. <laughs> it's the 20. It can't be like uh, the 2018 the one. <laughs> yeah. Is it 2018? Yeah. Early oh my goodness. Actually. Time just yeah. flies. Holy moly. Okay. Wow. 2018. Mm. Holy moly. Okay. Or well, someone nice. says technically the 2019 and 2020, it's in there, but it's really like. It's like you wouldn't catch it, like like when yeah. you're doing your research, you forgot about mm. those ones. It was a terrible <laughs> question. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've only I've been, been cubing I've... for a couple of years. So. <laughs> totally good, totally good. Uh, that's that's so great, man. <laughs> you can you can have that point because of a few a point. errors, but the point. The second okay, one. but but if I if I like get the rest right, we can take this point away. Like if I do really good, <laughs> uh, but for <laughs> it's, now, it's it's it's. I don't want zero points. Yeah. Second question. Would you like to ask it? Panda Cuba? Yep. So I wrote this one too, I believe, because I thought I haven't really seen any conf vlogs on your channel. I love your animations. I think one of my favorite animations is um the one where you cube where you cubing made you famous at schools at uni and yeah. Yeah, yeah. you talk about the fact that you had to present and you had to talk about leadership uh -huh. being just like cubing. Yeah. And it's such a wow factor that I don't know, people just seem really amazed that more than one person can solve it. Mm -hmm. And I know you're freaking out like right before you went on because there wasn't a, a you were anticipating a podium and all that. Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. So based on the fact that I didn't see any cube competitions, I actually looked up your WCA profile to look at what competitions you had been to. Mm -hmm. So what did you place in your last cubing competition for three by three? And what was your three by three PB single at that competition? At my la at my most recent competition. Yeah, it was a while ago. Which was memory. like four years ago or something like yeah. that. <laughs> Three years in <laughs> 2018, I think. Oh so. my goodness. Yep, I'm a mean uh that is writer. just <laughs> evil. That is just <laughs> evil. Oh my goodness. What did I place? Mm. Okay. Uh do you want me to give I you a ballpark? Well, I'm trying to think. There were, I think, there were close to like 200 people at that one. I don't think mm -hmm. I could have been. I got to think I might have been somewhere between 150. You I couldn't actually have been placed too. definitely in the top hundred. I'll tell you that. Top hundred. Definitely in the top hundred. I was thinking probably top hundred. I. Oh, I'm gonna say I placed. I am going to say 70 because I have no idea in the whole wide world what I placed. And <laughs> it's, um, it's a hard one. Yeah. Um, Look, you and then, and what? Better and, than that. Oh, that's good. Um, I'm trying to think about what my time might have been. Mm -hmm. hmm. Best time. I think at that competition. I can't remember if it, if I got a 16 something. I know I got a 16 something at my first competition and that was a big deal for me. Um, mm. But I don't think I did that at my second competition. I want to say it was like 18 something. You'd be close. It is 18 okay. something. Do you know the, the two oh, digits? The WCA two digits. does require two I, digits. I, I want to That's say, um, I'm going to say 18.5. <laughs> 70 because that number is already in my head and I have no idea in the whole wide world. Um, no, you're, no, so you're a little bit off. You okay. placed 57th in that competition Woo. for three by three in your in the yeah, first round. Yeah. And That's you got an 1831 18, as your single. Okay. Nice. But yes, I did notice your time at your first comp was actually slightly better than your second yeah. comp. Well, it's funny because I've averaged the same times like I still hmm. average those times uh, right now. 
Um, so it's pretty so easy for me to guess kind of what a good time for me would have been back then because it's what it is now. Yeah. Um, good job on that research, figuring, like, going and finding that because, man, that was a long time ago. Holy I got smokes. all the skills. Got you got fast, all fast the team skills. Team it's good. I'm a ninja panda. I think that's Ninja a half panda. point. You, you got the 18 okay. seconds. Yeah, I'll play so. the 18. Okay. That's more Man, I'm just getting all the pity points, though. I, I, <laughs> I'm i going to get this next one. You probably will, actually. Tom, do you want to lay this one on him? Sure. Lay it on me. <laughs> so, name the titles of your top three most viewed YouTube videos. <sighs> top three a little most bit easier. viewed the videos. Okay. Uh, Cubing in public. Oh, the second one, the, the, the other two, uh, Evil Rubik's Cube is hey. the second one. Mm -hmm. Wow. What's the third? Sir? I got it. I got, third? I got to get the third one. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure if it helps, this is an animation. Yeah, so sure I, 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 I would, I would, I would guess that. Oh my life, goodness. Life stories. It's a life mm. stories. Oh, dang it. Uh, <laughs> 2.7 million views. Two point. Oh my goodness. There's, I got, I got a, do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? <laughs> it's like all of them. Oh, I'm going to say my, my, that would be my most viewed life story. Oh. Is it cubing made me cool at school? It's not the it's not the school one. No, no. Uh, I didn't no. I didn't read the full title, so I get one more guess. That's just the first part <laughs> yeah, of the title. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> oh, loopholes, loopholes. Yeah, the, it's it says life stories, and then it says cube rhythms in there too. Oh no, I just said the whole title. <laughs> uh, I didn't hear anything. I was okay. listening. Okay. Oh, he's such a man of principle. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir, I am. Um, my goodness. Yeah. I, Actually, I, I'm looking at it, and like, oh, like six of the life stories are like between 2.7 and 2.2 million. So oh really wow! Okay, so yeah. Well, I'm just trying to. We think. can understand the confusion then. I, I have so many popular videos; it's just unbelievable for me to have to to, to think of one. <laughs> I hard life. Oh my goodness! I just have to stick with my first guess, even though I know it was wrong. Because I, I really, I'm, I'm struggling here. What, what is it? I, it was, I stole someone's cube. Oh <laughs> my cube goodness. Cube. I stole someone's. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. That's classic. Just for full disclosure, maybe for those one. who haven't seen it, maybe do you want to explain why that's the title? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I would love to explain why that's the title because at my very first competition, I brought a thunderclap version two to be my cube to use. And when it came time for me to solve, I could not find it anywhere for the life of me in my bag on the table. It was just gone, completely gone. So I had to borrow a cube and use that one. And as the day went on, I could not find the cube. And at the end of the day, there was a thunderclap version two sitting on a table by itself. And I thought this could be mine. And I picked it up and it totally wasn't mine. It turned way worse than mine did. Uh, I had a little sticker under one of the center caps to show it was mine. This one didn't have that, but yeah. I took it anyway. Because I was like, I came here with a Thunderclap version two, and I'm going home with one. And I felt so guilty about it for a long time. It really wasn't until I made the video and posted it that people started saying, hey, I bet you just accidentally switched with the person. Like yeah. somebody probably took yours. And I had never thought of that. And I was like, that must totally be what happened. And then yeah, I haven't I haven't felt guilty about it ever since. So but no I contacted you about that? No. So, well, plenty of people have commented saying like, you took my cube. Oh, that was mine. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, but yeah, but nobody, um, probably like 200 people say that, and you're like, Yeah, well, I stole all yeah, 200. Yeah, of yeah okay. I, I, what's funny is I get comments even now, this so much time is passed of people, people saying that, uh, which is just funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I, I do not advocate for cube thievery, I think it's wrong. Okay, <laughs> so That's, I'm glad you clarified. <laughs> just want to clarify disclosure. that full disclosure. Well, that's why I thought we better explain it. We don't want children thinking it's okay to steal cubes. Thank you. Cubes. That was that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was good for thinking. The record. Um, yes. Doing crimes is bad. Doing crimes is wrong no, yes. and bad, and don't don't do it. 
But like I, I agree with Makes you. Like I'm always though. worried someone might take one of mine. So I actually also like put my initials like yeah. Under the it's a good cover. system. I think everybody should do that. And I actually yeah. like the initials idea because uh, because yeah. that's, yeah, like, that's but like good. I don't care honestly. If someone takes my cube, I'm like I have well like one. today today oh, I'm a lot more chill about cube. it too because I get my puzzles for free. Um, mm. Also, I don't go to competitions very much. So <laughs> true. No, yeah. Uh, see, mine's. Yeah. It's more of a possessive thing. Like, I don't like non cubers touching my cube, especially that my main. Yeah. Well, your main, definitely. Yeah. You want to keep that close, actually, close to your heart. Well, I think you even did an animation on it. Like, someone plays with your main, you're like, no. And then they break in, like, oh, sorry, dude. And you're like, no, it's fine. Give it back. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's pop. That was nuts. featuring the epic cuber. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you I'm a fan. I've, I've watched a lot of your videos. That's that's so good. Uh, thank you for that. She is. She is a fan. We're going to keep things As, moving. Yeah. Yeah. Um, green four. going there, Ming? Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Green's Ooh, going yeah. good. Four bars. Getting there. Okay. So the fourth question, I believe you're on, uh, we'll say two out of three. Okay. Yeah, Thank you for that. That I feel like that's generous, but I'll take not, it. Thank not you. Pity points, just being realistic. Okay. Realistic. Good. Thank you. Four, Thank you for that. The fourth question yeah. is so we, we know now that, that your three most viewed, but do you know what your least viewed video is on the channel? The very least Whoa. viewed video. Oh, that's just that's another evil one. Why would I why would I care about that? What? <laughs> True. Why at, 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 least, at least you don't. Care it's gotta. It's gotta be an early video. Something posted way a long time ago. Um. Mm. It's. See, I'm thinking about like my Shangshao two by two review, from way back in the day. I'm not totally sure if that's the one because if it's popping into my head, it probably means that it got a significant amount of views, and that's why I know it surprisingly uh, actually like some of the like really old videos like have a more views than you would expect i guess a lot of people like sort by most popular and go and look back there um but okay it's not yeah. that it's not as old as you're thinking i'll give you that hint not as old as i'm thinking oh brother okay uh and, and the I, thumbnail so the thumbnail suggests that this you are not happy with the puzzle in question okay that I'm not happy with the puzzle in question. Not as old as I think. And it's the least viewed video on my whole channel? Yep. It's not the Lego Cube video, is it? No. No? Okay, I was going to say, that was a that was a very recent one. Uh, and I didn't say the title of it, so that doesn't count as a guess. Um, is it the Yushin Lamp video? Wait, maybe? Wait, I'm... I don't think it... Um... Lamp? You just made a lamp. Yeah. Well, I haven't made very many. I feel like I haven't made a lot of critical reviews, but the ones that I have made, you should a long time ago had uh, like a big three by three with a light in it that you had to have plugged in with a micro USB cable um, oh, really? for it to work. And I oh. thought you wouldn't have to plug it in, but then you did. And then I was disappointed. So um, it was, it was a cool puzzle though. Um, this, by the way, I think it's going off like, um, not including new videos, but wait, I'm actually not sure if YouTube played me here. Why? Did you because get the is it, it the like wrong video? One... Yeah, it seems like there's <laughs> one with less than what I what I saw earlier. Okay, that is interesting. Um so well, bonus point. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah, given the point. Um Okay, well, what what was the answer? When oh. when you go on YouTube and sort by oh. most popular and scroll all the way to the bottom, uh -huh. it shows me the YJ Rui Chong five by five unboxing and review. Oh my it says, goodness! This is not a good cube. Which has <laughs> just yeah, 28, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's definitely ones with 28, less than twenty eight thousand. I have videos with less views than twenty eight thousand yeah. views. Yeah, that can be right. So it's not correct. Give him the point. You get the point. Three points. Free points. Thank you. That is really weird that it would show that video as the yeah we, the lowest. But anyway, thank you for the point. And yeah. 
<laughs> hey, do you have? Oh, sorry. Do you want? Do you have one more question? Yeah. Sorry. Final question, okay, quickly. Yeah. I, just, yep. I just want to ask some stuff. Um, this is your chance to get, I think, four out of five if you get okay. this one. <laughs> and it is how many life stories episodes are there up to date? Oh, thirteen. Right. You got to know this. I should know this. It's. You released one just. I released a couple fourteen. Weeks ago, a month ago? Is it fourteen? It's got to be 13 or 14. It's not up to 15. Why do I yeah. not know this? It's 13. You got it. It's 13. That was my yeah. first guess. So that's the one that counts. Yeah. yeah first guess. Best guess. Cool way. Woo. Oh, nice. yes. So four out of five. Well, four out of five. Three of them were bonus points, but I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We don't talk about that. We, we can't make you look bad. <laughs> Nah, that was good. No though. You actually, yeah. we did. I think they were kind of hard questions. You have a lot of videos and a, a yeah. lot of like, yeah, it's hard, but good job. I think, Thank you. I think um, YouTube actually said 275 today. Was it? Yeah, is it really? That's cool? a pretty big number, a, like compared to most. So channels, I feel like. Especially considering like a lot of your videos are like very high effort, like animations, like sort of mm. long production. Yeah. 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 No, I know early on in the channel, there's a lot of like more reviews and like um, more more traditional cubing type content. Um, mm. But I've also been something... doing this for a while. So yeah, do you have something you can like draw on? Uh, I do. I absolutely do. I was actually pre I'm prepared. Watch this. Ooh, watch. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh baby. Yes. 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 The skills are well played. My, my hacker man cool. skills have enabled me to do great things in my life. So do you, do you want to have, have like a, what's a reasonable amount of time? Can you do something in a minute? Could we give sure. you like a draw something in a minute challenge? Absolutely you can. We want Ting Man solving the 20, the 21 by 21. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. A little note there. I said be creative in brackets. Ooh, oh okay. yeah, the, the most creative representation of yeah me solving the twenty-one by twenty-one. Okay. A minute on the timer, minute on the clock, and three, <laughs> two, one, go. Ah. Uh. Full disclosure, Ming, you remember I drew you popping on nineteen by nineteen last yeah. time, so you should try and find that. <laughs> oh, it's, some, it's somewhere in my iPad, I'm sure. <laughs> Not happening this time. I'm loving this. Yes. That's oh, a, I love that's the hair. Tech, so I good. Say. Hey, keep keep solving. I want to see it. No, ignore. Oh. Oh, 20 yeah. Twenty seconds to go. I'm just honestly, I've got this thing down to masterpiece level. I'm just adding detail now. Yeah, you you really are. It's beautiful. Thank you. That is so kind. And Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time's up. <laughs> That's time's up. <laughs> That's actually genuinely impressive for a minute. Thank you. What do you think, the skills, man? I, I'm honestly just honored that I, I was drawn by my known. Like, well, wow. I could do theory. such a better drawing of you. You need to collab with me for a life story or <laughs> animation or some time. I will, I will draw you. Ooh. I will do it right. Done. 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 Deal. deal. Done. That, that's a deal. That's like good. You know, <laughs> you know how to reach me. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a deal. Good. That's so good. Awesome. Love um. It. Hey, what, t tell us, I mean, just before you go, like, we're squeezing as much as we can out of you, but is there any, anything that you want to tell, um, a message to the world, you know, what, what, what are some of your hopes for, for what next year is going to look like? You know? A uh, message to the world, hopes for next year. That is a good question. And uh, my message to the world is especially to, well, it's, I mean, the world, holy moly, I'm just going to talk, talk to the Cuban community yeah, the Cuban. Uh, that is the world. <laughs> for that now. Is the world. Uh, that is, that is our world um, to just have fun, you know, with cubing and with, if you're a content creator uh, with content creation, not to get so hung up or too hung up on your times or uh, how you compare with the other people in the community. It's just always so much better if you're just having fun 
Uh, that's something that's probably been my most important lesson this year with making YouTube videos is uh, I was really hung up for a long time about how I was doing compared to other people and uh, if I was making the right stuff and da da da. But every yeah, yeah. all of my best videos happened when I was having fun with it. Oh, that's um, so good. And that applies not, I mean, that applies to even just practicing three by three or solving or whatever it is that you do for fun um, yeah. to just try to have it be fun and have it be good. I'm hoping that in 2022 that I'll just, I mean, I honestly hope that not much will change. I want to keep making videos uh, yep. and having fun with it. And yeah, maybe I'll learn blind solving. Yes. Do it. <laughs> I've wanted to do that for forever. Ever since I started getting into cubing, I've never done it, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, do it. Blind, blind awesome. stories. 100%. Whole video, whole video. Blind <laughs> stories. <laughs> That's blind. so good. It's just, it's just darkness. Ooh, how about drawing blind stories? Oh, that could be interesting. Level of, oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. With your, yeah. I should have done that for this. For for <laughs> um, yeah, that would have been great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, buddy. Can we please Thank give you. him a hand for? Thank you so much for Thank having me on. I was so excited for this all day, and it's been so good talking to all of you. And yeah. um, good. Thanks. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for the you know the um, charity thing. That's super cool. And yeah. 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 Uh, no, it's awesome. Thank uh, you. And congratulations again on, on getting married. Yeah, and thanks. Yeah, look for more stories there. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. All right. I'm sure okay. everyone subscribed to Cube Rhythms, but go check them out if not. And definitely. Yeah. Yep. Cheers, man. Yeah. Yep. Definitely. Yep. See you guys. Cheers, see you guys later. Talk to you guys later. Good man. Wow. He's a good man. He is a good I'm man. I'm so excited right. to meet all these people. It's so exciting. Wow. It's so great. Okay. It's time for um, another video from some community from the community yeah yes. from the community so here we go that was terrible hey guys I'm Mary you may know me from my Instagram or some of Tingman's vlogs at some point go and donate to the uh, charity go do it go do it um it's for a great cause and it's great that Ding Man's doing such an awesome live stream. See you guys around. Hey guys, GuardCube here. Massive respect to Ting Man for undertaking this enormous challenge. So stay motivated, keep pushing on Ting Man. You're doing this for a fantastic cause. And I urge everyone watching to please donate to Habitat. And this is an incredible effort from Ting Man. See you guys. I don't know what I think wow. about RH's video. Um, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> the guy's so creative, though. It's pretty amazing. Was it yeah. the violins? Yeah. Was it the violins that did it for you? Okay. It is pretty amazing <laughs> that all these <laughs> wonderful people are willing to give up their time mm -hmm. and encourage people to give to such a wonderful cause. It might be worth actually yeah. sort of seeing where we're up to. I haven't refreshed my page probably since before I got in the car. Mm -hmm. I think I've, so, I've, I've got it here. So. Yeah. So currently sitting at seven thousand six hundred and five dollars and seventy five cents. Thank you so much to everyone who's been donating. Your donations are going to a wonderful cause. We're aiming to build three houses for Habitat for Humanity, and it's going to be wonderful. We still got a lot of big names coming up. Very excited about all the guests that I am here for this afternoon. So great! Because I'm a yeah. bit an hour ahead of you, being in um being in Melbourne, Australia. So, so great yeah thank you karen for that donation thank you lance and thank you snowman oh, yeah so good nice so so appreciate nice it they're popping up fantastic yeah. we were actually in the middle of reading names out before so where did we stop i think we stopped around here um, yeah thank you Anna cuba for your donation as well no really i told you that. yeah definitely uh, wanted to give to a good cause <laughs> thank you Rael. thank you madeline thank you jordan <laughs> Mr. Ting Man, David, Chantel, Rebecca, Malin, uh, Ari, Sunil, Stephen, uh, Robert, Tequila. Oh, that's right. We mentioned you before. Uh, David, Tra yeah. Travis, a few anonymous um, donations, which is, you know, very, yeah. very humble, very kind of them. Uh, Tian Sheng for your $900 donation. It's really cool. David, Eric, Justin, uh, M, Simon, Daryl. Um, hashtag bring Uncle Ting Man back. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, and I, don't, was, I don't know if that stream can handle an Uncle Ting man. No, I mean, sure then there'd the be two of handle. you. Yeah, no, no, that would be nuts. Uh, Adam, Priscilla, Perry, Brody, 
<laughs> Crazy Cuban Carol, uh, oh, Ella, so cool. Satya, Beth, Anna, Martin, Keen, Lucas, Noah, Billy. I love that collection from family. Like that's yeah. just so nice, you know, like people just coming together. Uh, Rodney, Eric, A, Dallas, and yeah. Oh wait, there's more. There's more. That's fantastic that it has to go over. Yeah, like Jeremy two Anonymous, pages. Savia and Billy. So good. Yeah. Oof. Hey, do you want to get your name on this list? You know what to do. It's not hard. Get to this website right here. Uh, hit the no donate button and yeah, get your name. Get your name officially listed on the in this you know great uh, you know bunch of people here who are just making a difference. We are wanting to build three homes, three houses with ten and a half thousand dollars, and we are just. Three thousand dollars away. We can definitely do that, right? Definitely. definitely that. Like, I would love to exceed that. that. Yeah, like, I'd love to love to exceed that. Too. I love smashing goals. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, imagine if we could do like you know four houses. That would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, it so would. I think... just... Oh, sorry. sorry? I, thought... yep. I was just going to say, like, I think a lot of us sort of take having a home for granted sometimes, mm. and. Um, I think it's always nice to think about the fact that we can help others who don't, uh, who aren't in that position, um, get one as well. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So if you're just joining us, I'm solving a 21 by 21 live, and we're distracting um, you for a charity. <laughs> I'm one center down. We've done blue, and I'm currently Oof. on my green center, and I've done about a, a third of that. Yeah, and I was, this was yeah. I, I was listening to you on the way home, home and that, that is, I'm but, worried. Yeah. I'm worried how long this is going to take you, but I think you said it's exponential. So we'll hopefully right. the we'll last. Right. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right. Surely. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we have estimated, gift. but. I know. Well, like, well, like almost a third through the schedule. So we mm. are just minutes away from welcoming Sean Bouquet, uh, who a lot of you might know uh, as Speed Cube Review, uh, which is oh. one of the most like yeah, foundational like channels ever, in, in, in my opinion. The man's yep. prolific with the with the uh, number of videos he's made. Like it's actually he's insane. Outstanding. Yeah. I think before I bought my first cube, I watched a lot of cube reviews and always, yeah, whenever there's a new cube out, I always watch B cube review. I love to hear his thoughts. Yeah, same. Like he, he lives up to his You know, he reviews speak. <laughs> he reviews speak. Like that's he, for sure. I, I don't think a, a cube exists that he has not made a video on. <laughs> like I don't think it's no quite like early, early access to stuff as well. So you know. It's just really useful. I'm, I'm the same as you. I often watch his videos before, um, or when, like when I'm doing research, you know, when I'm trying to figure out like mm. how it works, because he goes into quite a bit of detail with, you know, not on just like first impressions, but actually like yeah. breaking it down and like, you know, comparing. Mm -hmm. And this is the, the mechanics of what it's, you know, how it actually works. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I think this it sums it up. Sean is awesome. What are you doing? I actually Tom? brought a little gift though before so true. one comes on for Ting uh, Man, and it's. He, well, I don't know. He doesn't. He doesn't look quite twenty-one. Yeah. Maybe uh, nineteen. Okay. But mm. I had I had balloons last year, and I, I just I don't know. It was just a lot I to think do. He, we I did we did discuss it. To keep him going, a bit you of want, motivation. Wear this, guys. It looks as big oh. as your head from this angle, hey, man. It's like. Hey! Just, oh! I just have it like that. Oh, That's so a little stand. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you got one for yourself. Love it. Yeah. 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 Nice. Did you go on for Lauren though? I... Yeah. Where's mine, guys? Why? Why haven't I got a badge? Hey! Uh, I am a mom to be. Congratulations! Very oh, exciting. Yeah. You probably I could, know this already. I could wear. You could it wear for it for you, me. I mean. I think people yeah, would be I confused. Think should, I think you, you think should I should. Okay. But, uh, Panda Cuba Shoot. over there. It's uh, Mummy Cuba, Mummy Panda. As you yep. can see from those little pandas uh, on, on, on the side there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How how is the baby um, going? It's uh, I can show you. Hang on. Yep. Oh, wasn't anticipating standing on stream, so pardon that. But it's growing. Like, hey. Got like, a bit of a bump. So. So good. Yeah, that's awesome. And he's kicking away, so he's okay. loving watching this. <laughs> this, is my, this is mine. Don't brag now, Tom. I know hard, you have a flat stomach. <laughs> it's a hard life. It's a hard Being life. Being a mom. <laughs> yeah. No, you're doing an amazing job. Yeah. We're all very excited. Thank you. That's so, that's so exciting. You will be a great mom. And yeah. you'll, you'll teach your, 
you'll teach your kids a cube, which is you know, oh yeah, more, like more this more kid's gonna. I'm so thinking of a mobile above the crib, and honestly, I'm thinking like just like Gan minis and just like stringing them up. <laughs> what are you, you know, doing? Just have Tom? that rotating. I actually also thought that like Ting Man's setup in here is pretty boring, so I thought I'd bring some little decorations for us. Yep. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, probably could. We need some. We need some twenty one action. We need some twenty ones everywhere. All right. To show All right. We'll set that up. And then when you when you set that up, we're gonna get Sean in here. So we're just a minute away, guys, from having yeah. BQ review as our next guest, which would be really cool. Um, but yep, Very definitely. Exciting. If you haven't yet, that is the website right up the top. Please make sure that you. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty cool, I guess. It looks pretty good on mine. It's like this weird half thing on, on yours. But hey, I'm not going to complain. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit strange. <laughs> no, it's, it's all about how mine looks. Who yeah. cares, who cares about you guys? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm the B team. Yeah, who, who cares about you guys? There we go. Yeah. Oh, today. That's actually, we, we've definitely livened the place up here a bit. We have, yeah. Looks beautiful. Cool. It looks beautiful. Nah, nah, he's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, who is pumped for Sean? Woo! Let's do oh, this. I'm so excited. So very yeah. excited. Chat's excited. Let's get Sean in. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, will you please put your hands together for speaking with you? Sean Bouquet. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It is a real honor to have exciting. you. I don't know if you heard oh. all the stuff we said before. But yeah, the country. I am. You basically you made, made me cry just a little bit ago. So thank <laughs> you. <laughs> we'll see if we can yeah. get that happening again in stream. <clears throat> yes. So how how is your twenty twenty one been? What have you been up to? Oh, it's so well. I play at weddings, violin, and, and, and last year was just everyone moved the weddings to twenty twenty one, and now everyone's trying to like get them in because they're afraid of what's going to happen. So. I, I played a wedding today. I've got a wedding tomorrow. Um, someone just booked another one for the end of November. I've got a few in December. So weddings have taken oh, off. Wow. And then uh, I, even though my degrees in music education, I've been teaching privately for over a decade now. And a school reached out to me and basically said, we want to hire you to teach at our school. Wow. Before interviewing other people. Yeah, I was like, this is not how you're supposed to interview teachers you don't like reach no. out to them do you so i took that job so um i've been teaching at a school with like class second through eighth grade orchestra and it's been mm. oh it's so i miss being in the classroom and i I'm, I'm loving seeing all the kids and it's it's been great so a whole kind of doing all different stuff than i have been in the past 10 years or so Wow, that's, that's cool. so good. Wow. You, you are a natural teacher. You really are. Like, it comes through in, in your in your videos. So. I, I like it. Mm. <laughs> oh, the funny yeah. thing is, okay, quick story, funny thing. I, I my When I first went to school with my undergraduate, it was for performance. Yep. And I um, got asked to be a counselor at a music camp. And I was like, yeah, I can be a counselor. Oh, wow. That's fine. I'll you know be in charge of the cabin and then you know have them do fun games. And then I get there the day before camp starts, and I'm told I'm teaching two classes, two two chamber groups. And I go, oh, no, I'm a, you said I was a counselor. She's like, yeah, the counselors teach here. And I'm like, oh, turns <laughs> out I liked that. So I when I went back to school, I switched my degree from performance to education. <laughs> oh, wow. Big change. Yeah. Cool. So it was yeah. complete accidental that I, that I found out I enjoyed teaching. That's great. Yeah. I, th I don't know about you, Ming, because we're both teachers as well, and um, I find it quite addictive. Like, I love my job. I would never give my job up. It's so teaching. rewarding. So, yeah. And I think so I was saying to Ming and Tom yesterday when we were talking about the stream that it's one thing to, to cube, but I think being able to explain it to others is an absolute gift mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it's about knowing how, the, how people learn and how to best explain it to them because you're not thinking about it like, this is how I'd understand it. You have to think about how if I explain it this way, will they understand it? Yeah. And and doing things on YouTube, you're kind of trying to create a way that a lot of people understand, but it's never going to be everyone. And I think like once every couple of weeks, I get a, a mess, uh, some comment on an old video of a tutorial mm. where people say, 
you know, this, this is horrible. I didn't understand anything. And I will reply to every person that says that. Wow. And, so, and I'll say, you know, what, what do you need help with? And actually there was someone in the roof in a roof video, my roof tutorial. And mm. he it was a very, I almost deleted it. Cause I was like, this is, you know, this is just going on rude. But he actually was like, oh, I, I was actually confused with CMLL and I did the wrong CMLL and it was, so it worked out. But yeah, it's, yeah, you try good, to make a video yeah. for everyone and it's of course never going to be for everyone because everyone yeah, yeah. wants things a little yeah. differently. That's so great. Mm -hmm. So you just said you, you've obviously learned very recently and I watched that video as well. Um, it's become one of your more recent things you do at comps as well, solving with Rue before, you know, comps sort of came to a grinding halt. <laughs> yeah. um, so you obviously, you know, both CFOP and Rue, what do mm -hmm. you think beginners should learn first? Do you think there's a preference for one over the other in terms of understanding maybe? Yeah, I, well, I think for most people, layer by layer makes the most sense. And then CFOP makes most sense in, as an extension off that. Yeah. Um, I... Rue can be taught in a beginner way, and it's very block building ask. I remember, I don't think I've ever said this in any video, but like when I was a kid, I remember looking at a tutorial for Rubik's Cube, and I don't know if it was like the early 1990s version of the internet or something like that, but mm. I realized now it was a Petrus tutorial because it, it had to oh. make a two by two block and then extend to a two by two by three block. And that's supposed yeah. to be intuitive. And I can remember as a kid, I'm like, what? How do I just make it into this block now? And I think Rue might have that difficulty where you say, okay, now make a one by two by three block on the other side. <laughs> yeah. How do you do that? But but yeah. layer by layer is very step by step and CFOP yeah. feels very – so I – as much as I would love for people to just jump right into Rue because it can feel very intuitive and less overwhelming mm. with algorithms, I, they all have their own difficulties and – I probably yeah. would teach someone CFOP first, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Although Fair I probably enough. will be doing CFOP at the next competition just because my times are still a little bit faster there and yeah. on average. Yeah. Did, you see, did you see my Disney um, cubing video? Yes. Um, I, like the same um, stuff. <laughs> when, I, when I think of Rue now, it's just that Frozen song. It's like, what did you use CFOP? <laughs> and then, <laughs> where, where, um, where Ola was just like, um, it's just them moves. Which, which is one of my favorite lines. Yeah, it, it, fits, it fits. It fits so well. I was it's, rolling it's on the floor them. after that one. <laughs> it's one of my favorite Team Man videos behind a, probably one cube, one mini cube, one cube mini cubers. That's my yeah, favorite. That but like, well. I think so between fun. Ting Boy and Ting and and yeah, Olor, just it's so cute. Such a great job and one take as well. Rolling one take. I do yeah, 50 it's, million it's, takes. It's for the musicians. It's for the people who will appreciate like like a live performance, you know, like it, it's a one take. We only one chance to get this right. If we make mistakes, it's in, you know, it's it's just part of the performance. Yeah. I, I notice you yeah. have an instrument just behind you, so I am hoping that we will get we will get a bit of a performance at some point. I I have well um, so I, I have some instruments around and I have actually just like, I was like, well, what could I play if I think of anything? So I pulled out my Christmas album and <laughs> you know, it's past Halloween. So that's next, yeah, yeah. unless it's a great yeah. Thanksgiving song that people know of. <laughs> I would say we have to yeah. actually do an ensemble piece, but it doesn't work super well on streaming. No, the delay probably makes the uh, syncing of instruments yes. a bit challenging. Who cares? It's not about it sounding right. Perfect. It'll just be a little. It'll be some phasing music. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Or or John Cage's four minutes and thirty three seconds. For <laughs> those who don't know that, look it up. You can buy it on iTunes for ninety nine cents. Could just be like some smooth slow jazz and just it have like not, a beat and a half. It sort may, of not, may not be the best ninety nine cents that you've spent. <laughs> <laughs> it will not be what you have a story to tell now. <laughs> you have a story to tell. Yeah, that's right. So Tom's just grabbing a guitar, actually. So, Ooh, I I actually so I re well just dropped some cubes. Uh, I retune <laughs> my guitar into what's called new standard tuning because I'm pretty bad at guitar. But new standard tuning is tuned like a cello. Oh. And then a viol. Then it has an Ooh. E with a G. So if you know some chords nice. on those instruments, it works. Or you can just go right into like. And it's strung just like guitar, oh, so you nice. or like a cello. So it'll, in some ways, it's wow. made it a lot easier for me that to learn so how to play cool. some music. But
But yeah. when I try to, like, I'll, I'll play, hear a song be like, oh, I want to play that. And I'll play the chords since the strings are farther apart a little bit than what a guitar would be. It doesn't sound the same. So yeah. the trade off is it sounds different. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wow. That's so cool. I'm just wondering, what do you have some really obscure instruments in your collection? Like, I don't know if I've ever seen a video yes, where you talk nothing about nothing in this room, um, but I have a didgeridoo. I have a didgeridoo hey. in the basement. Uh, the uh, I've got a, a Shiko, which is like a South African. Yeah, I okay, so I can't do the circular breathing <laughs> with the didgeridoo. Can you circular breathe, Tingman? I, I, so I played the saxophone when I was in high school. And my mm. friends and I spent a good few weeks trying to, yeah, get that right. And none of us, none of us could. It, for the, yeah, for those who don't know it what it, what, <laughs> well, what circular breathing is, is where you're, you basically, you kind of like, like everyone who's in the chat right now, puff out your cheeks. So you've got air in your cheeks and then try to breathe in through your nose, which isn't super difficult, but then you, what you have to do is play your instrument so you breathe out while breathing in then refill up your cheeks and yeah it's something that i i can do with like a coffee stir but not with a didgeridoo <laughs> this <laughs> sounds like my, my hip birthing tapes my dad, my, <laughs> my dad has um, been practicing the didgeridoo for a while and he's just starting to figure out the circular breathing and that's so cool oh. it's pretty funny about like in the afternoons i hear like this drone and in, in, coming from the side of my house that's, <laughs> that's like one of the hardest like instruments that. too to do that because mm. so much air is it is expelled when you're playing it so you've got to yeah, constantly do it it's not like you can do it once in a while awesome. yeah i've heard i've heard it's really hard to pick up didgeridoo like it's not like any other instrument basically and that's where the difficulty comes from like with piano because i learned piano first so it meant mm -hmm. like learning chords for all other instruments like became so much easier and then yeah. i pick up a violin and i'm like i have no idea this is nothing like a piano so that's yeah I I've gotten violin. so much into playing chords, like, like, and just getting used to doing that. It seems like such a big barrier because mm. violin's a melodic instrument, but it, okay, I'm gonna get my violin. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> funny enough though, I, uh, my bow is getting rehaired, so I have a slightly smaller bow, but, um, violin is something that, you know, I mean, in, you know, back in, in box tie, but it's becoming such a rhythm and chord yeah that that that's something that i've been trying to get better at and so when i play at weddings okay. i'll record myself playing chords ah, like and loop it love it yeah awesome. so it, it's finding new ways that's of using it. the violin that's amazing wow wow so cool i don't There's, think i've ever tried five seconds playing of every an instrument, instrument like another instrument like uh, that's never occurred to me to try to play an instrument like another instrument how about you tom you ever thought about doing that <laughs> um you don't even make the instrument sound like itself anyway so. <laughs> wow uh, actually ukulele is uh, fun to mess around with because like yeah there's a lot of but yeah no nah, the stringing on a ukulele is fun where you've got the high strings on the end mm. Mm. I actually have a tenor ukulele because I wanted a little bit more range. It was either that or the tiny little thing, but I wanted something nicer. <laughs> All right. Um, what do you guys reckon? Is it time to see how well Sean knows Sean? Ooh. It's time to play. <laughs> how well does Sean know Sean? I'm afraid uh, for uh, this uh, one. <laughs> Why do you have a triangle? What? I, okay, I, didn't, I have a theme song now. I need <laughs> yeah. to... Do you give me the right to capture this that little theme song? <laughs> sure. I, I, Perfect. I think it's really cool. Along with the little dance as well. Some, yes. Some the dance comes well. with it. So full disclosure, I think I did I did three of these questions. I think Tom or Ming must have done the other two. So I yeah. apologize. Mine are apparently easy. I thought they were hard, but mine are apparently easy. I thought you were going to play actually... that it being hard. <laughs> I want to be hard. not easy. We'll, well see. I couldn't quite hear Cuba Rhythm's answers before because I was getting my hair blow dried. Oh, so I didn't you, know if he had. <laughs> yeah. Um, so your first question, it's been a while, obviously, since competitions have been happening due to, you know, the pandemic and things. Can you name the last competition that you did attend? And this is according to your WCA profile. What was the name of the last comp? Was it Michigan 2019? 
Wait. Maybe I got my. Yeah, I think it was Michigan 2019. Michigan Maybe I got Community my facts wrong. Club. The MCC. There, there was nationals before that. Yeah, I'm just checking my facts because I had a different answer in this. Maybe I topped one answer. Oh, no. What did you have? Because I'm, uh, I'm locking in Michigan 2019 because I, I would think uh, Cube Rhythms was there too. Uh, I wonder what I changed the question to because that's not the answer I wrote. I wrote No Shoes Kentucky 2018. So I'm just refreshing. I mean, page. I did do that. Oh, 2019. One. No shoes, Kentucky 2019. I had the year oh. off, but I had the title Oh, off. was that in December? Uh, I could tell you. It's a, yeah, it's definitely No Shoes, Kentucky. You made it to the second round of three by three, which is what I, I based I, this on, I think. I think uh, my main is for going there. After Christmas. Okay, it was yeah. Post Christmas 2019. It's because they had nine rounds of fewest moves. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I did see you place first and the second and fewest cubes, a uh, fewest moves, I sorry. Yeah, I only place first because uh, Ryan DeLine and, oh no, I can't believe my, I'm drawing a blank on his name, DNF after one of their solves. I would have been third if they just, you know, completed their solves. <laughs> nice. But that that's fewest moves in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I remember I've judged it and it's, I don't know how you guys do it. It's, it's absolutely amazing that you guys can just work that, that sort of stuff out. It's, I mean, if you like doing Sudoku, in a way it's like that, um, but... Yeah. For anyone, yeah, like you can do CFOP and that's perfectly fine. You can have like a 60 move solution and that's perfectly fine. It's it's just learning tricks. It's or, or learning yeah. like con it's concepts, not tricks. It's learning concepts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh Tom, do you want me to are you, are you messing with this cube already? Scramble it. <laughs> Scramble it up. Mess up the blue Oh, uh, I can't hear you, Tom. Can't hear you. I can see he's doing something. Just. I think. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Team man's giving me this. I really am pretty bad at this, though. How does it turn? I've actually. Oh, is it? Is or team man, how does that turn? Uh, the twenty-one by twenty-one. It turns great. It. It's. Um, what? Which of the big cubes do you have, Sean? Uh, the biggest is 17 by 17. I honestly don't want any larger. And um, some of my other ones, like my 13 by 13, I need to give to Blank Thompson next time I see him. Because I restricted it with all purple shades. And so I need to give it to him. And then force him to solve it. I didn't do much, to be honest. That's so hard. Um, have you got the, the, the Moyu 15? I don't. I, I had the, the Moyu 13. And then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it feels like that. So I find that when I did the Shangsha 19 last year, it just has uh, the the plastic isn't as hard. There's something about the feel that um, well, the Shangsha 19 is brilliant because of its size. It's just mm -hmm. so easy to hold. But the whole time, it just felt any second like if I wasn't careful, it'll pop. Um, whereas this one, I feel like I can be just a bit, a bit more confident with the turning. Something about the it's just like a firmer plastic. It feels mm. that's not as that bendy. makes sense. Mm. Uh, so it's actually pretty like it feels like like a, like a more you big cube. So the mm -hmm. thirteen, the fifteen, and you know, the twenty one, it just has a consistent feel. So I, I feel a lot safer turning this. I mean, like once once it's aligned, like look at that. Yeah, like it's it's amazing. That's I have no yeah. no worries turning it like that. It's yeah. It's well, great. I think with the nineteen, didn't one piece sort of pop out? I don't think I've seen you pop anything very like early on. Yeah, one, we had one yeah. piece pop out. With the so it certainly looks like it's very smooth as far as the turning yeah. goes. Yeah, no, no pops, and no, I, I don't yet, think I'm yet. in any danger of pops either. No, it's not going to pop. <laughs> don't say yet. It's not. I don't happen. know. I'm. I'm one of those. Not. I don't think glass half empty, but I'm also a bit of a realist. <laughs> it is a very large cube. <laughs> How, how is Sean uh, going at, at the? Um, yeah, are we on to question two now? <laughs> yeah. So you want to do that one? Yeah. Sure. Um, so you don't solve six by six often at WCA competitions. Do you remember what happened the last time you competed in six by six at a WCA competition? So there was, I think the only time I did compete on it and I got past the, uh, the cutoff. So I was like, I was happy. Um, if this is what you're talking about. So I was, I, I decided I was scrambling everyone six by six. Cause I'm, I'm a nice guy. I'm like, I'm just gonna, you go, you all go first. I'll scramble your cubes. And then, okay, everyone's done. Now it's my turn. Well, they had ordered pizza for everyone, and you you paid in for that pizza. 
And while I'm solving the six by six, I hear over the over the announcement, okay, if anyone wants any extra pieces of pizza, there are some left. You may pick them up now. And I'm like, in I have a video in the wall screen. I'm like, no, wait, I still, I still need pizza. And so I'm solving the six by six as fast as I can because I barely made cutoff. Like cutoff was like four minutes, 30 seconds. And it was like 420 something. Um, but I did make it. Uh, and I did get pizza. So everyone knows I did get pizza. <laughs> Was I that did, it? What you were talking about? That's um, amazing. That's not. That's not at all what. what we were looking for. <laughs> I, have, I must have. I'm sorry. I must have seen that video because I kind of just based it on what was on the WCA website. Yeah, I kind of want to see that in slow motion now. I'm going to go through your videos after this. No, so for the answer, because I wrote this question, um, it says at Michigan 2018, which was the last time uh, you competed in six by six, you got a DNF single. And I I looked up what the minimum was. I kind of assumed it's because you didn't make the cutoff. You had to get under four minutes to do all three solves, and you didn't get to do the other two. So I kind oh, of that must have been. <laughs> I didn't realize I Maybe did it again. Maybe that's before. why I haven't. Way better. You get a point. That was such a good story. Yeah, though. I yeah, like the point for that. Yeah, that was that. Um, way better. <laughs> It was in Ohio. I forgot the competition name, but there was also a Q mosaic, and I did like a, a Darth Vader mosaic. Oh, that's sick. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay. This is this next question came because I was looking up your WCA profile to, to ask mm -hmm. you interesting questions. What color shirt are you wearing in your WCA profile? <laughs> Orange. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. It is my Stop. it is my first ever shirt that I made. And my my made. late dog Emmett made. is there with me. Yes. Yes, oh, I was about to off, say the yeah. next I wrote a note, ask Sean, why are you not alone in your profile picture? It's very cute picture. Because Emmett yeah. is there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you want me to crap out Emmett? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Look, I love my border collie, Charlie, but uh, he's not in my profile pic. The, the WCA says as long as it's obvious which one is you in the picture. <laughs> So maybe <laughs> is it though? Maybe Emma was competing the whole time. You're the only oh, imposter. You're his side character. Pause, trying to turn the layers. Oh, that's the so. I've never. Video. I didn't know that was the case. Yeah, that was hysterical. Yeah, there is Can something when you upload a video. It says you have to make sure that the hey, hey, the guys, person's guys, obviously you. Guys, do you know why dogs mm. are not good at solving cubes? Because they pause too often. Yeah, uh, I had a feeling that was the answer. But I'm. Oh, your jokes are worse than mine. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll add him back. <laughs> he needed a, a two-second timeout for that joke. Okay. Um, question four. Your very first competition was in 2016. Do you remember mm -hmm. what your first average was? Your three by three average of that competition. Oh. No, I, I don't even know what my any of my averages were. <laughs> um, it's probably oh, something single? around 16 or 17 or 19. <laughs> what is it? Oh, in between, in between. 18? Yes. <laughs> yes, I guessed it correctly. Yeah. First try. <laughs> First try. That, I'm the same yeah. as you. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you like anything except my like current PR. But the guests we've had on so far have like, being able to tell us like the exact competition or nearly all five solves they got it's insane yeah i i purposefully really great that's a good average yeah. it's a great average for your first one i uh, well i purposely try to like ignore my times i will delete them right now on my like phone timer i've got i think I've got maybe 10 solves on there. I delete them as fast as possible almost. So I don't even know what my like PB single is outside of the competition. I just, I don't want to know. I don't, because once I know then I want to try to beat it. And if I can't beat yeah. it, I get frustrated with it and no one wants that. So. No, I, I completely get that. Like not wanting to like, I, I did some, I clear or I start like a new, start a new list on CS timer. I don't ever just like hold on. <laughs> I like some people on the stream. I don't. I don't rack up thousands of souls before I. I like move on. There was a moment I had ten thousand souls in. I think it was like, Ko timer or Chow timer, however it's pronounced. Yeah. And I. I actually made. I think it was on Instagram. I like just showed. I cleared out ten thousand souls, and that was like this big moment. That I was like, oh, since I got rid of those, I don't need to keep any more. It was yeah. 
But I, I don't know about you guys. Thing. Yeah, is it like a bit like a no, like as you're deleting, like a little part of you is like, Hope I don't regret this! Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if I forget everything I just, oh, that's already gone. Yeah. <laughs> Although I, I I think I might make some video on this. My, I, I've been doing a lot of statistics stuff. I'm, I might be going back to school for math just to add a math endorsement to things. And I realized like I would love for the programs to show the median not just oh, yeah. the average or mean because yep. a median yep. would be a little more when you have like a hundred solves a little more i think clearer picture of where that middle is yeah but you then i would that, delete it anyways on like on a lot of like in browsers like like mm -hmm. um on the computer i just have not actually find found a, an app like on my phone that i've that i've been completely happy with but like on on browser like there's a lot of cubing developers which we'll actually talk about later who have made mm -hmm. incredible uh, websites mm -hmm. that like track all of yeah. those statistics and different ways of describing your your solves. Um, I know I the found a creator five times. Sorry, what was that? I just haven't found a good one that, like like a, a mob mobile app that that does it very yeah. well. Yeah, I know the person who made Five Timer. When I've written him with like a, a glitch that I found immediately, he, he tried working to fix it. So wow, well, maybe I'll write him about that one. That's I don't know if that, that was like four service. or five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Wow. which is it, it's a paid app so it's and not a lot of people have gotten it but it's the most stable thing that i've used so what is it yeah. five what, what uh, five, five timer. timer i think yeah. it's also it's sometimes hard to find it in the app store but i think it's like five timer dot something <laughs> there's actually a website yeah. uh that has the yeah. links to it but not no yeah. paid promotion here yeah no, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out later Cool. So what are we what are we at for the questions now? We got one, two, three. Think do we pay do we got, pay the eighteen? You got three out of four so far, yeah. Yeah, pay the eighteen. Okay. Last That's... one you might notice, depending on how much you stalk your own channel, I guess. <laughs> Final questions, I... sure. <laughs> Just building the tension a little bit. <clears throat> how many <laughs> videos? Do you have publicly visible on YouTube? Thank you for adding the publicly visible because I have <laughs> so many unlisted ones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is based on just me typing in speed cube review and then seeing what YouTube said. So I, I recently passed a thousand. You did? Um, I amazing. did. And yeah, it's, re I, I'm, more worried about myself that that happened uh, <laughs> and i i never got around to doing like a thousand video i i had a plan for it i still have a plan for it it just might be mm. late um but i haven't uploaded as many so i'm gonna just guess like a thousand and twelve a random number above there Close. that's you get a point it's thousand and nineteen okay yeah. within seven that's that's like, that's just because way. only because I recently hit a thousand. If it was not, if it was like last year, I would just be. I probably would have said like two hundred or something. Just, just okay. that amount of videos isn't. That's so much because I know how much effort we put in all all us put into our videos. Like that is so um, much time. Th I mean, like, there's that is a lot years of, of your life. Yeah, I mean, there, there's there's some shorts. That, oh, there's um. Oh, that's uh, true. Yeah. Uh, probably about a hundred of them are for sure just like really yeah. short clips of like an ol mm. or a pll but yeah yeah i i like well, making yeah. videos like i i really started making more videos because it, it's fun to do and yeah. um so the i'm hoping like I, i've been trying to do less but have the quality be more just and I have a new computer coming in, so it's not going to be as grueling of a task. But Ooh. yeah, you um, and Ming getting all the new tech gear happening because I think Tingman recently rebuilt his as well. Yep, Tingman just got a pop. Oh, yeah, no. I'm sorry, I jinxed I think, it. I think we're struggling a bit here with the <laughs> twenty-one. You did jinx it, Lauren. That is Lauren totally your fault. It. She jinxed it. Hey, my. My picture showed you breaking the whole thing and it falling apart. Like you've, oh, uh, do we have any? So like what are, what are the dots for? I'm very confused it's about the dots. Thing. I got it from a from a JR Cuba video like ages ago. He just placed a couple of dots to just like 
more easily see like where the center was and like different. No, wait, I actually no. I think I think he used to remove the center caps, and so like you could just easily tell that was the center and count outwards from. Oh, that. I see. And then I think okay. someone else did like little dots. So I'm just going all out because otherwise this is going to take me forever. So I've just got a dot every few. I'm worried about the commutator <laughs> stage. It's, it's just a little grid. Yeah, basically. we all are. <laughs> So are you still working on the trying to realign those pieces then? I, I cannot figure out how to it's like these two. And I think that they have like swapped places. Like what do you reckon? Your speed focus, cube review. Focus. What's your That's advice? Whatever. Uh, Start good again. Luck. I think I think I might actually just break the order a new one. <laughs> Just reminds me of like when you watch like IT videos and like how do you fix a computer? Just, just tap it, just like bang it a few times. Turn it on and off again. It'll be fine. <laughs> Start Someone that's in the, the chat case. will know, right? How how am I supposed to fix this? What do you reckon? Uh, chat I mean, can... I think the best thing, honestly, would be if you if you feel like those two are swapped, take those two out and put them yeah, back in, rather than trying out. to like yeah. force mm. through it. I think about. The Felix Zemdix video, I think it, it was like a seven by seven, might have been, and then like he had like a few pieces pop, and he, he's running around under the table and above the table trying to get them. It was like V cube uh, seven by seven, so it's years yeah. ago, but he's like running around trying to grab these pieces and put them back in while the timer's going. Yeah, kind of reminds me of the is it a Kevin Hayes video when he was doing a seven by seven and it just yes, That's I oh, at nationals I gave him painful. a V cube to sign. I think it's in my closet right now, but I had him sign uh, a V cube. He almost used it at the um, <laughs> for the, the final round. Oh, uh, just I think every cube is heart just cries when they hey, see that. Back, back. <gasps> Yay! Oh. First pop fixed. Oh, At least. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. So, I mean, I as a new cuber because I've only, I've only been cubing for a couple of years now. I'm still learning full OLL, but I really loved when you were doing those shorts. I think you're doing really doing a bunch of them about three or four months ago when out we had a second mm -hmm. lockdown in Melbourne, and yeah, I found especially that double sexy move insert with the corner piece on top, but the edge oh, piece yeah. is already correctly inserted. Yeah, love that. I use it all the time now. It's absolutely yeah. fantastic. Are you hoping to make I guess more of those in the future? I know you're taking I... a break from those. Yeah, I want to. I think so. I made the ones that I re like. I I wrote a list of ones that I like. These are the things I want to do. And every mm. so often, I was like, Oh yeah, there's one more. There's more. And so I feel like the ones that that are, I could do after this are either really obscure things that are kind of iffy if they're actually good to do, or ones that are so they're, they're they feel obvious to me, and they might not be yeah. for younger cubers. And that's always a weird stage because I feel like. A couple times that I've made videos that are more for those starting out, you get a lot of comments of like, "This is this is obvious. Why are you making this?" And <laughs> so I'm, I'm still. I, maybe I need to start compiling a new list. Um, but yeah. there was similar to the one that you were talking about that um, doing when you have whoa, lighting. Come on, Ooh. lighting. Okay, that's all yellow on top. <laughs> there <Yeah>. we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> That when it's all yellow on top, like someone mentioned, in, and I, I made a video on this where instead of doing yeah. triple sexy, it's triple sledge and it keeps the orientation. Oh. And so, and it keeps all the orientation there. And I was, and it, the, wow. like the very next solve I had, it was that. And I was like, okay, this is going to be useful. Um, but yeah, I yeah. want to make more. It's just, I want to make sure it's good. <laughs> I want to make yeah. sure it, it makes sense. Yeah. I think we could all agree, like, when you see, like, those OLL or PLL, like, hint videos or, like, advice, and then you finally get to use it, you're like, mind blown, this is amazing. Like, I finally got mm -hmm. to use it for something. Because I think we can all agree there are those cases that really never turn up. And then when they finally do, you're so excited to finally try that trick you saw on YouTube weeks ago that you finally get to, like, try on that cube. Yeah, Tom? Like, being able to try that stuff out that you just see on yeah, videos yeah, and yeah, you finally absolutely. get to try it out. Yeah, Very and I, cool. I found for myself, um, sometimes trying to be super creative is so much slower <laughs> than yeah. just doing what is. And I still like I will still do C O L L if I see a case, even though I've been told often not to do it. But yeah, I will. I, I've learned though when I, if I see a cross, I'm like, oh, I could insert these three F two L pairs while solving the cross. If I do these seventeen moves, like, no, Sean, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. 
I'm with oh, you. It reminds yeah. me I, of like Tingon talking about like all the pairs he's going to insert as he goes as well. Like it's just insane. I, it's <laughs> insane. Hey, what were you going to say? Wow. Tom? I was going to say I use pretty much still like basic CFOP. Like I know all the algs, but um, I haven't really gone into like building X cross as much. I just sort of predict my first pair or look ahead to it and that's gotten me to like eight seconds but i you can't really get past there from there and i don't really want to i even though it well, is i feel like point. i feel like x cross is so misunderstood because mm. all it is is solving six pieces instead of four it's not like some yeah. advanced algorithmic technique it's just you're solving these other pieces there there's a few approaches of putting a co matching corners up first matching an edge up first but I mean, even when you look at top solvers, they're not doing X cross most of the time. They're still doing, yeah. I mean, they're they're planning two, three pairs ahead, but yeah. they're not always doing that. Um, for me, like, I, I used to get, a, I probably still do, a lot of people talking about the last layer algorithms I do because I'll do a lot of left-handed ones and it's fine for me, but maybe not for other people. But yeah. I'm also learning the other algorithms. So like a lot of people like, don't do the wide move G perms. So I have learned the other ones and I still do left and right handed ones, but I'll, I've learned both versions of the G perms and I'll do one or the other, depending on what the last AUF is or just whatever my brain decides to do right. because I'm trying to think faster than I can, <laughs> not fast enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I'm still, I think... you know. <laughs> yeah, my brain doesn't move as fast as any of yours. Like I'm still, I'm, I still have sort of average about 22. I'm working on it. As Ming said in his video, the 20s are the hard grind. It's still, it's faster than most of the world. So yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, that, that is the fair. glass half full version. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I find like full cubing, it's very much like an art, an art and a science. And so there's all the technical bits. There's like, you can, if you had infinite time, mm. you could pause time. Then you're like, oh, I actually could do this thing. But there is an element yeah. of like Max Pax's, you know, don't think just solve. Yeah. Um, yeah. And just do it. Just like, just go for it. Yeah. But one thing I've been telling a lot of people with when they're starting violin is it's 99% muscle development. Like yeah. I, you could learn all the theory, but doing, I mean, doing a scale and doing it in tune also, cause <laughs> you know, a lot of kids, a lot of, when they start speeding up, the fingers go from in tune to just kind of whatever. Yeah, yeah. And with the cube, you can learn the algorithms, but if it's, if your muscles aren't built up, it's not going to, it's not going to do anything. And you can also, you know, you can spam moves, but the muscle development takes time. And like Max, it took him over three years just to get a sub 10 average at a competition. And yeah. people think Max was just suddenly one of the best in the world right away. Mm. No, it's, it's always very reassuring when people talk about, you know, I was there too. You just got to keep pressing through it. It's all about developing and practicing. And it's always reassuring to hear that because people like Felix, I think his first comp, he had like a 10 second solve for his first solve and you're like yep yeah, no yeah. nowhere near that there was so um one of my violin students I, I've, I've told this at some other point where we had a lesson we had a first lesson and then the second lesson i brought out a cube and usually i bring out a cube to demonstrate muscle development and looking ahead yeah. and just kind of use it as a fun thing lessons over but check this thing out yeah. and she goes I, I i didn't even scr scramble yet she goes I can solve that. I'm like, oh yeah, how long does it take? She goes, about 13 seconds. And I'm like, scramble it up and give it to her. I was like, let's see. <laughs> Solves it in 13 seconds. And I go, how long have you been doing this? She goes, about four years. I'm like, have you ever been to a competition? No, no, not yet. Do you ever watch YouTube cube videos? And she goes, yeah. It's like, you ever watch speed cube review? She goes, yeah. Like, you know that's me, right? She goes, yeah and i I, like, I leave the lesson room and i go to and her dad's outside i'm like you know she knew me before the lesson started <laughs> was like what but she went How to a competition she, just... oh, she yeah, knew sorry. me on youtube but yeah she already wow. knew me but so i don't know if we started lessons because she was like yeah there's sean but or it was just coincidence but yeah i convinced her to go to her competition and her she got a like a nine second solve she had a five by five solve that was like a minute 15 four by four solve in the 30s like it was insane wow. um and her, as her first competition and i'm yeah, hoping yeah. she had fun she i think she said she had fun but yeah well i keep saying to people that ask me that like should i go to comps I'm like yeah the, no one cares what time you get the only person who cares is really you 
and everyone's mm-hmm. just really happy, like just to be there and have some fun and, and talk to other yeah. people about cubing. It's almost like yeah. I don't know about you guys, but when I first went went to first or second competition, it's like I found my people, like people who care about yes. this thing as much as I do. Because if I talk about it with my partner, who really, really doesn't, he knows how to solve a cube, but it's not a passion of his. He just doesn't care. <laughs> he thinks I already have too many cubes, and I'm like, I'm sorry, what? Is that possible? <laughs> I'll turn my green yeah. screen on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's and you could be a two minute solver and it's still fine. Like if yeah. you're a two minute solver, the people who are running the competition too are just like awesome. We have someone like yeah. you who's who got who has the courage to come up and, and do this and realize it's not about being a five second solver. Absolutely. No. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry, we've actually probably run over time, but we really appreciate you um, coming on the stream and giving of your time. Is there any message you'd like to say to the community uh, before you leave today? I, I feel like I'm, I'm repeating a lot of like cube rhythm said the same thing about having fun. Um, competitions are starting up. Some are being canceled, but if you get a chance to go to one, go to one. Like there's, it's not about what time you are. It's a community and it's in, if you can't go to a competition, you know, as you see people in the chat and everyone's here together. So just, Repeating what other people have said, who have been doing this for years, it's about having fun. And absolutely, yeah. And if you haven't already subscribed, but I'm pretty sure everyone probably has, definitely go check out Speed Cube Review on YouTube. Already at ninety two point four. Can you? Can some of you guys do that right now? I'm sure there's some yeah. people in the chat who have not subscribed. Can you actually go right now? Right, right now. I'm. I've I'm heard there's over a thousand videos on that channel. <laughs> 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 it's actually insane. There, there probably aren't many cubing channels, if any, that have mm. more than you. Like, I'm pretty serious about that. Like, it's that wasn't a goal of mine. I'm, I really <laughs> hope to go for quality, not quantity. <laughs> I promise. Oh, a lot of work, though. So so yeah, if, if you guys can go so right now and subscribe to to Sean, that would be amazing. He, he Thank is you. this close to getting over a hundred to getting that silver. Play if I do, yes, that is home. going with my diplomas. Yeah, it's awesome. going above my diplomas, so, guys. If we can make that happen, that would that would, that would be amazing. If we can help him along the way, because of how much he's done for us. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Thank you again. See you, Sean. Uh, wow. He's so good. Yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm really like so grateful for him and you know what he's done. It's absolutely a thousand videos, guys. A thousand. Oh, oh, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Uh, for those who who are unaware when one is carrying a miniature human in them (laughs) they are not allowed to eat that and he knows that too (laughs) and i thought tnl cubing was evil oh so good this is this is life right here see i can't eat that for another three months so that is just cruel oh, right there true. that's right you can't i am sorry but i'm so sorry. sad i love sushi so it's much as life. well oh yeah oh and that, that looked cool amazing Tom, I'm, I'm sorry what are you I'm doing to your guests so good. would you like would you like some of my soy sauce like you know yeah maybe. i think you should share this you with decide. your guests we're on either just side saying. of the Warren right now Give, give her like a wet like. <laughs> Does it make just punch you guys? Like, hang on. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, we should do, do one of those things. Are you ready? Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, oh, hang on. Can't really see our arms though. Like. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? It looks so cool, obviously. Anyway, we, we look I think absolutely this happened another community video. Let's yeah. do that. Hi everyone, I'm Anna and I'm a content creator on Instagram where I basically share some fun content on my cubing journey. This is the first time ever I'm in a YouTube video and I couldn't be prouder it's as part of this amazing charity live stream. A big thank you to everyone who supports. And Tingman, no pressure, but the entire success of our mission literally lies in your hands, so keep it up. What's up Tingman? It's your boy Jack, professional TikTok creator for Rubik's and I just wanted to hop in and say that um, you got this. I know solving a 21 by 21 is kind of tedious and long, but yeah, I believe in you. And to all those that are watching, be sure to donate because it's for a good cause. And yeah, see ya. Woo! Thank you, Jack, and thank you, Anna, for those for the encouragement. Yeah, so good. 
we have got um have we had a look at our donations oh yeah, yeah. can we have a quick look at the donations so it would be amazing what are we up to seven thousand eight hundred i think that's oh my god nearly like equal to what we raised the whole stream last time mm. so we are really close Man. um that's insane thank you so much guys so you can see olivia just donated as well thank you so much she's going to be on to just on. really really soon um but just before we do i just want to really quickly thank um ken Sheng again for um donating 900 dollars um, and they've actually given us a video to play, um, uh, just sort of an overview of some of their new cubes, um, presented by the world record single holder for three by three, Yuxing Du himself. So <laughs> Yuxing Du in this live stream, like, it's actually crazy. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Yeah, but um, here it is, so enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Yuxing Du. Today I will be the spokesperson for Dian Shen and introduce you to the new products. This series is the 2x2 to 7x7 of the solar system. These body cubes are good for beginners, but they have good performance and feeling. The frosted surface is cost effective. The next set is a magnetic cube which is also a series of 2x2 two two to 7x7. Seven seven. Magnetic system improves the overall stability. Also, it is a budget magnetic cube. This cube is part of the solar system as series. In addition, 4x4 four four and 5x5 five five are under development. The Solar S Series Cube is designed to speed cubing. This is the Solar System S3M, which is configured with the two different stretch systems so that it can meet the needs of more people. Glossy color makes more better in speed cubing. Finally, I'd like to introduce the Super High Level Cube. This one is a magnetic 8x8. This one is 10x10, 11x11, and 9x9. They are magnetic. It is the first time that a transparent magnetism has been applied to the super high level cube, which immediately increases beauty. The magnetic system also makes the cube greatly more controllable when turning, achieving the minimal size in the existing similar products. The overall accuracy of the cube is higher. I'm just eating lunch. <laughs> Thank you, Dian Shang, for donation again. Mm. Welcome so back, good. Panda. And we're yep. at 7,900 now. So 100 wow. more. What are we going to do at 8,000? At 8,000. Something fun. Um, Cut Tom's hair. There? Cut Tom's yeah. hair. We're going to shave Tom's head. No. No, I said you've cut. Wear, you've got to wear this fish. You're going you're to wear this fish on, on, on your head. Yeah. That is a cool fish, actually. Um, before we have Livia on, uh, tell me your favorite thing about how. I'll, I'll go first. Livia's videos are just, to me, the most fun, like, yeah. giving videos there is. Like, if there's one thing to, like, describe her channel and her videos, it's just, like, it's so much fun. Um, yeah, she has, like, a, one of the best personalities in the community, definitely. Mm. I just love how how warm her videos are. Like, they make me feel happy watching them. Mm. And, I mean, I do love dogs, and her dog is very adorable as well. I've seen it in a couple of videos. And you know, I love mine. Buddy, think... And hers is adorable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it was also in one of the speed cubing movies. I saw her expression when she got a really great song on Pyramids. It was like this elation, <laughs> like, oh my God, I got this great time. And it was like, wow. Like, that's how th I think that's how everyone feels when they get that really amazing song. Like, you just can't contain, like, you want to be cool. Like, you're oh, enjoying. yeah, this happens all the time. I know, it's so good. But, like, yeah. secretly, you're like, yes, this is amazing. I don't know. Yeah. Well, without further ado, shall mm. we? Mm. It's time to introduce into the chat or oh, into the live stream Livy Kleiner. Hi. Welcome. In the flesh. That is a scarf. That that is some scarf. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're awesome. focusing on the scarf. I'm focusing on the lights in the background. I want those for the nursery. Okay, that's oh, that's wow. very cool. Too. I've looked everywhere for them to try to find them online because people always ask me and I can never find them. Like my, my I got them as a gift from my uncle. And like wow. once I find them, I will. I'm gonna share the link because there's so many people who've been <laughs> wanting them. They're great. That's so they're cool. amazing. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah. How how have you been? What's what's this year been like for you? Um, 
better than last year i don't know yeah um i yeah i've been good um like i'm going to college still wow um, yep. it's been fine and um i have my first comp in like a week so that's like super exciting oh, yes. Like yes. a year and a half so good. i haven't been to a comp since like early 2020 which is like mm. yeah crazy um, it is it's so weird not doing comps for so long your soul just starts to wither yeah. it's so weird like i used to be going to comps like every other weekend basically yeah like, it just yeah. feels so weird to be back it's so good yeah what, what, guess, what are you hoping to get out, out of that comp um uh three by three pvs would be nice but no just yeah. to like see people after yeah. forever that's mostly yeah. just what i'm looking forward to um yeah. just experiencing cool. the feeling of being to a comp which i feel like is gonna be mm. weird yeah but cool I guess with your YouTube fame, because you do have a wonderful YouTube channel, which you, everyone you. should go check out. Um, do you find, I don't know about in America, but I, I go to the competitions with Felix in Melbourne, and whenever he does a solve, people just, like, con like converge on his table. Do you get a bit of that as well, like your comps? Um, freak out. I don't know. I can't even remember. It's been so long. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't really think. I don't really think so. Like maybe yeah, yeah. like no, def there have been times I think yeah. it's happened for particular events maybe or yeah. for, like an exciting round. Definitely yeah. at like nationals or something. Um, but there have been like sometimes if there's like an easy scramble in the round or something and like it's yeah. pyraminx or like scoob or something yeah like people will like and if i'm in that heat people will be like oh my, they'll be thinking like oh wow there's an easy scramble olivia might do really well so then they'll kind of start like crowding <laughs> yeah. um it's it has happened before um yeah but it's fine <laughs> And it's like no pressure just don't look at me guys just be cool be cool i know sometimes people seem like really like excited in the solve because they know that it's going to be like a really easy scramble or something because they like already got it yeah, yeah. and you're just like what did they see what did they see like holding the hero. <laughs> yeah wow so i guess you've been keeping for quite a while now i had a look at your profile and yeah. um something that came up recently when i was looking at people's videos in the comments is that a lot of cubers fall in and out of cubing um, mm -hmm. for periods and then they'll get back into it and then they fall out again. I guess what motivates you as a well-known cuber to get better and better every time? Um, Yeah, that's actually, I was just thinking about that today because cubing is like, I had a lot of interests, I guess, but cubing was really yeah. the one that I like, the only one that I really stuck with for more than like <laughs> years probably. Now it's been yeah. like eight years or something. And I, I was thinking like, how, why, did I keep doing it? And I think like one, it's like the YouTube thing because I've always liked making videos my whole life. So I think actually mm. like making cubing videos and like feeling like somewhat like successful in that has like kept me motivated because I've always wanted to do YouTube. And I think that I found like cubing as a great like thing to make videos about. So I think that's one reason. And also just, I think the competitions because nothing else that I did really had that sort of like community like aspect about it um so i think that's it as well um yeah 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 because before, what... before cubing you were you were a skater girl you said see you later girl <laughs> <laughs> oh the puns yes oh, the puns. is that, that still happening I, I still skateboard, but not yeah. like a lot. And I wanted to, like, I never competed in skateboarding. Like, I never, I didn't stay with it long enough that I got to like a high enough level that I could do stuff like that. And yeah. like, I did some like skateboarding camps with other people, and like, it was fine, but like, it wasn't anything like going to a cubing competition. Yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. And you're right, like that camaraderie and and the people that get around you, like it's a absolutely amazing community that we that we're all a part of i think we've all at some point said in our video we just love we love our community so much yeah it's you're right it's completely yeah. unlike um any other community that i think exists out there and yeah. i think yeah the documentaries the movie like all that really helps to show up how warm our you're, community you're is you're on netflix yes i my <laughs> 10 seconds of fame on Netflix. You're on Netflix. Ooh, Just clip so that and put cool. it on the Insta. <laughs> yeah. It's 
so cool. Uh, well, I skating... sadly got into it after it. <laughs> the theme of skating might actually come up um, in, in this quiz because if you've been oh, playing, God. it's time to play. Let's get it. It's time to play. How well does Livia know Livia? Ba, 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 ba. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Here we go. You ready? Are you ready to play? I think so. Question number, one. Question number one. What is the title of your very first YouTube video that's currently visible on um <laughs> okay well this is actually my first video i ever posted how yeah. to clean your grip tape yes <laughs> you've got it and in fact i'm going to take the liberty now to play a little bit of it so that we can all enjoy it <laughs> hey guys today we're here to tell you how to clean your grip tape so today we have a really dirty, dirty board as you know it so we have all the things here that you need we have water paintbrush, paper towel, and grip gum. This isn't regular gum, but it's grip gum. You can get it at a skate shop. Cleans your grip tape. So. Look, it, it delivers exactly what it said that it would. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a tutorial. It's if, if you want to know how to clean your grip tape, that's how you do it. Like, exactly. Oh my God, that's so funny. My parents are watching this in the other room and I could hear my mom laughing when you guys played that. <laughs> so funny. Can I'm you like, tell us a little bit about that video? Can you, like, how old were you in that? Like who was filming? Who, who, who are we looking at? Yeah, so I posted that in 2013. So that was eight years ago. So I was probably like 10 or 11 in that video. Um, yeah. I just wanted to start YouTube. I, I filmed, I made a lot of videos throughout my life. Like everything I've been interested in, I've always made videos about it. But I finally yeah. decided to start YouTube that year. And at that time, I happened to be in the uh, skateboarding. And I guess I just got that grip gum stuff. And I was like really like excited about it. And I thought like I knew a lot. So I decided to make a tutorial. <laughs> but like it got like a thousand views. So I guess... It worked yeah, out. Right. yeah and we're still talking about it, it it's, it's changed the internet yeah. <laughs> yes revolutionized <laughs> it's just changed the world <laughs> that's great all right that's that's the first point to you you want to keep going with the question yeah that's i think that I was too easy maybe myself. it was too easy way too easy um the next one your very first competition was in 2013. do you remember what was the time of your first three by three average at that comp okay um like 34.02 yeah 0.18 really close oh, wow. how did you that's you amazing i knew it was 34 but i didn't know the rest Damn. that's so good that's amazing thanks that's yeah 2013 as well like yeah that's a fair while ago that one, one of so the you would have only been 10 or 11 then yeah i, I think i was 11. Oh, wow. Using my Diane Guhong. <laughs> oh, good times. Damn, they were good. <laughs> Do you still have it? Oh, yeah. I have, I basically have every cube I've ever owned. I have like a bunch of old Diane stuff, but I, I have that yeah. Guhong somewhere. The crazy thing is that you still solve them too. Like, I remember when you put that video out of like solving every cube in my collection. I was like, no way. Like, no way. You would actually solve every cube you collected <laughs> and you did. It's like, yeah. what? That was games. like my favorite video and it, it was it, fun. It's done really well too. Hey, that, that video. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. All right. That's okay. two, two out of two. Yeah, two out of two. Damn. Um, question three. How many gold medals have you earned at WCA competitions? Oh my god. I don't want to estimate too high. <laughs> I want to <laughs> say like I do. <laughs> 40. I don't know, 40 some. I, I feel like it's 40. I'll just go with 40. Yeah, 42. Oh, that's okay. really good. All right, at least you I can have that. 42 that's... is the perfect number. You should never get like a single goal there. Another goal. Okay, I'll number. try. I'll try my best not to. <laughs> it's the meaning of life. So that's three from three. Yeah. Maybe these were too easy. They might be too easy. You just don't know, like, how well people know themselves. Question four. On your YouTube channel, do you know what the most viewed video is? Oh, yeah. Solving my entire collection. 
I mean, yeah, that's, that's, no, that's, easy that's, I, that's, I, that's an easy one. I mean, that's, okay. my, only, that's my only one I, million video. You don't get a point yet. How how many oh, yeah, views yeah. does it have? Views? Okay, like 2.3 million. Whew. Two point, yeah, pretty much 2.48 now. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, I do check that kind of frequently. It takes so. that. It's grown. It's grown. Yeah. Also, you lose. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Okay, four from four. I think are these too easy, or maybe Olivia is just our, yeah. our best. Yeah, best I just got far. lucky. I really, I feel like I don't know my stuff that well, just because there's so like much. Like I have so many videos, so many competitions. Like it all blurs together. But these, yeah. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Somehow. Gonna roll anyway. Um, the final one, question five. See if you can get it perfect. Um, at Cubing USA Nationals 2019. What did you place in Skube Finals, and what was your best single? All right, I placed like finals. I placed six, and it was two twenty-two. <laughs> Is that right? Close, two point nineteen. So but that, that's, that's very so close. close. I think we should pad that. That's like point three of us. Yeah, zero point three zero. Of a second, really. Did I get six though? Was that it? Yeah, yeah you came six. six. Oh wow. And according to the WCA website, you had actually made a massive improvement. First round, you were placed 18th, second round, 15th, and then you came sixth oh, in the final. Wow. So massive improvements all around. Every round, you got better. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I'm surprised I even did that well at SKU, but okay. I don't. I that, remember I did oddly well in that round for some weird reason. Um, SKU's so. one of your main events, isn't it? Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't even put. I don't really like put that much effort into it, um, and I usually don't do that well at big comps with it. Yeah. Um, you only put in two point one nine seconds of effort. I mean, like that's really yeah. nothing if you think about yeah. it. Like. The people who took a minute to solve this cube, they put effort. In. <laughs> that, that's effort. Should talk to Cubehead. I don't think he solved one at his last comp. He had so much trouble remembering how to solve a skew. I think it was the first time we tried at a competition. Oh, no. <laughs> but I think Ming and I have both been there where we've literally forgotten mid-solve how to solve a skew. Because you're right, oh. it's not, for most people, it's a side event. It's not, like, the one you go, everyone goes for three by three. Like, skew's just it's another event like we like to do. Again. I don't know. It's hard to find motivation to practice skew. I feel like they're getting more competitive, yeah. though. Yeah. I think a lot of people have, like, mm -hmm. saw that Pyraminx and skew weren't that populated, and yeah. now they are. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. I never it's really certainly, talk to Skew. No, I mean, even at competitions in Melbourne, like it's not the most popular event by any stretch. It's definitely like a massive fraction just gone. Like most Skews just do the three by three or two, and that's about it. So it's a bit of a shame. What uh, what Skew have are you going to use at your upcoming comp? Have you decided? Because there's been a lot of Skews released since your last comp. I've just really, realized. I have. I don't even remember what I used in my last comp. I guess I used what I'm still using now, the Moyu Aoyan M. Oh, yeah. yep. I don't even, I don't really keep up that much with like new cubes. I did just make an order and I did get some new stuff, but mm -hmm. um, I don't even know. It's good. I like that <laughs> cube, so I'm, it's fine for me. Nice. Fair enough, fair enough. I've I tried mean... to cut down on the amount of cubes that I like accumulate for like obvious reasons. No. But like, also, like, I just don't like don't care stop. that much. Like, I'm I always would use the same mains for like years. Usually, mm. like, I just I don't know because I like something and then I just don't feel like changing. So yeah, no, you're loyal. Think, That's what it is. You're loyal. Loyal. Yeah. yeah, but I think most people can understand that. I mean, if you find something that you really like, you're probably not going to change. And like, why would you? You got something that works perfectly well. Yeah. Um, is it a space issue for you? Because for me, it's a space issue with keeping cubes. Um, like, I don't like, have the space. Like, at this point, it's not even, like, I have, like, this the thing behind me. And that has, like, yeah. a, maybe 100 cubes or something. I have, like, those mm -hmm. shelves up there with a few. And then my mains are on my desk. The rest of my cubes yeah. are literally just in, like, a huge bin that's under, like, the guest be the guest bed in like our guest bedroom so like really yeah. like i'm any new cubes i get i'm basically just gonna stuff under that bed so as of right yeah. now there's there there's room for more cubes and stuff under that bed it basically <laughs> just feels like one like huge bin or like one huge bin and one like medium sized bin so like i could definitely yeah. fit another big bin down there so for now i'm fine if it feels like yeah. all the space under that bed 
then I'm in trouble. But um, <laughs> like us, Ting Man, it's drawers plural, and then there are tubs along with the drawers. I think is how he manages to store all oh, the yeah. cubes. Yeah, I have. I have a <laughs> It's sort of all, all over the place, yeah. Have you done yeah. a count? No, I haven't done a count. It's not, it's not worth it. It's, it's fun. I mean, I've done, like, since I've had, like, 200 cubes, I've done, like, mm. three counts, I think, for, like, cube collection videos, and then for yeah. the entire collection video, and it's, um... It's a lot to get organized. Like, I don't, cause I don't even, you don't even remember what half the things are. And then you're like, yeah. really cool, like unboxing videos. And I basically just made this like huge list, like this huge Google doc with like a list of everything so that I could like know which cube is which. And like, it takes a while to organize, but you should do it. It would be, yeah. um, it'd be a fun video if you did like a cube collection. People love cube collections. It would be fun I think for me. some of it might be Gan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, mine's like mo all mo you, so like yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, um, like we I said, like sorry, uh, you giving. We were talking before to uh, Brody about having like his parents in videos, and I will also want to say that something I quite enjoy about your videos, like when your parents are, are, are in them, they're, they're so cool, so much fun, and also so cool, like when they're they're solving as well, because neither of my parents can solve, um, and and that's fine. I still feel supported by them. That's not about me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, when are we going to see your parents again in, in your videos? I, I think that's oh, um, they are They I are should, so cool. Should, it has been a while. I should do something. Um, I love doing It'd be videos. awkward if you said, like, Fun. no, because they're watching right now. <laughs> no, they are watching right now. Oh, Mom, Dad, I know you guys are watching, so come and do a video with me soon. Um, yeah, I love, like, I love that my parents cube um and yeah. the, my dad competes i think that's so awesome that he that like so wanted cool. to do yeah. that um yeah so like i it's cool that, and they can each solve like a bunch of different cubes and like they love cubing like they'll just they have cubes like around the house and they'll just like be solving on their own time which is so cool like it's just fun because we all cube yeah that's really cool yeah i love this comment too man can you ask livia if her dad will be uploading soon we have a fan <laughs> um <laughs> Well, your parents are watching, so that can yeah, go straight I, to them. I will be uploading. I could upload for my dad <laughs> soon. I, um, like I do manage his YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> but I don't think I am subscribed to his channel. I think we should. Can we? Can we find it? Yeah. What, what's just, what's his channel? It's just David Kleiner. There, I think there's a link to it from my channel. Um. Yeah, we should do another racing video. We had like a little series. We should do that soon. Like I always. Oh, really? Yes, there's so much fun. It's so cool yeah. your parents cube. I don't think my parents oh. even have seen my channel. Like, that's amazing. Did you teach them or did they, like, pick it up on their own? So my dad actually learned before me. Like, he could solve it through yeah. iPad before I learned. And then oh. I that's kind of what motivated me to learn because I was like, oh, I'm not going to let him be faster than me. Yeah, that's his channel. Yes. <laughs> hey. So that awesome. motivated me to learn. All right. I just subscribed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yes, there's a buddy video on there, by the way, for buddy oh, yes. fans out there. Um, is that a young Patrick Ponce? I just saw one of the thumbnails. Wow. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, buddy. Yeah, he's yeah. adorable. Oh, that's cool. Do you have buddy with you right now? No, he, Um, I think he's with my parents. He can't really, like, <laughs> he just got surgery on Monday on oh, his, he, wow. his ACL. So he's, like, I don't want to call him in because I don't want him, like, uh, like running. Yeah. Uh, but he'll be back. He, he will recover and he'll be back in videos. Yeah. Is, does your puppy, can they see the screen? Because my dog doesn't see other dogs when he looks at screens. But, like, I have a friend whose dog can. I don't know. Like, sometimes, like, if the TV is on, he'll be, like, staring at it. And I'll be wondering <laughs> if he's, like, actually seeing, like, if there's a dog on there, I'll be wondering if he's actually seeing it. But sometimes there'll be a dog on there and he won't be looking. So... I don't really know. Like, hey guys, guys, is... guys. Do, you, do you know <laughs> what's a dog's ultimate. favorite algorithm? Oh, oh, here we go again. It's it's F U R I U F because it's fur rough. <laughs> uh. I think we oh. need one of those sound bites, Tom. That goes but um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. No, it doesn't even get one of those. Oh, so good! It is so good. Chat, no, just it. make it clear to, no, to Ting Man. No, what do you think it. about his jokes? Post in chat for us. So I'll read some of them out. I think he won't be back next year. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need a new 
Asian dad to solve the cube for us. Hey, let's get Uncle Ting Man back. We'll get maybe yeah. Uncle Ting Man to do. <laughs> well, is there a chance Uncle Ting Man would make an appearance today? No, no. Nope, if we hit, nope. what if we hit the goal of ten thousand five hundred? No, that is a negatory. Like serious, we are so close. We're already wow. We've just hit 8, That's amazing! Wow. Thank you, Nick, for the, and Livio as well for your eight thousand. Yes, and that's a fish, buddy. Oh, and no. QB for donating 105 as well. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate every donation. Every little bit helps. Give those who need homes homes. That, looks, <laughs> that actually looks really cool. Fish that head. looks like a fish dove at you <laughs> when they got stuck. Nice. Cube head, fish head. I'll wear this one, cube head. <clears throat> uh, Livia, yeah. I don't know if I said this last year, but the first time that I ever like got to know about you was um taking your face out on a card and i think like a moyu product oh <laughs> the first time that i met you i was like okay and i don't know if you've seen it but this is a video i made with my daughter ages ago where she was reviewing budget cubes and there's a moment in the video that she takes like your card and she's just like maybe a kleiner who's that and she just started, <laughs> i remember watching that <laughs> But like it was really early on in cubing we didn't know very many like people and i was just like yeah who, who is that and who is that <laughs> like rip livia oh it's like, oh i like yeah. we've got comments. some questions in chat livia would you be willing to answer some of the oh, questions yeah, in sure, chat? of course hey look i have some no. things man look no no yeah. but see Splash. there was one before that said we need we need the, more of those jokes so like take from that what you will like as much as I love your hair, they like Ming's jokes. So just yeah. at it. No, I actually saw one that I, I'm actually really interested because in being one of the few female cubers that um, makes YouTube videos as well, I'm kind of curious to know what your take is on this. What do you think about being one of the few well-known female cubers in what is very much a male-dominated uh, hobby? Yeah, I mean, I think it's good because um... – I mean, of course, like, I love everyone who watches my videos, but sometimes I'll get a comment from, like, a little girl saying, like, oh, I love your videos, you inspire me, and, like, that just, that just makes me so happy, because, like, I felt that way about, like, certain yeah. people, just keep cubing, I always shout her out, because she's literally my favorite, yeah. um, like, YouTuber, and I, like, she's the one who inspired me, like, a huge amount, so, like, I feel like if I can do what she did to other people, like what, what she did to me to other people, like that just makes me feel so good. Um, and it's just like, I'm having fun and like inspiring like kids and it just, it makes me so happy. That's so good. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think it's just one of those things like we need, to, we can always spread the cubing love. Like there's always room for more of us. So we, I always try to get, not even just girls, I try to get more people into our great hobby. Okay. Why did you start cubing? I started cubing because I needed to be faster than my dad. So I learned how to solve a Rubik's Cube. It's true. It happened. So I learned oh, how to I solve a Rubik's Cube. And then I was into, I was already into videos and YouTube. So mm. then I kind of discovered the world of like cubing videos on YouTube, you know, just keep cubing, like me, myself, and Pi, yeah. you know, like, and then that, and then from then I, well, then that's why I discovered competition. So like with, and then went to the comp and then I never stopped. Like it just, yeah. So it was just worked out that way. But, and then of course I started actually making videos on YouTube and then that's basically. Fell down the rabbit hole happened. and never yeah. looked back. <laughs> yeah. um, I saw one actually I'm curious about, since you haven't changed mains very often, what are your, some of your current mains that you wouldn't mind just sharing with the, with the um, stream? Yeah. So for throughout there, I used the Maylong 3M. I did just get choice. Yeah, I did just get the Waylong WM 2021, which like might be my main. I haven't had time to set it up, but I do really like it. Yeah. And this is like, I think this costs like six dollars or something. I've always yeah. loved budget like, cubes for some reason. Like I just like prefer them. Like for yeah. some reason, um, it's good. Like I wanted to try something more stable, uh, because my cubes that I use tend to be more like looser, because that's what I like. But I think it's better for me to use more stable cubes. Um, yeah. And I've been like practicing a lot of three by three. So that this like, yeah, I love it. It's been great for me. I think it's helped my times. Did just yeah. change a main the other day. I'm using the Chi clock now, which I love. Oh, uh, yes. Magnetic clock. Yeah. Well, 
I think based on, I don't do clock, but I've heard that it's just a lot more stable and there's less things that go wrong with it as well. Like it doesn't yeah. break as easy or misalign. Yeah. Like um, the Shangsha magnetic clock is really good. It's like $10. Great for the price. The pins mm. are a little like, they're a little hard to click. Yeah. Um, I was using like a custom made Lingao. It was super expensive. It was really good, but it was a yeah. little like looser than I would like. I think that she's like perfect in between um i've 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 really been liking it i've i've like never practiced clock i only practice like two weeks before i have a comp where i need to compete in clock so that's yeah. now i'm in that two weeks so i've been practicing clock and it's been great i would highly recommend that clock i mean yeah, yeah. it's basically the best mass produced clock you can get i would say hands down uh it's like 30 bucks so it's not even like it's not terrible it's definitely not like a the 60 dollar <laughs> like one i had yeah, before no um here's another one I, I think you said you've got a competition coming up really really soon that you're very excited about it's been almost a year i think you said since your last comp yeah like a year and a um, half wow see i've never gone that long without a comp i'm very grateful for that but um i guess you're probably in a really good position having had such a big break that you could possibly break a lot of pbs at this next comp so what are your goals yeah, so as far as just, like, competing goals, I mean, 3x3 three three is my biggest goal. I've had my PB yeah. for years now, my PB average. It's, like, 8.5. It was pretty good for me at the time, but I, I never do well at 3x3. Three three. Like, I really no. – so, but I'm hoping – I've been practicing a lot, and I've gotten a lot, like, consistently a lot better. So I'm hoping I can beat that average, and I really hope I beat my single. My single is, like, so sad. It's, like, 7.17, which is – like, it's so bad. Like, I really should have a six easily by now. And I just yeah. kept failing so many times. I plus two, like, a seven flat at, like, one of my last comps I went to. Like, it was just bad. So I really hope I beat that single because it it doesn't even take, like, that lucky of a solve for me to beat it. it it's just, yeah. like, I just never – I just always somehow, like, messed up or just got very unlucky. Like, all I needed Is was it just, like, a PLL skip. <laughs> Yeah, is it like um? I think Felix once spoke about the nerves, the hardest thing to get past. Once you get to that level, it's the nerves, like when you see everything and then trying to keep your hands steady. Yeah, there's a I bit think, of that as well. Yeah, I just feel like I never like for the most part. I feel like I didn't do well in comp because of like nerves. Like there were definitely moments that I did really well, but like for three by three, I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was nerves. Like if I would was getting an easy scramble, then I would like mess up and like plus two or something, but. I'm hoping that yeah. I've been practicing a lot, so I'm hoping that will be better. Um, yeah, I don't know. Clock would be nice maybe to get some PBs. It's literally the first event, and it's at, like, 8 a.m., so I'm not really putting too much pressure on it because it's my first time going, you know, competing after years. Um, breaking yeah. some pyramids average would be nice, but, again, I nerves are probably going to prevent that from happening. Uh, my average yeah. isn't that good in pyramids. And like at my last comp, I competed in Pyraminx, I plus two out of like a two point like one something average. Yeah. So that like and so yeah, it's it's an okay average in comp, but it's definitely like beatable with like the right scrambles. Oh. But oh. yeah, ha well done, <laughs> Ming. For those who are just tuned in, Mr. Tingman just got two opposite centers. That was a long time for two centers. Three and a half hours. That is not cool. Oh my. That's a long time hmm. for two centers. <laughs> oh, yeah. How are the arms uh, feeling? Yeah, they're they're okay. Actually. <laughs> it's the hands, like just a bit a bit big. Oh no! I hope I'm going okay for time. I think it should be alright. Four centers. Third one will be fine. Fifth and sixth center is together, and then edges isn't too bad. And three by three. <laughs> please, please. I hope this doesn't go for another like twelve hours. <laughs> two I centers, think... guys. Correct me if I'm wrong, but from the 19 by 19 stream, the centers obviously what take the longest. There's so many pieces to look for. It's like 19 <laughs> pieces for one bar. <laughs> it's so insane. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Livia, to you. Livia, do you want to pick which um which color center I do next? Ooh, you already what well, you already did blue. Um I'll do orange. That's my second favorite color. Orange it is. Nice. I mean, yeah. That is crazy, but good job. I I, I mean, the highest I've ever done is 13 by 13, and that's miserable. So, but, <laughs> but you're doing it for a good cause. And I'm, I'm, great. Like, I'm impressed. I just, I don't even think I could handle it. I'd lose it after like half a center. <laughs> you hear that? Livia, Livia thinks I'm cool. 
cool than you. No, your hat's pretty cool. Or your oh, <laughs> <laughs> just boots himself under the cream. I'll just leave. That's so great. I feel like we need to watch the, the grip tape video again. And it's one time. more. It's <laughs> yeah. So, it's so cute. Great. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate you coming on the stream and 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 obviously offering up your time to answer some questions and participate. Um, is there any message you'd like to uh, spread to our beautiful community uh, before you leave today? Yeah, of course. First, I just want to say thank you guys for all the comments you gave me, like, right at the beginning while I was in the waiting room. That was, like, making me so happy. Second, I just want to say thank you to everyone watching right now. You guys are the best. And, of course, thank you so much to everyone who donated. If you haven't donated yet, right there. And <laughs> I just really appreciate this. It's so awesome that we can, like, get together and do something so amazing like this and use cubing as like the basis to make like an amazing contribution we're at eight thousand dollars which is amazing we're gonna make mm. a difference because of cubing and that's amazing and, and such a fun event so i really hope everyone's enjoying it um yeah thank you so much for having me on this was so much fun i really appreciate thank it you. Yeah, yeah. thank Woo! you so much for coming on really appreciate your time so good i got a, got a point to have don't forget to go subscribe yeah. to this awesome skater girl, guys. Yes. Yeah. Put um, Livia's link. She's, a, she's just a skater girl. And she's about to say, see you later, girl. Sorry. gift that keeps giving. It really is. Thank you so oh, much so for being here. We really appreciate it. Of course. Yeah. That's so good. Say bye. See you. Thanks, Livia. We love you. Have a good see you. Bye. Bye. Well done, everyone. I mean, Woo. two centers, Ming. Well done. That is a hefty effort. Like, and eating at the same time and doing everything you do. I like this what Crimson Keith said. Maybe I could make this a little recurring show on my channel Thursday Night Live with <laughs> <Yeah>. TNL Cuming. <laughs> TNL Thursday Night Live. And it's just like an hour of me and Ting Man doing terrible stand up. <laughs> Uh, bad there's nothing, sketches. There's nothing terrible about my stand up. My stand up. My, you my might want to turn the comments off done. then. I've been so good. <laughs> oh, I haven't been looking at the comments. Should I? Should I have a look at the comments? Zoom in this. of the fish hat. How okay. do you zoom in? Do you just lean forward? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Ow, I'm being assaulted. Oh. It is a very cool like fish hat. I almost want to know where you got that. it. He, he where does one know. where it's does one buy a fish hat like that? Oh, I actually really enough. want Libby's you know. lights. It's it's I want tough. the lights that we just Why? saw. Why? I think Ting Man's had a bit too much sushi. I can Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> Hashtag free TNL. You know? yeah. Help. <laughs> wow. That's yes. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Sophia. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't think I could stay up that late. I'd fall asleep. Shout out to <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> that's Team Man's nickname. It is. Yeah, yeah. Can we play it's this very... game later? <laughs> what is this? Tino doesn't have to wear a fish hat. He looks like a fish. It's like, what? Why is that fish wearing a fish hat? <laughs> Ouch. How uh, rude. It's time for another community video, so here we go. Enjoy. Classic cube raisin. That's so good. Great video. <laughs> so, so good. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a little break now um, and actually watch. Yeah. Thank you, cube raisin, for that.
Um, please subscribe to him if you haven't checked him out. Some pretty crazy videos too. It's so good. Uh, but we're going to keep on eating lunch. Yeah. Uh, and we're actually going to now have Olaf, um, who prepared a little video. Um, yeah, so we can take a little break. So I'll, I'll keep on solving, but enjoy. Hello, enjoy. everyone. Welcome to this little break from my dad's live stream. Have you ever heard of a Guildford challenge? Maybe even you've even heard of a mini Guildford. But I bet you haven't heard of a micro Guildford because I made it up. And I'm going to get the record by doing it sub 10. 10 minutes, I mean, sub 10 minutes. So the Micro Guildford Challenge has two, three, four. It does not have five, six, seven, or any higher. It has Skeeb, Pyraminx, Megaminx, Square One, and Clock. I'm really excited. What about you? I'm going to start with the two by two. I'm going to inspect it. Yep, that looks good. I'm saving three for last because it's the most exciting and dramatic. Gosh. Okay. I just briefly forget how to do this. Um, wait, what do I do now? Wait. Oh no, I stopped the time. Okay, I need to add on 44606. I'm going to do Pira next, but at least now I get an inspection. <laughs> I feel like everybody is, well, at least my dad is always saying about Guildford challenges. But he gets really annoyed by them because he never really does like that well. And he always just says that he feels like um, that he's not that like, good at it. And, but I always tell him that that's not true because the reason that he feels that way, oh, it's four o'clock. I hope I don't fail because of that. <laughs> It's actually that he um, just, he didn't actually just not do very well. He actually just, um, he had to take time pausing in between the challenges to like go and get a, whatchamacallit, he had to grab the next cube. I f have a feeling I'm gonna forget all my squant arcs while doing this. By the way, if you don't know, we call square one squan sometimes. It's the way of cubers. If there are any, any scientists studying cubers out there, thank me later when I don't have a cube to solve. Oh gosh, I knew that I'd forget it. Okay, I remembered. I just had to do it a bit quicker than I was doing. Does that work? Yes, that worked. Okie dokie. I'm worried that there's gonna be parody. Oh, there is. Okay. I think 
I'm doing pretty well for time. Ooh, I've got Mega coming up pretty soon. Oh, I'm not that good at Mega, but I'll try my hardest. I will beat the challenge. The uh, challenge of, whatchamacallit. So that will have to be blue. If you want to know, I wouldn't, I might not call myself color neutral on 4x4, but I am good at doing color neutral on 4x4. Better than my dad, at least. Not that good. Cause I mean, to call yourself good at 4x4, oop, sorry, brief distraction from the 4x4, naughty 4x4. Um, to call yourself good at 4 by 4 color neutral, I think you have to be better than I am. Do you? I'm not actually sure. I'm not a pro at who can call themselves a pro at something. So I'm pretty sure I can't, but I'm pretty sure that I can't call myself a pro at um, um, not knowing. I'm pretty sure I can't, can call myself a pro at not knowing. I don't know what I'm saying. I do know that if I do this, yeah. Wow, I do know that that was surprising. <laughs> um, I do know that I'm having slight struggles. Oh yeah, I'm getting past them. I'm getting past them well, I must say, for myself. Whoa, I'm doing really well. I've only got like a couple more to go in the challenge. I wonder if I should have been. That was dumb. That was very silly. I feel like I'm trying to communicate and I'm having a slight struggles to communicate. Com communicate, not computicate. Computicate. It sounds like computer cake. Yum. <laughs> not exactly yum, more like. <laughs> wow. Hey, it sounds good. Computers and cake. Once my dad bought a Rubik's Cube cake made by my mum because he loves Rubik's Cubes. I might have to be a bit quiet for a moment. Yes, I got it. I think this next part is on the Mega. It's generally hardest for me. I can't actually look up all the time. <laughs> right, actually, right now. Okie dokie. So, lucky. Am I lucky? Yes, I'm very lucky. Um, how do I fix the corners? I have no idea. Do I fix the corners first or the edges? I've completely forgotten how to do Mega. So, let me see if I do something. I think I do the edges first. Oh, I do think I do the edges first. Now I'm going to just hope that I did something. Yes! Three by three. Oh, I have to get this right. I have to get this right. I feel like three by three is one of the quickest for me and that's what actually is making it a bit challenging because I'm not, I'm not feeling used to being this fast, especially right after doing Mega, which by the way, my main mega is the gun mega. Nine minutes and three seconds. I got it under 10 minutes. Okay, now I need to add 44.606 seconds. Nine minutes, 48 seconds, and 500 milliseconds. Yes! Even as the final result, all in underneath, 10 minutes, yes! That's the micro Guildford challenge. If you're not that good at Guildford, at Guildford or mini Guildford or even micro Guildford, you could try the nano Guildford. I made that one up too. It's just a small array of five cubes. Two, three, four, cube, pira. People solve twos under a second. I think my best time ever was one second. 
But all in all, this was a really fun challenge. So I think I'm gonna hand it back to my dad and you can go back to the live stream in three, two, one. Thank you, Ola. <laughs> She's so random. She's I'll very random. Oh, I love, her. I I love her. Like, I hope my kid learns to keep just like yours, Ming. Seriously. <laughs> like, that would be the dream of all dreams. Yeah. I'm very excited for, um, to have Stanley on pretty soon. Yeah. It's going to be oh, so good. Yeah. yeah. How, are we going? How are we going with um, with fundraising? We're up to 8,136 um, from Samuel's yes. donation. Thank you, million. Samuel. Thank you. Um, and before that, we had Nick, Anonymous, QB, Livia, Michelle, Tor, Karen, and Lance. So um, good. Snowman, and yeah, Brody earlier. So thanks, wow. guys. We're really getting there. Um, yeah, keep it coming. I'm guessing we're at about the halfway mark of the stream. Yep. Maybe. Yeah, yep. about yeah, that. I mean, and, about um, halfway. So we gotta we got to keep going, guys. we got two, yep. over 2000 to go, $2,000, and I'm sure we can. And there's going to be Let's yeah some exciting stuff happening when we reach those goals. Mm. But um, now we're going to welcome Stanley Chapel, who I'm sure a the lot king. of you the, the king. king himself. I'm sure a lot of you know him. Uh, he's very well known. He's an amazing blind solver and um, has a really cool channel. He streams. So mm. yeah, welcome. Welcome, hey. Hey, Stanley. Hello, everyone. It is it is nice the blade. It is the scalpel. Himself. Let's say the scalpel. The, the king, must, the king must be one of the king, coolest king nicknames guys. in cubing. Yeah, seriously, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. one of the greatest, one of the greatest nickname. accidents to have ever happen in um, <laughs> uh, the history of DG Cubes reading words. So, so how did, um, <laughs> did he just accidentally say scalpel? Yeah, basically, my um, uh, before chapel, right? before I streamed, yeah, I my Twitch username was S Chapel because it was just a burner account for you know watching cubing yeah. stuff um yeah. and dg cubes was doing a stream um right like right before like warm-up sydney this was in like the world's 2019 season basically oh and he just consistently misread my username in chat as scalpel so i just adopted that <laughs> and here yeah. we are now happy yeah. accidents amazing how the how these things come about Very you actually have a wonderful memory for um, a lot of cubing facts. I know I've watched a few of your Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with DG Cubes and a few others. Mm -hmm. And I don't, how do you maintain all this information? It's not even just your stats, it's other people's stats. It's absolutely amazing. See, the funny part is I genuinely do not know. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I've always just, I've always just thought like I kind of just pay attention to everything and it sticks and <laughs> then I remember it all. Yeah. And, I, 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 yeah, I don't know how that works. I'll try that. I'll try that out. <laughs> I'll, I'll try it out too. <laughs> it must come in handy, obviously, as a blind solver that you just look and you, you. I see when you do your memo, you're saying all these things to yourself, and then having it stick, obviously, is the second part of that, and then being mm -hmm. able to, then obviously execute all the moves you just sort of memorize. Yeah. Do you ever find yourself like mid solve? I haven't seen any videos where you failed. To be fair. But like, do you ever, I've seen you pause. I think there's one solve at world where you just pause for like a good 20 seconds and you're just like, turn the cube, trying to remember what the next move is. Have oh, you yeah, ever I just completely that. forgotten memo though? Like ever? Uh, yeah, that happens all the time. Um, especially, <laughs> um, the, yeah, especially relatable right now. Um, like when I take long breaks and yeah. get back into it, I'll probably, I'll have long stretches in my first sessions to de-rust or you know, 80, 90 yeah. percent of my solves will just end in completely oh. forgetting, yeah, uh, completely wow. forgetting my memo. Um, as it turns out, uh, yeah, one passing a four by four or five by five is very difficult, <laughs> and there's a reason people don't do it. Yeah, um, I think Ting Man recently that. learned how to do four by four blind. Didn't you mean you learned how to do four blind? It's it's my like proudest achievement ever, which <laughs> I I feel like I should quit cubing after that which is like getting a four blind average in my first attempt. And I feel like I just oh, never yeah. want to do four blind ever again because it's only downhill. Right <laughs> Quit while you're ahead, yeah. <laughs> I mean. Getting, getting an official means really early on is actually incredibly yeah. impressive. It took me, my, my, my first, for, for reference, by the way, my first ever official four blind mean was the same round where I won worlds. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a way it, to get it. <laughs> it blows my mind when I see people who are like above five minutes on four blind, they're getting official means. 
it's just a really impressive show of accuracy. Yeah. Well, speaking of your records, how well do you think you know yourself? <laughs> You've been playing this wonderful game all day. So the round is called How Well Does Stanley Know Stanley? Woo! But considering your memory skills, I have a feeling this might be a walk in the park, and I came up with almost all the questions, and I made sure they were hard. Ooh. So Yeah, judging by your last performance with DG Cubes, I watched the video. <laughs> um, I, I genuinely think you will probably get these, even though to me, I have no idea how you You never could. know. You never know. But we'll see. We'll see how you go. Some of them are, we, we might get them. Different. Yeah. For disclosure, Patrick, I think Patrick's currently winning five out of five. So I actually made yours a bit harder because I think your memory is just a bit more epic mm -hmm. being a blind solver. All right. So question one, you've broken the world record for blind single and average a number of times at the same competition. Mm -hmm. Name the competitions you have broken both at. Both single and average for four blind. Yeah, for four blind. Yeah. So the one that I, so the first, the, the most obvious one is world, is WC yeah. World Championship 2019. Um, I got, uh, that was 108.76 single and it was, it was the slower 121 mean. Mm. Though the decimals are escaping me right now. It, it, it was the slower 121. I got like a faster 121 at Cuban USA Nationals, which is the next one. That was 121, 112. That, that was 121, 112 mean with 106 that was the slow one the 106.84 single was there and i also by the way um i remember the last algorithm of that solve as well it was a uh, ufr bur bdl um wow. which i executed doing the y prime alg uh, to u r slice u prime comma l2 um wow. and um so that was the second Final. one yeah. and the okay the okay you act that 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 was actually extremely helpful because I had one more in mind and was trying to think if I had any extras, but that would be MCC nice. Epsilon 2019, which is the yeah. competition where every single big blind record, every single current big blind record was set. Uh, really? which I got 10251 four blind single, 108.76 mean. Uh wait, was it 76? I believe it was, but uh I wow. guess. And then 221625 blind single, 227635 blind mean. Yeah, you just blew my mind because I thought that would be a really hard question for you to answer. So I'm just mind blown. Them. Just wow. Okay, Tom, all you. Easy. Um, question two. In June of 2019, you DNF'd a four blind solve after a piece popped from your cube. Uh, you mm -hmm. completed most of the solve before attempting to find it. You were like star fishing on the floor. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what exact piece, the colors of it that popped and why you couldn't find it? Oh, the color. Um, we got him. We got I'll him. give you a hint. I'll give you a I hint. Believe... Philip was your judge. I do time. remember that. I remember Philip was my judge. I believe it was it June twenty sixth. Um, I, I I know it was in late June because I remember yep. Luke Garrett talking to me on at the end of the first day, saying that they were flying to Australia the very next day. Oh um, yeah. And it, yeah, it was uh, it was Bulldog Qualifier twenty nineteen. Um, I believe it was second attempt that this happened on. And if my memory serves, I'm crossing my fingers. I believe it was the lower green red wing. Um, but okay, that that might be completely wrong, but I remember the reason that it um I couldn't find it was that for some reason the piece just got a ridiculous amount of speed out of the cube in the pop. It is it is exceedingly rare because um I, I don't know. I feel like the sense of scale wasn't really obvious in um, in the video, but that piece mm. flew like five meters from where I was sitting. <laughs> there was no way I was going to find that. Yeah, um, I just assumed yeah. it went right under the table because I was just mm. trying to listen for it. Um, but yeah, it was. It, it, yeah, it just you're went. pretty much correct. It was orange green, so oh okay, pretty right. close. And yeah, it, it I, was. I remember one meters from your table, yeah. so. All I remembered it was uh, it was e slice. That's all I remembered. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it was actually technically two pieces because the piece that secures it underneath also yeah. came out. I think you were mm -hmm. trying to put both yeah. back in. Yeah, that happens. For those who on are unaware. Yeah, and for those who are unaware, like you're not allowed to take it blindfold off to put it back. You either DNF or you try to put it back blindfolded, and that's why if you watch, um, I think it's on Laser Monkey's video. Um, that's why you had to starfish to try find it because they're not allowed to help you or tell you. <laughs> And you also have to be very quiet because other people are still solving around you. So you're just trying to find it. 
as quietly as possible. That's a great moment. So, in have you no. ever had that happen and then found the piece and managed to actually put it back and keep going? At like, home, that yes. I, it hasn't happened in competition, but I've done it yeah. at home many times. Um, but um, I'll also, as a fun fact about the, like, like, I'll, like, yeah, everybody talks about how, like, yeah, you need to keep your blindfold on to find the piece. Mm. But what people also, like, I think don't really notice as much is that the regulations were actually under-enforced during that pop. Wow. Because Philip, as the judge, he sat back and just watched the fireworks, right? But as the judge, <laughs> he was actually still supposed to hold the paper in front of my face the entire time while I was searching. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. So... Like technically, you could, you, you you could say that you know I cheated finding that piece. <laughs> Ooh, well, you didn't find it to be fair, but yeah, yeah that, that yeah. that's also true. Like, you didn't cheat well enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. All right. Question three. I actually wrote this after I I was rewatching some videos with you and DG Cubes. So mm -hmm. according to Daniel Goodman, so for those wondering where that is, DG Cubes uh, says you know everything about WCA records, competition results, very impressive. In what WCA competition did you get your first four blind successful solve? What did you place then in four blinds? There was only one round. And what was your time? Uh, it was, I remember the competition was, uh, it was Michigan Cuban Club Beta 2017. Um, the good? time was a 406. I can't remember the decimals. And, um, also, uh, it plays first because I've never placed second or third in a four blind round. Damn, son. Seriously. The only the only How place you know the this? only placements I've ever gotten in four blind at any competitions are first DNFing or fifth place at Worlds 2017. That's it. Wow. Well, it makes it easy to to remember the results, I guess. But can I just say, wow? Jeez, I'm so impressed right now. <laughs> How do you yep. know this? Three out of three. You're fangirling a bit too hard there, Marcus. <laughs> Let's bring it back a bit. I told you, we, we've oh, come prepared, but still, Stanley is the king at this. Mm -hmm. um, are we want to be up to question four? Yep. All right, this one has three separate things. So um, on, the, on your WCA, how many times have you achieved a world record national record and continental record world record 21 national record zero continental four Are you... Jeez. Um, wait let me can you repeat that uh so i've gotten 21 you, world you, records you like 20, yeah yeah record. sorry you just uh, I mean, yeah you said national by accident i said but. zero yeah zero national records and four continental records yeah that is correct <laughs> Jeez. wow Okay, here's one I thought might trip you because it's been a while. So this is your final question. In your first WSA competition, Mega Minnesota Winter 2016, and I know because I watched your video, mm -hmm. what cube did you main for three blind? Ooh, wow. That a was non -number a while question. ago. <laughs> yeah, that was the first comp I ever made a video about, wasn't mm. it? Ooh. Yeah, it was uh, Mains and Goals, the video I watched. Right. I do remember um, I do remember a certain magnetic Alwong V2 that existed at the time that I used, um, but I don't, I do not think that was the cube that I said I made for 3 blind for that competition. Um, hmm. Did I made a, did I made a GTS1? I feel like I kind of remember that. I, I remember using that. No hints. Tell us when you want to lock it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll say GTS one. I, I honestly can't think of anything else I would have used except for like maybe a Volk. Yes, we beat Scalpel. <laughs> we did it. It was actually the GAN three five six air. Was it? Yep. Oh, I remember now. I remember now. I <laughs> I made the video i made the video and put the air in i do actually remember this i made the video and said the air but that cube broke on the way to the competition so i ended up oh. using the gts at the competition <laughs> and i got my pr single of one flat dot five at the competition with the gts one 
Oh my god, we oh. just can't beat Scalpel. Oh. Just when you thought you beat him, no. Nope. I know. Intricacy to the story, and okay. Oh and wow! Well done. There. No, you got me though. <laughs> I I will. I'll take the L on that one. You that that was fully deserved. No, but I assumed. I kind of assumed that if you made the video, then you would have used it. But mm. yeah, cubes break, so I'm not surprised. Wow, that's impressive. I feel like we you deserve more questions because we just want to see if we can trip you up eventually. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I think you're gonna have to get a bonus point in there somewhere. Like, yeah, we we've had some pretty easy questions for some of the other guests compared to these. Like, these are by far yeah. the hardest. These are rough questions. And to get, <laughs> do, should we do a bonus question? Yeah, I think so. I think the man yeah, deserves a bonus long. question. Oh, do you want to do it, Tom? Bonus okay. question. So, so this is what's a... your favorite color? No. <laughs> <laughs> what What was your first official three by three time in a competition ever? I remember what my PR was after that comp, but I don't remember my first time. I I know. I remember that solve had a pop in it, where the piece like. This was pre this was pretty much the opposite of the four blind pop, where the piece just like went like a meter in the air, but landed like right on the stack mat. Um, <laughs> but I believe it was a twenty eight or a twenty nine, um, if memory serves. I I I have no confidence in this. I all I remember is that it was it was I got a twenty three average that round. That's all I remember. That's ridiculous. It it was a twenty eight. Okay. <laughs> and nice. and but here's a continued second half of the question. Since that very first solve of your very first competition, have you ever gotten a slower three by three time since that one? Ooh, that. Wow, that um. Not, not including like DNFs. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I, I figured that DNS wouldn't count, but I'm actually unsure because I can think of many, you know, funny solves I've had in competitions, but I can't remember if I finished them or not. Are you are you one of those people that like you know you're gonna get a bad time, so you just DNF it? I mean, I'm just thinking like I'm just thinking like I improved quickly enough after that that something truly catastrophic would have had to happen to get me a thirty. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm I'm really not sure what could have happened, or oh, if I would have. Tom, finished I think you've done it. I'm going to say no, I did not, but I I have no confidence in that. If I if, if I got this right, <laughs> if I got this right, let it be known it was a coin flip. Um, <laughs> No, you won. That is an incredible memory you've got, mate. There you go. <laughs> Absolute champion. <laughs> Can you put your head in this? You uh, I, um, uh, 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 <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> wow. That is awesome. So I guess uh c competitions are now happening more again in the states are you looking mm -hmm. forward to attending more in the near future i think you attended one recently or are yeah looking to attend one soon yeah i'm in kind of a tough position as far as competitions go where like you see all these people like you know zane kanani and max xiao are kind of traveling all over the united states for yeah. competitions but being a big blinder i'm in a weird position because i can't really justify <laughs> mass competing like that when none of the comps even have my main event so, oh wow I'm kind of having yeah. to pick my battles and I'm also in, I have another complication. Um, so where like, you know, Zane and Max are like young enough that, you know, their parents are kind of going with them everywhere. But in the U S um, unfortunately there are like state laws where it's like the, the age at which you can book a hotel is like inconsistently anywhere between like 16 and 21. Oh. And I'm 19, so I have to call everywhere and figure out where I'm even uh, able to get hotels. Yeah. So there's oh, so wow. many logistical nightmares with going to competitions at the moment. But I'm excited for competing for sure. Um, I'm currently registered for one comp, a uh, Cuban USA Western Championship. Cool. Uh, and it has all events, so I'm really looking forward to it. 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, how long's it been probably since your last comp that you did? I went to one in July. Um, that was kind of, a, that was like a very small limited scope comp, but it was just very nice to be able to see people again. Yeah. Um, and, but you know, it, it didn't really feel like the competitive experience that it was, you know, going to comps pre COVID. Um, so before that, my last competition was in February, 2020. I think for a lot of people, there's generally about a year, year and a half gap just mm -hmm. with the pandemic and waiting for things to settle down. How do you deal with your nerves before souls? Because I think a lot of people, I guess with blind, you know, once you've done your memo and the blindfold stand, you touch the cube and you start turning, yet you can't take it off. Like, yeah, you can't just have to ham it if you don't remember. How do you deal yeah. with those nerves? Uh, I've just done enough official souls where I just don't experience them anymore. Um, as, as At least as far as like the like, like the blindness nerves go, I, I'm just immune to that now because I've done so many official solves that it just doesn't affect me. Uh, mm -hmm. As far as just nerves that deal with like expectations, as far as like, like I, I, like I want to get world record now, those, I, it's a tough situation because comp scarcity is now a huge factor in that. Yeah. But I just kind of tell myself like, well, now I can, I just kind of take comfort in the fact that like Cubane is not the only competitive hobby in which I have world records. So I can, I just, I'm just <laughs> big chilling. Yeah. Well, I guess the experience of like multiple successes obviously helps the confidence as well. Like knowing that you've got the skills, you've been practicing, like mm -hmm. you probably got this. Do you also kind of see that as someone who's held currently holding multiple world records, mm -hmm. do you kind of also see it as you've got nothing to lose? You already hold it. You can just beat your own time. It's like you're competing with yourself more than other people. Yeah, that's kind it, it's a little more nuanced than that. But yeah, that's like essentially kind of how it feels. Um, it That actually kind of fun, fun, funny you ask that because it kind of more manifests in my practice where I sometimes mm -hmm. ask myself, like, why am I practicing for blind? <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. um yeah. but uh yeah it's it, it's such a tough balance to find because like um you, you know i i do want to beat my own times in competition like at a fundamental yeah. level that's you know that's why i compete but at the same time it's like um yeah hold holding on to the world record for um you know an extended period of time is a, is a nice you know backup sort of situation to be in um, yeah well yeah. interesting and i guess a lot of our um viewers today have been asking you know because a lot not there's some of them are thinking about taking up blind solving what advice would you have to someone who's maybe on the fence because i don't i don't blind solve tom i don't think you blind solve either yeah no you do often? I, yeah i not often but i can solve blind Mm -hmm. okay the just biggest, me then on yeah. the fence <laughs> the biggest thing that i see with people who are who haven't done blind solves or you know had are you know thinking about doing it is that is there's a lot of like self-doubt right like people don't believe mm -hmm. they can solve a cube blindfold that just sounds like an impossible huge milestone right but i think yeah. i think the best way to get over that is just think of it like you're just it's just another skill to acquire sure it sounds like extremely extremely impressive with the you know the barrier to entry getting mm. a full solve but i think it's important to recognize that there's progress to be made that doesn't involve you know doing a full solve um like for example you know you could you, you know there there are like intermediate steps like you know you have a scrambled cube and you just want to solve all of your corners blind so Sorry, my just a casual right blind solve for our and, audience. Yeah, so you so you get corners solved blind, and yeah. you know that's a that's a huge victory. And I think as someone who's getting into blind solving, you want to just be able to recognize these sorts of uh, milestones, e and it can be even smaller than that too. You know, it's you just want to like like being able to like see like the progress you're making in small increments. Like when you're learning to solve a cube, it's like you got crossed for the first time, you got your first layer corners in, like seeing all of these steps, um, it's it's a little more, obs it, they're a little more obscured with blind solving. But I think yeah. if you can let yourself see them, then that's the, probably the biggest thing as far as, um, you know, getting your first solve. I think a lot of people just see it as like, I haven't gotten my first blind success yet. I'm not getting anywhere. And I think that's not a very healthy mindset. 
No, no. And I think Ming's, I think Team Man did a video on that, like just trying to get that first success and constantly just nutting away in it and trying to get better with each competition that you do. Well, we really do really appreciate your time um, on the live stream. We are trying to raise um, some donations for Habitat for Humanity. And something that we're asking all of our guests to do is what message do you have for the Cuban community at this time? What would you like to share? Um, hmm. Ooh, I haven't really thought about like a message to share, but I guess if I had to say anything, it's um, uh, what do I what do I want to say to the Cuban community right now? I'm um, sorry, just to put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine. I'll I'll, I'll think of something. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, we finally I, tripped him, Tom. Yeah, I I, I guess I guess the biggest thing <laughs> I can say is you know, Ting Man. Uh, you know, you, well, you, you know what the live streams for? We're doing this fundraiser, right? Uh, it's for a great cause. Um, you know, you can, you know, he's solving, he's solving this 21 by 21 to raise money for Habitat for Humanity. So please donate. Um, it, it benefits, you know, it, it benefits humanity. It's not, it's, it, yeah, it's, um, and then as far as, you know, uh, the Cuban community goes, um, you know, keep, uh, I guess, just, um, you know, just strive for, constant improvement both as a keeper and as a person it's um really healthy way to uh live your life yeah i guess yeah, that's a pretty message. basic yes. message but you know it's, it's words, something i always words, try to live by yeah. well thank you so much stanley for joining us it was awesome to have you um yeah it was great to have you stanley would you like us uh, put your twitch in the chat for people to follow you stream there pretty often and um yeah. so if you guys want to see stanley speedrun yeah. and um, there are also some cubing videos and some speed running on yeah. his YouTube. So go check him out on both of them. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. As far as my YouTube goes, by the way, if I, can I just do a quick, quick plug? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, uh, I've previously mostly only uploaded solves on YouTube, but I've started kind of committing to making, uh, blind solving tutorials and, uh, in, you know, the coming weeks, I I'm a little busy, but you know, in probably in December, uh, you will see. Uh, a full-on four blind tutorial from the world record wow. holder. So <laughs> if you're looking great. to get into four blind, uh, there's there's your resource. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm excited to to you know work on that and release it. Well, but, thank yeah. you so much for your time. We so really appreciate it. Thank you, Stanley. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. Cool. Yeah, thank you all for having me on and for doing this wonderful fundraiser. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Let's Thanks give some love to there. Scalpel and chat, guys. Really appreciate him being on with us. Thank you so much. <laughs> How, so how's that uh, 21 by 21 coming there? Let's get a check on it. Let's um, get a check. Oh, I'm sort of midway. What are you doing orange. in orange? I have orange bars so all over the place <laughs> while I try and make this guy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's going all right. It's pretty good. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> what was Jack saying? A knife. I'm pretty sure that's scalpel. Scalpel, yeah. <laughs> he's feeling really aggressive right now and is threatening me. Like, is this is this something I would I should be worried about? Like, um, Card is also pretty impressed that I'm not touching my computer, but I'm still just like you know saying stuff in the chat. Um, I wonder who could be who could look, be at Tingman's computer with him sending these mysterious messages. It's just it's just what happens when you when you solve for twenty one by twenty one. You, tr you transcend and then you start controlling the computer with your mind. It's 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 pretty amazing. Yeah. It's coming with my next upgrade. I, I've been doing nice. the 21 by 21 who, who, with my mind. Who did you pay to say this, by the way? Like, why 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 are people saying Yeah. This? Thank you. Why? Thank you very much. Uh, All capitals, too. Must have paid a bit extra. Why are there so many of them? This is not. They gave me this crown for a reason. Um, everyone knows I'm. The favorite on the Ting Man channel. It's, it's not true. Yeah. Thursday Night Live. Shout out. It's not. It's not true. Hey, it's time for another community video. <laughs> Enjoy. Hey, Man, it's the Duke of Cubes here, all the way from England. Got to admit, I'm pretty jealous. You've got that lovely 21 by 21. We're going to do great solving today and raise money for a great cause of Habitat for Humanity Australia. Good luck. Hey guys, I'm Ram Thakkar and I'm a YouTuber from India. I'm here to request each and every one of you to donate to this wonderful cause because even the smallest of contributions can have the biggest impacts on people's lives around you. Even if you have just a few dollars to spare, it would make a massive difference. Thank you. 
Hey guys, my name is Ethan Jan and I post videos mainly on TikTok. My username is Ethan Jan 3.14 and I sort of specialize in solving Rubik's cubes while juggling like this. So it would be really cool if you could give me a follow. But anyway, make sure to donate and subscribe to Ting Man and have a great day. <laughs> that's so great. Yep. That's Thank so cool. I wish I could juggle, let alone like solve the cube while juggling. Like I've seen a few people do it. And every time I see it, I'm just like It's I, incredible. I think, yeah. Ethan's amazing. Like obviously but, it's one handed, yeah. I'm assuming. Like you're one handed, but then in between that you're like yeah, tossing up the other right. cubes. Like But it's just so cool. Like it's those guys from all around the world. So Ethan's from the States, Ram's from India, uh, and Duke of Cubes, uh, Adam, he's from Oh man, where's he from? UK somewhere? <laughs> yeah, um, like, yeah, from all over the world. Like, just give those guys a follow, you know, if you haven't yet. And actually, tell us in the chat, like, what country are you guys from? Um, I'm trying to think in terms of like um, time zones. I think what we have probably a, a lot of like people from India who will be waking up. What, what, yep. what time is there actually? Uh, but yeah, tell us in the chat what what country you're from. Uh, and if yeah, Panda, you wanna. Show us yeah. some of the countries while I keep going. Yeah, well, we got good old Aussies. Love our Aussies, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. Got, I think this is meant to say America, based on the proximity of the A and the S key together. Yeah. Uh, we've got Anish from India. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Yeah. Canada. Couple from Canada. Ooh, Nepal. That's cool. That's super cool. We got Which Germany. Yeah. I'm going to put this from New Zealand. I try to of say course. it. Ma where, where, oh, where thank you. New Zealand. I'm from. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. California, Indonesia. Right. Super cool. Um, I don't know if they're legitly there, but this person thinks they're in the Arctic Ocean. Okay. I mean, look, I'm not going to correct you if that's actually where you think you are. So we got Italy. Someone from our family's family's oh. homies. There we go. Singapore. Love Singapore. Hey, Singapore. I actually went to Singapore the year before lockdown sort of started happening. I love the I love hawker food. And you do I think we spoke about it many times. We love our hawker food and noodles and all that. Oh gosh, like such yeah. if you don't know what hawker food guys, it's basically if you Watch Crazy Rich Asians, but basically it's these <laughs> wonderful sellers that specialize in like one type of food and they've been doing it forever and it's always amazing. Like people get Michelin stars for this kind of food. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, so Tina, how, how are you going, bud? How are you? What, Hi. What, what, hey, guys. What, why? I'm back. Why? In case you missed Yeah, me. we ask why. In Australia, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Why the lay though? I'm sorry. Is that Australian? It's hard to get good help. <laughs> yep. These are some oh, native gosh. Australian flowers. <laughs> yeah. Native, completely native Australian. And uh, actually, not many people know this. We kind of take them off in videos, but most Australians walk around all the time with these sort of glasses because it's so bright. It's such a hot country. Um, you actually kind of need little blinds for your eyes. Yeah, well, do you know what's not bright? Um, the, the darkness. True. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what I was thinking you were going to say. Yeah. So. Abby just joined us. We are solving a 21 by 21. Uh, we're, we've been joined by so many incredible guests so far. Uh, and we've got, yeah, we've still got some big <laughs> names to go. We've got the Simon Shee coming up. Simon Shee. Oh, my gosh. The, he's insane. He is actually insane. Followed by the um, Cubing Jedi, Matty. Woo. And then... Woot. Does he even need an introduction, J-Perm? I think three of, like, J-Perm. <laughs> so, right J-Perm, Faz, yeah. and Cubehead coming yeah. out. Here. Oh, my gosh. It is actually well, going, going to be crazy. I've been uh, watching the chat, yeah. Ting Man, and the most common question is, when is J-Perm? When is J-Perm? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the answer. He's, he's coming in. Well, what time is it now? So it's 1 o'clock, 1 or 9 p.m. So J-Perm's going to be on in, like, two and a half hours. Like that. Two and a half hours. And we're going to be joined by J-Perm himself. Let's have, yeah, let's have a fundraising update, actually. So how, we're, how we're at going? nearly eight and a half thousand. Um, we got a donation from Anonymous, then Jack, 
Jim with 136. Thank, thank you, you so Jim. much. And he said, the only thing this doesn't change is the fact I'm still Team Ola or <laughs> Team Ting Boy. <laughs> it's fair enough. <laughs> it's fair enough. And I wonder which Jack could have sent these. Those emojis <laughs> belong to one man only, Jack. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> thank you, Jack. That's um, so cool. Yeah. Love and it. Scott, thank you. My son Weston's a big team of fan. He said he can't stay up for the whole thing, especially for Felix. He says, say hi. We will Aww. say hi to Felix. Thank you, Scott. We will say hi to Felix for, for you. That's, That's also lovely. Uh, can we keep the donations coming? Can we keep the do donations yeah, coming? Yeah, we're just over 2,000 away. We can do this. We can um, totally do this. Yeah, that would be amazing. Loving it. Now, we would love to also give a shout out to all of our sponsor, technically, as well. A wonderful cubing company that makes a lot of our stuff possible. The one and only. Let's see if I can use all these skills that I've okay. learned. Oh, do you, there's a cubing mat right right there. If you want to. Daily puzzles. Hey. Oh, hang on. I can do. I the club. Oh, we got the opposite ones. Oh, I, I, I don't have. I don't have a daily puzzle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come <laughs> on. Yeah. So grateful. You, let's actually have a look, look look at their store and see see what's, For sure. what's going on. So every, every time I go to the Daily Puzzle store, there's just new stuff there. Um, so they donated a thousand dollars to the stream, which is very kind of them. Uh, but yeah, let's have, actually have a look at, at what's, what's yeah. Oh, there's oh, literally new stuff cream. every time. Every time I go there, it's insane. We have oh, the. I love these cool. Yeah, this actually looks cool. Infinity looks, stuff. Looks amazing. <laughs> The green them all, really them all, pops. And then yeah. snap my fingers and get rid of, um, um, yeah, yeah. And here, as you can see, we have this big boy, this bad boy right here. the Moe 21 by 21. <laughs> There's heaps of stuff. There's yeah. actually a lot that's on sale right now, and it's pretty cool. You yeah. can you can like categorize it based on like the ones on sale as well, and then of course with discount codes, it's pretty great. Discount code. TNL queuing. I'm going to give a shout out to the uh, Tornado V2M, by the way. Is that your main? Not quite, but honestly, uh, this version is a bit more expensive, but the standard version without primary, or maybe it's similar, I really like it. Honestly, feels like a cheaper GAN cube. Um, yeah, that's so good. I have a few yeah. actually cubes in here that Ooh. I've gone from Daily Puzzles recently. The GAN 12, um, I, I made a unboxing and first impressions on it uh maybe two weeks ago now and i really like this well kind of i don't know so if you guys saw <laughs> my video you probably haven't but i wasn't a fan of it and it was kind of bad to begin with but as i've like set it up a little bit more and um started using it this is the maglev version by the way i've heard a lot of people asking about maglev today and um honestly it doesn't make a big difference, but I can get my kind of average times, but it just feels a bit less reliable than the GAN 11, but it's still quite nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, we're very grateful. They're a wonderful sponsor of all of our channels. And yeah. Yeah. today, and if you donate to the stream, uh, uh, to the cause for the stream, Daily Puzzles would give you 10% cash back on your donation. So if you donate like $100, and you email the puzzles and tell them what you did. They will give you ten dollars to spend at the store, essentially like ten percent or whatever your donation was. So it's a wonderful thing that we're very grateful for. So always good to keep that in mind too. So if you donate like five hundred dollars, that's fifty bucks off. That that's a very it's nice cute cube right there. Yeah. Just so there's a lot of people who've donated who can actually claim that. You literally, if you just said literally, just email them and and just you know let them know uh, who you are and like which donation you gave. Uh, and yeah, that's 10% of your donation into your loyalty account, which is amazing. So yeah, yes. thank you, Daily Puzzles, again, for your support and for donating $1,000 to the charity. So good. So, so good. So yep, 10% cash back. Keep that in mind. We'll keep reminding you throughout the stream in case you forget, because worthy cause, and it's definitely worth donating to. Now, Ming, you look like you've got maybe eight, eight uh, that is ten, it's actually 10 bars there and i'm oh, nearly man they're so right tiny they are so barely tall, see yeah, them. but it's it's great and that's my 11th done Ooh. Ooh, that's yeah. 11 bars done and it's just eight more to go <laughs> now <laughs> we're not far away everyone we got our next guest coming up in just a minute yeah um, 
I believe his name is Simon She. You may have seen a lot of his YouTube videos where he solves many, many big things underwater. I know I watched well, that. Very mesmerizing. It's, it's the Simon The Shee. Simon She. Not Sorry. Just any Simon there's, Shee. There's one. There's only one. <laughs> and it's, it's actually insane. Yeah. I wonder um, how you get the V in have, front of it. You, have you seen his videos? You have. You right? must have. have. You, if, if you haven't, you probably just didn't know it was him. Yeah. Because everyone is. Like his how do you get the V in front beautiful. of your name? Is it like name a Mr. or Mrs.? Yeah. They just say, oh, that's right. Yeah, TikTok. Like there's heaps. Yeah. It's, it's actually yeah. So sick. Love it. So good. Yeah. I'm actually really keen to chat to him. I also find out a little bit more about the stuff he's doing yeah. um, with, you know, his Iron Man uh, track ones and stuff. Like it's what, you, dude, what are you doing? You, I'm, I'm, I apologize for, in advance. for this guy. It's getting a bit sunny. It kind of suits you in a weird way. <laughs> I totally Yeah, because you're weird. It suits you in I a weird way. I think it's the hair. Ah. <sighs> like it holds let's, it back. Let's bring in, let's bring in <laughs> the Simon She. Welcome. Hey. Welcome. Hey. Woo! How are you? Are you bud? Can't actually hear oh. you. Oh, I think we've got the technical. Don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. We'll sort it out. Hopefully. I, I can... you see uh, yeah, yeah, no, there we, we got go. you. We got we you. Got you. <laughs> hey, how, how's it going? Hey, hey Thanks, Simon, how are you? I'm doing well. How about you guys? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah, what, good. What, what, what time? What time is it where, where you're at at the moment? It is 8.15 p.m. Yeah, cool. Thanks for joining us. Nice. It's, it's no like 1, 1 p.m. here for us. So yeah. a little bit of time difference, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. How has your 2021 been this year? Yeah. It's been uh, pretty good. Um, I'm doing a lot of triathlons and yep. YouTube with the Rubik's Cube. Yeah. You're killing it. Wow. I know. How far yeah. is a triathlon like? It's a sweats running, swimming, bike, triathlon? Yes, it's swimming. You swim first, you bike, and then you run. And there's different distances. Uh, but the one I'm doing in two weeks is an Ironman. So it's the longest distance triathlon. And you yeah. swim. Um, I'll do this in kilometers instead of miles. <laughs> That's Thanks. very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> Four kilometers of swimming. And then 180 kilometers bike and a 42.2 oh kilometer marathon run <laughs> wow and out of, all three those, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> out of all three of those which is the your least favorite leg to do is it the swim oh my gosh. the ride or the run it's it's probably the run <laughs> okay now that i've done that the run let's the just run a marathon well. yeah let's it's a, a marathon run, run after like five six hours of working out yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess your legs would probably be pretty cactus at that point. Like you'd be pretty tired. Yeah. So that's amazing. I think that's it's a, aren't you going to run somewhere, Ting Man, in a in a little while? I think he's yeah. taken up running. Oh, sorry, I've asked you at the wrong time. I, oh, I saw. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I saw Ting Man's half marathon the other day. That's not mm -hmm. running compared to what Simon does. <laughs> it's just like a jog in the park. Stopping. It's like walking for a long time. That's that's what it is compared to what he's doing. <laughs> noted and we've got a, we've got a question in chat i just want to know the answer to a little bit is the simon i love how they emphasize the for me no. is the simon, simon she, she wearing a swimming suit you have to tell us what's going on with that outfit because it's amazing <laughs> yeah. it is so good Next level stuff. so this is not a swimming suit this is a triathlon suit um you can wear it for swimming and then i wear this when i get on the bike and also for the running so what's special about this is that it's like very aerodynamic, it's smooth. And this company own way decided to uh, make my own custom kit, the Simon Shi with the Rubik's cube designs on it. So uh, I'm repping them wow. and yeah. it shows my personal brand when I'm out there racing. And now people recognize me as the Rubik's cube triathlete out there. Yeah. That's amazing. That's awesome. I thought you were going to say that's not even like part of the suit. That's just like tattooed. It's just two sleeves. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I'm also, tattooed. is that a kangaroo? Just like. Yeah, I was going like, to say. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, yeah, kangaroo. I think they're Australian. 
a car oh. part of it. So you're yeah. repping Australia as well. Woo! Yep. Love Woo! it. That's, That's nice. that is awesome. That's amazing. Wish we had I, I love custom clothes like that. That's sick. Yeah. So how far have you run this past week? Like in prep, I'm assuming. Ooh, I say around 15 kilometers so far. Yep. And tomorrow I have like a 30 kilometer run. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. Could you sh that's, could that's you so show good. us some of the medals that you've won recently? Oh. Uh, I have I have two. Yeah. Too many. Or a couple. I have three. Wow. Oh, they're huge. But I I usually I sign them and then I give them out after my race. Oh. Oh, cool. I don't. Yeah. I have I have four that I have. I'm, I'm gonna get them out eventually, but this is this is one. That and is I, gigantic. I usually sign it and uh, like have my my place and my time on it. And who, who do you give them to? Um, fans on the course. I I met a couple fans and I I sign them, give them to them, or See, anyway. we're, I mean we're, we're fans, so you know. Yeah, if I if you guys see me at a race, I would sign it and give it to anyone. <laughs> Sure. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds yeah, great. but I, I gotta get these out. I have four, but yeah, I gotta get rid yeah, of them. That's so, that's so great. That's super <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's really nice. Um, now, I, I just want to say that um, I have long been impressed by your videos because of not just your creativity, but the amount of torture you're willing to put yourself <laughs> through. Like, I cannot even, um, <laughs> I cannot fathom the stuff that you do. So, um, if we can just watch this really, really quick short, um, that, that you like, I, I have no words, just, yeah, just everyone have a look. <laughs> so it ends with the Eximinx in like intact which is one one should look like but it's like what are you doing why that is insane that's insanity oh yeah so i uh that was when i saw my exmates underwater and then i wanted to disassemble it like it is it's a 17 by 17 so i just i was like oh i have this idea let's disassemble it underwater and get a cool video of it and it looks pretty nice. <laughs> An explosion. That it was looks insane. It looks amazing. But how do you recover the pieces? Like that's that's my question. How do you find all the pieces? Oh, I we just it actually took a, a while because we some oh, people went that. into like the those like filter systems. So we had to oh, no. it out. But I still have it disassembled and okay. I have to assemble it like soon or yeah. <laughs> and uh it's oh my gosh it's a lot of, I, I i still don't even know if i have all the pieces so we should see <laughs> when i assemble it yeah well mad respect for that that's incredible yeah <laughs> that's insane it is insane <laughs> I, I i i first saw you on instagram i think or maybe tiktok with some of your like underwater solves and it's crazy do you do you ever find yourself doing them underwater and just like want to get out and stop or are you really motivated to finish them once you start? Yeah. It's so, it's like a mix of ups and downs, mix of emotions yeah. during that, like four to seven hours I'm underwater. Like, um, I had this crazy idea, like no one has solved a 17 by 17 underwater. People solve three by threes underwater. So how about let's do the 17 by 17. And that's what it started. That's what started it. And then I saw yeah. my X-Mates underwater. And it's it's actually like a very long time underwater. And but like it's the so goggles. Long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's goggles, like dangerously long, isn't it? Yeah. Um, my skin got wrinkly and uh, I had goggle marks. And you're breathing through this small snorkel, which you're breathing through a tiny tube for hours and yeah you're suffering but i can't i still cool. can't believe i did it yeah it's insane you know it's it's incredible crazy yeah huge respect 
Um, I'm not sure if you've seen some of uh, our guests so far, but we've been doing some little quizzes, mm -hmm. seeing how well people know like statistics and things about themselves. So, okay, Ting Man, are it's you ready? It's time for... to play. How well does Simon She know? Simon She. <laughs> You got three triangle dings for that. Three dings. That's pretty special. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the very first question is on your YouTube channel, uh, the Simon She, what is your most, the title of your most viewed YouTube video? Oh, I, I know the video. The title, I think, is One Piece Unsolved, maybe? Yeah. One Piece Unsolved in Rubik's Cube. Fail. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice. <laughs> that's how you title a video. That's that's how you do it. You check the um, fail in there somewhere so people know. Yeah. Fail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So... That's one from one. Um, following on your YouTube channel, do you know the title of your very first video that's visible on the channel? Ooh. Ooh. I think it's uh, that is visible. It's a, it's a flute video, but I'm not sure of the title. Um, yeah. It? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it's well, how old is this? We have to play. We have to play that. Look, that that, that needs to be seen by this by, by the world. Simon's <laughs> your mega yo-yo competition. No, no, it's a yo-yo <laughs> video. It's not a flute. Oh, oh, okay. So it is that yo-yo video. Yeah, yeah. Well, it says it was uploaded in 2018. Okay, yeah. It, what, it, it was your. First, it was a re-upload, right? Of your first. I'm not sure. Video. I think that's when YouTube had some like upgrades, and that video was oh, right. somehow messed up. But that was yeah. my first video. It was, yeah, I thought can so. We, can we actually play yeah, a bit of it? I mean, yeah. that's that's amazing. <laughs> Am I on the right now? Um, <laughs> do you still have those yo-yo skills? That That's what we need to know. Ooh, I have not yo-yoed in years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. It's all right. oh, yeah, look at that. That's some <laughs> camera work, some quality <laughs> camera work right there. Oh, and that's my. Uh, what year was this, Simon? Younger sister. Uh, this was two thousand nine. Wow. Oh yes, yes. My my sister was playing music. The cradle. Yep. And my dad was filming. <laughs> I, I like his zoom technique. That's pretty great. <laughs> Need to get him to do oh, some videos. Oh no! Stop, man. That's that's impressive. I'm not even trying. The Yo Mega Yo Yo Comp. Wow. It's yeah, that was the, the, the rocket or something. Yeah. And this was the reason I made a YouTube channel because I needed to make a YouTube video to submit for the competition. Oh, wow. So that was it. That's amazing. And that channel has come a long way now 230,000. come a long way. It's so good. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. It's awesome. Definitely check this channel channel out if you have. I mean, surely, surely people will be subscribed. But if, yeah. if, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please check out the Simon Sheet. Like, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Okay, um, the third question. Your first viral video was in 2016 where you solved a 13 by 13. Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I do. Um, do you remember what time it took you to solve it? Two hours, 38 minutes. Right? Wait, sorry, say that again. <laughs> Two hours, 38 minutes? Yeah, pretty oh, much 37 minutes. Yeah, 37, yeah, 37 minutes. minutes, ah. Uh, and a follow-up question: Why, why, why did Justin Bieber ruin that video? <laughs> oh, so it's a copyright song, so uh, I wasn't monetized. <laughs> but, Justin, but at that time I had two hundred subscribers, so I I was a I was no one, and that video just blew up, and that gave me, I think, twenty thousand subscribers. Oh wow. Gosh. Yeah, that's amazing. YouTube does that. They're, they're up, just yeah. like, you know what? I'm going to put this one video on everyone's like, homepage. Yeah. Oh, but but the, thing, 
the thing is, it the first couple months, it's it was like oh, a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousands views. Yeah. But then six months later, I remember I posted it in August, and that December of 2016, it just went exponential. It went like one million, two million the next week, three million. So That's it picked up six months later. So yeah. Wow. If you're Funny. if you're a YouTuber and you create videos and it doesn't pop off, maybe YouTube will recommend it like another later, sometime later. Yeah. That's right. Keep, time keep, we'll tell, right. keep grinding. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, the next one is you so and as we saw with the yo yo video, you've been uploading on this channel since 2009 around that time do you know how many videos you've posted in total that are public on the channel Ooh. oh that's a tricky one i actually do not know can you guys see the number how many videos yeah yep oh. sure can do you have do you have like a ballpark rough yeah have a guess idea i say around 200 pretty it's a bit more 283 so nearly 300. That's a lot. Wow. Wow. That's a solid know. effort. <laughs> yeah. Good job. So what's that? That So you've gotten three out of four right so far. That's pretty good. That's about as good as everyone's been doing today. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, question five. Your most viewed video has 46 million views, which we saw before the one piece unsolved do you know how many views your least viewed video has on the channel <laughs> the most unsuccessful video <laughs> we're, we're looking at all these crazy highlights but what about the one that <laughs> never really blew up um i'd say two thousand views i i i, I have no idea actually <laughs> it's actually less than that less than two thousand <laughs> <laughs> was it one of my like old videos maybe like 500 views <laughs> uh, there are some very old ones but this one is only it was a stream actually if we oh. well, your least viewed video is um yeah a stream from a year ago called journey to 10,000 tiktok followers <laughs> <laughs> and it has do you, have, have a guess how many it's under a thousand oh <laughs> uh 750 628. <laughs> <laughs> so the video hasn't done great, but I mean, in terms of TikTok followers, I mean, you did. I think you. I think it was a good process to get there. Yeah, I think so. Wow, <laughs> 600. <laughs> but, uh, you were right. There are some older ones like Skateboard Park, 2014. Tom Dolan, you 100 Butterfly. Some mm. other older ones that didn't quite go viral. But it's all part of the process. It's all part yeah. of the journey. Yeah. I, I still like those videos. It still makes me just thinking back about thinking, oh, no, 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 looking no. back. It's good. Wow. Ah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> We've had a little oopsie. <laughs> this oh, little guy is no. like, now's my chance to escape. <laughs> He's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. That makes me wonder, Simon. Have you ever had, like, a accident? Have you ever had like an accidental <laughs> pop underwater? Um, like a bad one, or surprisingly not. I have not had one. That's that's pretty good. Yeah. How do you even put it back? But I have had like a seventeen seventy by seventeen, like a three piece pop on land two times. Right. Oh, twice. Wow. Does anyone actually know how you put it back? Like, there are like multiple junctions that I need. I need to like oh, in and then twist and twist. <laughs> oh, man. That's, that's, I'm actually that's so good. glad I marked it because I know where it's from. Oh, right. Yeah. I know exactly. <laughs> like, which one it's from. No. What do I do, Simon? I've got, I've, I've got the right man. Usually, what I do if I have those pop, I just, just force it in. Force okay, it in that's... as hard as you can. Just, yeah. just, 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 break just don't break the piece. Okay, good tip. Thank you. I, I have broken a, a piece on a seven by seven. I, I forced it in too too hard and it, it snapped. That's this is like 
That's scary. Yeah, there's not much um strength in that piece. Oh yeah, so there is. I was, I was turning it pretty rough just then. Oh come on, buddy! Come on, come on! Do it for charity, little guy. Yeah. <laughs> We're raising money. <laughs> come on, buddy! Yo, this is not. It's actually not going to be easy. Well. <laughs> This does not look easy. Uh -oh. No, it's not, it's not uh -oh. looking great. Uh -oh. yeah. Anyway, it's all right. We're good. We're good. Of all of your challenges you've done, Simon, do you have a favorite? Like which you enjoyed the most doing or making a video from? Um, I wouldn't say enjoy, but I say the <laughs> seventeen by seventeen underwater. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. Gave you the most, like. Yeah. During the process, I was. I was like <laughs> suffering. I was dehydrated. Yeah, but I had so much fun editing that video. Yeah, it was, it was, it was yeah. really fun. It was very unique. And it was great. You had multiple cameras going too, so there was like you know time lapse moments mm, and yes. then moments like there were you know like beats chapters in in, in that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who was with you when you were doing that? So um, this this my friend referred to as Nam N O M. Yeah. He's uh, a yeah. He helped me film. I did it in his backyard pool. Yeah, that's and cool. We had like the GoPro, and then most of that filming was done on an iPhone. So I wow. didn't have this big this camera that I have right now. So it was yep. an iPhone and a GoPro. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'm interested in how you kept the battery going for such a long time. Like that's a that's oh know, so power we, it, I guess. we uh we changed out the battery for GoPro, and I had yep. like a a power adapter for the the iphone and uh, that was it <laughs> well i'm i'm not succeeding with this piece i actually oh no that is <laughs> because, not good. like i need to put it in at that angle and basically twist it around but there's like oh. no way i can actually put it in hmm maybe i, I need to use the simon she method i mean after all simon says simon, simon says, says simon says force it force in. it oh no so that that piece looks skinny, so you, you want to be careful. <laughs> it's just not. Um, I can't find the groove. Like I can't find the part, the section that it's meant to go in. Oh well, we'll just uh -oh. keep going. It's just one piece, I suppose. We don't don't need that one piece, right? Tactic. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could still solve it without that. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> While we see if our team man can figure that out, do we have any questions for Simon in the chat? Anyone got any burning questions on their mind? <laughs> oh, and fun fact, that 17 by 17 video that I forgot to press start on my GoPro, the last clip of finishing, so I don't have the underwater clip of me finishing it only the above. oh no ah uh, that is painful <laughs> i know so I, I i stopped the time lapse on my gopro underwater and i switched it to video but i guess i missed the start button so wow. i was like no like do i have to do this again like just that part but i was just hey so we're back Woo. oh yes oh. Nice. Relief. <laughs> a bit of deja vu when this happened last year. A quick shovel. Do, do you use yeah. this method? I just twisted. I twisted the upper layer. I just lifted it really high, put it in when it was totally out, and just like used it to shove it back. Oh, anyway, nice. nice. So, yeah. <laughs> we got there. We got there. That's yeah. a relief. We got there, guys. Uh -huh. Cool. Back on track. We're back, boys. We are like three quarters through the third center. Oh man, I've still got a lot to go. But yeah, we're getting there. Uh -huh. We're getting there. So after your Iron Man, Simon, do you have any other big aspirations or plans for next year that you can share at least? For for wait, I, I you kind of cut off for a second. Sorry, for next year. After your Iron Man, do you have any other big plans. Yeah, what's where, next where to for you? From here? Ooh. 
I say I want to do more challenges for Rubik's Cube uh, for my yeah Rubik's Cube channel and potentially a professional athlete next year as well. Well, that's cool. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is that a pretty tough thing to like? Is that a uh, I was going to say, is it a competitive space? It's <laughs> obviously a competitive yeah. space. Right now. Like, is it? Yeah. It's it's tough. Um, yeah. If I do really well at this, the upcoming Ironman, then I can turn professional technically. Yeah. That's awesome. That's so good. Yeah. If I, and then Rubik's Cube, just try try more challenges yeah. and uh, keep looking at Guinness World Records and see if there's any I can possibly do. Yeah. Yeah. There is. So cool. There is like the most amount of mix cubes solved on a bike. So that could be, Ooh, yep. I can do that. I can see you doing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> somehow, somehow you should like in integrate like flute playing or like the yo-yo in there somehow. <laughs> the yo-yo. Yeah, yeah. All of your strengths are all in one. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, that's just about wraps this up. Is there anything else you want to say to the audience or any message you have, Simon? Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching Team Man's live stream. Be sure to donate. Um, yeah, a very, very special thing. And I hope Team Man will solve this 21 by 21 very soon. <laughs> thanks, um, <laughs> don't forget that do what do what's challenging, get out of your comfort zone. And yeah. from there, just keep, keep going yeah definitely Thanks, man. that's so good thank you it was wonderful to have yeah. you i hope you have a great rest of your night or day all right thanks so much nice meeting you guys too yeah thank you so Pleasure. much man thank you so much right. for your time thank you right. go check out simon's channel guys and his tiktok yeah. and instagram and everything check him yeah, out for sure yeah cool best of luck man all right bye <laughs> that's a cool dude He's, yeah, he just like amazing. sets his sight for the stars and then just like, yeah, he Reach, reaches them. He reaches them. Yeah, it's just really cool to see people, you know, so driven in one area and then sort of using like that, that determination, just applying it to like different areas of life as well. It's really how are yeah. we going? Nearly done orange? Yeah, four more. Well, that way, that much through orange. So, yeah, it's actually, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, hey, let's hear from some other people in the in the community. Hey, Ting Man, hope you're doing well. Hope the 21 by 21 is not causing you too much grief at this point. Uh, and I hope your viewers are all super excited about what you've been doing. And I hope they are all donating for Habitat for Humanity Australia, helping to put roofs on people's heads and make the world just a little bit better than it is right now. Good luck, you guys. And I hope to see you at a competition soon. Hello, I'm Stephen Griggs. I'm a Cuber from the United States and I have a cat named Arthur. If you have a dollar or two and you haven't donated yet, you know what to do. As for you, Ting Man, I bet you're wishing you're stuck with FTO right about now. Good luck! Hey, I'm Ed Hollingdale, an Australian delegate, here to say, Ting Man, you've got this. It's just about solving six centers, joining together 12 edges, and solving it like a 3x3. Three three. Easy. Almost as easy as donating to Habitat. So please, if you're able to, consider donating using the information provided. So good. <laughs> what a segue there it's from Such Ed. a good segue. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Keaton. Thank you, um, Stephen, and thank you, um, Ed, for those messages. Yeah, so good. Awesome. And if we check how we're going with those donations, make sure. How are we going? How and we going? everything counts, guys. If if we can donate to a good cause. Um, we are at nearly 8,600. Oh, cool. So wow. shout out Matty, the Cubing Jedi, who is our next guest. Yeah. Donated. Thank you to him. And also Mike Kiaora from New Zealand. Yeah. Ooh. Thank our you. Nice. Little neighbors down, down south. Yeah. Thank you, Matthew. Even 550. Hey, every single bit counts. <laughs> like it's, yeah, yeah, it's so, it's so good. Thank you, Scott. I love I love this um, from yeah. It's Ed Ed Hollingdale <laughs> from last year's stream. <laughs> that was amazing. I think that. Uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, we are going to have Maddie coming up pretty soon. Is anyone excited about that? Is anyone excited? How can you know, yeah. having Maddie himself? It's so cool. So so good. He's an absolute champion. Like watching him in Monkey League and the progress he's made, even oh, across like the four it's seasons. Just nail biting. Like, it's just like. Oh. Uh, it was the best. I was I was going Got like, I was rooting for Maddie the entire way. 
It was like <laughs> right at the very end. It was so tense that that the final oh. switch on because he won like every single match leading up to it, to that. Yes. Yeah, he did actually. I think he beat him on bef- in the round before, like yeah. in the lead up to finals, and then lost in the in the finals. But absolute amazing effort. He's come a long way. Um, I think I was looking at his channel. I think one of the first videos I saw was uh, the Melbourne WCA Championship in 2019. Mm. That was it looks so different. Yeah. Yes. I'm Back. very lucky to have great Good delegates old days. here. Good old days. Oh, good old days indeed. So I'm thinking when we get to 9,000, we only need, we're only 400 away. Mm. What are we going to do, Ting Man? What are we going to do? Um, what are we going to do? We're going to. Dress up and play you guys a song. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yes. Christmas one. We, yeah, the the famous, the infamous, <laughs> the infamous. Yeah, it's Christmas. We're gonna do an acoustic cover together. I yeah, um, I'm gonna to voluntarily sing. remove myself from that. Thank you. Kingman's gonna sing with me. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I can't yeah, well, hear Maybe I'll retract that lyric if you sing with me. Wait, I think, I feel like someone would pay extra to hear Ting Man say Ting Man sucks at the start of that, though. Like, <laughs> I just would a have, little bit. I'd pay anything. <laughs> just clip um, it and then put it in your next video. Yeah, so look forward to that, guys, when we get to 9,000. Uh, the sooner we get there, the sooner you'll hear that beautiful music. Um, and in the meantime, if you are like just joining us or have, haven't been in the stream for that long. Uh, we are raising money, as you saw there, for Habitat for Humanity, who are an Australian um, organization uh, building houses for people in poverty, specifically, I think, in Southeast Asia, what we're raising money for. And so, yeah, with the money raised, mm. if we hit the goal today, that can help like three whole families. Um, and it's huge. The difference it makes is yeah. huge. It's so significant. Yeah. Um, would you like to play the video again? For those yeah. just joining this us, if you want a short, to, short, yeah, yeah, a short intro that uh, explains a little bit more about it. Yeah. Habitat for Humanity Australia has built homes, communities, and hope for the past 30 years. Together, we have made home a reality for families in Australia and overseas. In countries like Vietnam, Cambodia, Nepal, Fiji, and many more, where we support families through housing, access to clean water, sanitation, and hygiene training, as well as disaster response and recovery. But none of this can be done without the generous support of volunteers, donors, and partners. Together, we can give families the opportunity to be healthier, happier, and build stronger communities that can grow and sustain themselves. Through Shelter, we empower. So good. Absolutely wonderful cause that we're very close to meeting our target for. And yeah. mm, just get an update as well on your massive cube there, Ming. How's it looking? Yeah, pretty good. Just um, maybe three or four bars away from finishing the orange center, which is the third then... center, the green and blue. It still feels like I'm just at the start. <laughs> but I, I, I know, I think logically, I am actually at like halfway point. Yeah, maybe yeah. even. Yeah past it yeah it's, so yeah we're getting progress we are getting there yeah like the centers were always going to take the longest and it's an absolutely yeah. magnificent effort i mean how are your arms feeling even you're barely through the centers i mean yeah they're, they're going all right it's just finding pieces that's like <laughs> so much is turning with like where is it <laughs> also the colors that i've left for the end are sort of a bit similar like you know yellow red orange um, that just they don't stand mm. out as much. So it's just yeah. a little bit harder to spot the colors, but it's all good. Yeah, yeah. hopefully it's still keeping people entertained. Um, you know. <laughs> so making right. progress, everyone making progress. Yeah, we're making progress. I mean, well, there it is. We're making progress. Nearly there. A, okay. I think right. it's time How to call in. What about oh, this what? question here, Ming? Tingman is your favorite Cuba, or maybe that's meant to say who is your favorite Cuba. Who's my favorite Cuba? It's it's definitely T. Um, T. <laughs> T. 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 Moan. Um, 
Oh, there's too many. <laughs> they're, they're basically all, all in this stream. I have so many favorites. And yeah, I'm going to speak to so many of them. It's like it's Ting Man and yeah, Ting like Man. Ting man like myself, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ting Boy. Is in this, My yeah. favorite Cuba is Ting Boy. Same. Yeah. Speaking of guests, oh. Kieran wants to know which guest is on next. I think what we should call them in. <laughs> so everyone, we'd love you to give a nice warm welcome all the way. Is it in Hawaii? Is all the way from Hawaii. Woo! Woo! Maddie Hiroto, another also known as the Cubing Jedi. So let's get him into the stream. Yeah, Maddie. Maddie. Woo! Hello. Thank you so much Happy for being be here. here. It's a fantastic so effort. Yes. How are you? How's your 2021 been? Um, it's been good. I mean, first of all, thanks for having me. Obviously, great opportunity. Yeah. And well, 2021 has been good. Doing a lot of cubing. Well, recently not because school and stuff, but yeah. yeah. I try to do cubing. And yeah, going pretty well to be honest. Been to a couple it, of comps, it, I think I see. Well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well? I, I've been going to comps, but I've been putting in like minimal practice, which I kind of feel bad in, but I try my best, you know. Is yeah. it is it weird flying again and traveling again? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't traveled in like a year, right? So yeah. Pretty weird. Yeah. But no, it's 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 so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I'm actually just geeking out the fact that you're in Hawaii. Hawaii is just this like it's like, you know, for people who don't live there, it's just this heavenly beautiful place. <laughs> That's yeah. Is it, is it true? Is, is it actually like he heaven on, on earth? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> cool. Well, where I live, kind of down by the ocean, it's more dry, but I kind of live on the big island, which is Hawaii, and I live in Waimea, which is kind of in the middle of the island, so it's kind of wet, which is still pretty oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't get but, hot or like anything, you know? Yeah. But cool. I guess you must travel. I mean, you've traveled all over the world. I had a look at your competition map. You've been to quite a few different countries. Do you kind of travel even to comps in the rest of the US and you're just like, nah, Hawaii is way better than all this. Like, it's so much nicer. No, no. I like I like everywhere I go, you know? Yeah? Everywhere is different in, no, everywhere is good in different ways. <laughs> it really yeah. A lot of Matty. A lot of love in the chat. <laughs> it's just people who don't Matty, seem to know how to spell, spell your name very well. It's just... <laughs> Love it. Yeah. It's so good. So how, how, how many Ys exactly are, are in your name? Because it looks like it's at least 10. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on the day. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's not it's like, so yo, where it just keeps going, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, out of curiosity, because you have a YouTube channel. For those who haven't checked it out yet, you should subscribe. It's the Cubing Jedi. Why, why the Cubing Jedi? Is there a backstory that you might like to share? Yes. So, how do I explain this? This is so hard to explain. But Accurately. You, you use the so force this, when you solve. You don't channel. even look at it. You just use the force. Yeah. True. And also, <laughs> um, there was this channel called Just Keep Cubing. I don't know. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. Just Keep and, Cubing has been mentioned yeah, already. Yeah. Yep. And she, you know, it's like it's like just keep swimming, swimming, like from from Finding Nemo, right? So mm. I wanted to incorporate something with like a movie into my name because I thought it was cool and relatable. So I said, "Hey, Cubing Jedi," because I like Star Wars, and yep. it worked. How, how, how much worked. do you like Star Wars? Out of curiosity, uh, I don't know. I haven't really been keeping up with the, you know, like new series and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm a pretty big fan. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Because I'm a pretty big fan myself. <laughs> no challenger here. Oh, no. I'm very competitive, ask lady. <laughs> yeah. No. Now, if and... uh, you know, surely people you know who are watching know about you, Maddie, but if, if I can just play um, a, a recent solve that you did in a, a competition. Um, so just get your reactions, you know, get people's reactions because it's it's insane. So yeah, just have a look. Yeah. That is that is wow. incredible, insane. And then Dirty Cube out of nowhere for that good, you know, pat <laughs> on the back. 
Um, <laughs> yep. I mean, what, what, what was that like? That, that looked amazing. Well, I don't know. This comp, I kind of went in just thinking like, you know, you can't force really good solves. Just yeah. play, play your own game and good yep. solves will come. And just so happened, I had a pretty good F2L solution and I had a really easy last layer and it just worked out to be a 4.3, yeah. you know? Yeah. No, it's so good because that's like NAR2. Um, you know, and I was thinking, you know, I, I remember when I was going to QB and like the, I remember watching um, like world record solves. I remember Felix's 7.47, Matt's fault, mm-hmm. you know, with his, was it like 7.45? Like, oh, sorry, sorry. 4.73. 4.7 and then, and then was like, Matt's, yeah. yeah. And it was yeah. just like, yeah, you know, a 4.7 yes. second solve world record was incredible. And then yeah. here's you just casually getting you a full, getting a 4.3. Like, what does that feel like? That's. <laughs> Pause, yeah. pause in comp yeah. just like yeah you know it's a it's a thing we just do that <laughs> yeah well did you this one uh oh, no yeah, you go you, you, sorry okay so well <laughs> if you didn't know at at the comp in canada that i had like before that comp um i actually plus two to a 4.6 something which would have uh been the tie it would have been the solve to tie the nar average mm. oh no but then I plus two it, so now Ugh. that could that four point three could have been a little faster. But I just made sure not to plus two it because that's the one yeah, thing yeah. I did not want to do anymore. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. But I guess when you have, we must have seen this grammar thought, oh yeah, this is pretty good. I think I've got something here. Mm-hmm. You, how I find it really hard when I get a good one to not get too excited and then I mess it up. Do you, Do you ever have that, or do you just like try keep yeah. it chill, like it's fine? <laughs> Yeah, I just keep it chill. I just go, just go one step at a time and just solve, and you know, luck will come. Mm. Yeah, that's that's the cubing Jedi right there. That, that's the wisdom. <laughs> the wisdom. Yes. That is for sure. Jedi, oh, yes. Oh. Force, yeah, the force is one. <laughs> it's like uh, yeah, just zen. Just oh, zen. I like. I just saw a question. I like in chat. Do you like cubing more or Star Wars more? I think I know the answer though. Yeah, I mean, well. <laughs> At different times, like you know, Star Wars, I liked it. Now there's no more movies coming out, you know, so I like cubing more now. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I get that. I get that. Yeah. And and a lot of people have been asking, I guess, what people are maining. It's been a while since competitions. I mean, you are sponsored, obviously, by Gan the Cubicle and yes. everything. So this is a nice little row of Gan cubes just on you, like on the, yeah. the boxes. <laughs> it's so great. The beautiful rainbow of boxes there. It's good. It's good. Um, yep. What cube have you been maining at the moment? Well, I've actually, I actually have three candidates right here next to me. So wait, let me just solve this really quick. Um, I'm debating between the two Gan Eleven versions and the Gan no. Two GAN 12 versions, so the GAN 12 Maglev and Leaf, yeah, yeah. and then and the, the Leaf, Soft yeah. GAN 11 and Pro. I've used the Ooh. Soft for a while now, and I don't know, I'm just really used to it and the grip and stuff, but and I've been kind of liking the GAN 12s recently. Yeah. It's a very yeah. different feel from what I understand from TNL and Tingman. I think they've both tried them out. It's yes. a very different feel to the 11. Uh, I don't mm-hmm. think that's the 12. I think that's the 11. This, yeah, I'm still I'm still getting getting used to it. I I think I'm enjoying the leap more than the MacBook myself. Yeah, I'm not sure yeah. yeah. I mean, UV coating isn't really for me. I find my ha- fingers like sticking to it a lot, and I like to have yeah. a really loose grip on the cube, and I just let my fingers like slide around, you know. So I like a more like slippery cube, I guess. But yeah, I like the feeling of the MacBook. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I agree. I'm actually considering taking the like, like breaking it apart and taking the UV like pieces and putting it on the ah. like, leaf, like in, internals. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, why not? That could work. Yeah. So I'm actually considering doing that and just mm-hmm. yeah, seeing seeing mm-hmm. if that could actually work. Yeah. Um, I had yeah. another question for you, Maddie, which is that, um, you know, seeing the stuff that you post on Instagram and everything, there's there's a lot more that, that you do apart from cubing uh, and, and school, mm. of, of course. Uh, yes. There are a few other, you know, different sports and stuff that, that, that you're into. So, you know, tell us a bit about that. I've seen you, like, you know, on the golf course uh, doing a bunch of different things. Yeah, well, well, actually, I just came back from baseball practice after school. Yep. I do it five That's days cool. a week. And, wow. Yeah. 
I've been doing that for most of my life, probably since I was like six or seven. So that's kind of my thing. Recently picked up golf. And yeah, those are pretty much my main sports. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, it's just nice to know. I mean, like, obviously, cubing is like our, our main thing. But yeah. like, you know, I think healthy people have a bunch of different hobbies, you know, a bunch of different things that we're interested yep. in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I reckon you've still got quite a bit of space on your shirt for like more sponsors. So, you know, <laughs> I, think I, got one, I got, wait, one more right here. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. You've got yeah. room. We want those kind of like, you know, like military, like veterans. Who just <laughs> yeah. everywhere. It's like, I'm sponsored yep. by 30 different companies. <laughs> That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, now we've cool. been Thank you. <laughs> we've been playing a wonderful game this stream with all of our guests. This one's mm -hmm. called How Well Does Matty Know Matty? So we've no. been researching your history and we're going to ask you some easy and hard questions and see how well you know yourself in a way. I love the evil mm. figures you just did as well, TNL. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so the first one I'll ask. We'll get him. Ah. Yeah. We'll see. You might. Okay, you might I'll start us off. Yeah. Yes. So your YouTube name is the Cubing Jedi, but how yes. much do you actually know about the Jedi? I want you to name five Jedi that <laughs> sat on the Jedi Council. Doing hot seat music. <sighs> Cue it up. Because <laughs> if okay, I just well, said Jedi, that's too easy. To be fair, uh, well, I mean, I mean, there's Yoda. Yeah, you know, there's Qui Gon Jinn. There's didn't sit on the council uh, though. Oh, okay, you got me there. <laughs> um, didn't didn't Mace Windu sit on the council? Yeah, yeah. that's two. Yeah, Mace All right. On the uh, there's a lot more that come to mind. That was that that was that Lady Yoda that was there one time. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Yoda. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's three. Give me that that's one. Really <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Um, think uh, one of the few characters that made it through four movies prequel and the first like original film before you know technically dying in that fourth film if you watch them in order anyway like the order they're meant to be watched in damn I don't know <laughs> I mean well, well okay okay so you've it's got not, Yoda not... makes me do yeah yeah, and then yeah. Well, I know others, but I'm not sure if they if they were on the council. I'll accept them. I'll, I yeah, them didn't off. know half of these guys sat on the council. I mean, so. I mean, yeah. Well, there's Anakin, but he's complicated and like technically did sit on the council in the third yeah. film, though. So okay, so that's that. three. I mean, uh, Obi. If anyone's help, trying to help you in chat, nope, no one's helping you in chat. <laughs> Obi-Wan didn't sit on the council, right? Yep, Obi-Wan sat on the council before Anakin. Oh. So you're up All to right, four yeah, now. Let's go. One more. Oh. <laughs> really Anakin testing myself here. Very seriously. Damn, I could easily answer this with the whole list in front of me. Yes. I could read. <laughs> I don't know. It's easy when you've got the answers. <laughs> I don't know. I want to say that too. Give me a hint. <laughs> um... um uh, Technically, left the Jedi and what? turned to the dark side. Palpatine? No. Technically, he was never actually acknowledged as a Jedi. <laughs> that's definitely Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> well, apparently that's the conspiracy theory that he was meant to be, like, this amazing Sith evil character. Yeah. Sith and Lord then people hated him so much, they actually were like, nah. Oh, oh, wait. The guy who died in the... In, in that in that in that crash um with, with the goggles plo Koon. <laughs> plo Koon. yes that's correct you got oh, this sir got it. well done you're a true cubing jedi lives up to his name let's go you could that's have also so said dooku dooku sat on the council before oh my god <laughs> what am i thinking yeah um a few ones you might know a kit fisto <laughs> to be honest as well <laughs> Yeah. Um, Yaddle, which is the guy that looks kind of like Yoda but younger. Yeah. Um, and Shakti yeah. is another uh, mm. more well known one as well. Yeah. Right. I watch a lot I of Star Wars too. 
Panic well done. You got there. That that was a really so, hard question, and it technically isn't Cuban related. So question one. <laughs> that was in question one. Yeah. Tom, are you, you want to yeah. head up number two? Yeah, question two. Your very first competition was in 2016. Do you remember the time yeah. of your three by three average at that first comp? First average ever. First average. Uh, no idea. I know I had a 1041 single. That's, That's all I remember. I don't. I don't remember the average. It was like thir thirteen twenty-five or something. I don't know. Pretty close. Thirteen point four. Oh, okay. That close. is pretty close. Pretty close. A ten single. I'll take like that. Very very first comp. That is so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's two so far. Two so far. All right. Um, I watched a lot of your old uh, comp vlogs. One of which was Melbourne twenty nineteen WCA World Champs. Yes. I think you were very young at you were very young in that video. Do you remember what did you place in the final round of three by three? And what was your best single time? Oh sorry, semi. Sorry, what did you place in your final round? And what was your best single time in the in that semi-final round? Okay, well, I remember sorry. Antoine Paterakis cut me off by 0.01 to make the finals. <laughs> I, I remember that. And you still haven't forgiven um, him for it. No, I clearly, you. I love that you've remembered the name. <laughs> yes. And wait, so, so there was 16 people in the finals, right? So that means I placed maybe 18th. And maybe my single, maybe like 6.81. You're right about your place. You placed 18th in the semifinal, which means you just missed cutoff for finals. Yeah. Have another think about your best time, though. You're close. It does begin with was a it, six. Was it, okay. Was it worse or better? Because I think I... What did you say? 618? No, 681. It was better than that. 665? <laughs> we could keep going. It was still better than that. Hi, Keaton. <laughs> Shout out, Keaton. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> You got a know. six, a six twenty four. Oh, that's right. I had a, I had like a six point eight counting time or something. That's all I remember. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. We're pretty good. Still yeah. pretty good. I'll give you half a point because you got half of it right. You yeah. got your place right. So right, we're, right. On, we're on two and a half and over to Tom. Three. That's pretty good. Yep. He's still in the game. And he is yes. over to you, Tom, for question four. Out of out of. The uh, very important and renowned side events, Megaminx, Scube, and Pyraminx, which have you participated the most times in? Pyraminx. Yep, that's correct. Yes. Four that's times? All... Yeah. <laughs> Megaminx Dare we like ask one. why? <laughs> nice. Oh, well, because, well, like, usually I like to have an event that, like, just gets my nerves down and I get like comfortable in the competing environment. And that was always my event, Pyramids. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, you've done you've done Scuba Mega, but only twice in a comp and not for quite a while from what I remember yeah. as well when I looked at your yeah. stats. All right, question five and your final question for today. So you're currently on three and a half. Yes. Your best ever single three by three time was 4.34 is obviously yeah. a very fast time. Where does it rank you in terms of the world record? Which round of the competition did you achieve it in? I achieved it in the first round, and it's sixth in the world. That is absolutely correct, yes. Mr. Nama. Well played. Easy. Sixth in Let's the world go. record. And it was done in the first round of Utah Fall 2021. So yeah. very well played. Very not nice. bad, four and a half bad. points. Yep, not four bad. and a half points. Really not bad, good. only half behind Patrick, 90, so that's 90, still pretty 90. good. So very impressive. All right. Let's so go. are there any – I mean, you were very young at that stage in your cubing career so far. Yeah. Who are the cubers that you, I guess you were really excited to meet at the time? Because I guess comps are one of those things like you get to meet all these people you've been looking up to for a while. At Worlds? Yeah, yeah. at Worlds or any comp. Um. Well – I don't know. I just more wanted to see people compete, like yeah. the world's top. I just wanted to see how they competed. Mm -hmm. So probably like Felix, obviously, still on the top. 
top of the game and maybe Senhyuk Nam. He was pretty good. Yeah. Still is. And um, Max Park, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, just see my friends like it is all those West Coast guys because I go to go to the West Coast often mm. and I have a lot of friends over there who went to Worlds. That was really fun. And it was really fun watching the three by three finals. Like actually seeing yeah. like a yeah. big head to head finals is really interesting. And yeah. the times were absolutely blistering. And it was so, I think between fourth, fifth, and sixth, like it was really tight for memory as yeah. well. Right as the final, yeah. Oh, yeah. like I think everyone was like waiting for that last soul from Max to work out the top, mm-hmm. the podium in the end, really, because it, it could have gone any way, really, at that point. Yeah, I think that was, that was the point in cubing where. It, it was really established that everybody's so close that it's just people who handle their nerves better are the one who wins. Yeah. Not, it, there's not a clear Absolutely. like divide between the top. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it could have been anyone's game, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what we might do is we might ask chat any last sort of questions for Maddie. Any more questions? Who's got some questions for Maddie? We've got him for a bit longer, but I think I saw one before. By the way, Ting Man, just so you yep. know. Is what? Uncle Ting Man going to come to the stream? Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> Hashtag we want Uncle Ting Man. No one wants Uncle Ting Man. Oh, apparently they do. No, they don't. <laughs> oh, you might like to see this one, Maddie. Carlos says, Maddie, I quit cubing, but you inspired me to start again. Nice. That's Dang. Really lovely. Dang. I appreciate it. Yeah. That's cool. That was actually for me with Monkey League. Like, I had no motivation to practice because there was no comps, but then Monkey Lee came up and then I was able to have something to practice for, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I haven't really been solving because we can't have comps at the moment in Australia where I live. So mm-hmm. there's like, I know what you mean. There's, like, there's nothing to work towards. Like, I kind of understand, like, not practicing because there's nothing to work towards. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, another one. I want to um, keep posting these. Um, here we go. What inspired you to start cubing? What inspired uh, you? Well, well, just learning how to solve a cube was, I was in Japan with my mom because she's from Japan and we're in a department store and I saw a cube and then I asked her to buy it. And then at first she didn't want to buy it. And then we came back and she bought it for me. And then <laughs> I learned how to solve it. And then, and then yeah, I just I just liked like how you could just lower your time. It was really satisfying, so I just kept doing yeah. it until now. Isn't that crazy? Right. Just that one choice. Your mom just deciding to buy it. She's just like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll just get it. If she didn't buy it, I would not be here right now. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Isn't that crazy? That's cool. that's absolutely that crazy. Is crazy. Yeah. Who is your favorite YouTuber? YouTuber, not YouTube mm. cuber, just YouTuber. In general, oh, I yeah. could probably go either way, I reckon. Uh, Coco I, like Melon. Daily Do- I like Daily Daily Dose of Internet. He's really yeah, yeah really that's actually like that's actually like really cool. Yeah, I like yeah. Ting Man. One of the best <laughs> channels, you know. Gotta say, very wholesome uh, content. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I like most YouTubers. I only like I don't know. There's some cringe YouTubers out there. I don't like them, but I like most YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, he's. Oh, sorry. You do that one first. Shu asks, uh, "What's your favorite hobby beside cubing?" <laughs> Shu comments on my YouTube videos all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he's a funny guy. What's up? Okay. Anyways, uh, favorite hobby besides cubing. I'd hate to say, is it baseball? Like, because you did do it after school. Just say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's between like baseball and golf right now i used to do oil oh, yeah. painting, but i haven't really had time recently so just baseball and golf probably cool yeah fair enough um obviously a very important question do you like waffles yes i do waffle. actually who doesn't waffles are amazing yeah, who doesn't gotta love those waffles Me so um sweet. actually this is a good point i was noticing it myself looking at the sunset in the back looks beautiful out there Oh yes. my gosh, Hawaii! Yeah. Colors. Hawaii sunsets. That's how That's we amazing. do. Amazing. That is yeah. gorgeous. That is amazing. And 
How many? I'm curious about this one because I only see six or seven boxes behind you. How many cubes do you actually own? Or is it just what well, we see? It's got to be more. Well, like, wow. Well. Because if we ask that of Ting Man, I don't think he'd even have a number for us. Yeah, I, no, it's not about me. <laughs> Probably like, because I I've given a lot of cubes away, like at comps yeah. in my lifetime. So yeah. mm. probably like I don't know. If I had to give like an estimate, probably like a hundred, hundred plus maybe hundred to hundred fifty probably. Cool. That is some serious cubes. <laughs> so yes. do you? I'm just curious because I had to get rid of a bunch because I'm pregnant and this is our nursery. So I had to get rid of a bunch to make room for baby stuff. But like mm -hmm. Ting, I know puts them in boxes or drawers. Where do you kind of hoard the remaining cubes that aren't on your windowsill? Uh, well, I keep the cubes I'm using on my desk, and I have a bag with like cubes that I intend to use later, like big yep. cubes probably. Like if I need to practice, I'll just get them out of that bag. And then like cubes that aren't opened yet are in my drawer next to me right here. I, I I break them out like before comps and stuff, so I can have yeah, a fresh one. Yeah, you know? And have you traveled internationally for a comp, and why? Well, yeah, I've traveled to Japan a lot, and I've traveled to Australia because uh, I wanted Whoa. to go to more comps, <laughs> and <laughs> it was really it was cool. a good opportunity. Yeah. And I guess there must be a little bit of difference between, like, I think, wasn't WCA, like, was it 800 competitors or something? Like, it was an absolutely gigantic competition. Yeah. So it would have mm. been, like, your, your normal American competitions, but a little more, like, quadruple <laughs> the size in a way. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's insane. I kind of wish I'd been a Cuba at that point. Um, mm. What is your home PB? <sighs> okay, this is, well... I have a 3.01, and I also, I've also had a 3.12 and a 3.16, which all could have been sub-3. I'm yet to get that sub-3 single because – Is it that oh, – I'm sorry. I just, I just lock up. Like, and, like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's just about it. Sometimes I, I thought lock it might up, have been that bit. thing we, that we talked about before where you said you're trying not to stay – you're start trying to stay chill and not rush and just, like, take it as it comes as well. thought yeah, it might well, have been that. The the three point one six was during a monkey league break and and Philip was actually okay. saying like our like my judge was actually saying like all right we're gonna start now like mid solve so I just looked up and then like I had to like <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. just a casual like, three yeah. then just yeah, a casual solve three let me just let me just get a three real, real quick <laughs> finish this yeah, one real quick. <laughs> yeah that's awesome oh that's awesome. I have a feeling I know the answer to the question I, that just went past, but I'll find, I can't find it. Hang on. What's your main 4x5? Uh, I use the Vault 5 currently. There you go. Vault 5? Five. Five, yeah. yeah. Technically, you didn't I'm, ask I'm Maddie. I'm so... 5x5, then, you know, it'll be. By the way, I've got a, I've got a gift for you. It's oh, orange. nice. Hey. Getting faster, nice. for sure. Uh, there yeah. are, well, it's, there are fewer places to look for pieces now. That is true. Oh, man. Whoa. This is a good arm workout. <laughs> Let's see those guys. Yeah. Actually. I like Dang. this one. So. <laughs> Something tells me you're pushing it, them up a little bit. I don't Yo! know. Something tells me as well. Thanks, guys. Nice. Thanks. Don't know what you're talking about. Nice. Um, oh, I saw a really good question. I just lost it. I, I'm oh, interested. Maddie, who's your uh, favorite musician? That's a good question. Yeah. Do you listen to much music? Uh, not really. I don't know. I listen to rap. Fair enough. It's kind of cliche, but, you know, I like yeah. it. And, yeah. well, I don't really have a favorite artist. I just listen to whatever's, whatever's like, new, you know? Trending. Trend. Yeah. Tre trending, nice. yes. <laughs> Got to use the lingo, Ooh. children. Got to use that lingo. Yes. Have you thought of, I mean, you're getting older, obviously. Have you thought about what you want to do once you sort of finish high school? Not really, to be honest. I don't know. I kind of like math. Maybe something with math. I just find math like a good challenge, you know. Fair enough. I think that probably what makes you a really good Cuba if you like a challenge, because I think that's why a lot of us like it, because it's always a challenge. It's always, a, it's never the same. 
Yeah. Like totally. it's where you'll use the exact same solution. Mm-hmm. What else? Awesome. Well, okay. yeah. Thank you, Maddie, for jumping on with us. Yes, um, no problem. Do you have any like special message or something you want to say to the audience from 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 Hawaii? From the from Hawaii. Uh, from, Hawaii. Well, well, from Hawaii. Um, I just want to say, I get a lot of messages asking me like, you know, how to get faster, or how to how to break certain milestones, like sub ten or something. And you know, there's always something to say, like, oh learn more algs or like just yeah or learn more f2l cases or something but in the end it's just practice and even if you can't practice it's just having fun in cubing if you have fun you will get better easily you know if you get frustrated and you kind of kind of feel oh i'm kind of slow right now then you know you won't really improve but if you just have fun you'll improve you know have fun. Well said. It's true. Well played. Because once you once you stop having fun, it's like, why are you even doing it? You know? Yeah. It's totally, just yeah. It should be for enjoyment. Yeah. Yeah. Before. Mm-hmm. In which in which case, I'm going to stop doing this because I'm not having fun. <laughs> no. Nah, I'm. Uh, I'm <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. Well. Thank you so much, Maddie. Yes. Uh, you thanks are for having me. Team. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Love to meet you. Yeah. Um, thanks for the yeah, opportunity. So great. Make sure you yeah. go and. Uh, Oops! Check out Maddie's <laughs> channel. Go give him a sub. Oh, please, thank yeah. You, so the, the Cuban Jedi is Cuban where you want to find him. Yeah, the Cuban <laughs> Jedi, like, well, like no spaces. The Cuban yeah. Jedi. The Cuban Jedi. Can we actually put put that up um, on, on on the screen? And yeah. if people can actually like, if you're watching, stop what you're doing right now. Go over to his channel and subscribe right now. Right <laughs> now. Do yeah, it. Like, thank you. And subscribe. It would it would be great. Wow. Um, and he's actually been been like putting quite a few videos up recently Com- yeah, competition vlogs I, d- I don't know what tom's doing uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah give me one competition man. vlogs are so much fun to watch and he's been like yes recently it's yeah it's- i try to make one for each yeah, competition go. i go to Either one yep all right we guys go. yeah there, there we go there it is yeah yes go check him Yo, out if, if 80 people subscribe right now You'll get like it'll be six K subscribers. Easy. That's true. Easy. We've got like nearly right one hundred people who are watching. Can you actually guys, can you go do that right now? Let's get mm-hmm. it over six thousand. He's geared. There's so many, so many good videos here to watch. It's it's pretty great. Yeah. Thank you. Cool, man. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Yes, sir. Well, Thank you. you for having me. It was yeah. fun. Take it easy. Bye. Bye. See, ya. See ya. So good. So- Amazing. Hey, uh, if you've just joined us, we are solving a 21 by 21 um, for charity. We're raising money for Habitat for Humanity. Uh, And um, we actually played this video from our community pretty early on. Wait, what? I need to hear. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Noble Cubes. It's so good. When when we get to 9,000, guys, it's coming. It's close. It's close. We're a few hundred dollars away. (laughs) Yep. Um, And I'm. Some of you may have noticed there is a little bit of, of a, like it's slowing down a little bit in this middle part of the stream. So don't let that happen. If you haven't donated yet, please, please do so. Uh, but yeah, if you weren't here at the start of the stream, uh, we played we played a pretty epic video <laughs> to encourage you guys to give. At, so let's 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 watch it again by um, Michael Michael Tripodi. Hey oh, yeah. everyone, my name is Michael Tripodi, and I'm the current OCR holder for Multi Blind. And Team Names brought me onto his charity stream today to ask you guys, the audience. One simple question. Every donation from this stream is going to go to Habitat for Humanity Australia, allowing them to build more homes for people in need. And if enough people watching this stream right now donate, then we're going to smash the goal of $10,500 or three homes built. To you, Ting Man, thanks so much for using your platform as a force for good, aiding those in need. It's genuinely an amazing thing to see. Best of luck with the solve, and remember that Ting Fan is behind you all the way. Take care, guys. <laughs> so yeah, good. I, I could watch that video, like, the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so good. He have makes you met him? He's such a great guy. Have you, yeah, have you met I've him? met him. 
Yeah, yeah. I um I was one of his judges at Melbourne oh, Summer, cool. I think. Yeah, no, he's really, really funny. Oh. I jokingly pronounce his name different ways every time I run. <laughs> so like the like, first time it's Michael Tripodi and then it's like Michael Tripod. Tripodies. <laughs> tripod, tripod, <laughs> And then he looks at me like, I don't know if you're joking or if you're serious. So, yeah, he's he's really hilarious. He's a really funny guy. That's and he's brilliant. a wonderful person. So if you haven't subscribed to him, please do. Um, and also a Daily Puzzles fellow sponsored Cuba. So very cool. He uploads mm. a lot to Instagram doing souls of his multi-blind attempts. I think at the moment he's trying to go for, I can't remember what his last one was. Maybe someone in the chat knows, but yeah, he's getting really close. He's certainly a very, very strong multi blind solver. I think he actually recently got a sub 23 uh, blind solve. So never know. No, he, he could be joining Stanley Chapel and. He got Jack a sub 18 uh, three, three blind solve. It was actually, yeah. it was actually Yeah, it was so, so good. So there you go. He's getting closer and closer. Absolute yeah, champion. Totally. So, so amazing. And, and for those who've just joined us, we're not far away now from Mr. J Perm joining us on stream. J Perm, guys. J -perm. Very exciting. Oh my gosh. He's going to be joining us in 20 minutes. So, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to say. I know. I know. Oh, I'm so excited. Right. J Perm's amazing. J -perm. It's actually it's actually incredible. What a, well, what I miss. Honor. I miss Brody the Cuba, and I was so sad. I miss Patrick Pons. That I'm really excited oh, to get yeah. to, to meet Jay Perm. But I was I was watching while I was getting my hair done this morning, and it was legitly just by chance that I was getting my hair done this morning. I didn't just do it for the stream. I was actually getting yeah, my hair. Well, done you mentioned already. you to him. Yeah, you I know. I was just, I was watching. Like, no, Ming. He's gonna think I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah, no. It was yeah. it was really really cool. Yeah, yeah, he's a cool guy. He is a great guy. So we actually sure. mentioned a little bit earlier the fact that um, we got a five hundred donation dollar donation from Gil um, Zussman. So he's um, a. Um, it's hard to actually just even describe the the role that he has in the Cuban community. So he's one of the I think main like moderators uh, in the r slash um, cubes um, subreddit. He has his fingers in so many pies uh, in terms of like just you know uh, software development and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I asked him if there's anything that he wanted to share. Um, so he actually got um, his friend Stuart, uh, Stewie, who is a, a local here um, in, in Brisbane, um, to um, share. Like he just put like this one minute thing together on just like a little taste of all the epic stuff that um, soft cubing software developers have made. Uh, and so, wow. yeah, let's, let's, if we, we can, let's spend a minute now just having a look at some of these incredible things, uh, some s software that have, have been developed by, by Cubies. Yep. Hey, I figured I'd use this time to uh, show some software that Cubers have made over the years and uh, stuff that I think has really benefited the community and also thank all these people for providing it. Um, as a computer science major myself, Cubing is a fantastic way to sharpen your skills or even be introduced to things like programming, databasing, web design and so on. Um, you know, all these people have done such great work. Um, have really helped to progress cubing and then it, you know their careers uh, tend to be computer science based such as Gil, he's a computer science professor at university, Basilio owns a data analytics company, even Bad Mephisto from years ago, he's now head of AI at Tesla so it really shows you you know where computer science can take you as a career, as a hobby, whatever you want to do with it. Um, and then also, just speaking of fantastic work, uh, thanks to Tingman for all he does, especially for Queensland Cubing, but for the Cubing community in general. Uh, cheers. Yeah, it's so incredible. Uh, hey, that's like 20 different things, uh, 20 different websites. So, you know, in my mind, when I think about Cubing websites, there's like, you know, SpeedCubeDB, there's AlgDB. Um, what else? I'm suddenly like losing... Um, I use CS time there's, actually, there's actually so much out there. Hey, so mm. Tom, you reckon you could actually show show us some um, some some examples of websites, um, software that have have been developed, just so people know there's so much out there. Could we maybe even put that in, in chat? Like if you want to, yeah, CubeDB, um, 
Man, there's so much cute, yeah, cute rider. All right, so we're just going to stick it in, in chat now. There are heaps now. here if you guys want to go and check them out for yourself. There's a list of um, – uh, they're kind of bunched up there. But, yeah, there's a heap of amazing resources. Yeah. That... If you just want to open a, a few of them – oh, yeah, CS Timer, of course. I mean, there's just so much stuff that people are developing. There's just so much work that, that that's, that's being done. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, just the ones that actually – yeah. Here, can we see this? Yeah. A cube DB. This is by Gil, who also donated today. So massive thanks to him. And um, you can see this is it, it's a really great resource. You can um like put your scramble in here. Like, for example, if I um let me just stop sharing this for a second and go into CS timer. Like, looks like we've got some of Tingman's slow solves left in here. That is that is that's cool. But let's say I just wanted to take like scramble here and then i can put that into qdb and go through my moves and like it will track it so yeah you can press play and like a free look around here which is actually incredible. it's actually wow. such a, like, a clean software and mm. like i can um at, like yeah. if i want to rotate and look my there's so much you can do yeah yep what else is there um let's see from that same list, um, I mean, obviously, I'm sure a lot of you have seen. I should keep going. Speed, keep, yeah, keep going. Ting sorry, man. sorry. Um, speed cube DB as well. I think it's been pretty popular lately. Um, just having an issue with getting into some of these. Yeah, yeah, sorry guys. Um you can see speed QBB has all algs here and practice recons and it, it's such a nice site for like anything you need basically. It's just like all your algs in one place. Again by Gil. He he does a lot of amazing stuff for the community. And you can also see reconstructions of like your favorite cubers world records or past times in competitions lately um and sometimes you just got to go back to the classic cs timer and just <laughs> do a solve my you guys want to see my first solve of the day wait this is no no um, <laughs> oh now everyone's looking at me thanks ting man yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, don't mind if I Ooh. do. Solar eight flat. Auspicious eight. PLL, but yeah. I thought Ting Man liked that. You know what? I thought Ting Man would like that, yes. I just want to take a moment of the live stream to say that I use Ting Man's voice on CS Timer Plus, and it absolutely annoys me because <laughs> you guys don't understand. The mean of my 8,000 souls in my session right now is 8.85. So you can imagine how many 8.88s I get in a session and how many times I have to listen to Ting Man telling me very lucky time. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. And I, but I, obviously I can't be bothered to change the voice because I actually do like it. And I like my enemy like spurring me on to get a better soul. But I just, I've never got a chance to rant about that. And it just has to be like- You're a sad little man. <laughs> it just has to be like the 8.8 is like right on my global average. And I get it like at least like four times in every average of 100 or something like uh, you get it now tom obviously we're friends right and yeah, obviously yeah, <laughs> team man's i've been a long time friend technically you know that whole the friend of my friend the enemy of my friend is my friend or is it the friend of my end i don't know i kind of got lost in that just <laughs> the <laughs> enemy of my enemy is my friend totally right nervous. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty friends, sure. Though. Unless you want to be his but, enemy as well. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, don't I like being friends with Team Man. Team Man sends me I feel like you're our things. mutual friend. You are the glue holding this stream together. You're right the now. only thing holding this stream together. Sep <laughs> like literally on the screen, separating us right now from fighting. Yes, literally. Just hang on, hand. They can't see us. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah, no, it's it's a wonderful opportunity to be here. There you go. The enemy, thank you. The enemy and my enemy is my friend. Yeah, this. I don't know. I just I was thinking about it today. Whether we consider ourselves enemies or friends. I mean, you got Cupid and you. I don't know why you'd be my enemy. What does it even mean to be an enemy? What does it even mean to be your friend? Free content, like more views. <laughs> what, what does it even mean to have relationships and to know people? Yeah. What does anything even yeah. mean? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. I, okay. Why does this taste so good? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're all here for a wonderful cause go? anyway. We're putting our hatred aside for today, either way. For, to raise money for a wonderful cause. And shortly, if you're just joining us, we'll give you an update. Oh, there we go. We got an update. Yeah, uh, Anonymous, Matt, Eric, and Anonymous. Thank you. Anyone yeah. else from Vermont? Do you know how we so. can get um, do you know how we can get money going if we say, like, JPEM's not coming on until we get, like, $9,000? <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. No JPEM until 9K. <laughs> <laughs> poor JPEM is just going to be like, oh, that was just that leave worth there. my time. <laughs> He's like, sorry. Sorry, guys, he's not coming. <laughs> so speaking of which, if you, yeah, if you're unaware, JPEM is our next guest. He will be on stream very shortly. Woo. I guess for for I guess the three of us, we, we've all obviously seen JPEM's videos. He's been producing for quite some time. What is I mean, your earliest recollection of a JPEM video? Oh, it was like, like the what first, was the first one. It was the first gaming video that I watched for sure. There's a lot of tutorials, but JPEM's was um i mean it obviously it's helpful because youtube recommends it first um <laughs> it, yeah, actually does. it was definitely definitely the first one uh and i think you know i've watched a lot of um his videos but the one i think that was the most significant for me was probably mm -hmm. his f2l so it was that yeah it was i mean i still use his document you know like where he's where he's got all like 70 cases or 80 cases or whatever yeah and i'm yeah. actually well, like if you've got your own website. Website. i'm on pretty early on like actually screen like cutting and pasting just all the ones that i knew i needed to work on and i would yeah it was, it was that document nice so yeah. yeah you know i've just i've benefited a lot all for free you for know free. yeah like it's not a paid service or, or anything so no i think yeah. I was, it was either in his bio i think i was reading or on his website or one of his videos he was saying that um it was really important to him once he learned how to solve the cube that he makes it really accessible for everyone. I think that's a wonderful notion yeah. to have in this community that it is about helping everyone become the best version of themselves. I think that's a wonderful thing to have. Yeah, for me, for sure. I think it was also F2L. I just started learning beginner's method and then I found his F2L. I think it was intuitive F2L and I still use it. Like I haven't learned any algs yet. So really love his content. Yeah, I think and I was cubing before um I, I must have been around like 20 20 seconds or 25 seconds when jpem made his first video and i remember seeing that um like the some amount of finger tricks every cuba should know and i remember seeing that and i really liked it but that was the first ever video so i think he had maybe i don't remember but it was like definitely not more than 10k or something like uh it, it was like it was still i think it got pretty popular the first one but I thought that was quite a good video, and I, I learned blind from his channel as well. As oh fun. yeah, that's right. I learned blind mm. from a lot of F two L tricks from him as yeah. well. Um, full and, blind, I learned full blind from yeah. him as well. So, yeah. I think he recently broke his single after a long time of his time standing his as well. I think he got a twenty average. something. But, but not his so. blind average. It's his blind mean. So you know, it's definitely something that we talked to him about. I just want to <laughs> add to this and say that. JPEM is a clickbait. I agree <laughs> because he makes videos and he doesn't even use JPEMs for every soul. So that's true. If you think about it, dude doesn't use JPEMs. In if you soul. think about it, he is clickbaiting us when he doesn't do a JPEM in a video. <laughs> so I think I, I agree with you, Simon Noah. The, the didn't poor he guy do can't a even video? speak for himself because he's not even here. <laughs> so like he can't, he can't even defend himself. He's watching. JPEM's oh, watching us JPEM, in, in the yeah. waiting, he's in the waiting room. room. He has nothing Didn't to say. Didn't he actually do a JPEM video, though? It's just bad and bad in the, in the green room right now. In the green room. Because yeah. we can yeah. literally say anything we want. I think JPEM's a fraud. I think he's actually a robot. Um, and I've never seen him in real life. I don't have any proof that he's human. So <laughs> he's going to leave the waiting room. <laughs> 
All right. Um, yeah. Well, is it nearly that time? It's actually still a few minutes away. But In five minutes. Five minutes, guys, we're going to have j -Perm on. Make sure you tell tell your loved one, tell your family that <laughs> their favorite ones. tutorial maker, j -Perm, is about to be on. Tell your grandma and um, <laughs> just, just your loved ones. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Yeah. I mean, he's, a, he's obviously very well known in our community. He makes amazing tutorials. He also recently sold the 21 by 21. So he knows your pain yeah. there, Tingman. So true, true. I think he even said at the end, his arms like exhausted. I think it was like six and a half hours, close to six and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, true. I could actually talk to him about that. See, so we can grab his uh, 21 by 21. But yeah, so here's uh, where we are in our. Uh, uh, program we are actually in the last like third or so we saw a few hours to go <laughs> like only on my third oh sorry my fourth center so i have to pick up the speed a little bit but otherwise yeah we're, yep. we're going all right we're going all right just to remind you we are raising money for um habitat for humanity australia and we are wanting to build three houses three homes each one three and a half thousand dollars so we've, we've got two which is fantastic and we just need that third one um, so we just have a few thousand dollars more to go. If you've been watching for a while and you're thinking, Hey, you know what? I've been, I don't know, getting a lot from this. Mm. Maybe it's time for me to give. Yeah. Like the people who are even, who are just giving a few dollars, like every single bit counts. It's it, yeah. Every, every single bit counts. It's not just like the big donations. It's the little ones too. Like it, it all adds up. So thank you so much if you've already given. Uh, but if you, if you haven't yet, would you consider doing that? There's only a few hours to go. And how amazing would it be to hit our, our target? It would be so cool. Um, I reckon let's watch another community video. Um, and then we'll have j -Perm on uh, early even. Maybe. Yeah, we have maybe. 500 people tuning in to, now. To so. reward the people who are who are here on time. And yes. If they come late, not too bad. Too bad. That's, that, that's your Welcome. Opinion. And we'll be right back okay. after this short here video. We go. Hey, Tingman. Thanks for having me for, you know, the next couple of seconds. And thank you so much for doing this and bringing the Cuban community together to do good for this world. And, you know, I really hope we can reach our goal. Also, looks like you've got some pretty good progress on that 21 by 21. You can do this, man. Don't give up. Also, thanks to everyone who's already donated for making a difference in the lives of the less fortunate. Hey, Tingman. Hey, everyone. Tom from Noble Cubes here. Just wanted to say congrats on making it this far, man. I know it's only like two more magnitudes bigger than last time, but probably going to take a little bit longer. You know, a little fun fact, if you turned that cube once every year since you were born, well, you'd be my age. Yeah, not that interesting, I guess. If you guys are still thinking about donating, please do. I know it's a really good cause and it's going to help out a lot of people. He's done something like this before and I'm sure he can do it again. Keep it up, man. Cheers. All right. I think it's time, guys. It's time. Can we get some excitement in the chat Woo. for the one, uh, the only... Dylan Wang, J Pum himself. Hey, hey guys. Hey. Welcome. Wow. Well, I'm super excited to be here in the presence of TNL Cubing, Panda Cuber, and Ting Man, the legends themselves. Oh my God. Yeah. Right. Here's, here's, Very here's excited to meet you. For you, uh, buddy. So we've got blue, was the first sense. We've got green. Orange was next. And wow. Oh, 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 I get to pick your next color? For, for oh, I have already. Started. Oh, you're already working on yellow. Look for you. I, I will. I will destroy that. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. St stop working on yellow and start working on white. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> no, it's right. no. It's a long you, stream. You can you you can keep working on yellow. By the way, how long have you been solving that for now? Uh, oh, it's, it's it's best five if, and a half if, hours. If you don't do the maths. <laughs> in, in my defense, I've been stopping a lot to chat yeah. with people. Yeah, it's been a bit of a uh, distracted and, so. and 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 too, and too. so yeah. Is. Hey, I had to go through the pain of solving it all at once. So I think yeah. I, I think uh, I, I don't think there are any excuses, man. <laughs> you said at the end of that video that now there's that you know that problem of wanting to do it again. <laughs> have, 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 have you done it again? Have, have, have you, have you, have you uh, maybe you'll have to wait till the next video drops. Oh, yes, Ooh. but no. Um, actually, I decided since you are solving twenty one by twenty one, it wouldn't be fair, and I would actually solve it at the same time here. So. I've I've uh, fully scrambled it up, and um, we're gonna uh, uh, we're we're gonna have a race. <laughs> sure. Is that, what do you think? Like the, thing is, the thing is, so that, that's a JPEG, right? Oh, is it? I thought it was fully scrambled. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, 
if you were to keep up, I might suppose that that so that's a JB perm right there. Like you wouldn't know if it's it's like you wouldn't know if I'd finish my my JB or not. It's it's just my honesty. I couldn't. Do I don't know. You you you, you have someone very reliable sitting right next to you. Someone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, hey. so some would say so, some would say the T stands for trustworthy. Trustworthy oh, and wrong. not. I don't. Lying. I can't. Finish. Not lying. Yeah, lying. That's what they. That's what they call me. So. Yeah. Um, uh, sure. Yeah. So, hey, I'm, I'm, how I'm has your take you on and, and race like and do it? See who's the first who can finish uh, a, a JB perm right now. All right. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Uh, Panda is the only one who's who's in a different location from both of us. Yeah. So yeah. Do you wanna do you wanna make it just a split screen? Uh, oh wait, no. Then Panda's. I'm not exactly sure. I how. can jump out. But then we won't hear her calling. Well, I'm I'm just gonna call it then. All right. All right. You ready, going? I I am ready. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Go. Ah, I can't turn. <laughs> It's not fair. You're warmed up. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. No. Yes. Oh. Uh, I, I did that right. All right. right? Well, yeah, I guess yeah, I, I guess I'll still finish it. Back, but I'm pretty sure there was a. I'm JV. pretty. Yeah, I was watching. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Uh, I think I think you're warmed up. Your cube your cubes are hey 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 a bit broken in. Don't today. give him don't give him excuses. Exactly. His cube is way more broken in. Let you know what? Show. Let the record you know show that I defeat J Pam. All right. Okay. I'm in Canada. My hands are cold. It wasn't a fair fight from the start, but but <laughs> GG's. These two do actually live in a much warmer part of Australia than I do, so I kinda get that. <laughs> yeah, we've got the we've got the air conditioning on right now. On do, keeping us cool. We have the aircon on right now. Yeah, it's kind of hot. How how is life in um Canada like? Yeah. In Canada, yeah. uh, mm. I guess that's what we're called here. Um, yeah, it's it's Canadians. cold, and I don't know. You can see the lighting here isn't great because it gets dark really early. I mean, it's yeah, nine p.m. Right. right now, but it's been like yeah. this since since maybe four p.m. It it gets yeah. dark really early. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's starting to get cold, so I'm gonna have to, like, I actually have to warm up before making videos now. But then, you know, in the summer, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now yeah, you cool. you live in Canada, so is poutine really that good? In oh Canada? yeah. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. actually, not 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 where I live. Um, you want to go right. to probably Quebec or maybe even Ontario. They have really good poutine there. They have they have restaurants just for poutine, but here. Like you're gonna just get fast food poutine, and it's pretty much the same as anywhere else. So I'm not like, I'm not like in a super Canadian place, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Canadian, love it. Now, um, how has it been with the competitions? I think you recently got to attend one after almost a year and a half of waiting for comps to resume. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna have another one soon, and I was actually really surprised that the the one that I went to didn't get cancelled because, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, when the comp showed up, everyone was just surprised by it. But um, <laughs> and we, I was like, okay, I mean, I'll sign up, I'll practice, but I'm not gonna have any expectation that I'm gonna actually go to a competition on that day. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. it happened, and there were a lot of people. So actually, like, I don't know. Maybe the next comp will happen. Yesterday, I went to saw, to, to see a movie and the the theater was packed so uh, wow. i think i think things are getting getting back to normal here what about you guys uh yeah. i'll let yeah. ming and come go first yeah in like where uh ting man and i are based like in queensland australia things got pretty much back to normal quite quickly last year but then they sort of kind of had a dip again at the start of this year but i feel like it uh we mm. probably will have some competitions next year yeah, that's nice. Unfortunately, they got cancelled this year, but yeah. 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 Um, oh, man, well, next year isn't in... too far away. No. no. Well, I live in Melbourne, which is the opposite end of Australia to these guys. So I live where Felix lives, like in Melbourne. And mm. uh, we managed to get two comps in. I'm, oh, actually, they were probably more like eight, but they were in country Victoria, so I didn't go. 
So we probably had quite a few comps, but then our numbers kind of skyrocketed and we had to stop again. So I think I got to two comps this year and mm. that's about it. So at least I got so, something. Like I looked So you're like best friends with Felix then, I take it. She no, <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, okay. okay. I know, like I chat to Felix at comps and we both go for the same like sport teams and stuff, but that's about it. Like we mostly, mm. we don't really best talk friends. cubing. Oh, we yeah, mostly talk sport. Best though. friends, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh by the way um i've like leading up to this i've been i've been watching a bit of the stream looking at the chat i saw a lot of people uh saying j perm in the chat so i just want to say i love you guys and um make sure make sure you donate to uh what's it called habitat for humanity oh, australia humanity. um if uh wait let's see where are we at right now eight thousand seven hundred and eighty eight okay oh, uh if we can if we can get to nine thousand dollars before before uh my time on the stream is over i will donate a pile of bricks oh yes yes that is just I, for those... I, I have a lot of them in canada just like yeah, for content. yeah no bricks. like i'm not going to donate money i'm just going to grab a bunch of bricks and i'm going to yeah. i'm going to fly back, over I'm to I'm australia and go to the give now <laughs> if you go to give now if i go to um it actually i think says how much yeah it says what you can What's you can give and it tells you 152 yeah yeah so yeah. i'm i don't know it was just the, the pile of bricks sounds awesome honestly so <laughs> I, sure I, I just like what what um hey uh currency this is but yeah I, yeah I mean, it must be australian or us i'm not sure it might be australian. i think it'd be australian because it's keeping uh, it's um yeah. habitat for humanity australia yeah. now you well, recently you heard the man, achieved... guys. Oh, yeah, you recently achieved a long time goal of beating your three blind PB. I watched the comp vlog, which yes, you did you. over a year after your last comp, which you kept saying in the video. What did yeah. you do <laughs> in that time to prepare you to do that? Because I know you've been working towards blind single for quite a while. Mm, um, so it may come off like I've been practicing for that whole time, but uh, I actually have a friend who's, who just jokes at me. Every time I say, you know, a year, he's like, no, dude, you've only been practicing for like three, four months because I mm. just it's hard to it's hard to keep the motivation when there's no competitions. So I actually yeah, really God. didn't practice as much as it may seem. I Maybe I'd be faster if I did because, OK, I don't average 25, by the way. Um, for anyone wondering, in Blindfolded, I average like 32 or something. So that 25 was really good, and it really makes it look like I've been practicing for an entire year. So I, I'm just I'm glad that happened, like for the content, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it must have been like a sense of relief when you put it down. You, you take the blindfold off and you're like, oh, thank goodness, this, it's all right. Like. Yeah, it, yeah. Actually, I was pretty sure it was going to be right because the thing with Blindfolded is mm. if you get a relatively fast time, it means the memorization was shorter, so there's less stuff mm. to memorize, and there's it, you keep it in your head for less time, and there are fewer things to mess up on. So if I get a really fast time, chances are like maybe 95% chance I actually got the, the solve right. It's the average or slower times that I tend to be like, ah, oh, did I get that right? Because mm. I remember my yeah. third solve was around 40 seconds, and I actually thought I got it right when I stopped the timer, but I didn't. So. Yeah, it's yeah. that's the one forgiving thing about blindfolded. When you get a fast time, it's probably correct. Right. It's yeah. sort of the weird irony with. Um, I remember when I was first getting into it, 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 it was like so all the effort that goes into having to memorize um, letters and keep it in your brain for quite a while. Like you actually need that to be stronger at the start because mm. you need to hold it in your head for longer. Because you take yeah, yeah, exactly. And then ironically, as you get faster, you actually you can rely a lot more on short-term memory yeah um so it's yeah weird. it's a skill that like develops and then you don't even need it as much in, in, in a sense <laughs> mm. yeah but uh it's 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 still good to have that development phase because like you know if you're good at a fast if you're good at a harder thing it makes you even better at the easier thing right if you can play something slow you can play fast mm -hmm. as, as they say well no not um, for cubing <laughs> what the heck? I, I, I disagreed with you, but I because I thought you were gonna say something smart. <laughs> Ouch. I was thinking of the violin, which I don't play, but yeah. So one thing that you've often talked about in your videos, especially when the GANs started coming out with their naming system, is how companies name their cubes and mm -hmm. the naming system they implement. And it's quite mm -hmm. an entertaining system series of videos. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, who in in your opinion, are the worst offenders when it comes to cubing naming? 
Okay, so there Ooh. are there are a few things you want to look at. One is how long is the name, and Moyu is the worst at that because they're the ones that started the license plate meme where there was the MF3 <laughs> MF3 RS2M. Yeah. And oh, yeah, yeah. if you wanted to write out the brand name, that wasn't even Moyu. That was uh, no that was Mo Fang Jiao Shu, which is so that's like just eleven characters in a row. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. so true. Okay. Then there's also does the name uh make sense? And um Gan, I would say, is the worst of that one. Because <laughs> yeah. like okay, I don't even remember the names, but I remember for the Gan oh. you, it was either the GAN XS or X, uh, mm. where there was just a GAN 356M and like a GAN air something, and they were they were completely unrelated to the names. They had something to do with the X, but the X wasn't in the name. And they just yeah. do that all the time. They're just like, which combinations of like 356 and X and M and, yeah. and Air, which ones haven't we used yet? And, oh, we have a new cube. Let's just throw that on. Yeah. Yeah. It, it makes yeah. no sense. No, completely. And the third? I think you said there were three. Uh, no, just two. Well, three. Just uh, two. Okay. Well, d just don't be a stupid name, but like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Well, you know, Team Man came up with, yeah, Team Man came up with the Yeet Ball. So take from that what you will. I mean, <laughs> well, um, names. as as long as you don't make like a Yeet Ball V two and a Yeet Ball three five six M, like as long as I know what it is, <laughs> it's two words Yeet Ball. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Well, I, it does break the third rule. Don't be a stupid name, but yeah. it's only one. It's only one. That's fine. I feel like when it comes to that, it's very it's very subjective. What, what, what the stupid name will be. Um, now it's e it's easy to throw rocks, but if like what what would the ideal J perm naming system look like? So let's say you just you you invented a line of cubes, and you're going to be updating this series every single year for the next ten years. Uh, so yeah, ten. Let's go. Like it, it's a naming system that's going to last at least ten years. Uh, what what would the ideal J perm naming system be? Uh, well, hopefully it wouldn't. Hopefully, the naming system would always make sense, but not necessarily have a continuity through all 10 years. Like, I don't need GAN to have GAN 1, GAN 2, GAN 3, all the way to GAN 12. But yeah. uh, I think I, I like what X-Man does, which is where they use words like Tornado yeah. and, and Spark yeah. and, and Shadow. Those are memorable. Um, and then while well, they have V2 versions of that, which is fine, like I prefer a name without V2, but like it makes sense. And uh, and then at some point, at a certain point of updating, you change the name to something else. And uh, I think that makes it more memorable because like you don't. The thing with Gan is like you're not going to buy a Gan cube from five years ago anymore. So I don't need the naming system from five years ago to still have its effects now, where it's taking up names that yeah. we could be using now. So if you just had a brand new naming system, you'd have access to everything, and then after a while, just like get rid of it and have a new naming system. So like. I don't know what I would do for a naming system exactly. I just know it uh, it would be a little bit more segmented than what we have right now. And memorable. And definitely memorable. <laughs> Yeetball V2 like... RS3, RSM 2021 Maglev. <laughs> Almost as good as this one. Well, that will be if there's my no baby's Yeetball... first word. But I mean, I, <laughs> like, this is literally why I made that, like, you know, random cube name generator. Like, yeah. I decided to ask you, because it's just like, this is stupid. Like, what, what even is this? It's just picking sections out of a hat and just, like, stringing it together. Yeah. Like, I remember when I was, like, uh, in the early cubing days and I started to buy puzzles, like, the meme was, like, eBay sellers and Amazon sellers, like, how they would have, like, every word possible for tags and stuff. Yeah. But now, literally, the actual cube companies themselves sometimes are as long as those old, like, memeable uh, like ebay titles <laughs> it's crazy yeah yeah that's true um, can, can i can i tell you what my my naming system would be Except all right go ahead i feel like if i put it out there a cubing company might steal it <laughs> um it would be based on the uh planets of the solar system so there are two ways you can do it you can go through the names of the planet like so it's successive years so it could be like this is the mercury series and then it's venus and then it's earth like in each year or each one could represent like distance from the sun or like place from the sun so if you if you consider the sun to be number one, then Mercury is two. So the Mercury series are the two by two cubes, and then Venus would be the oh. three by threes. Earth would be the fours, or yeah, you know, and then it just goes on. So this is like this is the Jupiter series. It's the I don't know six or whatever, and and then you sort of it, it maybe numbers up from there. And so there's sort of cohesion, you know. But yeah, how so science I guess... teacher of you. <laughs> 
So in the WCA puzzles, we would never get to Pluto, so we don't have to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You wouldn't have to feel bad. <laughs> Pluto would have to be like a, a little mini nine yeah, by nine true. or something. I mean, but if, if I did this, the first cube I would release would be the, the Uranus cube, of course. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> all right oh. all right i don't know if i like the system anymore if that's the first one <laughs> what's it like to turn uranus i mean oh yeah no see so it gets a bit weird after that it never, yeah. that joke never gets old i love it so we've got a special game just for you japan because i thought right. you're so good i think what we all agreed on before you we got you to join the stream was that you're really good at explaining so we want you uh -oh. to try to explain what a J-perm is, but you are not allowed to use the following words. Last, right. layer, J, perm or permutation, pieces, edges, or corners. Okay. Yeah, I, I've pasted them in as well. I'll I'll beep you okay. if you uh, say oh, any I'm, of them. I'm, it's it's on the bottom. I just did a little. Oh, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Thank nice. You. So he can't say I any of these any words, of audience. <laughs> So what is a uh, JPEM without using those words? So you just told me I'm a good explainer and then you took away all the things I can use to explain. <laughs> <laughs> what am I even left with? It's, it's okay. Okay. Well, R, U, R prime, F prime, <laughs> R. You're <laughs> not wrong. I'm, no, I'm, 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 really, I'm really not wrong, but okay. I'll, 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 actually, I'll actually give this a shot. So, uh, when you, okay, on a Rubik's Cube, when you get to the final step, there are different patterns for where the, the things you have to solve need to go. <laughs> and this one is shaped like the letter after I. <laughs> doing really well I think, I, 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 I think that's it i think that's it yeah 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 that's good, that's good. <laughs> well played sir. well played that was thank you that was a fun I literally, game. yeah i literally thought what words would he use like what words have i seen you use to explain how to do a permutation and then i just took them all away <laughs> it's, it's i like was all, it's all the awkwardness of like a kid mm. asking their parent like where babies come from <laughs> <laughs> well uh there's, there's this thing where <laughs> Yeah, or even when you just go oh, down the uh, the the but why game, like you ask, they ask you how something works, and they say but why, and then you have to yeah. explain over and over, but you can't <laughs> use the thing you just talked about to explain yeah. the next yeah. thing. So yeah, it kind of felt like that. I really struggled with trying to use the word pieces. I thought of everything in my head, and I thought of things, <laughs> but I didn't. I don't want to use yeah. that, but I just went with it. <laughs> well, it was hard on purpose. Sorry. Right? <laughs> Fun games now. All day with our guests, we've been playing a fun game called How Well Does Name No Name. So, how well does J-Perm know J-Perm? How well do you think you know yourself? Well, I know all 13 of the moves. I, I think that's <laughs> as well as I need to know it. No J-Perm. <laughs> oh, you got Thank more you dings intro. than uh, you got more dings yeah, than any other cuter so well. far. I'm so you must sure be the favorite. Like, I'm not sure if that's killing everyone's ears through the microphone or not, but who cares? It's for the name. Nah, can barely hear it, really. <laughs> Someone in chat said, breaking news, JPerm can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my bad, guys. This is not JPerm's fault. I just wanted to be tricky. Anyway, uh, Tom, do you want to start us off with the questions? I like I like someone quoted it as well perfectly. That should be your your, like, your YouTube <laughs> description. <laughs> <laughs> No, maybe this is like me trying to explain while brain not working. <laughs> Have you ever had a dream that you could? <laughs> yeah. One, of those. Uh, uh, one that looks like the letter after I. Oh, man. I, I could have just said like a hook or something, but yeah. oh, well. it's it is what it is. It's just like, all right, now tell me more about your childhood. <laughs> all right. So, Dylan, the first question. <clears throat> what is the title of your very first video uploaded to your channel? Oh, easy. 11 finger tricks every cuber should know. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. And if you don't already right. know them, now's the time to learn them. That's true. 
<laughs> I was saying hey before, guys. um, that was the first video I saw of yours. Well, it was the first video at the time, and yeah, I love it. It's still uh, so you guys for context. That's Classic. he's already produced 419 videos for context. So Whoa. like that's a fair few videos to remember. The first one you've ever released. Yeah, but so well done. What's DQ review has done the thousands. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Subtle burn, sure. All right. Speaking of firsts, uh, now we're moving on to WCA stats. Your uh -huh. very first competition was in 2014, so it's been, what, seven years since your first comp? Wow. But what yeah. was the time of your 3x3 three three average at that comp? Your very first 3x3 three three official average. Okay, let's see. I remember my very first solve was a disaster. Um, I, I got a 16. I remember it went down, but then it went up at the end. So it was like 16, 15, 14, 13, and probably like another 14 or 15 after that. So, uh, yeah, I, that's I, about right. I think it's a, that sounds like it's a 15 average, but then I'm going to have to, do I have to get the decimals? It, I'd well, be more impressed not. if you had It'd them. Uh, Okay, a shot in the dark. Wait, no, no, I don't need a shot in the dark. This 14, 14, 15. He's oh, mapping no, it, it instead. It's high decimals. Okay. Yeah. Is it 15.24? What? <laughs> yep. What, 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 Wait, what? really? That's exactly Seriously? it. Did you just guess that? Yeah. No. Somewhere in the back that of is... your brain, you must have. What? Had. It is literally 15.24. <laughs> That is Let's so go. impressive. So you were pretty that is, close. That makes no sense. That Your first solve sense. was a 1602, 1466, 1368, 1503, <laughs> and 1602. That makes no sense. So, Wait, it so. started and ended with a 1602? Yep. That sounds like a data entry error. They should DNF my average, honestly. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wait, unless that's the average. <laughs> no, no, that's a solve. Right now to DNF. <laughs> but uh, only one of them counted towards your average, so I hope that helps. Oh wow. Okay. I actually that means I did the I did the math wrong. Oh well. <laughs> but you still got the right answer. <laughs> that's the, and that's all that matters, right? right. You did Apparently. the math wrong and you got the right answer. That those are the best ones. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> and over to Tom for tricky question number three. How many times have you officially completed an FMC solve in competition? I DNF'd one, so it's a multiple of three and minus one. I think I DNF'd <laughs> one. Okay. There's, there, there's no way I can just actually count them all up because I'm going to miss some. But I do know I had that one competition where I did nine in a row. Uh Okay, I'm just gonna guess how many rounds I did and multiply by three. So I'm gonna guess, uh, I'm gonna guess like nine, nine rounds multiplied by three, twenty-seven minus one, twenty-six. No quiet. Uh, it's one too many <laughs> rounds. It was actually twenty-four take one, twenty-three. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I had the right idea though. I was so close. Yeah, you did really yeah. close. Yeah. And that is, right. yeah, you DNF'd once in the first round. Two out of three. Yeah, do you oh. Want to, do you um, want to tell us about that, that DNF? Yeah, what happened? Yeah, then? I remember that DNF. So, okay. So, you know how for fewest moves you get an hour? But yeah, I, w I was always like, how could anyone possibly DNF? You get a whole hour to write down a solution. <laughs> but, um, but like, the thing you don't realize is, like, you're, you kind of budget time as you have more time so it's not like yeah. it's not like i do the thing and then like oh that's like 40 minutes no it's like i have to, if i have 20 minutes left i'm not writing down a solution yet because i have 20 minutes left so yeah. um it what actually happened that solve was uh i had I, I like had an entire solution minus an insertion but what i did was i added eight moves right before the very last move and then I was scrambling to run it down with like five se five seconds left when oh, I wrote down the last move. Okay. And I wrote down the first part of the solution, the insertion, but not the last move because like that was oh. a separate thing I had to oh, do. No. And so I was off by one move. I actually should have had a solution what? of, I think, 34, five or six. It was somewhere around there. So it wasn't like amazing, but it was it was my first time competing. So I was still like... I still thought it would be pretty good, but yeah, I was super nervous writing it down. And, uh, and then after, after I, I was like walking, 
I was walking home looking at my sheets of like the moves I did to like think about whether I was like, I wrote down this many moves. Is it this many moves? And then I looked at it over and over. And then it took me like 10 minutes to realize I actually made a mistake because it was the very last move. Uh... Yeah, I wonder if the judges like doing the solve were just like, does he know he's one turn off? Like, <laughs> I was I was so hoping that they just mess up and be like, yeah, he got it. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> close enough. Got it's too. close enough. <laughs> close enough's fine. All right. Question four. I had to dig for this one. What is the most cubes you've successfully solved in a multi-blind attempt? And in what, sorry, like in terms of how many you wanted to solve, like the fraction. Mm -hmm. So, and in what competition did you do it at? And in what time? So we need the number of cubes oh out of the total you want to solve, the time, and the name of the comp you did it at. It, okay. It, first of all, it is it is actually evil to ask somebody their multi-blind time <laughs> because no one cares about the time. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you solve it all. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but I, I think I just actually happen to know this one. Um, okay. I, I think, so I got nine out of nine. That is my best one. Yep. And mm -hmm. uh, I think it was done in 46 minutes. Uh, yeah, it was. And... Do I have to get the seconds? Uh, no, no, no. I think we'll pet, we won't worry about the seconds because you're right. Even... Oh, they do record seconds, seconds I didn't right? knew they record. They do, yeah. but no, but, but, but I think they, right. no one they cares. Don't do any decimals. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually don't remember. Or maybe in, like, wait, nine out of nine. Okay, it was. Uh, I will tell you, it was in Canada. Vancouver. Yes, I know that. I remember, I think it was like right before the Washington competition, because I remember at the Washington competition, I didn't do as well. Yes, it was. But it was uh, right before Washington. I'm going to have to guess the name. There's a high chance this is the name, but I'm not sure. Um, please, please be solved. Oh, no, not no. please be solved. That was your five out of six and 55. This one was UBC Open 2020. Oh, I'm actually looking across the room right now, and I have a certificate on on the wall that says UBC <laughs> Open. <laughs> uh, okay, all we right. Totally organized it. It's fine. So that was in Vancouver, <laughs> British Columbia, in on Could've January. Cheated. In January. Could have cheated. Yeah. Could have cheated. Yeah, because um, I forgot which which competition. I I can, I can never remember which competitions have no. like these these like huge events. So yeah. I I forgot UBC Open had it, but yeah, I was not going to get that one. That's a good question. No, but that was that was still a pretty good effort because you got the time and you got the number of cubes you got. So that's yeah, still pretty impressive. Yeah, the only reason I remember the time was because it was um it was my hardest attempt ever, but I took like the fastest time ever, so that was really interesting. And I I like had to screenshot it and put it in a video, so I guess that just burned my brain. Yeah. <laughs> Into your memory. Yeah. And Tom, do you want to trick him on the last one? Yeah, I'd I'd uh, say that's three out of four so far. Okay. Oh, and, uh, not bad. Still pretty good. Question five. Oh no, with the other one, yeah. Final question. Um, in three by three, your current best single is five point three one, and where does that rank you in the world rankings? Okay, it's. I think it's at least sixty eight because I checked it recently. Um, it might be sixty eight, but I doubt it. You got to think. What? Why would? Why would we include this one? Oh, okay. Tom, well, I was I, I I was gonna plus one to it just as a joke, but sixty nine. I did not choose this question. <laughs> nice. Yes. You got nice. it. Sixty nine. So if we'll we can play. cancel every single competition forever from now. From now. <laughs> That's so this gets gets immortalized. 69th in the world, JPM. <laughs> yeah, that's that actually that, better. That I, cubes. I that's think a, a, I think older. when I first got it, it was ranked around 50 something, maybe 53 ish. And um, yeah. I'm glad that the like uh, I'm glad that this live stream is happening right now, because otherwise it would it would be a different number. Ah, uh, I know. <laughs> so yeah. That, Oh. That's a, a lovely coincidence. So it looks like we're getting a song and a you're song. donating a pile of bricks. Oh, I'm donating a pile of bricks now? Oh, 9,000. Let's go, guys. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, guys. Anna, Fantastic. Anonymous, let's get JPAM to donate. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Joaquin, Love it. Kaylin. 
Um, I've, awesome. got a, I've got a question for Jay Pam. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of the most shocking revelations <laughs> in my entire life was when I discovered that you have like, almost the majority of your like early videos were all filmed on your phone. What's wrong um, with that? Yeah, I was about to say, what's wrong with that? Don't <laughs> you film your videos on your phone still? Yeah, but like, I just assumed that it was like, you know, there's, there's just a lot of cameras going on here. This like, you know, this microphones is like all this whole thing. So very impressed by that. But then like, I think you persisted with your phone and I was like, come on, man, let's just invest in some equipment. Let's get some good quality stuff. <laughs> um i'm 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 very much a like equipment you know video equipment person i have a ridiculous amount of cameras and microphones i just like that what 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 do you currently use to shoot is, uh oh is it you you, you don't want to know <laughs> is it still a phone it's, it's it's gonna be the it's the most shocking revelation is gonna be the second most shocking revelation because you're about to have a new one <laughs> All right, so it's still it's still the Samsung S7 um, that I used like from not from the start. This is the third phone, second phone I've actually used to film, but uh, it is destroyed because of how old it is. So here, let me show you guys. Oh my See God. the cracks on it? It's like, oh, it's wow. like Spider Man suit. <laughs> the S7 came out like fifty gazillion years ago, two thousand sixteen. Yeah. But oh, I'll have you guys know you're gonna be happy to hear this. I have another S7, and it's. <laughs> oh no! I'm not happy about that. Oh. Is, is, it, is it like a good luck thing now? Like, are you still gonna be using an S7 in ten years? Or just finding some man? Like, okay. The thing with the phone is it's really it easy, you. but I actually tried a different phone once, and it wasn't good. So uh, <laughs> I'm scared to change. Honestly, uh, I mean, if, if it ain't broke, it's working. It, is, it's it working. is working for you. Yeah, it is working for you. I'm curious about this question I just saw. JPM, answer honestly. Have you ever failed the JPM? Oh yeah. Um, I I don't know what video it's in exactly, but I have a I have a seven point three three official single. Except it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was a nine point three three because I plus two'd it and. Basically, I think it was like I needed. I just did the wrong U move at the end of the J perm. So I, I don't know. I guess I didn't fail the J perm, did I? A U F as opposed to J perm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oof. Hmm. Well, okay. I probably have, but if if it ever has happened, then I've probably like looked at the footage of the solve and just decided I'm going to cut that out of the video. <laughs> Fair enough. Doesn't need to be there. It's fine. Who needs to yeah. see that? Yeah. So, do you want to you put it on team? Oh, we just got a, 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 a message from Cubic says, Team Man Dylan, can you have a conversation in Chinese? Oh boy. <laughs> um, the answer Someone just Dylan. clipped your expression right now, Dylan. It's quite priceless. Mm. The answer is yes, we can. Like, we are able, we are. <laughs> We are capable of probably, but does that? Oh mean yeah, this is this is such a teacher answer. You said can you instead of will you? Yeah, <laughs> we can. We can. We absolutely we can. can. And and that's and that's it. Uh, that's, that's the answer. Loophole. That's a loophole if I ever saw yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my um, my Chinese is not very good at all, but um, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy to rival you on 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 worseness. Of <laughs> on <Chinese>. worseness. <laughs> Um, I think English as well, clearly. Just the leaving um, Tom out of this, out of all the Asians in here, I'm pretty sure I speak the least amount of Mandarin and I'm at half Chinese. So that's true, actually. Your, your Chinese I probably failed good. a bit harder. Yeah. Although I have tried to get better. I have downloaded apps to help me learn. So one of one of well, one of my dream um J videos is where he unboxes a cube, takes the instructions <clears> out in Chinese, and then just fluently just reads the entire thing. <laughs> the whole <laughs> instruction. Just, That's the whole video. Yeah. It just ends before it he gets the cube. Thick Chinese accent as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, goes through the entire thing. That would be amazing. That would be, wouldn't it? I, I guess we'll ne we'll never find out what or, that would or, be or, like. Or we might. Have, have there actually been many um, times that you've seen a cubing video on YouTube and gone, that was, that was, that was 
you know, plan for, for, you know, in three weeks time or four weeks time or something. Have you, have you seen it? Have there, has there been any time that you've seen a video that you were like, oh, I was just about to make that? <laughs> uh, well, okay. Interesting that you asked that. I was just thinking about this because, um, I did a, I, I did a Reddit AMA the other day and, mm -hmm. um, somebody asked me if, uh, if being a cubing YouTuber has like, since that's my job, has that affected my joy with actually just cubing? Like, do I still enjoy it anymore? And, uh, and I actually said, yes, I still enjoy cubing a lot, but, uh, I think the reason why that hasn't affected me is because I'm not, I'm not like using, I'm not like being good at cubing is not what I do as my job, right? My job is to make content around cubing. And so that doesn't really interfere, but I have noticed that I don't watch cubing videos nearly as much as I used to. And I think that's just because that's my job. I have to edit it yeah, and then rewatch yeah. it over and over. And then I just don't feel like I want to watch other people's stuff anymore. Yep. Um, actually, I remember, I remember now, um, after it's like, sometimes I'll make a video and it's a completely original idea. And then some people will tell me in the comments, someone else just made this. And I'm like, yeah. well, I'm not going to take this down now. I'm like, but, I, but I like, yeah, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that has happened before, but, um, I remember, so, so like, I, I've, I don't think I have seen enough videos to be like, oh, I, I was going to make that, but now I won't. Uh, but I remember when I first started, when I made the 11 finger tricks video very shortly after, uh, Chris Olson made a finger tricks video. And I was like, mm. by the way, remember I had like one subscriber and I, I was like, he's <laughs> copying me. He's stealing my ideas. I'm never <laughs> going to grow my channel if he just keeps doing this. <laughs> well, no, if you have to you. He showed him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My video had, my video had 20 views, 20 of which definitely were from me. So he definitely saw it and decided to copy me. Yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> no, he, no, Love he it. didn't, he didn't copy me. Um, yeah, I remember. So like that sort of stuff happens all the time because uh, it's just like everyone, if everyone makes enough videos, eventually coincidences are going to happen. Yeah. 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 yeah Got a request so cool. for your next video. Make a Christmas music video. Music? In Chinese. Video in, in Chinese. Huh. You know what? That's a great idea. Uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. So maybe, maybe I'll just type out a type out a Chinese music, a Chinese song for Christmas, and <laughs> hope you can read Chinese. Yeah, just as a community post. <laughs> yeah, we should just Merry Christmas and just leave it there. Secretly collaborate on this Chinese like music song, Christmas song. Yeah. Now, now that I've said it, we're not going to do it because you know. Videos are only made if no one knows what they yeah. actually are. That's it's just a YouTube, ruin now. Thanks, it's a YouTube rule. Yeah, if we actually made it, this live stream would would get would give a copyright claim to our video, and we we wouldn't it wouldn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't make right. any sense. Um, Yagna wants to know what is your PB. So let's say your if your comp one's five thirty one, what's your unofficial home PB? Uh, it is. I think it is four sixty one, but. Uh, I have a PB sheet that is linked somewhere, probably on my here. If someone else wants to type this in the chat, I'm not like actually on the stream right now. <laughs> um, make sure see. that link is right. But yeah, I just have I just have all my PBs in one place. Yes, it is four point six one, and I got it last September. Nice. Um, How what, close what do you expect, oh, sorry. What can we expect for your video? Your one million subscriber video. Because, because, because we know you've been thinking about it, so you know, let's 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 get it out there. <laughs> well, I hope YouTube sends me a play button, because <laughs> yeah, and actually, actually sends you a play button this time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what the heck, YouTube? <laughs> YouTube takes like what forty five percent of of my ad revenue and won't send me a play button. It's a bit rough. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna switch to a different website. <laughs> yeah, you show them. Go to Vimeo. That'll, that'll Vimeo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, see, see you guys on Daily Motion. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. losers. <laughs> uh, um, oh. Well, I actually, 
I don't know. I, I actually haven't thought about it. Uh, I notoriously am late for um, making like subscriber milestone specials and it's just Q and A. So it's not even that special. It happens like pretty frequently. Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you guys can leave me suggestions and I'm, I might take one of them. It's not going to be a million, Chinese Christmas song, though. One million has got to be more than a, than a, than a Q&A. Just, just putting it out there. It's got to be. Unless that Q&A was like, yeah, in Chinese while <laughs> you are doing a million J-perms. Yeah. In one sitting. A million, a million J-perms. J-perms. Well, well, well yeah. you're teaching the Rubik's Cube to like Joe Biden or something. Like, it's got to be <laughs> somewhere real, something really out there. Uh, hmm. He isn't. <laughs> You know what? There are a lot of great ideas there. Next Here's question. Here's an easy question. <laughs> Here's question. an easy one. How old are you? How old am I? I am 24 right now. Do I look 24? You look you younger look than Ming and I, so you look pretty five. good. <laughs> but older than Tom. Older than Tom, but younger than myself and Ting Man, which is actually how it should be. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Makes sense. For those who ha- who haven't heard, have you ever missed cutoff in a competition before? Cutoff? Uh, I I don't think so. So, uh, yeah. So cutoff in competition is just like if you can't solve faster than this time on your first solve or first two solves, you don't get to continue competing. I don't think I've ever missed cutoff, but I have. What like okay. The first time I was at a competition that had fewest moves was U.S. Nationals 2018. But when I, I, I think when I when I went there, I hadn't competed in FMC yet, so they wouldn't let me compete because, like, I guess they had to like there was a qualification basically. You had to have at least yeah. a certain result, and yeah. I just ne- I just didn't have any results. So even though I thought I was pretty good, I wasn't allowed to compete. So I guess that's the closest thing I had. I didn't get to compete in my best event. <sighs> Well, I like this one because I think I might know the answer. What is the longest time you've spent on solving a single puzzle and have you ever been unable to solve one? Okay. The longest, you might you might think it's the 21 by 21. This is the longest one is I've it? solved, six hours. But uh, I actually spent longer on one and that is a four-dimensional Rubik's Cube. Have you guys ever heard of that? I have heard of, of it. No, I, I don't it. think so. It is... Okay, it is insane. So um, it's like you have to download a program. Obviously, I don't have a 40 Rubik's Cube in front of me, but uh, yeah. <laughs> would you go to the movies, oh, put yeah, on the that. glasses, and like, the <laughs> Rubik's Cube's like touching you? Yeah. No, no. Um, I, you have to download a, a program on your computer. And uh, okay, it's. Uh, I know you said I'm good at explaining, but this is going to be a little weird. <laughs> so, so uh, you literally explained cut off literally like not even two minutes ago. <laughs> so, okay, if you have, so to explain what a 4D cube is, I need to go like from from 3D to 4D. You have to know how like 2D to 3D works. So, like if you rotate something in 2D, it looks like this, right? But then when you are in three dimensions, then this rotation adds movement of like of like uh, 12 other colors around it, and so. Uh, so you have a bunch of 2D squares and they move a bunch of squares around it when you turn it. And that is how, that is how like a 2D to 3D translation works. Now, when you go from 3D to 4D, that means you have like a bunch of cubes just like stacked on top of each other. And when you rotate one side, a bunch of other cubes just like switch positions with each other. (laughs) It is absolutely insane. Who made that? That just sounds painful. Like, why would yeah. you do that to yourself? Yeah, it is. It, it that? probably took me over an hour just to understand how the turning works. I like. Yeah. I, I'd I'd get a little bit in, and then I'd realize, oh, this turn actually does something else. I just never realized for the whole time. But I was so close to solving it. I managed to figure out how to do commutators on it. And like, you guys know me. Once I figure out commutators, it's all over. But yeah. But I. <laughs> I, I couldn't do one. There's one piece type that I couldn't figure out how the commutators work. And then I just kind of gave up. So uh, I'm thinking of going back to it one day, but it's pro- it is probably the hardest puzzle I've ever attempted. And I haven't done it yet. Wow. Wow. wow well, insane. Thank you so much for coming on stream and for donating a pile of bricks to a wonderful thank cause. You. 
And thank yep. you for helping us get some donations and get up to that 9,000 milestone. Um, before you leave chat, is there any message you'd like to spread to our beautiful community before you leave? Well, first of all, I just want to say uh, we got up to 9,000, but it doesn't seem to be going up after that. So you guys better keep donating because uh, because Felix is coming on soon, and I'm sure I'm sure he's going to want to see see uh, a higher number. I mean, he's a really and competitive Felix person. Yeah. It's true. Okay, <laughs> he is competitive. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I guess the only thing I have to say is uh. Like when you're practicing cubing, don't take it don't 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 take it too seriously if like if uh if you're not having fun with it. That's like the common question I get. Um like how do you stay motivated? I, I lose motivation sometimes. Like you guys will see videos from me all the time, but sometimes I don't practice for a month straight. Like it, it's just the way things are. If you're super motivated, I mean, good job. I wish everyone wishes they could always be motivated, but like the reality is uh like if you just look at the top cubers, they're always working hard. And for everyone else, it's like if it's if it's fun for you, keep going. For them, it's always fun. Uh, for everyone else, it's sometimes fun. And just like just just have fun. It's not it's not the end of the world. Whether it's cubing, whether it's like being good at a game, whether it's uh, getting um, getting like any goal you want in life, it's uh, it's like if you're not having fun on the way there, the goal is not going to feel good. So just just take things easy. Love it. Thank beautiful you so idea, much man. for your time and all the beautiful things you put into our community. Yeah. Uh, well, can, can I thank you. Again, and... say a very personal thank you for, um, I mean, not just like the contributions that you've made to the community in terms of like a tutorial, you know, just teaching how to solve a cube, but I think just like modeling too, you know, modeling what mm -hmm. uh, would, uh, I don't know, what, what, what it looks like to, to give, what it, what it looks like yeah. to, be, to be creative. Uh, and for, you know, content creators like ourselves, for being a bit of a trailblazer, you know, uh, it's something which um, I think we've all benefited from and that, that I greatly appreciate. Thanks for being, you know, being ahead of us in the pack and sort of showing us which are the steps to take in this path through, through the jungle. So, yeah. Oh, well, thank you, awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, and uh, after, after, I, um, after I leave the stream, I will be donating... A pile of bricks. So Thank look out for time. that, I guess. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. All Thank right. you so Bye, guys. much. Nice to meet Thanks, you. Bye. See ya. Yeah, that was amazing. Ooh. Thank you so much for letting me do so this <laughs> Did we actually just talk to JPA? We just spoke to JPA. I know. Guys. Yeah. What? Great. It's like it's actually really cool to see some of those like recurring themes, you know, getting people to share like thoughts about, mm. you know, advice and stuff. And it's like, yeah, it's it's actually so true, you know, and enjoy enjoy cubing um have a balanced life you know have different hobbies have different things that, that you do don't make your yeah. life just about one thing like just yeah it's it's actually so so great to hear to hear that yeah Maybe we'll just and do hey, a quick can we fundraising. Have a fund, fundraising update i think it's yeah. time it's time for an update just refresh because so it's gone yes, up. we are sitting at nine thousand nine thousand one hundred seventy three. hey Thank you, Dom, oh for the God. recent we are, donation. We are, we are one thousand three hundred and twenty something dollars away. We are close. So we are good. Close. We are so close. I think we can do it. We we didn't manage to hit the target last year, but I think we can this year. Thank you. We can do so it, guys. Close. We can do it. From Singapore. Woo! That's Singapore. Huge. We are Singapore. We are Singapore. Okay, I'll, I'll stop now. Is that an actual song, or did you just make that up? I didn't make that up. <laughs> we are taught from a very young age how to love Singapore with music. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, I've never heard that. Never heard that when I go back to Singapore. Never heard Dude, that. I can sing you like 20 different Singapore songs. <laughs> I'd rather you send me 20 different Singapore meals, to be honest, because that's one thing I'm missing about <laughs> not traveling is the food. I love traveling yeah. for food. So yeah. coming up next, everyone, if you're just joining us, we've currently raised $9,173.09. Mind-blowing. We're getting so close to that uh, $10,500 target, which will build three houses for Habitat for Humanity. So coming good. up shortly, we will have Mr. Felix Zemdex, fellow yeah. Melbourneian and all-around awesome guy. Felix. So we'll good. be joining us shortly on stream. So don't forget to give Felix some love in the chat. And he'll be sure to like read it. Solving and not like, um, yeah. I, I want to talk to our guests. Like, I really want to talk to them. They're just such great people. 
No, um, you've really got to start making progress because you haven't done your sentence, no, man. I'm actually still on sentence number four and there's only like a few hours left. Oh my gosh. This might actually go past midnight. <laughs> I know. No one's going to be watching it at, at the end. Once all, once all the um, guests um, are done and once you guys leave, it'll just be me. Yeah, we're getting Lonely. some love Felix. Yeah. You and the 21 Let's... by 21. Just me and my only friend, the 21. <laughs> Just, just me, me, me in the queue. <sighs> Getting lots of love for Felix in chat. Very popular Melbourne Cuba. As someone who attends comps with him. Yeah, that's he's a. That's definitely how I would describe Felix. He's the a most little known popular Melbourne Cuba. A little known Cuba yeah. from Melbourne. Yeah. You probably, if you've been to some Melbourne comps, you might have. <laughs> you might have seen him. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you may have seen him there. He's a really lovely guy, and <laughs> he's always happy to meet new cubers I as well. We clicked it early, but I think it's funnier if I just have what? two words. Oh, yeah, like... yeah, <laughs> you should show it to the, to the camera. I was just like putting up a story on Instagram, where here, and I like accidentally um, <laughs> press like add the story before I added the Zemdex, but I think it's funnier if it just guys, says two guys, words. Two words. Feel it. <laughs> oh, oh, that does I'm make so it so much funnier. My brain, my brain can't think. say no more. I think say you no need more. a break. But without further ado, do you reckon we should bring him in? Should we bring in Mr. Zemdegs himself? Yeah, sure. Let's, bring Let's him do in, it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome to the stream, everyone, Mr. Felix Zemdegs. Woo! Good afternoon. Thank you How for you joining guys? us. No problems. Thanks for having me. Your How hair's looking. You? Your hair's looking good, uh, Thomas. Oh, thank you. Feeling? Don't don't encourage him. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to Steve? cut it. No, no. I, pay, I, I I did pay him to say that before the stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tra transfer me later. <laughs> you are I think the wrong both... person because it was Lauren. It was kind of Cuba who just had her head on this morning. <laughs> so you are yeah, sorry. But you well, can think she was inspired Felix... by me. I was the basis for no. that heck. No, no. Felix you're, will know that we've both just person. come out of Melbourne Melbourne lockdown and everyone's just trying to get haircuts, literally, because no one's been able to have their hair cut in like two months. Yeah. It's like two, so, three uh, months yeah. of regrowth. Mine was the worst. It's, it's it was so bad, like a few weeks ago, <laughs> and it was so yeah, exactly. It's so hard to book an appointment as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, and like you go. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much so for good. joining us. How how are you going? Like how's how's the how's your week been? How's how's this year been for you? It's it's been a bit crazy. Uh, oh, this this week's been a good week uh, relative yeah, to yeah. the year because because <laughs> we're back to, yeah. back to some normality. Um, yeah. yeah. Weather's been great, and I don't know. Are you, are you back to work? uh back in the office this week as well and some drinks and stuff like that so it's no it's uh yeah nice good and hopefully hopefully remains that way uh, yeah, yeah definitely forever <laughs> yeah forever definitely very nice how about you guys so, yeah well, yeah it's how you've been pretty similar being in the same city and very much attending very similar comps Oh, I, um, I was looking and, forward so much to all the comps this year. I was looking forward yeah. to all the state, like all the state championships. You know, they were coming up, yeah. and it's like, yes, yeah. let's go. And at, at one um, point, there was a road yeah. trip planned, I think, as well. There was meant to yeah, be a road trip from like Queensland down to Victoria, so <laughs> that didn't that? happen. You, yeah, you realize just just how much you take it for granted, or maybe not take yeah. it for granted, but just just how much you enjoy it. So yeah, yeah. Um, the first, you know whatever it was, first three to six months of, of it, I was like, ah, oh, it's fine. Like, it's it's yeah. nice to have a break from hectic competitions and getting on planes and stuff. But yeah. after it's yeah, been almost good. two years, I'm like, actually, you know, I really miss it. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw this comment, Tom, and I love this comment. It looks like Tom's been in lockdown. <laughs> that, that's actually my dad. <laughs> Even my dad's putting me on the roast in the stream. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Oh. Love yeah. you. Just feel the uh, love. I think that's hysterical. Hey, hey Felix, do you, do you recognize his cube? Uh, no. I, oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one from Townsville. That's the one from that Townsville. That is exactly right. There was well like, done. there was a false sense of hope that it's like, yeah, 
comps are coming back. We're getting back in there. You know, this was the last time that I saw Felix in person where yeah, well, he yeah. and my daughter did this like back-to-back -back race, um, a head-to-head -head race. And they saw, I just like thought, okay, let's just make this whack, just messed up color scheme. <laughs> And then he's also in like seven and a half seconds. It's like, what's going on? <laughs> well, that's, and yeah. it's not magnetic either. Like with, with a ZV at the end too. It's like, no, that's not right. <laughs> if you <laughs> color neutral, if you color neutral, it's not too bad. But there are still rules. Anyway. There are still rules with with like the you know which which colors you expect to see next to each other. You <laughs> you just yeah you've just got to remember like what's the bottom and top color and kind of keep that in your brain and I don't know the, the patterns the patterns yeah, work so. themselves out. Yeah. yeah so yeah. um obviously i've met you at competitions and we've had a bit of a chat but outside of cubing because we don't really talk about yeah. cubing very often when we do talk uh we're actually both mad essendon fans so we mostly talk football um mm. do you cube at the footy because i bring a cube i don't always use it though <laughs> no no way no <laughs> <I'm>, uh... <laughs> I'm 100% paying attention to everything going on. So, no, don't don't tend to bring the cube to the football. Um, uh, no, no. But have I told have I told you that I've I've met Andy McGrath? Well, not yeah, you should... and yeah, kind of I don't know friends with him and keep in touch here and there. So, one of the one of the players on our team. Yeah, our number one draft pick from 2017, 2016, and a 2016, I think. This is, this is where we, we just go like, yeah, 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 yeah football. Yeah, yeah you're, you're from <laughs> Queensland. You don't like footy. Well, you bring a, yeah. cube, a cube to the football. Yeah, I bring. I usually bring a cube to the footy, especially like if it's a game I'm not sure if we'll win because then if I get really angry, <laughs> I don't yell bad words. I just look down at my cube and solve really hard for like two minutes. <laughs> Do you get many Please. reactions? Yeah, I've had a few people look at me a bit strangely because I'm playing with a boy <laughs> essentially in the football stadium. But yeah, I don't, I don't pay much attention anymore. Just I, yeah, I don't know. I, I just understand, I can understand on a train yeah. or like the yeah, train or the bus, but at the football. <laughs> well, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Do, you know how people boo at the footy? It's like a thing that it's part of the culture of, of the football. I don't like booing and I don't like, I don't yell bad words because I don't think it's cool. So when people are doing that, I'm just trying to zone it out and just be like, it's fine. I'll just cube. It'll be fine. But no, you're not, don't. you're not a real fan though. You're not, you're not really there. <laughs> you're not joining in on, in the booing and swearing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But anyway. well, if, I'm nervous at, if I'm nervous at home, I'll fidget with a cube like while I'm yeah. watching yeah. it at home. But yeah well i think that's mostly what it is like i think uh, i haven't attended many losses this year because we haven't attended many games i think there was one loss i was just constantly solving through i think fourth quarter because we were just getting pummeled and i was like i can't i can't even watch like i gotta i gotta do something else for a little bit now speaking of a long time uh you've been cubing i think for over a decade now well over a decade what do you think is the biggest takeaway you've had from cubing being in your life um I mean, I think for, for me, cubing's been much more than just being in my life. It's essentially been, <laughs> essentially been yeah. Life. Yeah. Um, ever since the start of high school. Um, it's been, yeah, it's been my life. <laughs> so just very grateful and lucky to have stumbled upon it and essentially guide, uh, guide basically almost everything that I've done since um, to, yeah. to some degree in, in and amongst other things. But uh, yeah, no, it's, it's been great. It's been great. And are there any cubers like you watch and you're like, oh, I can't wait to meet them in person? Ooh, good question. I'm sure, you've met everyone. I'm sure everyone's met him. Is it? I oh, said, I said, surely you've met, you've met most of them by now. There'll be a think. few you haven't met. Is there person, some left though? Right? though like maybe person? people who have popped up in the last few years, like mm. you might have. Yeah, yeah. Like people who've been, been around. Many. People who've been around forever, or. Yeah, yeah. Or even the last four or five years. Yeah, I've I've met everyone because I've been able to travel to competitions and all the big comps. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to think. I don't know. There's not really anyone I think that I chat to now. Yep. At all that that I haven't met, to be honest. Like I haven't met some of the um, newer solvers like Ruhang and. Um, yeah. He's the, he's the one that comes to mind. Yep. In terms of me, people that I've met and and competed against at competitions, but. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I kind of I think I've kind of met every everyone, but there's probably someone I'm missing that I've never had the, the fortune of meeting at a comp. 
Um, Chris Mills, I've Chris Mills, I've met multiple times. It's all right. Don't need to see him again. <laughs> <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, interesting question. I think I, I'm not sure about the answer. <laughs> Felix, do you well, like 13 by 13 well, or Pentamix? Oh, he's still got it. Hey. Yes. 13 by 13 is my favourite. I'm just going to do a solve for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, the checkerboard pattern. He's actually solving. I mean, he's legitimately solving it from checkerboard. It's still. It's oh, my God. This is so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> There are dozens of people who worked so hard to design that product. <laughs> there are many people in the world that would enjoy this a lot more than I than I do. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I haven't given it away yet. Like, normally, normally, what normally what I do with cubes is like I'll just get a whole bunch over the course of a year or a couple of years, then I'll just bring a big box to competitions or something like that, and I don't know, just kind of give them all away or sell them or something. So I don't know. This will. <laughs> it needs to it needs to find a better it needs to find a better home rather than Except just sitting, this was given to you by a friend in Tasmania. So there's, yeah. there's a good reason not to get rid of it. <laughs> I think it can give a lot more joy to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I like this by Red KB. Slowest I've ever seen in movie cube. <laughs> but I want to I don't want it to explode. But yeah, um, the answer to that question is uh, is thirteen by thirteen. Yeah, for now, anyway, it could become an eight by eight in the near future, or a seven by seven. So now you've got one of those. All right. Well, we've got some more questions for you. Then we're going to play a game. This little game is called "How Well Does Felix Know Felix?" Dun dun so, dun! How well does Felix know Felix? <laughs> and just the full Felix disclosure. Edition. Full disclosure, I came up with oh, I came up with three of these, I think. So blame blame her for any dodgy questions. Right, right. No, I I really I just want to read the the third or oh, the fourth one technically. So yeah, that's the only one I really want to read because I wrote it. But yeah, so Tom, do you want to kick us off with number? What are you wearing on your head? <laughs> it all. It's, a good one. It's, a good one. it's all, all a, on. When it's you get... all a rich tapestry. <laughs> The goat on stream, the pizza hat goes on. <laughs> that makes complete complete sense, obviously. That's amazing. And the Hawaiian necklace. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mate. See, it would have been, oh, it would have been funny if you had, like, an orange hoodie. You know, Felix's classic winning look is the orange hoodie. So, uh, yeah, really, maybe. You, should have, you should have one of those on, just saying. This We're getting could be some your next classic look, though. It's never too late. Getting some goats in chat for you. Yeah, All right, so Tom, do you want to kick us off? Let's see how well he ages and how well he remembers really early questions. I, I think you'll know this, but what was the time of your very first ever 3x3 three three solve? In a competition. In a competition, Whoa. sorry. <laughs> at, the, at the New Zealand Championship 2009, your very first ever solve. I think we've already lost him. Yeah, no, no, no. It was, it was a 10. It was a 10. It was a 10.7 something. Oh, um, he's so close. I remember, I remember the, world, the world record average at the time was around 10.7. It was like 10.74, I think, the, the world record at the time average. And I got this solve and I was like, oh, my God, if I just do like four good solves like that. And like a, a, 10, wasn't, a 10 was really good for me at the time. I was averaging like 12 or 13. Well, oh, I actually did four more of those. It, so but 10 point it wasn't an it wasn't oceanic record. 10 point, oh, what is it? 10.71 maybe? Yep. Yes. Well <laughs> done. Easy. And for, Easy. Full disclosure, guys, that was 12 years ago. So to remember something after 12 years, your first ever solve, like that's insane. The, I don't even know my first point. ever solve. The last decimal point was guess, complete guess. Yeah. Got All it. right. Question. Oh, sorry. No, I see. You got it. Yep. Okay. Question two. What's your current official seven by seven PB, including both decimal places? That's me. Oh, I didn't write that question. <laughs> That's a, a tough question. Rough. Single. That's a rough. That's uh, a rough. I will double check because it doesn't say Tom. Well, is it one minute or two minutes? Because I have a two minute average and one minute single. 
No, it's single. Uh, not, single. 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 Yeah, both decimal places. I don't even. I don't even know what the. I don't even know what the. This is. I don't even know what the seconds are. It's like one fifty one. One fifty one. Oh, sorry. One fifty two. One fifty three. <laughs> How did you get it? How did you get it? Wow. That's, He's totally yeah. getting it. <laughs> 153.99. <laughs> no, not wow. quite. 152. <laughs> 52. Okay. A wow. 62. How can you not, how can you not remember can you the not exact decimal <laughs> place of your 7 by 7 TV? At least I got it one minute. At least I got it. I knew it was sub two, all right? Yeah, true, true. <laughs> you can't remember the decimal right. places. Did it really happen? It didn't really happen. No. Uh, <laughs> no. All right. Question wow. three, Tom. It's all you. Even Leo knew that. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Faz. Even Leo knew that. <laughs> we should have got him to answer that. Right. Let's get rid of this fraud. Oh, um, yeah. Question, anyway. Is this mine? Question three. three. According to the WCA statistics page, how many competitions have you competed in and how many completed souls have you done? Oh, if you get a black ballpark answer, we'll give it to you. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. So World, World 2019 was my 100th comp, so I'm kind of trying to base it around that. Because um, oh, oh, I, I used to look at my like results and profile and stuff, you know, every week or every couple of weeks, got to go to comps, but I am not I haven't looked at my page in so long. So I don't know. It's, it's right at the top. So, okay, Worlds was a hun my 100th comp. Uh, probably went to like five or six afterwards in the rest of the year, then probably five in 2020 and 2021. Call it like 112 comps. Close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Actually 118. I'm surprised that oh, wow. you've gone to 18 since well. That's a fair few. Yeah. Or maybe I did I, I did a few in the back half of 2019 and then Yeah. I wonder how I probably went to a decent amount relative to the red to others in last year and this year, probably like four yeah. or five. But yeah. yeah. And how many completed solves? I got no idea. Five. Thousand. Okay, we'll give you a ballpark. <laughs> it's it's between eight and nine thousand okay. completed solves. <laughs> I'm just going to guess a random number. <laughs> eight thousand five hundred. Eight thousand five hundred. Bit south of that. Yeah. Three sixty one. Eight eight three six one. Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. I should have known. Like, probably known that. <laughs> well, I was saying, like, we were looking up these questions a couple of days ago, and I was saying, I wonder if Felix actually knows or can even just e estimate, because I think you've just been cubing for so long that you just, it, the stats would be massive. Like, it'd be so yeah. hard to keep track of. Well, I think it comes back to, like, if, when I was looking at my page, you know, frequently post competitions, that, that those numbers mm. pop up right at the top. And so, oh, if okay. Me, if you'd asked me this a couple of years ago, I would be much more accurate. But, I have no idea. I don't even know what my PVs are. I don't even know what my PVs are. <laughs> <Clearly. laughs> well, we've, we've given a lot of free points out today, but you don't get any, Felix. I'm no. sorry. Enough. You I'm need to lose at something. Point. So no. I think you'll. I think you'll three. know the answer to the next one because I wrote it, and okay. I know because we were messaging back and forth at the time because I was at the game. So in late May 2021, you missed an Essendon home game, and I know because I was there asking if you were there. <laughs> And you were competing in Taz State Championships at the time. Mm. Mm. Who did Essendon play that weekend and what was the final <laughs> score? Uh, we played we played North Melbourne. Yes, that's um, correct. And uh, it was, I don't know, something like 150 to 70. Really yeah, close, much. actually. That's yeah. pretty. I'll, I'd pay that because it was 141 to 69. Like, that's pretty spot on. Oh, right. close, close. It was, was absolutely smashing. I know, I know this stuff better than my cubing stats. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good match to be that. It was really, it was probably the last, I think it was probably one of the last matches we had before we stopped, uh, before the game sort of stopped being attended by fans. Yeah, well. Tassie was, Tassie was my last comp. So, oh, yeah, so that would, that would very much line up, yeah. yeah. All right, last one is question five. And finally, this is an easy question. Who wrote this? Uh, I did. You can come think... up with a harder one if you if you want, but. I know, maybe, maybe, maybe he, we'll, we'll he see. Maybe he doesn't know this. Where, where does your current 3x3 three three PR single rank in the world? Um, so 
Yusheng Du has 347, Ru Hang has 406, and then Timon got a 4.1 something past the mine. So it's mine's fourth. Yeah. That's yeah. correct. It is fourth at Three the moment. Out of five. Not bad, not, not bad. Not bad, not bad. It's the worst of everyone today, so <laughs> <laughs> pretty disappointing. No, no judgment, obviously. I'm sorry, I don't know how many solves I've done in com official competitions. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, well, I'm glad I got the first one now. <laughs> I almost want to ask you about your favorite event, Scoob, because I'm looking at your stats now. Uh, and I know how much you love being a Scoob God. <laughs> we are talking to the Scoob God. So I mean... <laughs> I've got no idea. Oh, <laughs> no. Although I broke. I broke oh, my PBs a bunch. I broke my PBs a bunch. Yeah. Um, when the, when yeah. I got the Gans cube, I remember. I just just this. <laughs> just PB just... after PB. This is the rest of actually... the stream. <laughs> the scoop gone. Gonna... Do you actually know your scoop PB? Because I can see it here. Do you know what your scoop no. PB is? Two seconds single, actually... five seconds average or something. <laughs> yeah, you actually said it at Melbourne Summer this year. It was 2.20 yeah, 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 yeah. single I, I... and 5.08 average. Yeah. <laughs> The only thing I try to do in Skew is beat Ethan Pride. That's that's the number one goal <laughs> each competition. Our, our goals are different. Mine's to beat Jack Kai because I'm slightly faster at Skew than Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack Kai is notoriously bad at side events, I think. Yeah, but he also oh. doesn't bring a Skew. I've lent him many Skews over the comps I've seen him at, so <laughs> take him that way you will. Yeah, absolutely. Side to Jack Kai. <laughs> I beat Jack Kai in, in the one event he doesn't care about, probably compared <laughs> to like Blind. But it's yeah. all it, it, it's for the it's for the Instagram content, so I can understand. Yes, it. so, <laughs> it's important. <laughs> Absolutely. So, what's sort of your plans for the rest of the year? Have you got big plans now that I guess for, for Victoria anyway, we're opening up a bit more every week? Have you got big plans? Mm -hmm. Uh, nothing major. Nothing major. Uh, probably go i don't know here and there to the beach and whatnot but no travel planned as yet um but i do have the um the red bull rubik's cube world cup coming oh, up oh, yeah, on yeah. december nice. three and four so it's in about a month um yeah, cool. and so i gotta kind of get practicing for that because yep. uh i mean yeah it, uh, it, it's great to have a competition to kind of actually practice for um <laughs> which would be nice but i'm not too sure what the situation is um, in terms of the competition, whether I'm going to be doing it from here or potentially going overseas, I'm, I'm really not sure at this stage. So uh, no, if, yes. I, if, I do get, if I do get to go on a, go on a plane somewhere, that'll be, uh, that'll be really, really exciting. But I'm, uh, yeah. I'm not holding my breath just yet. So I've got to, yeah, over the next three or four weeks or so, I should probably pick up the, uh, the old Bluetooth cube and give it, give it some practice. <laughs> And how about guys? We'll open it up to you. Do you guys have any questions for Mr. Zemdex? Any questions? We'll try to pick some out of the chat. How many seconds? Do you know the answer, know the answer to, to that one? I don't I'm know. Who my marriage. Am I married? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, if my partner said that, I just go quietly have a word to him next door because you expressed it like, "Oh God, no." <laughs> oh, that's yeah, so no, funny. Like uh let's see this one might be interesting how old are you now mm, hell yeah too old too old uh, <laughs> it is i think it's it's at the stage where it, you're no longer excited to have your birthday um oh, <laughs> oh i love this i love this comment felix is married yeah, to yeah, cubie he is married <laughs> yeah no i'm uh, i'm 25 i'm 25 not quite 25? 32 as gold cubing put in the chat but yeah uh, so, soon enough What's your favorite OLL and PLL? Oh, OLL's got to be soon. Yeah. PLL. It's the APAM. It's the APAM. You've, you've said it in a previous Tingland video. Yeah, right? yeah. Soon, soon APAM. Yeah, soon APAM. really? So wait. But, but not in combination together. I don't feel like it's a good combination together. Oh, yeah. But don't yeah. you warm up with an APAM before Souls? Why don't uh, you do an APAM? I warm, up, I warm up with whatever random PLL that I failed at on the last Soul <laughs> to make sure oh, that really? I don't fail at it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Did not know that. So, there so what's, you go, your, guys. what's your perfect last layer then? Yeah, what's the perfect last layer? Besides a skip. Besides yeah, a last layer skip. Oh, skip. skip. <laughs> I'll skip. <laughs> an easy ZB. It's an easy ZB. Yeah, just a nice ZB. Fair exactly. Enough. Soon. As soon as. <laughs> yeah. James is asking, do you think you will get another world record? Cool. Oh, sorry, my bad. 
Oh, that's a hard one. That's a very hard one. Um, yeah. Uh, I think, I mean, if I do, if I get really lucky and do some great times, then I mean, the 548 is beatable, but like it's very unlikely. And also, there are so many people now with a better chance than me at, uh, at breaking it or, or mm. kind of better than me and just need to go to competitions and break it. So uh, I think it very much depends on other performance now. But uh, <laughs> if, if I'm going to be honest, unlikely uh, is, is my answer, but you, you never know. Well, I guess it's one of those things with the timed record. Like it's just, it only gets harder. Like the more people that beat it, it just gets harder and harder. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, cubing is more competitive than it has ever been because now you've got, mm. you know, a good kind of wherever it is, five or six people essentially sub six and can realistically break that record. You've got, you know, Max and Timon and Maddie and Leo and Ruhang. They all have a very realistic shot at breaking it at any competition they do any round. So, yeah. Um, I mean, it's a very exciting time, um, and I'm, I'm glad to see the competitions coming back, and I'm, I'm checking the results, you know, every weekend. So. <laughs> Great question from Michael. <laughs> Great question from Michael Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll just be happy with some uh, some podiums at local competitions, I reckon. For Paul. <laughs> and hopefully, I think those will probably start resuming start of next year, ideally. So hopefully, we'll get some Melbourne Victorian. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing. I'm hearing December. I'm hearing December. <gasps> December. Oh, I could go. Yeah, nothing. Nothing too big. Okay. Um, def, def, Melbourne summer would be the big one next year, but yeah, yeah. But Queensland as well, hopefully. Yeah. Woo. Because, because you guys, I mean, to... you guys could have feasibly had competitions. If, I know. Uh, we don't have delegates. We don't yeah. have delegates. Yeah. If, if you wanted to run it with. Four, four delegates who aren't actually delegates, but I think they've we done that before, haven't delegate. they? Yeah, and we were going to have like um, Aussie Nats here too at, at the Gold Coast. Yeah, mm. yeah. hopefully sad. next year. Hopefully, hopefully. Well, no, we got Oceanics. Yeah, that's true. We do have Oceanics next year. So oh, that'd be good. good. Year after. I hope I hope you're right though. I hope there is a comp this year because I I'll be Melbourne summer's what usually late Jan around yeah. late Jan right before school starts. And then school holidays, yeah. yeah, I'll be like. Um, nine over nine months pregnant at that point, so probably yeah. not going to go <laughs> to a competition. So if there's one in December, I'm totally going if I can. So that'd be aces. Exactly. But I, I reckon, I reckon, like we all, we already saw last this year and last year, like they just fill oh. up way, way more quickly oh. than before. Yeah. I, think like, I reckon over the talking. pandemic, it's just gotten ridiculously po like more, much more popular. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the issue and more like, is actually yeah. density, like. The amount of people yeah. we can have in a space that's actually the biggest issue i know the delegates are trying to find big yeah. venues that we can actually host these at oh i think but i think to be honest i think all bets are off after we get to 90 percent well, vaccinated it's just like yeah whatever is. so i don't think that's yeah that, that has been the issue but i don't think yeah going forward that'll necessarily be the issue but yeah um, what's but your yeah, it's gonna be oh. it's gonna be a rush to uh to register you gotta set your alarms yeah Full disclosure for those unaware in Melbourne, our biggest comp was what maybe 280, I think, around that. It was, it was over 250 uh, competitors. Oh, we had worlds, it was 900. So, oh, uh, yeah, no, no, I mean, like recently though, in like last year, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so, I, I reckon realistically, we could get, yeah, 300, 400. And I easy, just, uh, like, I think Kerry, when I spoke to one of our delegates at the last at Altona, she said the waiting list for it was like over 100 people hmm. just. Not enough people, uh, not enough um spaces, sadly, and a lot of people miss out. You gotta be quick to get in these days. I think even Nats and Vix champs, when they were open as events, they filled up like super yeah. quick as well. All the state championships got to like three hundred or, or whatever pretty quickly. They all got there to their, yeah. their capacity. Even the New South Wales one, which was like an hour out of Sydney or hour and a half out of Sydney. Um, yeah, it's, it's very hard yeah. to get to. Yeah. Um, what is your five by five main at the moment? Uh, MGC, YJ MGC. It is a good one. It is a very nice one. I have that too. I think Ting Man gave it to me. Um, what is your PB in square one? Your favorite uh, event? Uh, <laughs> we care about eight, eight, second single, eight second single in comp, I think, and a 12 average. Uh, but can look. you do that now, or is that, that that's a while ago, right? Uh, if I get yeah, eight, if nine, I get a really nine? lucky scramble, but. No, I'm probably more like 15, 15 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, it was an eight ninety nine in twenty eighteen in Adelaide. Yeah, I remember. So it's been I remember. a while. 
but no, I'm, I'm no David Epstein. Well, it's still a good effort. Like square one's not hard. I think we we're both there when um was it David Epstein broke average? He broke. No, the, no, I wasn't there. Break. I wasn't there. Um, unfortunately the for that one. Oh no, I'm thinking the one at Melbourne Summer. He broke it after that as well. I thought about that. Did he? No, he, I think he broke. Uh, sing, sing no, he only broke one. Just one. He, he's, been break, he's been breaking oceanic records forever. Oh, that's right. That's what I'm thinking. He finally got the world record in sale this year. Yes. And then I think we saw him at Altona right after that. Yeah. That's anyway, right. um, getting lots of love still. Love you, Felix. Oh, wow. <laughs> So many questions. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'd love <laughs> to see the Felix Cube collection. I think it's right there, isn't it? I think, I think it's right there. That's, right there. That one. that's uh, that's that's most of it. Uh, well, for now, he's about to give that I'll one away as well. <laughs> He'll have nothing cute. left. So no, what I have on my desk is four three by threes and a five by five. Um, nice. So that's there the you full go. collection right there. So have you given away all your other cubes or they're just like packed up? Oh, no, they're, they're over there in cupboards and boxes and whatnot. But yeah, I need to uh, need to get rid of a few. Uh, what inspires you to keep cubing? I mean, you've been cubing for well over a decade. There must be something that keeps you coming back for more. Uh, just it's good fun. Good people, good fun. <laughs> and, uh, get to uh, go to fun places. And uh, I mean, I'm still very competitive. Uh, a very competitive person, so I still get yeah. pretty uh, pretty annoyed if I don't do well. So, yeah, very very always very keen to just do my best and get good times. What do you think of? Oh, one? sorry, my bad. I didn't see you click. My root average, yeah, no. <laughs> my root solving is particularly bad. I, I can't do uh, I can't do the blocks without the centers being aligned. So it's just kind of like I do F two L without two without two edges, and then <laughs> the rest is like it, it's not good. Probably like eleven. <laughs> yeah, I think I know the answer to this. I've seen your cube, but do you prefer soft frosted UV coating or on the outer surface? Oh, I like the UV. I like the UV. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but uh, I think it's it's the text. It's the it's the feel. Not yeah. So much the, not so much the look as well. So do you use the uh, maglev now? Uh, I used the I've no, I've been using the leap. Oh, yeah. um, oh, though that's the one that I just kind of when when I got them sent across, that's the one I started started using a lot, and then I got really really used to it. And I've got the maglev, but I don't know. I've just I've just been really liking the leap. Although it is uh, it is uh, that's not UV, right? It's not UV. No, no, it's, it's frosted. Yeah, frosted. Interesting. But, yeah. yeah. I need to get some UVs. We're actually up to oh, wow. nearly 9,500. 9, 1,000 away. Yes. yes. We have like probably another, whew, another hour, hour and a half, two hours. hours. Yep. Yeah. That is amazing. Vincent and Scott um, second donation. Jay gave this. I'll be flying out to Australia with my suitcase of bricks. Just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Keep, yeah, oh, no, keep, keep donating all. This is this is uh, incredible. Where, are, forgive my ignorance, where are the houses um, being built? Um, or so where does the, the organization? Yeah. yeah, those are the costs of houses if they build something in Southeast Southeast Asia. So I think gotcha. like COVID has made it a little bit hard with sort of like sending teams out there. Yeah, but I think yeah, that's uh, yes. so, yeah. When I spoke to the organizers, like that, one of the recent trips was to Cambodia. And they yeah, yeah. built a bunch of stuff there. So it's I think it's countries like 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 those. Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. I think we really appreciate you coming on. And I think this sort of sentiment sort of sums it up. Thanks for inspiring a lot of Cubers over the past decade of your career. And that's obviously still going. So there's still lots of inspiration <laughs> left, I'm sure. I know like <laughs> No, no, but I mean, like, I think the documentary, like, people ask me, like, have you met Felix? Is he really that fast? It's like, yeah, no, he's legitimately, like, he's that, you need to see his other, legitly. like, stuff on YouTube. Like, he's absolutely <laughs> Legitly awesome. fast. He's legitly fast. It's like you blink and you're done. Um, so thank you so much for coming on the charity show. We really appreciate the time that you've taken. Um, what we've been doing is we've been asking all our guests if there's any final messages that you'd like to share with the community before you leave. 
Um, yeah, sure. I mean, thanks. Uh, thanks so much for having me, you guys. And uh, hopefully, I don't know how long it will take you to finish that solve team there, but it looks like you're uh, <laughs> you're struggling a bit. Um, so, you're, but maybe if you drag it out, that'll give enough time to uh, get to ten thousand five hundred. So, no, best of luck with that. And um, I mean, really excellent work with everything that you're doing today. I'm sure a lot of people have been entertained for a, for a long time, or will have. Um, yeah. Definitely, yeah. We'll have a uh, stream to watch again, I guess. What would I like to say? I don't know. I mean, I think, uh, all, as you can see in the chat, you know, Cuban communities mm. are always, always been such a lovely, such a lovely place to be in such a lovely community. Yeah, that's right. And it's, uh, it's, 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 alive, thanks, it's alive and well. It's thanks yeah. to the people like, you know, Ting Man, Panda and TNL and uh, all the all the good energy that they bring and um, all the positivity that it, uh, it remains that way because it doesn't just happen by itself. So uh, yeah, it's important to it for everyone to kind of keep that in mind. And, uh, so, thanks. Definitely. Wonderful. Thank now, you. thank you for being your, yeah, the thirteen by thirteen God. We love that you were able to be here for us. So, can yeah, we just no give a bit more love? Off. Give yeah. a bit more love for Felix and chat guys. So, and thank you so much for coming on stream. Awesome. Have a good day, thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you Thanks, mate. Thanks thank for you. Thank you so much. Yeah. See ya. Now, how are you actually going with those centers there, Tingma? It looks like you're getting some this racetracks going. This fall is getting the better of me. I think it's the colors that are left behind. It's just like the, you know, yellow and the white. And, like, they're just, they hide a lot <laughs> It's like a, a lot of red and white there. There's, yeah, anyway. So I just need, like, th th I think four or five more bars, and then I'm done with my hold center. And then it's just pure commutators for five, for five and Which six. Which will take, what, maybe, like, 40 then, minutes? Yeah. And then so we're, we're cutting it close. But hey, what's there's a, no rush. What's a solve without some drama? What's a solve? Yeah, I'm I'm here for the for the long haul team, man. Indeed, to annoy you. Indeed, don't don't think you can delay yourself to try and get me to leave. I I will be sleeping back I, on this table just like I woke up I have, tonight. I have, if no I, doubt. To. I have no doubt. So this is where we're up to. We have one guest left to go. Actually, there is one Ooh. more after that. We've got Habitat for Humanity yeah, themselves yeah. coming on. And I really hope to be able to tell them that we've hit the goal. But yeah, we've got Cube Head. Cube Head. Yo. Yo. Yo, Cube Head himself who will be joining us. My other uh, enemy. In just 20 minutes. So that will be super cool. Uh, I don't know if there are any Cube Head fans uh, in the chat, but just please let us know uh, if there are. But yeah, that will be that will actually be epic. Uh, let's watch a couple of community videos. 21 or 21 FMC. This is a really terrible idea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, let's watch a couple of a couple of uh, com community videos. That was terrible. Hey guys, I'm Ari. You may know me from my Instagram or some of Tingman's vlogs at some point. Go and donate to the uh, charity. Go do it. Go do it. Um, it's for a great cause and it's great that Ding Man's doing such an awesome live stream. See you guys around. Hey guys, Guardcube here. Massive respect to Ting Man for undertaking this enormous challenge. So stay motivated, keep pushing on Ting Man. You're doing this for a fantastic cause. And I urge everyone watching to please donate to Habitat. And this is an incredible effort from Ting Man. See you guys. Woo! Thank you so much, guys. So cool. Let's do one more, let's do one more because we can. Hi everyone, I'm Anna and I'm a content creator on Instagram where I basically share some fun content on my Cuban journey. This is the first time ever I'm in a YouTube video and I couldn't be prouder as as part of this amazing charity live stream. A big thank you to everyone who supports. And Tingman, no pressure, but the entire success of our mission literally lies in your hands, so keep it up. What's up, Ting Man? It's your boy Jack, professional TikTok creator for Rubix, and I just wanted to hop in and say that uh, you got this. I know solving a 21 by 21 is kind of tedious and long, but yeah, I believe in you. And to all those that are watching, be sure to donate because it's for a good cause. And yeah, see ya. Did you even know there was like a, a career option, like professional? Just I'm a professional TikTok, TikTok Rubik's, Rubik's yeah. creator. <laughs> And he is. He is. Hey guys, Tom here, professional Ting Man stream crasher. Yeah, you are. Been doing this for about the fourteen months. That that is also accurate. 
we all love Jack Kai. I think. Who doesn't love Jack Kai? Do you know that he um that Mr. Beast reacted to like one of his, um really in a Mr. in a Beast reacts video. Oh no! He reacted to his um sixteen point two two um, right the world record. Yeah, world, world record. Damn, one. that's so cool. Yeah. Which is like, you've made it. Like, Mr. Beast just watched your video. A lot of Jack Kai's TikToks have gone really viral as well. So like, good. you wonder how many people, like, and even how many, like, famous people have seen them because yeah. they go crazy viral. So a lot of those cubing videos. Great. Yeah. He's now trying to get, like, people to, like, get Mr. Beast's attention to, like, teach him how to solve a cube. Yes, that would be so good. That would be amazing. Yep. Um, hey, here's something exciting that we could actually do. So it could be time to actually decide who the winner of Tensheng's Yu Ching Tu Sign Q giveaway is. Yes. So if we if you weren't here at the start, we said that um Ted, do you want to grab that the yeah, for sure? Yeah. If, so, if you have to go through a couple of things again. Of course. Um Dian Shang has graciously donated um nine hundred dollars to the fundraiser and um they wanted us to give a little promo to this cube, and you might have seen it earlier, but this is the Anshang Solar S3M. And so they have a few things I want me to tell, tell you about it, but, like, basically, like, in my honest opinion, before, I, before like, I was asked to promote this, it is a very solid cube for its price and for their, like, first entry cube into the market. It's actually very nice, but um, it has 48 internal magnets that work together to improve maneuverability and comfort. It has anti-stick internal textures. It's like a, not quite a honeycomb, more like a bubble thing inside. Um, the internal pieces are oversized to improve durability and drop proofing. It has adjustable wheelbase and elasticity inside the center cap here, which are actually easy to take off. Have you tried the GAN 12 center caps? They are not easy to yes, take off. This so is so hard, to, so painful to take off. You can see in there. Um, <laughs> it's actually crazy. And replaceable center caps, which come in here. So yeah, uh, earlier we let everyone know that we would be picking a random donor from the uh, fundraising page, and they will be winning one of these signed by the world record holder, Yu Shangdu. And someone asked me, how heavy is this? Can you pass me the again? How much? This is a GAN 11, and this is the solar. It's the a, GAN 11 is so light. It, this is ridiculously light. This is much feels much heavier, but like in general, I wouldn't say it's a light cube. But it's not heavy. It's like it's about what you'd expect yeah. from a you know mid range cube. I do like the heavier feeling. It's like got thick, like premium feeling plastic, but it feels it's, solid it's, in, in in your hands. It's yeah, it's definitely yeah. a solid cube. It's such a solid solid cube. It's so um, yeah. And uh, but yeah. yeah, shall we shall we pick a winner? Also, of course, uh you can get the Solar 3M from Daily Puzzles, who you guys Ooh. should all know about. The real McCoy. They've also donated a considerable amount to this. So yeah, thank thanks you. to them. And um you can go check out their store, heaps of stuff. They yep. sponsor me and Team Man and they're they're amazing. So good. Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do a random number generator and then we're gonna count down in the donations. Yeah. So, random number generator it is. I'm not sure. Will it tell us how many like, donations there have been? Probably. Holy! Why? What just happened? We just got another donation speaking. Okay. I just said how amazing daily puzzles are. Billy has just donated another oh, 550 what? bucks. Yo! That's amazing. So, shout out to Billy. Shout out to Billy. So that's a total of like... Oh, yeah, nearly sixteen hundred dollars he's donated. That so is incredible. That's we right, we're nearly 10, there. 000. We're nearly there. We can totally like go past it. Go past eleven. Go past twelve thousand. I'll be so happy to be able to like tell Habitat for Humanity at the end that we've actually gone past, uh, and you know, actually giving them that much like that. That's insane. So insane. It's a. It's crazy. Like to help oh, three whole families and build three houses. Like that's what. What happens if? What happens if like. Daily puzzles and so what if what if Tian Shun wins their own sign cube? That would be something. <laughs> that, that yeah. was the ploy of all on. If we go, they just, just get a random, random cube number generator. Go, go, go. 40. 40. All right. Count it with me, guys. I don't actually know if there's like One, 40 in there. Two, go for it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, It's a shame. Um, I don't think it will links us there. Oh, I'm pretty email. sure I, I can see emails. Okay. So yeah, like so when from you like the, the yeah the, the donation side. Hopefully, if Tor left an email, we'll we'll, we'll email you. Uh, and congrats. If, if we can't get it on to Tor, then we might we might have to. We'll do to, another to, account to yeah. in private, and we'll contact yeah. them. But otherwise, yeah, yeah no Tor, we're we're gonna contact you. And yeah, you're winner, you, which will be amazing. Uh, so yeah, th thanks again, Tian Sheng, for making that possible. Uh, they also wanted you to know that um, I think they're doing another giveaway on their um, Facebook page. So if you go onto their Facebook, they've got a, like a attention Facebook post, which uh, in which like if you comment or something, like you can win another cube. They've got a bunch of cubes signed by Yushing Du, which is pretty cool. So yeah, thanks again for for those donations and supporting us that way. Woo! Yes, indeed, it's amazing. So good. Yes, congrats, congrats, Tor, indeed. So good. All right, there's some there's some excitement in the chat because we know who's coming. In yeah. just ten yeah, minutes, maybe five, puzzles. depends if he's you. ready. Daily puzzles, what's we up? Know, we, we know who's coming. We know who's coming. Cubehead, the one and only Cubehead is going to be here soon. So it is going to be exciting. <laughs> it's going to be so good. All right, so we are so close to our target. Let's just remind you again who, who we're raising our, all the money for. Habitat for Humanity Australia has built homes, communities, and hope for the past 30 years. Together, we have made home a reality for families in Australia and overseas. In countries like Vietnam, Cambodia, Nepal, Fiji, and many more, where we support families through housing, access to clean water, sanitation, and hygiene training, as well as disaster response and recovery. But none of this can be done without the generous support of volunteers, donors, and partners. Together, we can give families the opportunity to be healthier, happier, and build stronger communities that can grow and sustain themselves. Through Shelter, we empower. Yeah. Yes. Welcome back, Panda Ooh, Cuba. Welcome back, Panda Thank Cuba. You. Getting so close to Mr. Cubehead coming on. It's not long before Cubehead is here. No, yeah, the man, exciting, the myth, very exciting. the Milan, Milan, me likey, me no likey, me likey Milan. Nah, he's a good guy. Enjoys he, I hope content. he. I hope he. Me likey. He'll you like be. He. He'll be waking up soon. It's early. It's, I think it's like it is early. It's like seven thirty. So it's like it'll be four thirty that he comes on in about ten minutes, and it's seven thirty a.m. for him. Yeah. Mm. Which is yeah, it's crazy actually. The times that it's we, a big difference. I remember when we were trying to insane. um, when we were trying to collaborate yeah. when we did TNL versus Cubehead, it was a lot of uh, late nights for me and yeah. early mornings for him to yeah. try and because like that whole he's sleeping pretty much for our whole day. It's like yeah. total yeah. opposite. Wow. Europe's the worst in terms of trying to coordinate. I think I heard like events. We're getting so close, guys. Have we done us? We haven't done our song yet, have we? Should I go? It's, yeah, no, you do. <laughs> we, we have. It's time for TNL to perform oh, an acoustic oh. version. Oh, I think I should have guitar. made my break a bit longer. I think I should have <laughs> we said back too early. We hit, okay, um, what hat? Like someone someone keeps asking for the fish hat, so <laughs> the fish hat. Splash said I had cool hair before, so, so I'm gonna put the fish hat on. Just we'll have cube head hit. We'll have cube head on in just a few minutes, but otherwise we are starting. Oh no, he just joined. <laughs> we are starting now. It's great. He'll be able to see. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Do it. Do it. I'm gonna get bullied. <laughs> We just You'll get bullied anyway. <laughs> I don't even remember the lyrics. It's all gone from my head now. Ting Man sucks. Isn't that the first line? Or is that later? 
Thing man sucks. <laughs> that's all. That's all we get. That's all you need. I don't want too much for Christmas, but there's just one thing that I'm missing. I want the new Gan 11, but I need my parents' permission. Santa never reads my letters. I guess I'm on the naughty list forever. But never mind that, I know another seller who don't make errors and sell cubes that are better. Daily Puzzles is the place to shop. Selling you cubes left and right nonstop. Forget about Ting Man. He's a bit of a snob. He didn't invite me to his live stream. And now I'm going to sob. They say Christmas is a time for joy. But, that, but that's just another stupid Daily Puzzles ploy. <laughs> what I want this year is a single plastic toy. Otherwise, I'm going to be a very unhappy boy. It's Christmas. Yes. And I need that brand new gear. It's Christmas. Expensive cubes for a fancy man. Whoa. It's Christmas. Free cubes inside my. Wait, wait. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to Ting Man. Please donate. 500 to go. And there you go. That's the one and only time I'm going to perform that song. Oh, I hope you guys are happy. That was amazing. <laughs> there aren't many words to describe how I feel about that. There, but there are numbers. It's there Halloween, numbers. so five out of ten. <laughs> Someone said I'm screen recording. No, you're banned. Get out of here. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, wow. He's surprisingly good. That's usually the word that comes before good when you're Ouch. describing that's, TML. That's, no, that's it's all the, we have auto-tune. We have live auto-tune on the, on the thing. So good. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. That's a little bit harsh. I got cool, man. Oh, man. Yep, so just a quick inside. update, every. Just a quick update, everybody. Uh, Daily Puzzles has gotten us a little bit closer to our target of $10,500. So that will go to supporting three homes for families that need them. Thank you to Habitat for Humanity. We're currently at $10,067.46. So we're just shy of the $500 we need to finish this. And Ting Man is struggling. I Several centers still off solving. <laughs> this yellow last... center, it's so much work. I know. So it's just, I think the last time green, Cubehead orange, joined a live stream, you were closer. Just, we're close to finishing yellow. We are close, guys. Oh. It's, it's seriously a lot of work. The arms are starting to feel it now. Yep. Oh, Whoa. here you go. Here's, here's oh another gosh. resounding... Uh, um, Assessment of your skill, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, I brought this for you guys. <laughs> oh, wait, let's do the donations. Another couple small donations but every little bit counts so thank you thank Ram, you thank you 26 dollars hey. that roy thank you so good Shu, thank Wh you very much whether it's a big donation or a small donation every single one counts we got rick rolled but every oh it counts oh we also got six dollars nine cents so now, okay guys who is excited to see the yo man yo cube head now, Tom, we agreed that that we, that we put a costume change on. I don't have a hat. We're not you prepared. didn't bring the hat. I don't own any hats. Who would wear hats? Who wears caps in 2021? I don't know. Ask Cubehead. He wears one in like every video. Yeah, that's just because he's he's ashamed of his bleached hair. I got him by beating him. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that banner. That's funny. Oh, yeah, so we're one minute away 
let's get some yo's in chat for our yo, get yo. some yo's in yeah. chat. Yo, yo, if yo, we're yo, all yo, 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 I, yo, I heard we summon him. If you get enough yo's, I'm pretty sure Hang on. the case. If you say enough yo's, he actually just like like yo. apparition disappears. I got the hat. I'm rocking the backwards hat. Just saying, put that out there. Oh, where are <laughs> the yo's? Do. All right, shall we do it? Shall we get a countdown going? Here we go. Ten. Five. Oh. <laughs> Seven. We rehearsed this. Six, five. <laughs> four. Terribly. Three. Two. two one. one. Yo. Yo. It looks like we literally got caught him like outside. <laughs> he's gone. Out, outside of McDonald's. <laughs> And, and and he's gone. He was too, he was too embarrassed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Yeah. I think Not he's sure having. To make. I think he's having internet issues because yeah. um, the definition of an anti-climax internet. Sorry, he's just he's just sorting out his internet connection. He'll be back soon. Don't worry. That was the practice. That was the practice. That was a practice run. Practice run. Right. Um, just to build up a bit more suspense. Yeah, yeah. You just, guys. Oh no no! Hang on. Let's try. Hang on. How about? <laughs> We didn't yell I enough. Think I we better do the. Enough. I better do the countdown. You guys are no good at it. Okay, ready? Three, yeah, yeah. Okay, two, go. one. One. Yo. There we go. Yo, guys. Oh, hang on. oh, oh man, I hope this is going. Oh. <laughs> There's the man. Yo. Yo. What's up, guys? Where's hey, the backwards cat yeah. man? Where, where are you? Man, it's like it, it's really cold outside. So uh, okay. yeah, I had to go for like. I don't know. Was this even cold in English? I don't even know. Is it like a beanie? beanie? Beanie. Oh, yeah. 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 Beanie. How's oh, it been? It has been great. It's like super. Oh, man. Just look at me. I'm so tired. I'm like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in Germany right now because like I'm going to a competition with Bruno like right awesome. after this. Uh, awesome. So, yeah. Nice. Hence, I hope the connection holds up because I was I was using like uh, mobile data, but then oh. I saw that I got disconnected and I just joined this <laughs> random wi-fi but i think he's holding <laughs> up so <laughs> nice yeah no yeah audio quality is good as well so sweet okay awesome oh man it's just so oh, funny like... man you you still have so much work to do hey hey some encouragement please man i i believe in you now that i'm here <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna boost it I think I've been more off a bit more than I can chew. I just I've just been wanting to chat to the guests since I've been stopping and oh you know, yeah, fun. but and then I again, talk, talk less. But then again, like the the live stream can go on for a bit, right? Yeah, go forever. I can just and sleep. Yeah. Two, I've just got two more bars, and then I've finished with yellow. We're nearly there. Oh, okay, man, that that like kind of like makes me even more scared about like solving my twenty one by twenty one because I, I've been like putting that to the side because the biggest cube I have ever solved is a five by five. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for fun. And I was like, wait, maybe going from a five by five to a twenty by twenty one by twenty one is maybe like a bit extreme. So actually, like oh, I, I texted like Phil yesterday, like may maybe send me something like in between to practice a bit, you know, perhaps. <laughs> like a, I don't know. <laughs> Well, yeah. thank you so much for joining our stream. Have you been yeah, having a pleasant 2021? Uh, well, that's a really big question. Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the I don't I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's, it has been like the the best year of my life so far. I don't know. It's yeah, been pretty awesome. great so far. Yeah, even though I, even though I beat you, it's. <laughs> yeah, that was like yeah, that was like the the worst it time of the, the year. Point. Probably, but... yeah. It was it was a low. Point. But after after that, everything. But it was fine. Like I gave your channel some exposure. <laughs> that kind of helped you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th thanks to thanks to you, I got to do this full time right now. So thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah well, no, I, I was gonna say that of probably of all the guests that we've spoken to, you're probably the one who's like your position. You know where where your channel has been from one year ago till now has like had the biggest change. Um, first of all. I'm so happy for you. I have been, you know, a supporter from the very, very start. Uh, so, so happy to see your channel growth. And then, you know, for the announcement when you said that you're now going to, like, basically, you know, go full time with this. You're going to work really hard at it. It's going to be your job. Congratulations, man. That's so good. You know? Yeah. It's, that's it's, it's, how, what, what's that like for you? Yeah, it's kind of crazy if you think about it. Because I, I joined here, like, last year. I don't even remember mm. where I was at back then. I kind of remember like the setting and everything, but I don't remember like uh, the amount of subscribers or like the views I was getting. Yeah, but I, 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 I don't think I imagine like 
this happening next uh, just year after but it's kind yeah. of insane like i'm really i'm really blessed and uh yeah it just feels really cool to get to do which is what you enjoy doing most i suppose yeah that's so good yes yeah, awesome but the same yeah. for you though your channel has like probably like got like twice as big maybe like even three mm. times uh yeah that's true actually yeah i have had a lot of growth in the last few years so yeah same as you very grateful for it to be able to do something that that you enjoy yeah. is such a blessing yeah just a few yeah. more years and we'll take over the world you know yeah that's that's the plan right world, world domination <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I just saw something that I wanted to post. So didn't I was about to say, didn't you just go to a comp in Germany and you're going to another one in Germany? Ah. Yeah, I, I, I think Bruno is like addicted to going to competitions and he was just like, oh, yeah, man, he even asked me like, yeah, so uh, this one is like a different area in Germany, but the, the first competition go, uh, coming up in Belgium is, is next week, actually. But he just wants to do a lot of competitions because... Uh, he's really determined to break a national record because I don't know if you noticed, uh, if you see like my last video, but mm. he has he has broken a national record for like uh, ten or eleven consecutive years, which yeah. puts him like, which puts him like right below Felix Zemdex because I think he has twelve. So he's like yeah. really determined to break a really uh, another national. Yeah, so he, he's like really determined to break another national record just for yeah. that streak. But also, it's like really enjoyable to do, obviously, because it has been quite a while. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, uh, yeah. He he just asked me like if I, if I wanted to go, and I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, it's not like I have much to do, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. That's cool, man. That's awesome. Now, um, I have watched your most recent comp vlog, and I watched you drive up from your beautiful hometown all the way to Germany for the comp. Like a lot of Cubans, you stopped at Macca's on the way or McDonald's. What do you eat when you go there? What is your go-to McDonald's order? We need to know. Wait, wait, wait. Can, can, you, can you ask again? So when you go to what McDonald's... What the order was. What, yeah, yeah. What do you normally yeah, yeah, get okay. when you go? So, yeah. So I, I'm like a vegetarian. So I just like look for the, the only vegetarian burger they have and just go with that. <laughs> yeah. Do we have anything vegetarian at Macca's in Australia? <laughs> that, that's the, the chips. The chips, yeah. <laughs> I think that's so. probably about it. Oh, just the chips. Oh. So it's actually oh, like in, in Belgium, we have like, like quite, quite some. We have some, quite some don't. stuff here in Belgium, Germany as well. But like I, I went to Italy yeah. for a year. They, they didn't have like any vegetarian there. So it was like kind of, you kind of have to pray. Otherwise it's, otherwise, it's just like yeah. chips, crisps, whatever you call it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Fair enough. Cause yeah, in a, I think someone they've done a many a video about like how Macca's is different in every country, and yeah, we don't. I don't think we have a. I think we have a salad, and that would probably and the chips, and that would might be it actually. So. Okay. Very I'm, fortunate. I'm, I'm never going to the Australia chips. then. <laughs> Not you wouldn't come here for the Macca's. Let's be clear though. Come here just for McDonald's. Now, out of curiosity, can you solve this now? I watched a video. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah, I actually have like a video coming up about that because uh, the the original idea was that um, I I was like the original idea was that I was gonna practice cube for one hour before yeah. the competition, but I I didn't yeah. have yeah eventually I didn't have any time for that. So I was like, oh yeah, am I just like skipping this round or are we still doing it? <laughs> so I end up doing it still. Uh... But afterwards, I actually heard from like a delegate from somewhere that was like, "Wait, if you're not if you're not able to solve this cube, like you can't get disqualified from the competition, you know?" Yeah. <laughs> and I checked the rules, sure. and it's actually like true. Like, oh, what? You, you, like you cannot compete in an event if you're like don't know how to solve it. <laughs> if you can get disqualified, so I was like, <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm this Whoa. I'm this close of of getting banned from the WCA, and then I'll never get to go to a competition again. That that, that is a good clickbait. <laughs> just a good video. Just, I got banned from the just, WCA. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a clickbait title right there. I almost that's got banned. So I would watch it. Just imagine, like, just imagine, like, being banned for for life. <laughs> just for doing I got a that. lifetime ban from WCA because I didn't know how to solve the skew. <laughs> Because yeah, I was watching your video and you're like, I straight up just forgot. How do I solve this thing? <laughs> like, just like looking at it. It's like you, you don't know oh, how to okay. solve this cube. Your punishment is a it's lifetime okay. ban. 
Yeah, because I think I've forgotten like mid solve, but I've never forgotten before I started. I forgot mid solve where I was up to. So yeah, the thing I is, I, I didn't even know. I didn't even know where to start because I, I even had to ask someone around, like, oh, can you solve this cube? Because I have to give it to the judges and I don't know how to do it. <laughs> that was that should have been the first warning sign right there. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, but it was still it was still funny though. Like I, I do yeah. I, I do not regret it. Like WCA, come at me, bro. <laughs> come at me. <laughs> okay. come All right, me. now we've been playing a wonderful cubing game with all the guests so far um your version is called how well does cube head know cube head so we're gonna Ooh. ask you some trivia about uh sorry yes tom welcome to the final round of how well does cube head know cube head yay lots of rehearsal went into this obviously um so Obviously, we've met before. <laughs> we've met, we met the last time we did a live stream. And I think between then and now, you and TNL had your cubing battle, which was a long time coming, this cubing battle. Where it was a best of 20, but you had to be ahead by two or something. And it was just three by three. Oh, so it was very long he, coming. Oh. I really enjoyed it. I love. I rewatched that video all the time. Um, what too. name? I just like to see the look on Cubed's face when I beat listen. him. I just like to see the, the sadness in his yeah, eyes. Yeah, just like to the end. Oh man, I, did. I didn't want to. I didn't want to think back about them. Uh, Don't worry, it's not about the bleach. Yeah. Uh, what name appeared on the screen when Tom called you on Instagram? And what time did the winner get on their final solve? That's oh, the question. That's a tough so question. So, what name appeared on your screen when Tom rang you to to discuss the battle? And what was the winning time of the final solve? <laughs> Wait, what, 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 was it Tiny Noob Loser Q? Hey, yeah. Tiny Noob Loser? Something like that? Yep, Tiny Noob Loser is oh, correct. the finals. You were very Final close. You were, it was a very close last solve. I will pay that. I, I, honestly, I have no idea what the last solve was. I don't, I don't, I don't reckon it, it was great. But I, I would say, like, it has to be Septem, right? But yeah. Maybe, like, I, I would go for like 9.4. I think that was your time, not his. <laughs> I asked for the winning uh, time. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, paying much attention to like... So I, I could not have told you this either if I didn't have it in front of me. But I got a... <laughs> no, I, I, have, I have no idea. I have no idea. How, how, how much are you at? nine. Yeah. Eight, Wait, that's, that's, uh, that's actually really good. <laughs> I think you got a no, you got a, a low nine it. from memory, uh, Noan. You got a low nine. So we both had go. a lot of terrible souls there. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a lot of terrible souls. But actually, like looking back to that video, like it actually ended up so well because uh, you, you never know. Perhaps like I could have like beaten you like twenty one, and that would just be like a stupid video. But I was like, oh no, let's let's just give him some hope. Close. But yeah. then I ended up just losing, so that was kind of a bad tactic. But yeah. It was, a, it was still a stupid video. Now I just wear beanies to hide my hair. <laughs> and it's actually like what? It's the like third most, fourth most popular video now on your channel. Besides the shorts. Yeah. Did pretty well. Oh, yeah. That was a fun Yeah, I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know what, what would. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what would happen, like how people would receive it. But um yeah, just like the, the average watch time is like higher than like my my other videos, so I think people just like enjoy watching it, which is which is kind of Have weird because got... I don't know why people would want to look at you. But... <laughs> That's exactly what I think. All right, Tom, wow. you yeah, I was like, yeah, I was, I was like, this video is gonna get no views because who wants to look at this guy? But <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Have, but, yeah. Have you still got the? Yeah, if I check the statistics, I actually lose. Uh, uh, I I I read I redid it like a while ago, but I, you can like barely nah. see it. It's like nah, a bit, you bet. Maybe a bit. It's just like the tips, if that. Oh no! What the hell did I do? <laughs> now you'll never get it back in there. Um, Tom, do you want to take question two? I actually wrote this question. <laughs> yeah, this is my new hairstyle. It's cool. Yeah, I love it. it works well. <laughs> um, so. You recently attended your first competition in over a year, which we saw your video in Germany with Bruno. 
and you use the yo cube for the first time. Um, your second soul, your seven, uh, what cross color did you do and what time did you get? And this was like oh. a big part of the video. Yeah, it was hilarious. Oh. If Wait, so, so what, what, what were the two questions? What cross color and? And the time. The time soul. was seven point seven point seven nine, I think, plus yeah. two. Yeah. Yes. But the cross color. So actually, I did like a reconstruction of my my souls for for the members. I don't know if I actually reconstructed that soul. I think I only re reconstructed like my averages. Ah, oh, I, I I would I, I think I did. I, I didn't do white. I didn't do white. You did not. Because because Bruno was next to me, and he, if we have if 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 there's like a good white cross solve, he always beats me. But if he, if it doesn't, then usually I beat him. So I, I know it's not a white cross. Otherwise, he would have gotten a better time. Uh, I had to watch your solve in slow mo to see where you started as well. Okay, wait. It could it could be because I know the last layer as well. I think it was like the T case and a an U perm. I think or no, it could I could could totally be wrong. I'm guessing it's it's gonna be uh, yellow. Yeah, no, 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 I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. It's, it's red. It's red. It's it was still red, <laughs> or orange. It's orange, I mean. Orange, green. I kind of like mis mispronounced red. Yeah. It's orange. English is not his first language, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. he, <laughs> meant, he meant blue. He meant blue. blue. Yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah obviously. Yeah, yeah obviously. obviously right. Blue cross, yeah. yeah blue, red is a new blue. It's time. fine. No, honestly, honestly, when I just did a solve, I, 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 I even forget, like, right after I do my solve, like, what color I use. The same. I, I don't know how. I, well, I, I never. <laughs> yeah. Because like, I've seen this Stanley... video. Where... You guys. I, I, I've seen this video where, like, uh, it was like a pretty old video where, like, famous cubers try, like, uh, scrambles in competitions yeah. before. And they, some of them actually remembered, like, where the scrambles were from. I was like, Dude, if 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 I if I re scramble if I do the same scramble just like five seconds after I did the solve, I don't even remember. I'm just like, oh yeah, <laughs> good scramble. <laughs> well, did you hear before Felix just reel off his first ever solve time? Like his first ever, like from 2009, he just reeled off his complete first ever single time on three by three. Yeah, and we were all just like, though. how? How do we you remember your capital. single? Remember, Maybe Stanley, like Stanley we... Apple earlier was telling us about a four blind solve from three years ago, and he told us the last algorithm of his four blind solve <laughs> from a it's random yeah, competition. I, oh man, I actually uh, my first competition as well. There was like this guy, and he did like five blind, and I, and I was like asking about like like the the memorization. He was like, "Oh yeah," you, he was talking about like you actually like uh, make names and like force out yeah. of the legend and he and he was like re-saying the entire sequence of his five by five so just before that i was like what the was what is this place up. i need to run <laughs> yeah we were no, just no, saying that's, that's so insane. many yeah so many cubans just have an insane memory and we're just sitting here like i don't know that i don't know my own i don't know my own i would not know myself at a competition apparently yeah that, that's right, why so... we, we that's why we become youtubers you know yeah, we, become, yeah we can't remember ourselves, so we become YouTubers. Um, yeah, we're not okay, good here's... at solving, so let's just start a channel. I mean, by the way, yeah. Tim, man, I'm expecting I'm expecting a full reconstruction of this 21 by 21 <laughs> solve afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you need to recreate every turn, please. So I hope you remember. Oh, oh, that... oh man, that would. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. That would be, be there funny. a while. Okay, so back to competitions. What is your best podium finish in a competition? What competition did it happen at? And what event? What was your average? <laughs> so, so okay, okay. Oh so I, 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 I think it was a 10, 10 10.2 average, which uh, yep. got me second. Yeah. Three by three. Yeah. Uh, and what competition? What was the name of it? Okay. Oh, I think it was. Uh, uh, Brugge open, Brugge, Brugge. I think it was something. I, I Is that in English? Because I, I I got this off the WCA I, I, website. <laughs> wait, how, how do you? I, I think it's like B R U G G E. Oh, then no. Then <laughs> no, okay. I got the open. Then, 
with something open. I, I got the open. I got the open. That's that's good. Bell, no, I actually, I, I don't even. Is it in English? Well, it... <laughs> Has he been talking English this whole time? <laughs> What's he saying? Well, I don't. <laughs> I don't speak it. I just wanted to make sure it was the Belgian Open in 2019. It's crazy. Oh, this Belgian, crazy Belgian Open. Okay. With his okay. little, <laughs> little like, flick of hair. <laughs> What's he saying? Man, you're just shell. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Justin Bieber, man. <laughs> I think he can make it work, guys. I mean... <laughs> you're, you're just je jealous of my beautiful hairline yeah look, i mean look at that quaff it's just yeah, like holding nice. its own right there on its own it's got structural integrity <laughs> so, so 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 i'm pretty sure the competition was in in bruges uh but i i didn't know like the name of the competition like i don't even know the competition i'm going to right i don't even know where i'm at right now i know in germany <laughs> I, do, I would i don't even be able to tell like where i'm at <laughs> Like people here start talking German, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm probably in Germany right now. <laughs> what's what's on the sign that's next to you? I've been quite curious. Can you show Wait, us this what's one? on the sign? Oh what? no, now what we know that... where he is. The optimist stream snipers. What does that even mean? I uh, no, I have no that idea. Makes no sense. Makes zero sense. <laughs> um, yeah, but. You're correct about the location. It was in Belgium. In, in I don't want to pronounce this wrong. B R U G G E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. 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 Just, yeah. It's so. yeah. We we pronounce it uh, Brugge. Oh, Brugge. Okay. Brugge. 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 Now, Tom, do you want to take question four? Sorry, Tiny New Blues. Do you want to take question four? Uh -huh. Ooh, get roasted. Ooh. Wait, I didn't. I didn't see you get pronounced on the live stream. I was like, "Wait, Tom is finally being cut off uh, Tigman's live stream." I was like really happy about that, but then I opened it. I was like, "Oh no, not again!" I was like, I don't no. want to talk to this guy. I was like, "Come on, can I just talk to Tigman? What is this?" We did another He's little always um, there. Crash, like crashing the live stream skit at the start. It was pretty funny. Oh, it's oh, so good. Yeah, it was too bad. It was like too early for me to uh, too late to. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we could could we potentially replay it later for you. Oh, you'll oh, see. Yeah. I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would check it out afterwards. Yeah. Um, Between that and, and uh, Michael's video, that, like, you got to rewatch those. Yeah, that was, that, that was actually they're pretty funny. Um, yeah. You should make, like, a collective video, maybe, of all the community oh, yeah. ones together. Yeah. Um, question four What was your very first official three by three time in a competition? Speaking very of which. First you ever did. <laughs> We were just saying how many people Jesus. remember the first ever solve. I don't even know mine. I wonder what mine is. No, I, I, I want to say, <clears throat> I want, I want to say thirteen point something, but it's like way too fast, so it's not gonna be that, I suppose. <laughs> I, I, I have no idea. Wait, I, I would say like, wait, Tom, what is that look on your face? What is that look? Is it, is it's it thirteen point something? Thirteen. 13.47. We don't have a look. It's going to be totally wrong. I was feeling a bit sick there. <laughs> look, you're, you're on the money. It was a 13 something. 13.3. I mean. 13.0. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. The ever solve was just flat. 13.00. Yeah. It was actually... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I should have remembered that then. Yeah. Well, it's probably but a third I, I, decimal I, place, but it doesn't get recorded. Or did I, I remember just... I was like... I was like pretty okay for my first competition because I remember I was like averaging like 11 seconds at home and I was like... I was not happy with that average, but no one is happy with their first competition. No one's like, oh, yeah, I okay. performed better on my first competition than I expected. No one does that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no one likes if I don't like my first act. I'm not going to look at that number again. Okay, your final question. What? <laughs> and then, and this is a bit of a mean question. What did you place in SKU at your most recent competition? Because technically, <laughs> even though... You entered, you actually do get a placing. Uh, it was like uh, uh, 41st? 
41? Ding, ding, ding. Correct. That is absolutely correct. You placed 41st with a DNF, DNS, 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 DNS. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not going to forget that. That's like the highlight of my Life. WCA page. I mean, yeah. it's like <laughs> the best I performed, but yeah. Yeah. It's I'm happy about it. that. It's We've all been there. We've all been there. So well done. Well done. How many points um, was that in the end? Let me just get the score up here. Um, yeah, you, <laughs> you missed half a point. That's that's pretty sad. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who is who's the judge here? That's, um, that's, that's I'm not, not okay. the one typing that Guys. in. So. We've actually you... had like most of our guests have gotten like perfect marks. So you're kind of behind eight ball there. So, Patrick so Pons, five out Honestly, of five. Stanley Chapel got six or something out of five because he just knew way more than he needed to know. I think we suck at getting. Wait, am I, am I am I in last place right now? No, I'm joking. Oh, you did better than oh, Felix. Yeah. You did better than oh, Felix yeah. Pembegs. You beat Felix. <laughs> yeah! You didn't beat Everyone's me. Everyone's gonna wake up in the hotel. <laughs> I, I beat you in Tino vs bed, so please don't. Wait, wait, why did why did they interview you though? I thought he was like famous cubers in on, on, on this live stream <laughs> oh, okay so right. um i think this uh, sums I'm, it up <laughs> 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 this kid's got great timing love it <laughs> i just removed cubit and i just see him like throw back and start dying in the screen <laughs> All right, guys, let's uh, throw some of your questions for our dear friend Cubehead in chat and we'll see if we can get him to answer some of them. Feel free to make them easy or hard or just something you'd like to know um, about, uh, I guess, his YouTube channel or yeah. his excellent scubing career. What would you like to know about Cubehead? I do or have to hair. say we've been getting about 100 of these since you joined. I assume you didn't. He, Pablo wasn't up for a road trip, though. No, no, no. He's, he's been laying on my floor for a, quite a while right now. Oof. Rude. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty, pretty it's, sad. It's because you I replaced got, him, right? You've got a cat now. Yeah, I have a cat now. Like, I, I cannot like take care of like two animals. It's like <laughs> that's it's a bit probably too much. why he's feeling rejected. Yeah. How yeah. does um how does your cat feel about Pablo? Does your cat get jealous of the attention Pablo gets? No, not at all, because I don't give him any attention. <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to do it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Like this one. Oh, sorry. I'll go back to yours. Cube, what's your favorite cube name? Like the name of any cube? Man, I wasn't ready for this question. You can't say the Yo Cube. You can't say the Yo Cube. Obviously, that's your favorite. I didn't even think about that. What the hell? Obviously. <laughs> no, but let, let, let's obvious. wait. It would be the Yokio. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it would be the Yokio, but I, I think like X-Men Tornado sounds cool though. But it yeah. doesn't sound like a doesn't sound like a cube if you think about it. it sounds it's like, like a, a disaster. <laughs> X the X-Men Tornado. Yeah, it sounds like someone off X-Men. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, it doesn't sound like a cube, but I don't know. Yeah, um, Yokio. Next question, and this one got Felix got asked this too, so the name was a bit different. <clears throat> Are you married? No, 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 not not anytime soon. Not I yet. think Felix well, had the exact same answer. He's still <laughs> single and ready to mingle. Uh, Wait, did it did it did he word it like that? <laughs> so I remember being quite shocked by his like, no, nah, no, I need to it was something like that though. Like it was pretty on on par. And I said if my boyfriend said that, I'd go have a word to him next door. <laughs> Uh let's see. Oh um, yeah, wait, but but I actually don't have a girlfriend girlfriend right now. Like uh the, the video with Anna, like a lot of people still think we're together, but we actually like uh broke up like I think like seven months ago or something like that. Yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that. No, it's totally fine. Like I, I don't I don't mind too much, but it's it's just like a lot of people don't know that. But yeah, I I don't mind too much, like we're still friends, but yeah. yeah. Now you know. <laughs> I actually have no idea like everyone knows. Yeah, Cuba is single. <laughs> Your views are about to go off the charts. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this should be this should be my my uh, Tinder profile pic. Just like with the <laughs> cube <that is> single. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get a photo of it. Uh, uh. Oh no! I, now I just see myself. I, I think this is like super awkward. I just see myself with like Cuba is single. I'm We're like, not changing it, by the way. This is this is this is just sad. This is just sad. 
Now I'm staring <laughs> at how insane. single I am. Oh, it's not sad, it's sad. exciting. It yeah, hope for you maybe. People. Yeah, it's, oppor it's yeah. opportunities. Can we actually, can Always we get some information to help him fill, fill in a, like a dating profile or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll just, that's the next video. <laughs> Making keeping, keeping dating profiles. Keeping dating profiles. Instead of like, what are you into? It's like, what was the last comp you attended? And what's your three by three PB? And if oh, you're not goodness. sub 20, you don't get the good ones. Because you're going to be sub 20, you didn't get the good ones. Yeah, Kibet's going to be swiping until he finds someone who's at least sub 10. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, pick, picking up girls using Rubik's Cubes. And that's just yeah. getting rejected all the time. <laughs> Well, it's like that. Um, didn't you do like a tick a, a short on TikTok, and you're like, I'm gonna solve this cube in like five seconds, and then people kept like hanging up. Like, no, I'm not watching oh, that. that. Oh, was yeah. So awkward. <laughs> that was so awkward. I had to get used to the awkwardness because I was like recording that video initially. I was like, oh, this mm. is too awkward. I cannot do this. And I, then I got used used to the awkwardness. I was like, yeah, people. Oh. It's just like, uh, yeah, I I just don't have to think about like there's actually real people sitting behind their screen. I'm just like, yeah, this is this is not real. It's just. Ignore the awkwardness. Wait, uh, Br Bruno asks. Bruno asks if it's okay if he just says hi to the live stream. I think oh, it's like course. Course. yeah. Upstairs. Okay, cool. I think the last time you got to meet my boyfriend, like random people just keep showing up on these live streams. I mean, look at <laughs> TNL. <laughs> this is the last straw. I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. Done. Oh, burned. So burned. Good Wait, how much how much time do you think it will take to like finish the 21 by now for now because the the the, the edges take like way less long right yeah yeah still, that's I, right. I, um, I reckon it's still about an hour or something for the edges lest we forget the p word that Maybe. tends to show up on the no no last pops. i was gonna say parody but sure pops we're getting there we're getting oh there. wait did you did you have any pops yeah, he had a pop, I think, when you were on the second center. I think we were doing, we were doing green. Um, a whole bunch of pieces slipped, and um, he had Ming had 945 degrees, pull it up, and then like push the piece back in <laughs> and then like slam it shut. Uh, it was Ooh. advice from, um, was it Simon Shi? Just push it back in, just shove it back in. Like, yep. don't worry about the pop, just shove it back in, it'll be fine. So that's the going Ooh. rate right now. Oh uh, look! Look who's here. Bruno, hey, guys. I'm back. Good morning, Bruno. guys. How are you doing? Hi, Bruno. Hey, thanks for joining. Thanks for thanks for joining us. Yeah, I hear, I I hear you're trying to break a record at the moment, by at the next comp. Another. Yeah. Another. So the next comp starts in an hour and a half. In fact. Oh wow. Yeah, that my goal is to break a national record. I think four by four yep. single is the most reasonable at this point. Yep. I actually got a twenty-four at home two days ago, which is oh, insane wow. for me. Um, but that, now it's at 28, so yeah. But yeah, breaking national records is one thing. It's it's an insane statistic that I'm keeping at the, up, up in the mo at the moment. But yeah, I just mentioned before this. It's kind of insane that you're just like right behind Felix Zemnex in like the consecutive uh, national record thing. Yeah, but it's it's yeah. the competition itself. It's about meeting new people. I always look forward to competitions, especially in other countries where you meet people you don't normally meet no it's about yeah. destroying everyone beating everyone <laughs> now, Ming, conquering the competition team man yeah, you may want to stop right. solving yeah. tom i, I, I never won that's... anything by the way why, why do i tom, want to can you forgo I to the nation you guys what, what are they saying are they okay. are they yeah. dissing me Little and hit refresh hit refresh we had we're at ten thousand two hundred, and now yeah oh my refresh. gosh Miles with the perfect donation. Ooh, three hundred dollars. That's hundred percent. That's exactly awesome. one hundred percent. That's oh insane, God. dude. That's a lot of it. dough. So six o'clock, Ming, amazing. you hit your target. Well, five o'clock your time. Sorry. That's awesome. That is amazing. Yes. Well done. Go. Thanks so much, guys. That's amazing. <laughs> 100%. That's and we amazing, still have a bit dude. more to go, which means we can raise even more than that. We can surpass it. Yeah. yeah let's try and hit 11, you know, thousand. Thank you so much, Miles, for getting that exact perfect number. That was amazing. Let's go for 105,000 now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep it going. We can tenfold yeah. that in the next couple of hours. Yeah. Woo. So good. So, uh, is it okay if I uh, leave in a second now? Because uh, 
I don't know how long I was actually planned on this. It's a half an hour, right? Yeah. Do you have Do you have to to run away pretty soon? Yeah, we yeah we have to get to the the competition soon, so we still have to get All breakfast good. and then. Oh man. Yeah, no problem, man. I just want to say, hopefully Bruno breaks the uh, two by two, and uh, then yeah, you then you will have no chance. <laughs> He says he hopes that you break two by two national record. So I have no, no, I have no, no chance. No, the thing is, the thing is, I actually forgot to register for two by two. Oh, I didn't what? register. No. You can't let so him there's no one yeah. in. That's just oh. all pressure is on his shoulders. Yeah, now, now, now I'm gonna be the the best Belgian two by two at the competition, yeah. which is <clears throat> kind of cool. Yeah, on the road to the world record, eh? <laughs> yeah. So actually, I actually relearned like EG one right now, but my, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna have like worse time than last competition because I'm yeah. just not good enough at it. There are three rounds though. There's three, three rounds though. So we'll oh, see. Fair enough. We'll see. Yeah. Awesome. No well, thank you, Keith, for coming on. Woo! Good luck at your. Yeah, it was today. awesome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having yeah, me. Thanks so much. Uh, Thing man, yeah. good, good luck with the rest of the. The solve. There. You'll get there. You'll get there. Yeah. Are you Are you Only enjoying it? Centers? Are you enjoying another, it? That's That's the question. Like one hundred or so more commutators to go. Or yeah. <laughs> are you enjoying yourself right now? Uh, sort of. My fingers are now starting to really hurt, but otherwise. Sort yeah, of. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, awesome, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks, uh, have enjoy, a wonderful evening, day, whatever it is over there. Yep. Peace. Ciao, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. Wow, amazing. We did that it, guys. So That's so good. I can't believe it. That's so good. Oh, man. How do you guys feel about it? It's amazing. Uh, a bit worried. we got a storm here in Melbourne that's brewing, and oh, no. the audio for me has just gotten really sketchy. Same so. here, kind of. It's been cloudy yeah, actually, outside. Like there's a storm brewing. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, though, because I'm... I'm I think it might just be my Probably sound. Up, so that we, hit, that we hit it, yeah. Cool. Might. So man, so so good. So yeah, I don't know how long do you think this is. Probably an hour away, I reckon. We're pretty close. So we've got Habitat for Humanity coming on soon, uh, and we have. I wonder if we can. We've got still got a few games up our sleeves. Actually, we've still got a few fun fun things. Yeah. Up our sleeves that that we can still do. Um, maybe we can see if we can pull anyone else on as a guest, like a last minute guest. That'd be kind of cool. I should see if I can get like Bolo and Tingboy on. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, thank you, Bronwyn, for extra 25. And that we are. Yeah, Keep it going. Stuart, Keep it going, guys. Over that because, you know, every little bit counts. Even though we've reached the goal, it all adds up in the end. And um, it's so good. We've had. Yeah. yeah, so that's the last of our scheduled guests. And then Habitat for Humanity uh is coming on in i believe 25 minutes or so uh -huh. so how's everyone's day been what's happening in the chat guys you guys waking up about to go to bed what else do you want us to see us do i mean we've reached the goal and i i feel like we haven't had time to do as many fun challenges today because uh it's just been so hectic with so many guests it's so hectic but um, I'm happy to put the fish hat back on for you guys. <laughs> I know some of you were big, big fans of that. You look good. Magic art, magic art. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice the cube bone behind B cube review earlier? There's what? like a what little cube bone. Cube bone, one of the Pokemon. There's like a oh, mosaic of cube bone. Yeah, did not notice that at all. Sorry. Wait, did uh, see, I, it was just a regular? That's a perfect chance to make cube phone and like give him a oh, little Rubik's cube. Oh, that's a waste. Oh, of so we missed a you missed a pun there, Ting Man. You missed the pun. I did miss a pun. I'm sorry. I apologize. Shameful. What time is it for me? It's six oh seven, but I live the opposite end of Australia to these guys. So when you guys are, it's like, what, 5 o'clock, 5.07? About that. Yep.
And this wouldn't be fair to me if we do this because... I've never solved one. Oh, wait. Oh, three by three. I thought it said panda race for a second. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> um, yeah. I can solve, like... Wait, what do you, you average? Solve... I'll solve uh, this one-handed. Got... I can solve this, like, one-handed, maybe. I've got mine. Cause... But mine's magnetized because I what? thought why not. Yeah. Did you do that yourself? Yeah. But like you know, I've never actually magnetized a cube. I've I magnetized three. Either, right? But back when back when magnets started to be a thing, I was cubing and everyone was magnetizing their own cube. But I was too lazy, so I just waited until a company did it for me. <laughs> yeah. it's uh, not gonna be a good solve. Yeah. And I just, yeah, it's my secret. Ready? Why do things badly if you can let someone else do it well? Exactly. Are we doing this? I'm gonna lose, just FYI, because I'm not as fast as Tom. Tom's a lot faster cuter than me. Wait, so what what do you average normally? On a normal three by three? On a, like probably 26 at the moment. Okay, I will do this cube with one hand. Wait, can I like bring my I'm I'm gonna use the same cube to be fair. I do have mine. I'll just I'm gonna remove you. Wait no. I can't remove you. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, just do that. Okay. Hmm. Oops, sorry about that. How do I? What's a good setup for this? Well, what if you do the cubes, up? really? Like, that's fine. Check. Ouch. Oh, thanks a lot. Okay. Three. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna lose, just, but yeah, sure. Three, two, one, go. Oh, my fingers are not big enough for this cube. I've already done it wrong hand. Oh, I'm just having a moment. I've just done my cross because I'm too... Can I make oh, a baby I for can't this? do pinkies. My pinkies aren't that long. I'm blaming the baby, just FYI. The baby's the reason I'm not solving well. Ugh. No, no, no. You can't blame baby. <laughs> There's some things you can blame it before, but not this one. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do M slices on this. Oh, it's not even a good OLL that I know. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Oh. Oh, wait. No, what have I done? <laughs> you lose. <laughs> oh, I could have beat you, but I got a G pen and yeah. I... I'd be lost if it was a G-Pen. Okay, so. I lose. I'll take that off. Okay, do you want to do another one? Because to be fair, these Not are really, ridiculously the other side. No. Don't you love this cube? Isn't this your favorite? I'm not one handed. Look at this. My, I like pretty <laughs> decent sized hands, and I can't, like, I can it only is, go up. I can't do it down, though. It is intense for one handed. Look, look how sad this is. My little piggy's like, eh, <laughs> eh, eh. Oh, no. No, it's, look, I love that cube, and everyone I know who I've shown it to, they love it as well. Like, it's a really fun um, novelty cube. Is competition legal, I'm assuming? Yep. One. Completely competition legal? Because yes. there's no reason why you can't. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just a Rubik's cube. I don't know. Maybe it is. It's just a very big one, admittedly. I never really thought about that. I'll do it honest. at the next competition. I'll use that, and you use a normal <laughs> one, and I'll be. I never really thought about it, but. <laughs> Would be How fast do you reckon you could solve it with, with both hands? What else can I do while we have the camera what, down? What, what cubes have you got there? Because I've got a bunch here. I don't want to solve this one. <laughs> weird cube. That's the cube that Cause... Felix solved. Oh, yes. So if you guys can see. It nice looks kind of normal here. Until... And it looks kind of normal here. But then there's oh, yeah. So for those new to cubing, the colors that are meant to be opposite normally are not opposite on that particular cube. So do you want to do you want to race? I'll race with my normal three by three. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna get my cube map. My daily puzzles cube map. All right. I'm all scrambled. Uh, oh, microphone. Hang on. I'll just move my mic. Oh, wait. This is not that hard. 
Yeah, it's not too hard. You get it. Uh, I can't get the cubit. Hang on. I've got a big pregnancy belly. Hey, God, i got to work out the logistics of this. I can't get both, Tom. I legitly can't get both. I'll just pick it up off the table and solve it anyway. Hey, 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 hey. Pregnancy belly. I'm calling pregnancy belly. Okay, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Oh, not to mention, this just turns terribly. These are pretty um, budget cubes. Oh. <laughs> 19 seconds. <laughs> like, I can't remember the last 22. time I got 19 seconds sold. Oh, that was really hard. That was hard. I remember once calling this a good cube. Wow. The cheese. Yeah, it was like this is like one no, of the first. Not not a fan. I it have used them both, but the layer after. the layer slippage for me is just very frustrating. Mm -hmm. I need magnets. I don't like cubes without magnets personally. All right, you know what? We actually, I reckon we could do some quiz questions for the chat. We'll ask the chat some facts about Ting Man, and we'll see who can guess the right answer. What do you guys think? Ooh, yeah, yeah. No, that's exciting. Um. Sure. And then after that, I can't you know, hear you, Tom. Actually, no. Can you guys, oh, is it just me? How can about you we, guys hear Tom? Because we'll I can't hear anything. I don't know. We'll, we'll do this first, I reckon. We'll, and then we'll get um, Dan from Habitat for Humanity on up after this. Okay. Just got a bit more time. Can you guys we'll, hear them? Are they talking? Because I can't hear them at all. Yeah, can you hear me? Um, we have some. Do we have questions for the chat about Tingman? Oh, there should be questions at the end of yeah, that. Yeah, I've dropped out. Hang on. At the very end of the document. I think. There's only like four or five. All right. Okay. Everyone in the chat, the first question is, which part of Tingman's computer did he most recently upgrade? I'm not sure if anyone would know this. Have you posted about it? Besides, like, I've oh. seen it, but I, did you post about it? Yeah, maybe it didn't, which is good. It makes it hard. <laughs> <laughs> no one will know. We've got two people saying PC. Yep. The PC. <laughs> which part of the PC well, that I upgrade, I upgraded is the PC part. You know what? You guys are kind of... <laughs> the keyboard jeep um i'm i guess we'll have to give it to the first person who just said pc because yeah team man upgraded the whole thing i've graded my entire pc i haven't actually used it yet because i've still been um <laughs> like you're getting ready for, like getting in the middle this, of yeah. some video projects but otherwise yeah i've graded all a lot of parts of my pc um, I'm now running a Core, uh, Core i9 um, with a 3060. Actually, wait, it was in my previous video, a 3060 Ti. I talked about it in my solar, my solar video. That oh, was, yeah, that's sorry about that. that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened with my audio. I couldn't hear anything. Well, I did that for my entire PC. So I got 64 gigs of RAM. I got a lot of um, M2, uh, M.2 um, SSDs. And yeah, should be pretty cool. Oh. Okay, do you ask the next question, Lauren? Sorry, I missed that because my audio cut out completely. I couldn't hear anything. Oh, I had yeah. to leave the stream and rejoin to fix it. Oh, wow. Sorry. Um, okay, so what game is Ting Man currently playing on the Switch with Ting Boy and Olor? Please don't judge what me. What game on the Nintendo Switch, it says. So very specific. Just see what chat reckons. So pop your answers in chat. What game do you think Ting Man has been playing with Olo and Ting Boy? We've just got into this, which is like super late. But mm. we are pretty obsessed with this game. Well, they'll probably say it's just me who's obsessed with this game. 
but yeah. A wanna, couple of answers are really close. You want to put, put, put some pictures mm. on the comments up too? We can see. I do some of the suggestions. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely. I'm Super playing, Smash. I'm playing that Mario with, Kart. Someone, someone will get it, right? Someone did. Mario Maro Kart. Mario Kart, yes, it's also a, a good option. <laughs> Trying to find the first person who said the right answer. Has anyone said it? Yeah, two people have said it. I'm just trying to check uh, them to make sure I get the first one. Have they, though? Oh, uh, no, three people have said it. I'm still scrolling up. Four people have said it. No, not quite, though, because it's a... Uh, uh, they're close. Yeah, they're close. Technically. Do we want the particular brand? This yeah, one's it's a specific. It's a specific <laughs> this one. one's... This is close. Ninja was close. It is... Uh, Minecraft Dungeons. Yeah. I've played it. It's quite fun. It's actually yeah, so this, is, like, this is the first I'm person so I saw that said Minecraft. I've been playing so much Minecraft Dungeons with my kids. It's so good. Like with like uh, multiplayer, like it's it's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. We get so, we get really impressive. Good. And again, by we, I really mostly mean myself. You <laughs> yeah. drag drag <laughs> the kids along to play with you. <laughs> the other day they were literally like, Can we can we do something else now? And I was like, stop it, we just need no. to finish this next level. We're almost like, there. I just need a ten kids. hours. So you can play with them, right? Useless. Yeah. Kids. Well, next question. You know, though. how many kilometers has Tingmen run in the past two days? Some of you may know Tingmen did a half marathon a while ago, and he's training to do twenty four k's. Uh, in a little yeah, bit. to do a twenty five k run at the end of twenty five at the end of this month. So. <laughs> First answer in the chat. The very first answer. Most most answers are just like, <laughs> is this zero? And you're actually right. You're actually right. <laughs> uh, I haven't, I haven't run in the last few days. Yeah, sorry. That's a, a bit of a trick question. Lots of people said oh, they didn't believe in you at all. I just, no, yeah, I, I just love that the very, very first answer is like zero, like it's really like, short. Lindsay heard the question, he's like, no way. Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at that he's loser. never run a mile in his life. <laughs> he's not a runner. Run. Why would he run? <laughs> The only place he runs is to get ice cream. Oh, ouch. Uh, and um, and like boba tea. I do like my boba tea. How much have you run in kilometers this last couple of days, Tom? Yeah, exactly. Huh? Yeah. No, <laughs> none. Who runs? I don't, I'm not allowed to run at the moment. So okay. I can easily confidently say I've run zero, but I have walked several kilometers. Okay. So. Yep. Definitely walked several kilometers. Um, okay, next question. How many kilometers has Ting Man run in the past week? And we'll give you a hint. It is not the same answer as the previous. It's more than zero. <laughs> it's more than zero. Than zero again. <laughs> I like your thinking, Z Cuba. I like your thinking. Looking <laughs> at all the zeros. <laughs> So many zeros. No one believes in me. Like two people have actually like guessed a number larger than zero. Yeah, no support. No way. A few people no have guessed the correct people. answer. A few people have guessed the correct answer though. Um, I think the first person was oh again. Now you see me again. He's on a roll. You nailed it twice. I think he's hacked your one. running app, mate. He gets zero and then twelve. Are you I just are you on the Google Doc with us? <laughs> I'm so you're insane. I did a 112k run last weekend uh, yeah. on last Sunday. Mm. I, I didn't run very much. Maybe he stalks your Instagram. I thought I would run more in the week, but then like I just spent so much time getting ready for this live stream. So well played. Now you see me. Well played. Well played. How many what have in... comments? Oh, sorry. You go. Oh, I was just going to ask the next question. What instrument did Ting Man just learn this year? What instrument? Keep in mind, he already knew piano, so I can tell that is not the answer. And you've yeah, probably seen. I know he's all right at piano. He's played a couple of tunes yeah, in his okay. years. Oh, I'm so glad I have headphones in. The baby would not, not want to hear any of this. Up. I believe the first person to get it. A lot of violins, a lot of trumpets, but. The first person was um, fellow Aussie out. Cuba. Very hard. Oh, yep. Did you talk that about is... it, or was that a total guess? Uh, I don't remember. 
I actually can't remember. I might be friends with Karen on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, it's the harp. Uh, I'm learning the harp. I'm sitting a grade three harp exam in a few weeks, actually. Oh, wow. What? I hated those things at school. I really didn't like music exams. Point of no. bad F12. <laughs> Mayo noise. <laughs> Oh, so funny. Oof. Oh, baby's kicking. This is so weird. Let's see. I like this one. Next question, chat. What Final do you one. think? Yeah. What do you think Ting Man's newest favorite boba flavor is? For those who didn't know, there are apparently multiple flavors of boba tea that I did not know existed until this year. Oh, that feels weird. What is Ting Man's newest favorite boba flavor? Keeping in mind, this man loves boba. He has a boba-loving T-shirt. <laughs> and I think I've seen him down two since the stream I started. In this, in this stream. And I actually think I think you actually drank the favorite flavor as well from what I saw. I did. I literally did it um, in front of everyone. Oh, you guys might have gotten a little hint there when he showed it. I've, I've only tried the basic, like, um... Milk tea, uh, like milk the general, tea. yeah. And like a mango one? You are a bit basic like that. And Someone like has sort of another, guessed uh, it. Peach, peach iced tea or something? I don't know. Someone has I'm sort of I'm guessed it. It's all the white man flavors. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So you're, you're right. I am right. We want the full name, guys. There are two words for the answer. Some of you are only giving one word answers. Because this God, is this like... is so distinctly Asian, isn't it? <laughs> it's so sound like what I sound like at school. <laughs> so the answer has two words. It is a flavor. The word tea is not in the answer. We're looking for the particular flavor. <laughs> Thing man does not like flavor. No. Nope. Oh, cube raisin. I drink boba like water. <laughs> I think I think if no one else gets it. Yeah, that is the closest H -time answer. was pretty close. Yeah, great. Uh, great yogurt. Grape yogurt. It's, I don't even know. Where is the guy, yogurt come in? How do you get It was a grape yogurt. It was like yakult too. It's like proper like, oh. yogurt, like yogurt. Yeah. Anyway. See, I like lychee green tea, but that's as close as I'll get with boba tea. Yeah, that's that's all right. That's it's a very cool. specific flavor. Flavor. I'm sorry. Lychee green tea is really good. Lychee and green tea. Yeah, it like does that. need a little bit of sugar though, because otherwise it'd be very bitter. But yeah, I like that one. Anyway, what's that's coming it. up? Um, oh boy, we're about to welcome in Dan, Dan from, from Habitat. From Habitat. Um, before then, oh yeah, we've had another couple of donations. Um, from Ben, forty dollars love from Perth. Thank you, Ben. And so that brings us to ten thousand five hundred seventy. So we hit the goal and a little bit more. It's amazing. Um, I believe yeah. that's another toolkit so from memory. Welcome, and a very warm welcome to Dan. Woo! Hey guys, how are we? Good day, how are you? Yeah, not bad. How are you? Nice feeling? to meet you. Yeah, yeah likewise. Yeah, good. Exhausted. Got a Rubik's Cube with you. That's good. Yes, That's good. I'm That's struggling. Fun, fun I feel brand. so inadequate watching you guys <laughs> trying to figure this one out. Yeah. How's the day been? Oh, it's been amazing. It's been a yeah, big long day, but it's been um, a long day. It's good. We're getting there. Yeah. Making some progress. Nearly. Yeah. Maybe a, another hour. The donations are incredible, absolutely incredible. Yeah. I've been I've been tuning in and, and looking um, at the donation tally go up and up. Yeah, amazing. Huge thank you to everyone who's donated and everyone um, who's yeah been writing writing some complimentary messages and chat about Habitat and the work we do. It's very yeah. much appreciated. Yeah, that's so cool. So yeah, I was I was honestly worried when we first um, you know spoke uh, whether I would hit it, but you know I like to set a pretty high big, big target because it's like you know even if we don't hit it, we'll at least get very close, and we did it, we smashed it, like we actually managed to hit ten and a half thousand, which is Amazing. you know initially it was ten thousand, and you actually encouraged me to you know let's let's push this to ten and a half because that will pay for three three houses, 
um, which is just amazing. So yeah, could you actually it's just let us know? Because we still have you know good nearly four hundred people watching. Where, where where are some of the places that this this money you know could go? What are some what are some of the yeah. things that you guys might do with this money? Yeah, so yeah, as you said, um, it's about three and a half thousand dollars to build a, a pretty simple one room home for a family. Um, so they, you know, compared to to homes that are built here in Australia, they're um, uh, you know affordable in terms of what we can do. Um, the countries that we mostly fund and that we build in throughout Southeast Asia are Nepal, Vietnam, Cambodia, Fiji, Indonesia. Um, so yeah, the homes could be in any any of those countries. But, yeah, but what I'll do, I'll I'll make sure that you know once those homes are built and there's families living in them, that I'll I'll share their stories and you know you can share them with all of your all of the viewers as well. Um, so yeah, you can really see yeah the impact of your donations. That will be so uh, cool, actually, cool. if we can actually see like literally who we we helped. That would be yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can I can share sort of a before and after. So, um, you know, some the conditions that people are currently living in uh, before they they go into a habitat home, they're often you know mud floors, uh, leaky roof, um, and, and in many of the countries we work in, you know, they're they're prone to disasters as well. So whether it's monsoon season in Cambodia or it's earthquakes in Nepal. Um, you know, it's it's every year these these disasters are happening. So they're spending the, the little money that they earn on repairing their home. So the fact that we can build a disaster resistant home means, um, you know, any spare funds that they have can be spent on their children's education. Yeah, they could you yeah. Know, start a small business out of their home. So it's it's not just a roof over their head, but it really you know changes yeah, their lives in so many other ways as well. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. awesome. That's so good. Yeah. So do you, do you want a couple of stats, donation stats? Oh, I love that. So, so there's 133 donations being made. 133. Do you, want, do, you want to, do you want to guess how many countries? Ooh, have been oh, you got all from? the information as well. That's so cool. Uh, at least 10, I'm going to say. At least 10 different countries. Uh, I'll guess okay. 27. <laughs> uh, so it's 20. 20 countries, 20, um, including 20, New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand, the USA, Singapore, Ireland, England, Canada, Denmark, China, many awesome. others. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, pretty amazing. That is it's amazing. So good. And don't forget, guys, it's not too late just because we've reached the goal. If you have any more donations you want to give in, like every bit counts. And yeah, mm. I think it's, it's going to be open for at least a couple more days after the stream. Yeah, we can keep this open for a couple more days. Yeah. Can we, Dan? Yeah, we, we've actually, um, there's been a few donors who've reached out to us to let us know that uh, their companies will match their donation. So that, you know, those will come in in the next, right. in the next couple of weeks, I guess. But yeah, it will oh, be wow. higher, than, higher than what it, what it is. Yeah. yeah, that is so good. Now, hey, Dan, since you've got a cube, it's only right <laughs> if you don't try to solve it. So first question, uh, do you know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? No. No, I, I've never actually solved one, and I don't know how to approach it. My, so that could my be brain, the day. Do you want to at least do one, do one side? Yeah, each time I think I'm getting closer. I, I don't know. I think I'm getting further away. <laughs> any, so, what, any, what tips do you have? So the way you solve a cube is the first goal. Well, the idea is that if you solve it gradually, the, the moves you make are less and less, essentially by like default. So the first goal of whenever you learn to solve the cube is called the white cross. And the idea is that you literally form a white cross where the white center cap is. So you got to find the white center cap on your cube. Usually I tell beginners to put it on top so that you can see. And what you want to do is you want the center on the next side. So for example, I've got a white center here and I've got an orange one here. I want the white orange piece to go here. And the idea is that you essentially just match the pieces and get them to the right position to start with. That's that's the first bit that everyone most most cubers learn first. Right. That okay. is yeah, I think it, it really needs a tutorial. <laughs> yeah, I, I need help. I think Ting Man, when we last spoke, you said so. I'm missing. I think the white center. So it's, um. So I thought that might make it it's like a void cube now easier. But you it's said that would make it harder, right? Or In some ways, because you're not really. It might be hard to know like what center goes there. 
let's get let's get a cube to Dan. Oh, we should. Let's, let's get you a speed cube so you can catch up with sure. us. Yeah, I've got um, yeah, I've got a young son. Happy to My make sons that. will love that as well. Yeah, definitely. I think but I'm yeah, it's, it's honestly it's a bit hard at first, like because you can look at it and know like that you have to get your cross, but how you get your head around how the pieces move and what that affects when you do that move is it's a bit daunting at first, but you'll definitely get it. Anyone can learn really. We've been streaming for nine hours now. Actually. Yeah. That's intense. That is Doing actually. anything for that long is that a challenge. Is what what hurts more, Ting Man? The hands or the mind? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, it's my hands and arms. <laughs> Sorry, you're probably, you're probably I've, I've trying not to think like about it. People, um, and we're just getting really distracted and stuff. But yeah, and I'm just going straight to fo focus mode now to get this to get this done. I wonder if this goes for another hour. I wonder if there will be people who will actually stay to stay to the end. Is there anyone in the chat who's been here from the very beginning? Is there anyone who's actually um, you know from the very start? Because that would be insane. I have, I've seen JJ Cuba here in the chat or oh, i saw him at the start he might have popped in and out but he has definitely been coming back a lot so shout out to him that's amazing i think red kb has definitely been in the chat yeah a lot of times throughout the day um yeah so many people have stuck around i think there's a lot of people that came for the first half and the second half because it's like a mostly a new chat which is great Does anyone have any Habitat questions? Yeah. For those who donated and those who haven't yet, is there anything you want to know about? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good mission. Question, yeah. Or, anyone in the chat want to ask any questions about um, Habitat? For about Habitat for I think there, are, there could be a few questions coming. It is it even, um, you know, besides the incredible impact that the donations will have, just the fact that you've, you know, you've been talking about Habitat for a lot of the day and, um, you know, making people aware of what we do and, you know, yeah. uh, housing issues and things like that, that's that's just as valuable, so. Oh, that's cool. That's thank you, thank yeah. you. What, a, what initially inspired you, Dan, to take this up and yeah. go into it? Um, so I've worked for for a couple of other charities before Habitat. Um, but I think what really attracted me to Habitat was just how sort of tangible it is, the, the impact that you can, you can make, you know. Um, you know, everyone knows what a house is, everyone knows how important their home is to them. And I think that's, that's really universal. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it's pretty easy to explain what we do. Um, yeah, and, and then, you know, I've been fortunate enough to be able to travel to a few of the countries we work in and, and meet the families and actually build these homes um, from the ground up. So you can really see in the space of a week. So it only takes yeah. about three or four days to build a whole house from scratch. Yeah. Um, so we do have, you know, building supervisors to correct my dodgy brickwork. Um, but, yeah, yeah it's, it's just that, amazing. Uh, Talk to you about what are the houses built from? Yeah, so it depends what country you're in. So um, we build using bricks. Um, sometimes the, the homes are bamboo. So in Cambodia, we do a lot of bamboo homes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But mostly using bricks. And, and the, the materials that they're built from are, are usually locally sourced as well. Yep. So, yep. Um, yep. you know, it puts funds into that local community as well. Um, awesome. Yeah. And um, now you see me ask this, which we've, I think we've mentioned a couple of times, but it was 3,500, right? On average for. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And so with what we've raised, that's three. Three homes for, for three yeah. families. Yeah. And, um, and, and, you know, it, I did say that they are resilient homes, so they will last for decades, for generations. So, you know, it's three families and, and, they can pass it down to their children and their children's children. And it really, um, you know, it takes them out of that poverty cycle that they've been in for generations already. So, yeah. And yeah. another massive donation from Cubehead Milan. Thanks for oh, that. Wow. 
that's <laughs> nearly getting up there to 11k. If we hit 11, that's going to be amazing. If we hit 11, TNL and I will become best friends. Like, you know, that's too Forever. much. Forever. That's that's too much. Nah, I don't I don't think that'll ever happen. Yeah, but all the donations, no matter the size, you know, um, they they all uh, they all can achieve so much. Like it might be, you know, one brick, the value of one brick, or it could be the full roof. Um, yeah. yeah, they all make a difference for sure. This is really interesting. Um, I'm curious, Red KB asks, how many homes have been built in total? Oh man, testing. Um, I know uh, homes. I should know that. I know how many people we've benefited since. Uh, so Habitat started in the late seventies. We've benefited over thirty-six million people. Um, so you know it's a big impact, but it's also a big problem that the need's ongoing. It's not really going away. So um, I'll, um, I'll find a way. It's not just homes that we build. So we also do things like um, uh, like slum upgrades, for example. So rather than a single home for a single family, if we can upgrade slums or even like the sewerage system in slums, they can benefit you know tens of thousands of people at a time. Yeah. Um, we've got plenty of water and sanitation projects throughout Southeast Asia as well. So improving people's access to safe water and sanitation. Um, So it isn't just homes, but uh, what's this? Gil says I'm away for a couple of hours, and Tingman is wearing a dual adjustment system. <laughs> this is his hat. You can just like give it a little <laughs> change of settings. <laughs> Someone says, um, is he solving or scrambling? <laughs> it's working really hard, yeah. Uh, this would be sad if it took us nine hours to mess it up. Oh, do you, do you, do you, commentators. Yeah. Do you know, Dan, where the first home the company ever built was? Yes, it was in the US. So Habitat was started out of a small community um, in, in the south um, in a place called Americas. Uh, yeah, so it started in a small community and then the founders of Habitat, um, they, they had a trip to Africa and they saw the need over there. So they said, why can't we replicate what we've done in our community in, the, in, in Africa? So they did that um, awesome. and came back to the US and then since then it's gone global. Um, so we're in over 70 countries now. Wow. Uh, but anyone from the US will know of Habitat, so Habitat's really well known over there. Um, there's about 1,300 different chapter, Habitat chapters just in the US. Um, in Australia, you know, we're less known, which is why you know, days like today and all the viewers from Australia will know, yeah. know about us. So, yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Um, Ivan or Ivan asks, how do you get a job at Habitat? Yeah, so, I mean, we're, we're a pretty small team. There's only uh, it's just over 20, 20 of us that work for Habitat in Australia. Um, but So we always post our vacancies. Uh, but there's also plenty of volunteering that can be done too, so here in Australia. Um, so whether it's volunteering uh, in the office or virtually at the moment or, um, you know, out in the field. So we do a lot of bushfire recovery work. So after the devastating fires of 2019, 2020, uh, there's people still recovering. Um, so we've got projects in New South Wales and South Australia and Victoria responding to bushfires. Yeah. So there, there are other opportunities to get involved. Um, you know, we've had volunteers who've become staff members a few times in the past as well. That's awesome. Yeah, a lot of love as well says you're doing great and yeah it's i i think it's great we've had a lot of good questions people are interested and like you said it's just raising awareness for it and um getting the word out there yeah hopefully this uh will spark some more 
yeah, definitely. More change, yeah. And what you were saying too, like the need is still there. It's, I mean, like building these three homes is like amazing, but there's so much more that we can do, right? So, I mean, if there's anyone who's watching now who might want to do something like this, like might want to organize their own fundraising for um, Habitat, like what, what what would they have to do? Like who, who do they get in touch with? How, how could they fundraise for you guys? Yeah, so, um, I mean, they can email us if they've got a, an idea in mind or um, all they want to sort of brainstorm ideas for fundraisers with us. Um, yeah. They can email info at habitat.org.au. I think I sent you guys uh, a Facebook yeah. message. Like, you did, yeah. So we're on Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Twitter. Yep. Uh, TikTok, I think we've got TikTok as well. But yeah, you can contact us by any of those channels. Yep. Um, Do you want to repeat repeat that email just for everyone? I think there's a few people in the chat. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So it's info at habitat.org.au. I'll um, put that on this. Yeah. yeah. So just like with Ting Man's fundraiser here, um, you know, we can create a campaign and then you can, you know, send it out by social media or, you know, some people have events for us. Um, yeah, plenty of information. Our website is habitat.org.au. So again, you can see other, other ways to get involved there. But yeah, it's, it's been amazing actually tuning in throughout the day to see just how generous the Cuban community is. So, it's so yeah, cool. lots, of, lots of fun. Yeah. We're close, guys, we're close. Only a few more centers left. Wow. Little yeah. center pieces. We're nearly there to finishing this last bit. My, just like you guys have been sharing the habitat message, I've been sharing the cubing message as well. So, I oh my, yeah, thank you. I had my my niece's first birthday today, so it was the talk yeah. of the party. Everyone was um, asking plenty of questions, so I think there's probably a few guys tuning in. Um, awesome. So yeah, but I, I've yeah since meeting you two man, I've been talking quite a bit about cubing, not knowing what I'm talking about exactly, but nice. um, yeah, <laughs> neither do we sometimes. Though. <laughs> no, that's why you've got to start um, start learning. We have had like you wouldn't you wouldn't believe some of the guests we've had today. It's crazy. But we've had like the world we've had world record holders and like and as guests today we've had some of the biggest like you, jay perm who has seven hundred and forty thousand subscribers he's got like three quarters of a million subscribers on yeah. on youtube exclusively just rubik's cube tutorials like that, that alone has yeah. gotten that many subscribers um just absolute legends in the human community who were just really happy to give their time because of um what they were supporting so yeah you know like it's you said it's, actually, it's really cool what what this community has you know got together to do today it's such a great show of um yeah community and standing together it's really cool so speaking of youtubers can i just give a quick shout out to another yeah yeah so i've got brody here with me brody pop your head brody. In. so brody brody doesn't quite have 750,000 subscribers, but um, his channel, Brody Fantastic, he's got about 30, 35 subscribers and he just super stoked when uh, when he gets a new subscriber. So he, what have you done on that? You've done like, um, do you want to say what, what's in your videos? Oh, I'll say, he's shy now, but he's not in his, on, on his channel. But he's done like little exercise routines. Um, oh, yeah. what we, we've done science experiments. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So what, what's Line, it called again? Like, what's the channel called again? Bro, Brody Fantastic. Is it like he's one word? You, yeah, could you send us the uh, link so we can use it? Yeah, one word? Like, he's, he's, got, he's got his own merch and a little tracksuit and a logo and stuff. Oh, it's so really cool. Oh, really? He, just, he just loves making his videos and getting his little brother involved. Um, we'll find the channel and we can, we, I'm sure we can get you at least like a few more subscribers today. Which would be really cool. Yeah, you'd love it. Uh, oh, you're up to 38 subscribers, buddy. Uh, Here we go. I found it. You found it. Uh, you got it. Yeah, it's quicker. Yeah, than I'm going to put this in. I'm going to show us. Yeah, show that, guys. Yeah, and, well. um, Go check it out. There it is. Yeah, so he's been mucking around with a few little shorts. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, there's, there's quite a few videos. That's so great. <laughs> um guys guys who are in the chat can we can we get this can we get bro to like 50 subscribers can we just keep hitting yeah, refresh and see and what's what's the number grow it's up to yeah 41 already oh, 52 52 there you go oh, that was easy. oh wow easy done amazing <laughs> yeah so he loves loves doing little exercise routines for kids and um what was it blindfold taste challenge that was a fun one awesome um, We'll have to um, get him cubing once once we can. Yeah, we'll maybe you know watch a couple of JPEMS videos and learn how to cube, and then Brody yep. Fantastic can, can get involved yeah. too. Oh man, cubers cannot get enough of cubing videos. So there we go, nearly <laughs> seventy. Yep. Wow, you just doubled your subscribers. Congrats. We cannot get enough of cubing videos. So yeah, there is always a a need for that. <laughs> Come on, guys, we just need twenty. Three more people. We can get him to 100. Let's do yeah, it. Let's go 100 right now. Why not? High five, Brady. <laughs> That's cool. Red KB says, I want to see a Brody how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do it. That would be amazing. If you don't know Brady, Red KB, he's, he's a legend. So he is a complete legend. He believes in you. You can do anything, Brady. Red KB believes in you. Yeah, that's we do anything. He's an absolute legend. Ninety-one. Nine more people. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> We're close. We're close to 100. 300 people watching. Just hit that link. Click subscribe. I've subscribed, as you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Let me get. I'll get on. I'll get on my phone and help you out. I feel a bit underdressed looking at you two. <laughs> I need to um, dress up. Living it up today. And there we have it, guys. We got 105. Hey. Woo. Yeah, nice one. Hey. Big thumbs up. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> no worries. Now remember, it's not all about the numbers. It's about no. having fun with your videos, making mm -hmm. stuff that people will enjoy and that you enjoy as well. Definitely. It's not about the numbers. It's about yeah, having fun with your videos, making the world a better place. But that's so awesome. I'm sure you'll have lots of new fans checking it out. So yep. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. Very cool. We'll have to get making more videos, buddy. Now that you've got over 100 subscribers. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> awesome. Well, we're close. We're close. We're getting really close. Woo. Two more. Two more. <laughs> Two more. I honestly have no idea how you do it, team man. I, I tried. Your commutators for, are like sprinting now. We're in like five seconds. Like three minutes, but I don't think I could. It would take me like maybe 30 hours to do that. <laughs> last one, last little center commutator for the win. So, so are the tactics the same doing a cube of this size as it is like all sizes? Uh, maybe like, like from like five upwards they're pretty much all okay. the same okay and we're done that's all six centers done oh, oh my gosh oh my gosh Beautiful. that is all centers done it's now time to pair the edges so that means that we just like get all the edges with the correct colors in place and then you actually end up making the entire cube like functionally like a three by three because in terms of sections, it's got like one mm -hmm. corner, one big center, and then that. And then you solve the very outer layers like a three by three cube, which is great. Oh man. Thanks so much, guys, in the chat well for the Yeah, I was about to say let's give let's give Tingan some love because yeah. those centers took oh what? Gosh. 
<laughs> like way too long. Nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours of sentence. But that's with breaks, that obviously. Probably nine hours. Well, with taking yeah. a break, probably yeah. Probably eight with all the breaks, I'd say. Uh, yeah, if you factor in like focus time. <laughs> And not the time like, oh, we. Right. I don't have to go too fast, and I'm like I'm sprinting while I'm going as far as I can now. Yeah, fair enough. Sorry, my audio cut out as I, as I go along. So yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, as well. I've been fixing my um audio. I don't know what happened, but my AirPods keep dro dropping out. So I miss. Uh, bits you've got other news for, for us too, um, Panda, because. Um, we've, you've been seriously trying to see if we can get another guest to join us. Maybe we'll keep it a secret, but we love this person. This person is hilarious. And they have appeared at some point during this live stream, technically. We'll just leave it at that. Let's, let's, leave, let's leave a little mystery. I, like, I think mystery is good. Mystery is always a good thing. So, but back to you. Ting Man, how long do you think it will take you to do edges? Because that's what everyone's oh, wondering I now. Know. I actually have a feeling that I made a little mistake just then. So I'm gonna fix it. I suddenly completely forgot how to do like uh, free slice. And I, I did like a, I started moving like this. Oh, and I was no. like, I was like, all right, all right, let's just reverse that. So I'm just like, mm. I'm just repairing the sentence right now to make sure that I didn't actually kill this. Oh dear, mm. oh dear indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so for for those who are unaware, it looks like Ting Man is actually messing up his centers. He's actually solving the edges, and he can realign the centers later. But he needs to line up these edges first. So it may look like he's undoing all his good work. He's actually not. All right, I did actually mess my centers up a little bit, so I'm just going to fix that now. Oh, it's one again. <laughs> That didn't do much. Nope. No, I was about to say that was anticlimactic. Rather anticlimactic right there. That's, just a, it's a, that's a pretty big word for Tom. I'm not sure if he understands that. <laughs> the shade being thrown. How about if you guys have questions for Dan, myself, or Tom, or Ting Nan, feel free to throw them in the chat. Mm. I am monitoring chat and more than happy to pop some of them up. Oh, I like this one. JJ, who is a wonderful fan of our channels. No. Uncle Ting Man. No. Sorry, JJ. Hearing, you heard I've been hearing him. a lot about this guy. It's, it's, he's not a good fella. He's not, he's not a good man. He's fantastic. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else have we got? Oh, but speaking of JJ, actually, he's asking a good question. Can you donate after the stream has ended? Yes. We'll keep the donations open, well, what did we say, a day or two? So that um, if people wanted to keep donating, obviously we'd love for you to donate to this wonderful cause. Absolutely. And, Andy, if there are people there who um, who have already donated, that it, it's always worth asking your employer whether they they can match donations because so many are set up to be able to do that. So straight away you're doubling the impact of what you've given. That's so great, so, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, we'll we'll keep on moving with this, but otherwise, I really appreciate. Uh, I guess the opportunity to do this, Dan. I was like sort of looking around for you know a place that um, I could something that I could support. And as soon as I saw this, I was just like, ah, this is it's so worth it. Um, so yeah, thank you for I guess for the opportunity to actually support you guys. No, thank thank you. Yeah. Thank you to the whole Cuban community. It's yeah, been truly amazing. And as I said before, I'll I will share the impact of what you guys have done today. Yeah. Um, you know, once once the families are in, we can yeah, tell their story and can see these home, these actual physical homes. I would love that. That would be fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much. We will let you go. Thank you. I'll keep going with this. There Thank you, go. you guys. Appreciate thanks, it. Dan. Thank you, Brody. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. Enjoy. That's Good lovely. luck. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Have a lovely night. See, See you guys. All right. So for those of you just joining, we have um, we've got another guest coming, don't we, Lauren? 
Yeah, very secret guests are all I've said so we far. Have a secret guests coming. That's all we can um, say. We they will coming. be here in a little bit. They're just uh, getting to a place where they can join the stream. They have already appeared on the stream in one of your videos. I'll give another Ooh. hint there. But they haven't appeared live yet, so that's another hint. So it's not okay. someone we've already had, but they have appeared in a video. Yep, that's cool. Meanwhile, yes. Tom will do some serenading. Oh, I saw a really good question though. Trying to find it. Yeah, well, I saw actually. I was inspired by um, yeah, I think that's a song. Caitlin and Catherine's the most recent donation. Um, yeah. They said they want some more music, so I don't know, Ming. You give the crowd what they want. That's what I think. What do you, what what are we singing about, guys? We're we'll singing sing Christmas carols. <laughs> How about this? You look what, tired. What, are you tired? Oh, sorry. Yeah. I am very exhausted. I've had a massive week. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I've had like exams at school and then it was my birthday. And then I actually um, was doing a lot of rehearsals because I uh, played in my band on Wednesday night, I did a performance and then spent uh, some, yeah, I've just had a busy week. I went out for dinner last night. It's been a big week, but I'm so, Happy to um, yeah, crash the stream and annoy Tingman <laughs> and just have a day filled with misery. It's great. Yeah. I, I always want to thank you for it, you know. But yeah, happy birthday for Tuesday, by the way. Yeah. If, you guys want to say, if you guys want to say happy birthday to TNL. Um, Please do. Chat. It was his birthday on Tuesday. You do not look a day o over, you know, 30. You're <laughs> young as. A few people have asked me, but yes, yeah, so I just turned 17. So, yeah, I'm, I'm catching you, Ting Man. Little baby boy. Yeah. No, we are basically double your age, which makes me feel spectacular. Well, makes me obviously. feel great. If you think about it, how, how old are you now, Ting Man? Have you revealed this? I am 36 now, I think. Yeah, you're just like 16 with 20 years experience. Uh, That's yeah. how I would look at it. So if I'm 33 this later this Thank month, you, I'm about the same. I love being my age. It's so cool. Oh, I love being my age. I drive. I have a great job. I get to be on YouTube. I get to meet amazing people. Like, best job ever. Best, best age ever. Happy birthday oh, I like that one. to you. Oh, How about you this? this is You've survived another year. Hat. Happy birthday, another trip around the sun. the sun. Happy birthday, it looks like your time on earth's not done. <laughs> Sing a song about the fish hat, buddy. Sing got a fish hat. On his head, Tin Man's fish hat. He stole it from me. Well, I don't know what I'm playing. But is it a hat made out of fish, or is it a fish made out of hats? I'm trying. I'm trying to read the chat as well. Someone says that hat is so cute. It's actually Uncle Tin Man is a secret. It's actually yes. Olo's hat. I actually sort of stole it. Oh, really? Yeah. This is the be I this is better than any song I've never heard ever. <laughs> That's really confusing. I don't even know how to interpret that. You might get what's a guitar voice? Thank you, old man TNL. Do you guys have any song requests, or do you want us to just freestyle it? Freestyle. Sorry, hey, like, don't get us too monetized. <laughs> oh. 
We're only gonna play stuff that's completely. Sorry, wrong. I had to. I had to leave. My brain was melting from the music choices. Hey, 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 hey! Hate is gonna hate. Okay, questions. Any questions in chat? Forget the music. Questions. Give me all your questions in chat. I'll just play some some background music then. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. Anything to distract Ting Man and make him mess up his uh, centers? Hey, sure. Hey, no, no. Don't distract me. Oh. The center the the is actually quite fun, I must say. You got you got a fan in cubing Noah. And Noah. I am a voice of an angel. He doesn't have one. He just is one. You are a voice of an angel. <laughs> I just want to do this one. Hey, look up. Ting Man looks up to me because I'm taller than him. That is actually true. <laughs> it's literally true, sadly. Maybe while we're humming along, I might also just remind people to shop at our sponsor, Daily Puzzles, who, who kindly donated we, almost 15. donations. Yeah, massive donations yeah. to yeah, this. And probably if you donate... Like, so good. And if you donate, you too can get 10% cash back on your donation. Just email help at dailypuzzles.com.au and tell them all about your donation, and you will get 10% of that as a basic lesson, kind of like a gift card at the store. So, tell them Ting Man sent you. Yeah. So, very grateful for Billy for being such a great sponsor of our channel and this live stream and donating such a, to such a great cause. And of course, always subscribe to Panda Cuba, not TNL TV. Just wanted to pop that in there. <laughs> I just want to do this one from um, Cubix. Yeah. Tell us the knock knock joke. All right. Oh. Cubix, you there, man? Knock knock. Who's there? Cube. Cube who? Cubix, you're banned from the stream. This is a serious stream. We don't do knock knock jokes. Get out. That's not even. That's. that's... <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay, I got I got one for you. I got one for you, Tom. Knock knock. Okay. Who's there? Snow. Snow who? I forgot that. Actually, never mind. <laughs> you cut out. I didn't hear it. Oh nah. You meant to say what's new, and then I'd be like, "What's new with you?" Oh. Why would I say what's what's new? I don't That's know. Not how knock -knock go. <laughs> I'd have to be. Come on, I'm not that dumb. I know how to do a knock knock. Um, I like the idea though. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> I like this. Cancellation TNL. <laughs> what does that even mean? Like like cancel him, I guess. But it's gonna be a cancellation. No, don't cancel TNL. Yeah. Who will I fight with? I need my enemy. Just like, just like Batman needs the Joker. Yeah, it's like a yin yang sitch, people. You know, you, wherever there's good, there's got to be a bit of evil. Yeah, Helps to good, balance the world be, out. It's got to be evil right here. I just <laughs> love that. I think, I'm, right. I think I'm Have perfectly you placed now to separate you two. That, that is evil right there. Can we actually play the Halloween video? <laughs> Can we, is it okay? Can we actually just watch that again? That'll be a yeah. Like just you look YouTube like a madman. Yeah. This YouTuber. Oh, um, worn out. Um, oh, me too. Is it my cubing nightmare? Man. Oh, I'm not sure if you'll get sound. That's all right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> think that expression says it all. Think you guys, I'll put on the um subtitles. You guys can just imagine the sound. He's like, I should be able to get I should be just because she has flash cubes. Uh, flash cubes too. <laughs> That's what you sound like. Oh, uh, long lashes hair. Thank you. I get that a lot. Yeah, we should. I do love that t shirt. <laughs> you know, just saying. Fine. Fine. I think, man. Are you real? <laughs> <laughs> this is your dream, Ting Man. But I don't want it to be my dream. My brain must have made this up. So I what would I dream about my nemesis? Then you, if I didn't have a good speaker. 
All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you. We're just dumbing out voices. Let's do this fake you know. Silence. Your stack match trauma doesn't even work. <laughs> this video, it, uh, I, I, that's a minute of it, but you guys have to go and watch this. If you haven't seen this yourself, I don't want to spoil too much. It's very strange. It's terrible. Should it's we, actually... It was funny because we were filming it um, just as like like a, a dream sequence, right? Yeah. But it was just going to be like a dream. But then <laughs> it literally became a nightmare because of the costumes and the weird stuff. Because you so, were in it. I was like, how about how about you do this for Halloween? It's only like two weeks away. Yeah. And then yeah, the rest was history. If Ting Man is Batman and TNL is Joker, then Ting Boy is Robin. Whoa. Yeah, I like guess. Wow. That's intense. Uh Lauren, how are we going with our guest? Um not ready quite yet. Not ready quite yet. That's all good. We are surprisingly still getting more people joining the stream. I think it's like people just waking up and just like joining the stream. Um, I think this is Europe waking up, if I'm correct, considering when Cubehead joined us. So oh, yeah. we've actually already had Cubehead. Someone just asked, where's Cubehead? Um, he was here about an hour ago, I think. A bit over an hour ago. He's yeah, uh, currently, up, yeah, what's he's up, in Europe? Germany doing a competition. Good morning. So. Good morning, Euro. Good morning, guys. Woo. 809. And we've been asked, say, what's up? We've been asked a few times today, uh, Ting Man, where are Olor and uh, Ting Boy today? Um, they're, they're just, I don't know, doing their own thing. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not a very um, satisfying answer. I did think of a way to try and get them in, in the stream, but yeah, it's just a bit tricky. I mean, I guess it's. Yeah, they, they just had quite okay. a few things on today. There was a birthday party in the afternoon, and yeah, it was just a bit hard to coordinate. Also, I thought I'd be done by now, but uh, hey. guest guest appearance is two minutes. He is just setting stuff up. So good. Thank you for arranging our guest, um, our mystery guest. By the way, I'm actually quite excited to chat to this person. Yeah, mystery guest. And I are both on Insta, so managed to ask them if they would if they'd like to join. And yeah, glad to see that they're available. Pers this person's an awesome person. They're a very good person. Such a great person. And Cuba. Does hey, Tino surf? Um, yeah, I do surf, but I'm not that good at it yet. I used to be better, but I haven't surfed. I kind of stopped surfing. Um, last year a bit and but i'm trying to get back into it i think someone said earlier you've got surfer hair so you've got the hair for surfing is all i'm saying and this, maybe this this combination is make and my guitar like people just picture me like on the beach right now like mm. just, got off the, just got off the pump and waves and just like playing a tune yeah Gross. that's not very nice who said this <laughs> i don't look like a grandma you do not hey, You're hey, beautiful. Lauren, for no what worry. it's worth i'm 27 weeks pregnant tomorrow so you should be saying i look pregnant you look just, like a mom just, you look in yeah, the best exactly. way You've got the which glow. basically means i look tired all the time because that's exactly how i feel tired all the time this may <laughs> be the longest i've been awake for this live stream because wow. exhaustion but yeah it's been a long time. day and my lighting sucks because outside it is very dark. <laughs> yeah. And I wish I was Maddie in Hawaii right now. Mm -hmm. oh, me too. Oh, his sunset oh, oh, in the live friend. stream earlier. Sunset was so gorgeous. Although we have a pretty good um uh where I live near the coast. It's very nice, lots of beautiful beaches. So yeah. Yeah, very jealous that you live near the coast. I'd love to live near the beach someday. That sounds epically awesome. This is Can, now officially like the longest stream hang on. I've ever done. Really? Saw, what, what have you done that even came close to this? All the 19, I guess. Because that was only like six and a half hours. <laughs> was it? We've passed that like three <laughs> hours ago. This is, this so is ridiculously long. long. Can you I solve a cube while surfing? Really long, but like this is really long. Oh, man. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. 
if Ting Man was a cube, what cube would he be? Um, I would probably just be a like a plain three by three, but like a pretty fast one, I think. I well, I was gonna say the Arlong V one. Why? What, what, what? Well, because it's old. <laughs> Nobody likes it anymore. Nobody uses it anymore. And if you remember, like, um, was it Felix's? Was it gonna be a world record? And he corner twisted it. It's like you just mess stuff up. It just mess stuff up. Yeah. And no, fair enough. Yeah. So yep. that's my little opinion. <laughs> I'm so toxic tonight. I'm tired. I just. Uh, yeah. Just to, like my my opinion. And I, I almost want to say you're a 21 by 21 because you're still not finished. <laughs> Why am I wearing a uh, just point it out there, but you look like you're getting really close, like the edge pairing, anyway. Yeah, yeah, we're going okay with the edges. What do you so? Fun. What do you you think you'd be a fast cube? Is what we're saying, though. You think you'd be a fast cube? The last two edges will be a pain. Like there'd just be a lot of like having to do uh, lots of edge flipping, which I find edge flipping quite hard with big cubes, like because you don't have muscle memory. So. Oh, I like. That. I like, no, come back. There's another comment. He's a Cuba. What's up, man? How's it going? Hey, that is how you compliment someone. You're my new favorite fan, Pancake Pat. Winning. That's how you compliment someone. Saying I'm 11 years younger than I'm close to being. <laughs> you speak an age that, like 10 years younger than what you think. Like, yep. hey, you look negative five. <laughs> For what it's worth, never overshoot anyone's age. It never goes down well. Always okay. under. Undershoot under, it, then you know you, you, you're solid, you're golden. Someone will donate, donate five bucks if Daniel shaves his head live on camera. I think I would maybe for a bit more than five bucks. <laughs> you might want a bit more than yeah. Five. I think you'd want like a 20, 30, 40, you know, something significant. Ting man, would you Chinese? Would you cut uh, your French for five? Yeah. Bonjour. Bonjour. Do we have any uh, French people in the chat? 21 by 21. Very long. Very long. Amazing. I'm not entirely sure what I said. There'll be someone who will roast me in the comments for my terrible pronunciation. I believe we had be someone um, roasting you people on speaking Mandarin earlier in the chat. Had some Japanese as well, but yet we did have some Mandarin. I did see that. I only recognize the first character though, which is the word for me or I. So. I know I like I'll a fair guess... bit of uh, Japanese kanji, so I can kind of like, and they often they're similar because they're borrowed. So I can kind of yeah, true. grasp some meaning, but I have no idea how to read it. So no idea. Doing a lot of hedge slammers here. Hedge slammer. Yeah. It's just the easiest way to. Is that what you call it? A hedge slammer? When you when reverse you... of a sledgehammer, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's a hedge slammer when it's like F R prime, F prime R. Oh, yeah, it's not totally inverse. Yeah, it's an F and then the. I think one last R, there it is. I like this one. If Tina would be an Avenger, which Avenger would he be? I kind of look like Loki, don't you think, with this hair right now? Like if it was black? Yeah, actually. You are I mean, the god of mischief, so. Him. Yeah, he would definitely be a Loki. Probably like the alligator Loki, you're thinking. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to be, be Tony Stark. I don't Why? know. Because you're going to. Shang-Chi, baby. Maybe die? I don't know. I'm Shang-Chi. But all the cool all gadgets? The I haven't watched. Uh, any Marvel movies in a long time. Whoa, don't even talk to us. I actually really want to watch The Eternals. Maybe I'll do it tonight. Actually, no. I oh, I can see, see this one. <laughs> Hawkeye. Hawkeye. That, what's the joke? Oh, I'm useless. Hey, hey. Funny. He's not useless. He like... He's got great aim and he's funny. Yeah. I really don't like Jeremy Renner. <laughs> well, actually, he's probably a nice guy, but <laughs> he's, he's funny. He's a weirdo. All right. Calm down, man. <laughs> if I went to prison, what would be the reason? These questions are amazing. <laughs> um, I love that. What wouldn't be the reason? <laughs> like trespassing. Or something? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, I totally forgot to bring my Tingman mask this year. Oh yeah. 
Ah, oh, to my uh, drawer on my bedside table. <laughs> no. Actually, I think oh, nowhere. Damn. It was it was hanging on my wall. So I use it every other day, and I forgot it today. <laughs> Someone said arson robbing. <laughs> All right, our guest oh, might yeah. be ready. I just want to I just quickly message him just to check he's ready oh, to you know join the like, stream. The invite? Oh, no, no, he's there, he's there. Yeah, I already did it. All good. Hey, it's going to be good. Yeah. So I think he's about ready. Do you guys, yeah, yeah. before we add our dear guest to the stream, who is an awesome person, would people like I, to one final well, guess? Michael, get some hype in the chat. Who's the final guest going to be, ladies and gentlemen? Please put your hands together for Michael Chibody. I made it. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> you. This was part of the plan the whole time. You are not a backup. <laughs> you are not a last minute addition. We always plan to do this. That's why you're at the end. We're saving the best for last. We were saving the best for last. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's frozen. frozen. No, but hey, he, he doesn't move very much. I, I think he's no. He's, very cool but, guy. he's doing he's doing that TikTok challenge. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, the not the worst oh. post to have when the screen freezes. Like that is it's so flattering post. compared Look to what it. my screen he freezes. Smile on. there. He looks he looks great. Let's do it. Wait, yeah. it's amazing. If we all freeze now, everyone will just leave the screen. <laughs> yeah, probably true. Oh, I feel bad for Michael. It might just. Maybe we might need to kick the <laughs> re-add kind of thing happening. It's just like so, yeah, he just lagged. Oh, okay. Yeah, he lagged out. He Hopefully, he'll be right. Well, if he joins back, well, Adam. Why do I have like six different people telling me to do a girl voice? What does that mean? Uh, it's, it's hard to interpret. We like not to. Yeah, um, could be a bit dicey. Well. Girls might have deep voices. I'm not going to define what a girl voice should sound no. like. And maybe I'm doing it all the time. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Max, oh, um... we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> I love this question from Ivan. How would you escape prison? Um, mm. Ivan, the way you escape prison is by never getting in there in the first place. That's how you do it, okay? Or by being a good person. No, I'm, like, you just don't. I'm like, yo, security guy, what's up? <laughs> um, hey, you ever heard of TNLQ? <laughs> yeah, you got it. You got a YouTube chucks one that you, chucks you in like maximum security, <laughs> puts you like, in solitary confinement. Look, look bring me a room. Just be like, cube, hey, if I solve it in under 10 seconds, you let me out of here, okay? He's like, you're TNLQing? Oh, lock this God. guy out. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, that, no. That's how you get out of prison. He's like, hey guys, you gotta you wanna see me somewhere, Remy? <laughs> okay. Into like another prison, like maximum security. Yeah, solitary confinement, especially. <laughs> guys, wanna see something cool? Nope. We wanna watch some of your um, old videos, me. No, see what no, you sound no, no, like. No, no, yeah. No, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. How would I escape? At the front door. I just walk out. Oh, that's fine. Because I got <laughs> skills. Go this on, is skills. exactly what would happen. Wow, it's TNL cubing. There, the cell's open now. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it would go down. We yeah, don't want you here. One punch. Uh, looks like we might have gotten him back. Possibly. See if we can see if we can add Michael back to the stream in three, two. Oh, oh no, God. hang on, give him a second. Oh, he's frozen <laughs> again. <laughs> Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is a tough. We thing. can see his beard line. That's clean. That's clean, clean as. Or that well, a shadow? Yeah. See, you're focusing on his face. I'm focusing on the mob and summer poster in the background. What? Tino looks like, like my uncle, and Tino looks like my grandpa. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> Why do you have a white uncle and an Asian <laughs> grandpa? Yeah. yeah, perfect. Oh no, we've lost Michael's video what again. If we can't get video, Michael, we might just have to do audio. We could do audio, Which would Michael. be a shame because people need yeah. to become familiar with your skills. You mean audio, so, OCR, 
multi-blind record holder. Uh, I don't think some yeah. of people have seen the... Should we play his community yeah. video again? Yes. Like, I honestly oh, wouldn't mind watching yes, it the first time. It's yeah, pretty I'm amazing. Enjoy, guys. Hey there, everyone. My name's Michael Chapodi, and I'm the current OCR holder for Multiblind. And Team Names brought me onto his charity stream today to ask you guys, the audience, one simple question. Every donation from this stream is going to go to Habitat for Humanity Australia, allowing them to build more homes for people in need. And if enough people watching this stream right now donate, then we're going to smash the goal of $10,500 or three homes built. To you, Tingman, thanks so much for using your platform as a force for good, aiding those in need. It's genuinely an amazing thing to see. Best of luck with the solve, and remember that Ting Fan is behind you all the way. Take care, guys. Hey, what a man. Did he say the Ting fans? Just dropping that. I love it. I like that better than Ting Man fam. No, actually, they're both good. They're both good. So just a little bit of info about Michael. If you're not familiar with his excellent work, he only just started competing this year. Oh, can you show uh, his, his profile, first... his WC profile? It's insane. Yeah, his first competition was in uh, January. I met him at Melbourne Summer. First ever competition he'd participated in. And the man, what can I say about him? He is an absolute, he's, absolute champion. He's, he's yeah, beast. Yeah, I, I had not um, heard of him because he hadn't competed until this year. Now. So, yeah, go like like three by and just like his very. First yeah, his three by three multi blind guys, 34 out of 36 cubes in under an hour. So, an absolute multi blind machine. His first First comp, he gets 38 out of 34 for multi -blind. And he won, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Wow. Like, what? And we Second were all, I was there. I was there on the day. We were all just, like, staring at him. Just, like, he was the only person left still cubing and, like, solving multi -blind. We're all just watching him, like, come on, you're, like, so close. But it's like, and who is this guy? Like, comes out of nowhere and just, like, kills it. Um, Michael needs a minute. He's got a bit of a storm problem so and i get it because i was having that problem earlier so he said hopefully he'll be there soon back soon so hopefully yeah and yeah he did solving in sale and yep and got the oceanic record and uh, if you check out his instagram he'll often do a live uh video and he'll sort of show him like solving multi cubes and it's an absolute it's absolute like beast yeah, and we were just saying before stream, he recently got no, we said it on stream. He recently got a sub 18. Did you say Ting Man? Sub 18. Yeah. Single no, I don't four. think it was on stream. But I know he, he, I saw him put a photo up of a 17 point something three blind solve, which is at home. Yeah, that's awesome. Anyway. So, that's absolute good. boss at blind. And um, I think, I don't think I showed the footage, but like when we were at Melbourne. I want to say Melbourne summer. It might have been Altona. One of the comps this year, there were a bunch of blind solvers solving together in, like, relay. It was awesome. I think I think one of them put it on their YouTube channel. I just can't remember. It was, like, Jack. Oh, there's two more. And Michael and then two other cubers. I just, didn't, I'm just lost on the names right now. I made a lot of cubers at these competitions. But while we're waiting, yeah, there's a storm. A few people are saying they've got storms too. If you live in Victoria, it looks terrible outside. Like, that's why I had to turn the light on. What do you think about this, Ting Man and Lone? If you're experiencing an earthquake and you can only take one cube, like, save it, oh, what would you take? I would take, uh, it's, for me, it's a tie between my origami cube and the cube that I used in one, for one cube, many cubes. I think mm, the mm. just just the significance of it because like any other cube you just buy another one yeah exactly but that one's like that was the cube that was touched by like dozens of the world most world's most famous cubers it was the same cube that i did like the um indoor skydiving with as well so it's just got like some significance yeah so it's probably that one for me i take my main like there would be i have two of them i take one of them with me because you can never have too many mains i don't know if you guys 
Hmm. Follow me, but I did get um a really cool Can custom puzzle you? from no, uh, it was a while ago though, like from oh, okay. Ogre Q, okay. like a long time ago. It's this one. Oh, interesting. And it's like a one by two by three of like uh, PewDiePie's bro fist thing. That looks, that uh, looks so cool. Yeah, it's really well made. Um, I do, I do like it. Or that it would be that, or maybe like my first speaky, like my Zanchi or something. Because yeah. that was a. Uh, do, do you still keep on it? No, but it's sentimental value. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I just left. Okay. Because I don't think I would. My first cube is an Aeris M. I don't think I'd grab it. I'd grab something else. I really, think I've got you it somewhere. You don't have any like, um, like sentimental attachment to that cube at all. Uh, question: Who bought you your first cube? My brother. Who got That's me where the sentimental cube. comes from. I had to buy my own because I'm a big girl. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hence fair the enough. lack of sentimental value. But I do. I don't have the heart to give it away though. Oh no! Like, yeah, I forgot. You, what'd you do? Uh, Last four edges, you solve the sentence first and then you do the last. Oh four my edges. teammate, have you been doing free slice for last four edges? Oh no, 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 I only just did one. I, oh, okay, good. I, I only waited for like <laughs> I only saw one. I was like, oh god, did you just no, 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 no. I'm, I'm on last four edges, but I just forgot that you solve the sentence first and then, and then you do it. So it looks like this we should be in the last 20 minutes. We should be, yeah, yeah, we're definitely yeah. In, the, in the last, yeah, 20 minutes of the solve. And we still have 420 of you guys tuned in. Thank Woo! you. Um, Amazing. Hopefully, you guys. Red KB said he'd grab his Erno signed Rubik's Cube. That's awesome. That's How, pretty cool. Um, do you know, like, what year that Rubik's Cube is? Is it, is it quite an old one or like a newer one? That I'm is so curious. cool. An Erno signed Rubik's Cube. Like, That'd be the dream, hey? That would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, how has Red KB been watching for this long? Isn't it like some ridiculous time where he is now? I would guess it's like maybe 12 30, 1 30 a.m. for him. That is so late. Thanks for still watching. It's insane. Thank you. Yeah. Do you want to join our stream? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael's having some issues, so he's but having a storm to be fair. No, no, no pressure, and we won't. Don't don't pressure him, but if you want, just let us know if, if you actually want to join our stream. We'll send you a link. It is. We're actually thirty seconds away from ten hours. Oh my gosh! Wow. I'm gonna clickbait this. I'm gonna be like, Ting Man forced me to just live stream with him for ten hours. <laughs> yeah, gone slapping. All right. Wow. Well, we might almost have Michael back. I think he's just same same man. He might be here. He may not be here. It's uh, kind of like Schrodinger's cat. He can be both here and not here at the same time. <laughs> oh, I like that. Little segue. Technically, it's dead and alive at the same time, but, you know, potato, potato. <laughs> Science. Yeah, J JFM did it in under seven hours. So you're, I know. you're doing well, though, Ting Man. Hey, hey, hey. I've had, I have had other, other pressures. Do we try again? Do we try? It was just like, e -de 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 -de. and now I'm like, ah, as fast as you can. Just keep looking at where you're at. I can see the blocks coming together. Yeah, I just have three more, um, three more edges. Three more edges and then three by three stage. And you know, I average like 13 seconds, three by three stage. So yeah. Like and It'll, it'll be just as smooth. Oh, my gosh. That is super cute. He is. What? What, 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 what? what is that even? Don't mess up. I'll try really hard dog cubing. I will. I promise I will try my hardest. It's not a thing, man. Except Tinel's taking weird photos of me right now, so I don't actually know. Yeah, he's immortalizing it from the gram. You know, two words, Felix. True. Oh, I saw that before. It still made me laugh out loud. 
best Instagram post I've seen all day. Two words feeling. Two words. Yeah, two words feeling. Make sure you guys follow me on at at Tino Kimi on Instagram to see some funny little stories from today. Do you know what? Yeah. Um, if you were, if you were a, a cat cuba, do you know what um, you would you would want to do? What's a cat cuba? A, a cuba that's a cat. This is a joke. This is, oh, it's a joke. Oh, is a, <laughs> you're asking me like, okay. No, it's what, a, what is it? It's a joke I came up with with, with my kids. Cat cubers love to get um, uh, a few licks of some dogs. <laughs> okay, that's that's the best one today. That's not too bad. What do you mean? That's so bad. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's pretty much good. exactly what it sounds yeah, like. It's it's so bad. <laughs> All the other ones you were trying to argue that they were good and now i i like give you some praise and you won't have it yeah no nope <laughs> see that just looks so random going across the bottom of the screen people are coming to this dream like what the hell did i come into <laughs> what's it say felix of some dogs <laughs> what, what do all cat cubers want they just want a few licks of some dogs uh uh tripods just messaged me saying he might need another 10 minutes i hope hopefully you're not done by then say tripod tripod i'll try yeah nickname actually yeah can one of you just can one of you google um just jokes just bad jokes and it's one line like i can't it'll break my computer my computer only knows good ones we need some jokes we need some jokes to keep us going well xavier thank you 4.32 p.m. in Singapore, you're tired. Oh, Singapore, oh, Singapore. Thank you. Um, happy day. I don't day. think they teach us any of that at the you, schools in Australia. You've been watching since this morning, haven't you? You've been watching since this happy morning. Happy days. No one should be that crazy except for us. Who's there? Give us your best knock-knock jokes. Oh, I just remembered the worst part of this, like um, parody, like in the very last one when when you yeah. Got, like, got a message from Kenneth Brandon. Yeah. Um. How do I share the link? Uh, the bottom of the screen invite says invite. Someone? Invite. Yeah, that's that's okay. how I got um, tree pot in. Oh. <laughs> if you can, oh if you want to type, if you can just try and type that in. Sending it to you now, Mr. KB. I'll take a photo of it, maybe. It's 4.34 in my family's home country of Malaysia. Cool. Awesome. I love Malay food. I am thinking about getting Malay for dinner, Ming. Yeah. Malay is sounding very good right now. Hopefully that works. I'm not sure. Do you have to register an account? Oh, uh, no, no, no. No, nah, just, just, just click on the link. That's all, you That's all you need. Who's the... Yeah, don't finish reading it. Whew. Singapura. Lost Edge. Singapura. Is this Lost Edge now, T Man? It is the. I'm now oh, no. Lost Two Edges. Woohoo. I thought you were basically done, and then I saw that one edge that's like yeah. a rainbow still. Last two edges, last two edges. Whoa, my gosh. This is crazy. Can I try some of this? Yeah, yeah. And just while TNL's doing that, just going to do a bit of this. Where did that graph come Kiwi. from? Did you make that? Yeah, just Thank found you. it. You can if you, if you really want to. Subscribe. Subscribe to TNL Cubing. Or, or not. Subscribe. Yeah, now guys, can you actually subscribe to TNL Cubing? The amount of help that he's actually provided in this stream has been nuts. Actually phenomenal. So yeah, which I'm very grateful for. No, he Stop it. He's a very, very enthusiastic enemy, is all I'll say. It's a bit of a friend of me thing, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that. And obviously 
Big shout out to our sponsor, Daily Puzzles, Ooh. who sponsor all three of our channels and allow us to make some great content. And it's where you got this wonderful big cube that you've been trying to solve for the past better part of uh, nine hours now. Yep. How are the muscles feeling nine hours in? Are they fatiguing? Are, you, are your arms still good? I'm pretty good. Uh, I'm actually just not thinking very hard about it. I just want to get it done. Ooh, 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 I saw a comment. I actually can't even tell which one is going to be. People are tuning in. Um, viewers are back up, 470 people. What's up, guys? Um, he's Man getting close. He's getting dangerously close. Um, What, last two edges? Three? Yep, last two, two edges. edges. Awesome. Last two edges. We are close, guys. We're very close. Yes. You want to bring him on oh my goodness i'm in awe so am i welcome to the stream kenneth what's up how's it going hey guys hey. How you, how, how's it going so, so good wow I've been, I've been enjoying the stream <laughs> it is an on, it is an it. Yeah. Yeah. And i can't believe i'm i'm gonna witness the end of this too oh my gosh <laughs> yeah, all right <laughs> Let's see if I don't mess the entire thing up, which I which I won't. I won't. I'm just just saying, you know. <laughs> yeah, the parody might still happen potentially. So. Yeah, that's right. I yeah. What's been happening? What's what's yeah? What's what's happening in your life right now? Uh, I, I've been super busy. I mean, uh, I've got uh, three kids. Uh, yeah. Working hard at work. I feel like I got. Uh, you know, no time left. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, no. things have been great. Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. Great to see the cubes back there too. Yeah. They, they're still back still there. Much of, much of a workout. Uh, the ones on the shelf, not so much. Uh, I usually keep one on my desk, but one of my kids might've stolen it. I don't know where it went. So, <laughs> but I, I did grab my, I did grab my, uh, my signed Erno cube that I mentioned. Wow. Oh, oh wow. nice. That's, That's amazing. amazing. That yeah. is so, so good. Fun. Do you know what year the, the cube's from? Uh, yeah, it's a 1980 uh, cube Ooh. from yeah, Germany. Uh, an ideal cube. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. it had, uh, I think there was like the World Fair sticker on the side, but it's it's totally faded. You can't see it anymore. Um, it's got the old logo, which I, I really like their old logo. And uh, yeah, anyway, Erno Rubik's signed it for me when I uh, I met him uh, at, I think it was the, uh, what was it? It was like the Rubik's Cube, Expo, uh, I forget what it was. It was at the Liberty Science Center in New York. Wow. But they were having like a, I, I forget, maybe the 35th anniversary of the Rubik's Cube or something like that. And uh, was able to uh, go and met him and he signed it for me. It was really awesome. And we now got about 500 viewers that are watching us live, which is amazing. I think Team Man's on his last two edges. I am, I am very close to the end. Um, I feel like we actually need to just let people know who uh, Red KB is. Yeah. I, I mean, it's such a legend, but I, I feel like a, some people might not know because I mean, I haven't made, haven't a, made a video in a, long time. Time. He's He's a complete legend. <laughs> I remember and. You must have been. You have a like your um seventeen by seventeen time lapse on your channel. It's one of the most viewed. Yeah, that's. I think my most viewed, people to do that. Most viewed video at the time. Uh, there was only a handful of seventeen by seventeens in the world. Mm -hmm. They were invented by Oscar Van Deventer, and yep. um, I really wanted to get my hands on one. I actually met Oscar in the Netherlands when I was uh, traveling through Europe, and I asked him if I could take it home with me and and. Uh, to, uh, solve it, and he said, "There's no possible way he was he wasn't going to give it to me." But he also mentioned there was someone in the states who had one, and so I reached out to that person, and he let me borrow it, and so I was able to make a, a 17 by 17 solve the video, the first so one cool. on YouTube. Then wow, look at that! Is that dirty? Oh no! <laughs> this, is, this is pain. This is what pain looks like, guys. Very pretty. All right. Um, I actually probably can't be spoken to for the next little bit. I actually just need to focus and get this right. Yeah, I don't want to remember the allergies now. So, Tom, this is where you lean over and eat the chip, like 
Right. Oh, wait, how, how, how do you do this um, edge flipping out again? Don't ask me. I have no idea. I don't solve anything bigger than a five, so. Yeah, you got to practice that's with it a couple times. So have well, you, I think um, what happened last time was he forgot the alg and he did the wrong alg and then he had to undo it and then redo the correct alg. Because I think we thought there was parity last time and then it wasn't. But the chat was very helpful last time. So let's see if he's got it. I think I have it. You got to practice doing it slow. Don't use your... Yeah, it's I'm just using <laughs> three by three. That's the problem. <laughs> Don't use your muscle memory. <laughs> Uh, got a bit of love for you, fast. Red like, KB. Super easy. This guy, I still remember the cube with cube me with episodes. Me. Yeah, let's race. <laughs> Hope this doesn't happen. Imagine if he messed up parody right now. We don't want to go there. We're not. We're not even going to go past that. No. So, what's the highest order cube you've solved now? Uh for me. Yeah, for me, just uh, 17 to 17. I only solved it once, uh, and it was the uh, 3D printed one that I borrowed. Uh, uh, I, I actually do yeah. have uh, the mass produced 17 by 17, but I only use it for patterns. Fair enough, yeah. You know, I have Tigman actually quite a long time ago sent me a 6x6 six six and a 7x7 seven seven, trying to encourage me to solve big cubes. They're still unsolved. They're just in my collection <laughs> and completely in pristine condition as if they've never been touched because I am worried if I try to turn it, I will also pop them. They're actually not. They're actually MGCs, though. They're probably not going to pop, but, yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah, super nice. nice. Yeah, I'm uh, growing a beard for Movember. I don't know if you guys nice. heard that, but yeah, yeah. so I got awesome. a, a 10 day beard going, something like that. Tom's trying to grow one, but it's not going very well. <laughs> I just realized, Tom, did you say you're, you just turned 17? Yeah. So I solved my first Rubik's cube exactly 20 years ago. So I've been solving cubes longer than you've been alive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, here's another fun fact from our sponsor, Daily Puzzles. Red KB is one of the people that originally got me into cubing, which got me into starting a store. Awesome. So oh, there wow. you go. That's wow. There you go. Little known facts. Love That's it. Super cool. It's amazing what like starts people because Ming, well, Ting Man is what got me started on my first channel, or well, my only channel. And yeah, wouldn't couldn't have done it without uh, obviously all the support and advice. We sort of spoke a lot before I actually did do it. Wow, it's a lot of work. You got me beat. <laughs> I was what not alive now? back then. 40. Wow, yeah, <laughs> wow, 40 years ago. Oh, gee, I think my parents might have been married by then. I think maybe. I know my dad was telling me a story, he was like one of the kids on the bus who could solve it back then, like maybe in 1985 or something when it was really popular then so your parents can solve it it's amazing i'm jealous the, i don't think either of my parents can solve it how's that edge coming down first all right got it three oh remember we're not allowed to talk to him he's gotta he gotta use all his focus three. and then it's back and then it's back and then it's back and then it's front back wait what back now that doesn't look right oh, <laughs> why is this so stressful i feel for you like the hard slog this this has taken what tom would you estimate because we both did the last one at least three or four more hours than the previous stream this is not going to plan i think the 19 by 19 we wrapped up in six and a half hours with a bit of you know time on either side mm. now 
It's been 10 hours since we started, but a couple of breaks, but <laughs> taking guys. your time. Oh, baby's kicking again. Oh, my light just died. I actually just That's can't right. remember like the party thing. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Kenneth, if I can ask you a few more questions. Yeah. Um, what's it like being a cubing dad, <laughs> you know, from one, one cubing dad to another? Like, I, I love being a dad. I think it's one of the best things ever. I love, um, yeah, having kids that I can hang out with and, and, you know, grow together and just discover the world together. Uh, cubes are obviously a big part of your life. They're a big part of my life. I guess what, you know, what, what role has Cubes played? <laughs> you know, in yeah, I, dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get my kids excited. They love coming in into my office and grabbing puzzles off the wall. And uh, yeah. some of them are, are fragile. So I'm like, don't touch that one. Um, but, uh <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're not super into it yet. Um, they're still pretty young. My oldest is seven. Like, uh, he's starting to think about it. So he'll probably, I'll probably try to get him to solve it soon. Um, yeah, very cool. But yeah, I, so I've got a seven-year-old, five-year-old, and a three-year-old. But uh, That's cool. That's so yeah. good. So haven't done too much uh, puzzles with them yet, but I'm planning yeah. to. And do they know that that, you know, dad has a... Uh, giving channel you know like a, a big one they've got no idea no <laughs> <laughs> that's great so, so can you solve the atlas minx on stream can i what that would that be sounds insane a bit insane Yeah, we've been going for, I'm sure a few people have had a good night's sleep and we're still here. Yeah, they've woken up and they're like, whoa, he's still going. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I want to say, I think this, this stream is super awesome. I've been watching it for a few hours now and, um, you know, what a great cause. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I think it's super awesome. So good job. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, really appreciate it. Um, while you're here, and since you're in your study, would you be happy to show us a few more cubes, a few more crazy things that you have? Um, let's see. I got here's the one I still can't solve. This is this might be the only one in, in my uh, collection I can't solve, and this is about as far as I can get it. But it's oh, a wow. uh, it's called the Maltese Gear Cube, uh, yep. which was invented by Oscar Van Deventer, and yeah. it looks like it might be solved. But if you look closely, that the the little centers they twist and they actually get misoriented. And so that they're, they're not flat on each side, um, and it when it turns, it's uh, it's like a gear mix-up cube as well. So it's uh, it gets very strange looking uh, when it gets yeah, all flat. Wow. But yeah, it's very difficult because every move like destroys the puzzle. And so as soon as you try to make progress, it's very difficult to come up with algorithms yeah. and stuff like that. But wow. and everything seems to like misorient, like these edges, uh, the edges mi mix up with the centers and they also oh. uh, can be misoriented and there's just lots of problems with it. It looks so painful. Yeah. So I, that's, that's like the one, I think that might be the only puzzle I haven't solved. That's insane. Now we have another guest that's ready to join us. I think they've, they've managed to to fix their storm slash internet issue. So everyone's welcome to the stream. Our Michael. dear friend Michael. Oh, full house. Hey, I love it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Took me a while. I've had to hop from place yeah. to place to get Wi Fi that works, but I'm here and it's oh my happening. Gosh. Awesome. Welcome. <laughs> So if I knew way... you guys were going to join, I would have said this from the very start. Get people yeah. hyped up because, yeah, I'm I'm big fans of both of you guys. Yeah, we were, we were checking out your profile while you were away for those ten minutes fixing your your Wi-Fi. We were looking at your stats. The fact that you oh, only started ten minutes is generous. It was more like twenty five, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but only started competitions this year. Smashed it at Melbourne Summer. We were all watching you do that. Was it 30, 30 something out of thirty something? In just uh, under an 28 hour. 28 out of 34, I think Melbourne Summer was, yeah. Yeah, it was an yep. absolute slog. It was so impressive. And Cheers. yeah, no. Been an absolute pleasure getting to know these past few months with all the lockdown and 
if you haven't checked out uh, Michael's Instagram, guys, he does a lot of multi-blind souls and sort of has a bit of a chat afterwards. So really awesome to see multi-blind solvers still doing their thing despite the lack of competitions in Victoria at the moment. But hopefully, hopefully that changes soon. Want to want to get some competitions back in? Yeah. So what are you going to go for? Do you think at your next comp? What's the goal? Next comp? Hard to say because. I think if it's if it's like a couple of months away, I, I have no idea where how many cubes I'm going to be able to do sub hour. Um, I think mm. at the moment I'm at 47 under the hour, so I think maybe 45 or 43 is a pretty safe bet. But um, we'll see we'll see how long it takes for multi blind comps to come around, and I'm, I'll be able to give a better estimate, I suppose. I wonder what the record record is because obviously you have the Oceanic at the moment. I wonder what the Australian one is. Anyway, so it'd be cool if you could break some of those records with multi blind. I can't, I actually don't Jeez, know what the record is in Australia. It's the same. This has been the most painful thing ever. I'm on the last one. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. Oh, he's nearly done. I've missed that much of the soul. <laughs> you oh, weren't even well, done centers when I was trying to join this, uh, this stream. No, nah, it's been, it's been quite fun. Uh, he's been trying to remember the edge flipping alg. And that's flipping yeah. out. That's exactly well, now he's had practice, so now he, this should be no problem. He's done it like a bunch of times. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. I've, I've got it now. Muscle memory, but it's just not muscle memory when it's a big cube. No, I I concur. Yeah, it's like arm memory instead yeah. of yeah. memory. Mm. There's no yeah. M slicing on this. And we're currently up to 588 live views at the moment. So solved. Reduce. Well, know he's close. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. Love it. I think oh. Ting Man oh, may want to stop now, but part. no. It's the three by three stage, guys. It's this a is three the most three inspirational stage. thing ever. I know, oh, right? Man. This is great. Great to watch. <laughs> also, I had no idea that this is how the stream was going to end. It's like all of a sudden, I've got like Red KV and Red Michael KV, Tripodi, yeah, like just Michael. surprise guests who just like came out That's with it. like no notice at all. I'm very grateful to both of you that you, that you could you. join me. And you know, just having like people at the finish line is actually a, a really good feeling. So let's yeah. do it, guys. Are you ready? Let's see it. That's awesome. Can let's I talk? It. Wait, can I? I won't time you. Don't three time by three me. Stage. It's gonna be really sad. I reckon it'll be like three minutes or, or something. No, yeah, okay, fine, fine, fine. Here we go. Here we go. Three. Ready. Pressure's on now. Oh, it's yeah. a race against oh, the clock. Too to bad. You better start. Yep, I will. Uh, white cross, of course, because all good solvers use white. <laughs> cross on top. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, hey, hey, let's do it. Let's do a cheeky keyhole. Let's. Who's oh, uh, yeah. who's color neutral here? Is anyone color neutral? X cross, X yeah, cross. Color just, neutral. You're color um, neutral. I'm that, not. Yes. Definitely not. I'm always red first, so. That's really it. interesting. No, the I'm. The thing about this is that no. I want to go really fast because it's like. Because I'm talking. The only thing well, color neutral on is like a two like, by two. I still have to kind of very and you. uh, You're right. Yeah. It's a big cube. And I, and I, I mean, if you're not color neutral on two by two, surely that's a pretty easy to time save. <laughs> How's chat yeah. going? Is there, is there some excitement there? Well, we got you guys just warming up for my comp while oh. watching this. <laughs> I wish well, you the worst luck, my friend. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. That's Shades nice. been thrown. I'm sure you're the great one. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we're close. We're close. Okay, and Ooh, we've got this, uh, pi. This, uh, I think that's pi. A bit of a long um, OLL, but it's a nice one. It's the F prime, like left double sexy. PLL. And I what believe. Do we have for PLL? We what have. Kind of... uh, what is this? Oh. Oh, oh have... no. What, why, why do I have this? What do you mean? What is this? Oh, it's an EPERM. E-perm. I said EPERM. <laughs> no one trusts my judgment. I said I EPERM. I parody. I was just like, how, how is this possible? I can't do an EPERM. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> just do like, wait, how do you do an o OH EPERM? It's, uh, it's. What are you going to EPERM on 21 by 21 may as well be parody. It's just such just a bad. Two T-PERMs. T-PERM, Y2 T-PERM. Oh. 
It may as well be parody. I, I, mean, I know the OH version yeah. is a little bit easier, except it's just so long. Oh. Guys, let's let's give some encouragement to Ting Man. He can do an E perm. Oh, right. you. you do it, Ting Man. Good. You got this. I have faith in you. If it fails, I said double T perm. Let the record show. I I've said E perm, so I'm pretty happy with that. I recognize it on a big cube. That's it. Yeah. Where are the ring finger <laughs> finger tricks? Come on. I'm doing the OH um, version of, of oh. the E perm. We're up to 700 views, so don't mess up this EPAM. I'm doing the OH EPAM. Pressure's truly on. Oh, every I time I see those so. layers, like, not quite a line, it makes me nervous. Well, what is this? Did well, that's where you are. Wow. Are you done? <laughs> we're, we're back to F12, guys. <laughs> Didn't this happen in the last charity stream? Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> One of that negative talk here. Oh, no. It's an Sorry. observation. It's an observation more than a <laughs> judgment. It's a question, yeah. I'm just stretching out a good thing. <laughs> We're at he's, 760 he's, viewers, actually. Wow. Everyone's waiting. here to watch it, and they're all thinking you mess up. They Did you just give yourself parody? No, no, no. Hang on. What have you got? I can't see what the other edge is. That one. It's that and... <laughs> oh. you, you too. And then sledge. Uh, sledge. And then are you to our prime, I think. And then insert. Uh, Perfect. Yep. Prime. PLL skip, PLL skip, PLL. No, it's not PLL skip. Uh, skip All right. Who can figure yeah. out the PLL? Is it, it is. an EPEM ah. again? It's an R. Right? And it's an R -pem. Oh, it is. Yeah. R -pem. R -pem. Push out. Yep. R -pem. Here we go. R -pem. It's happening, guys. It's happening. Uh, oh, no, yeah, I jinxed yeah. it. Sorry. I'm fine. Almost up 791 uh, views. Can we hit the 800 before oh, Tingman remembers the, the rest of the spell? So, it's a non negotiable. So Tingman does not do the last turn until we hit 800 viewers on stream. Sexy. <laughs> oh, no, it's gone down. We just lost a bunch. I didn't it's know helping what having... I was going to do, and it now <laughs> and it didn't work. Oh, but this is this would be a skip, right? Nope. Oh, hang on. If you do it lefty. If you do it lefty. Skip. Do it. Oh yeah. Do lefty yeah. skip? I think so. Seven hundred ninety-five. Oh, we just hit eight hundred. Eight hundred viewers, guys, for, for Ting Man's ready? final oh. turn. <gasps> Yo! Yay! Yay! Congratulations, mate. It. 809 viewers. With a That's forced good. PLL That's skip after, after the third PLL attempt. Yes. <laughs> third PLL no, you didn't even have a, a third PLL attempt. It was a one look last layer. It was a one look last layer that took like yeah. 60 moves. We're talking yeah. big Let's... brain here on Ting Man's charity stream. <laughs> That's exactly Let's give right. some love to Team Man in chat, guys. Like, oh, what thanks so much, guys. an this absolute... Is like most, this is like the most viewers that we've had throughout the entire stream. I actually am really grateful that people stay to the very end. Yeah. And also new friends. Hey, new friends to celebrate this with. That's really cool. Congratulations. And Thank three you. houses raised. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Absolutely. Can we have, can we have one awesome. last look at, one. at how much money we, we raised, we've collectively raised? We have got... A beautiful, if you want to share oh, wait. the screen, you might have to do that Oh, again. sorry, I have to add it again. Right? So we were hoping for, I, I honestly was hoping for at least 10,000. And then we pushed it to 10 and, a, 10 and a half thousand so that we could get, you know, three homes built. And we have finished the stream with $10,821. Yeah, that's it. So good. Thank you. Absolutely so, amazing. That's awesome. so nice. Thanks so much, guys. That's amazing. Yeah, that's so good. That's so that's three houses. Good work, guys. And a couple of piles of bricks, I think, like yeah. mathematically. Mm. Fantastic. Three houses. Yeah. So, yeah, massive thank you to everyone who's joined us today. Patrick Brody, uh, to Nolan, Sean, Livia, Stanley, Simon, um, to Maddie, to Dylan, to Felix, to Milan. I can't believe how many people we've had. And then now to Michael and to Kenneth as well. Woo! It's like... This unreal. is this has been unreal, and then you know this entire time to Lauren as well, Panda Cuba for joining us, and my nemesis, this guy. 
<laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's let's swap the things. Oh wait, now. yeah. Hey. Oh, done in dirty. That's like COVID. The burns, the burns are real. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was like an aggressive hug, but we did it. Sorry, well I was done. just overcome by emotion. It's just, I'm just feeling it's, a lot right now. It's been a long day. Like really almost. This wasn't meant to be like a seven or eight hours stream. And it's 10 and yeah. a half. 10 and yeah. a half indeed. So yeah, absolute. One, yeah, a final thank you again to our music guests for just joining us. Thank you, Michael. Uh, thank you, Kenneth, for just jumping thank on you. with zero, absolutely zero notice and being part of, of this. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just like so many people, you know, banding together to just make something big happen, which is so cool. And of course, massive thank you to everyone who watched, including the crazy people who've watched from the very beginning. Because I actually think some people stayed here the entire time. Like, there have been people who watched all 10 hours. And you're insane. Yeah. And I love you guys. And I'm very, very grateful. But you're crazy and you should go to bed. Um, just like just like we should. Yeah. <laughs> all I, right. got a message, I got a message for you, Tingman, from Jack Kai. Says, wish oh, yeah. him an awesome work on solving the 21 by 21 and organizing this whole stream and raising money for the houses. So really well done. And what a wonderful cause. Yeah, so cool. So awesome. great. All right, guys. Thank well, you. It's amazing it. to meet you, Michael, finally, and Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth. So no, it was good to meet you <laughs> somewhat face-to-face. -face. Still haven't yeah. seen yeah, in person yet. This is totally face-to-face. -face, you know? That'll happen someday. Oceania yeah. chance. Yeah. 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 Congrats on those, those uh, great kids of yours, uh, Kenneth. Be a great dad. Thank you. Lead the next generation. Go <laughs> keeping dads. Woo! Keep up and awesome future keeping content. Ones. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so All much. Right. Cool. That's it from us. Thank you, everyone. And we, I probably will never do this again. I think I said that Until last twenty two by twenty two comes out, obviously. <laughs> I think I said that last year. If they can oh, keep bringing out a higher order every year, can get parried in three by three stage. Yeah, but this, no. this will just take like fifteen hours or something. It'll be the worst thing ever. You know, honestly, I'm tired, but I have, I have more hours in me. If we had a bigger order, <laughs> unless you did it over two days. Okay. Anyway. 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 Yeah, <laughs> weekend charity stream. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Forty-eight hour charity stream. All right. Give us a wave, say goodbye, everyone. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Thanks for tuning Bye. in. Bye. 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 Bye.